Me and my friends have survived 10,000 days in our Minecraft world, making it one of the longest lasting Minecraft worlds ever. And now, for the first time ever, I give you the entire 10,000 days movie. This movie contains every step of the journey me and my friends have made in this world, including all of our amazing builds, overpowered farms, and most importantly, the fun times we've had. So, whether you want to watch something while you study, or just want to see the crazy progression of this world, I hope you enjoy the 10,000 days movie. Hey guys, it's Fruit. So as you can see, if you look around us right now, we are in a brand new Minecraft world. And I'm happy to announce a brand new Minecraft series, Minecraft Multiplayer with Friends. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some of my friends on the server. We're going to start this Minecraft survival adventure. And uh, yeah, so if you do enjoy this video, make sure you drop it a like and also subscribe. Now let's get them in. Guys, go ahead and join up. Come and join up. Yeah, join. Oh my god, this is... Oh, okay. How's the world? How's the world? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. The reason it's already night time is because it took you so long to join. I bet I have more uh, oak logs than you. Yeah, I've got zero. Well, actually, I have. I technically have zero now because I actually have a sapling. I'm already going down to mine, boys. Check it out. I don't want to like work together at the start. No. Work. Technically, we're all working Gross. together. Wait. Found a cave. Got a little bit of coal. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So spider eyes. They hurt you. Guys, oh, I don't know if my HUD, you know, like your HUD. But can you see when I get achievements? Like, do you see yeah. that right now? Yeah. Everyone, everyone. Whenever you get an achievement, it will pop up in the chat and everyone can see it. Like that, we saw that. Getting an upgrade. You're getting an upgrade. Let's go. Can I just make a little, um, a little bet? Yeah, no, actually, that's. Oh, guys, I found a mineshaft. Mob spawner. Right off the start, guys. Holy. We literally have under spawn, yeah, guys? Yeah. We have a skeleton spawner. That's like the best one because you can get like infinite arrows and feathers and stuff. Oh, yeah. I think you can oh, get feathers. Wait, can you get, can you get feathers? feathers? No, it's bones. It's bones. Where did bones. feathers come from? Guys, I am going to die though. So can someone help me? Can someone help me? Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <gasps> one and a half hearts. One and a half hearts. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. I'm definitely dead now. I came out on top, guys. I beat the skeleton spawner. Nice. Got a little music disc. Let's go. I'm just in the mine shaft trying to get coal and stuff, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the diamonds. Oh, this is so annoying. I'm dead again. I think. Oh no, I've got bread. I've got bread, guys. Oh, I've got a name tag. This is such a good start. Who do you know in Minecraft that gets the acquired hardware achievement? I'm just gonna go straight to diamond level, but I have a little bit of wheat. So, I'm ooh, another minecart with a chest. Oh yes, I got so many torches now and. A iron pickaxe. Let's go. No, 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 no. What have I just seen? Guys? No, no, Guys? No, no. No, no, listen. What is this? What? 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 Guys, oh, this is... It's like... It's like I've never seen this before. It's like a nether. It's good. I've just got a enchanted chest plate. What the hell? No. No, guys. Guys, this is serious. This is... Yeah. And a gold block. No, it's above ground. What? Can we just get some things like cleared up real quick? So the first thing I think we need to instantly all like if we go strip mining, yeah, all of us I think we should go at the same level and build like a massive box and always mine there over the server time. So we have this massive just chunk underground. And also we need to get a farm like done ASAP. Should we do a farm ASAP so we don't have to run out of food? Oh, I hit that towards you. <laughs> Are you seeing this? This is real. Yeah, I swear. Yeah, look, and it had a chest with a bunch of stuff in. There's a gold block like down here somewhere. Do you know what this is? No, but it looks like it's fallen. It doesn't look real, does it? You're pranking me. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't ever it's seen this before. Food. I'm a that. It, yeah, it's got to be new. Oh, prod, can you give me like some? Cook, do you have any cooked food? Yeah. Oh, how do you have so much? Cause that's what I've been doing. You've been running around. I no, I, I've been underground, thank you very much. There's sugar cane down here, so I'm going to get it. Honestly, by this episode, I want to get some good diamond stuff. No, but you do, you do realise this is the latest edition of Minecraft. Like, all the nether is, like, updated. I am about to die, though. Can someone please save me? Jeez, <laughs> what if I just ran into? I'm inside of... I'm in just a ravine, but I don't know if there's a mine shaft in it. Alright, here's the deal, here's the deal. I'll be second to find diamonds, okay? I'll be second to find diamonds, yeah? Can we... Can, anyone willing to accept? Yeah, sure. I... Yeah, yeah, all right, let, no, last to find diamonds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, I just found some diamonds. The whole time I was actually saying that I was looking literally at the diamonds. We should start building a house, by the way. Anyone down? Do you want to go back up to the top and build like a, a yeah. massive, like, diamond mine? Yeah. 
Oh I'm behind God. you. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah. Um, should we all head back to the spawn area and maybe start a little yeah, little yeah, starter yeah. base? L little yeah, starter yeah. base? No, but seriously, yeah. the first time we meet up after all of this time, it decides to rain. <gasps> oh my God, I found something really rare. <laughs> what? It's not gonna be anything then. It's no, it's... it is, it is, it is. What is it, what is it, what is it, what is a baby, it? A baby zombie riding a chicken. Wait, is that rare? A zombie uh... villager, a baby zombie villager. Wait, how? I'm too scared. No, because it does one heart per hit. Oh my god! Underground as well. You'll oh. have to see it. Wait, does it actually do damage? Yeah, one heart. Alright, we are keeping this. We are keeping this. We oh. need to keep it. Demon. Wait, Brody's bro, bro, coming for you! Don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. I'm oh, this has a this doesn't have anything good oh, in it. Guys, I'm on one heart and I have eight diamonds on me. Help. Okay, so what's everyone's cords? I'm still underground in that mine shaft, which is where I don't want to be right now. I don't know about you, but I'm just going to start making my house. Start making like a little start house. I don't know about you, but yes, am I? But you know those huge survival worlds, yeah? Like oh those are massive ones, yeah? yeah? Yeah. That's that's some stuff that I want to do. Um, there's a lot of everything. Alright, we got ourselves a bed, and I've got my respawn point set. Okay, so to keep you guys up to date, let me show you what I've been doing. So, as you guys may have seen from those little kind of time lapses, I don't want to do too many time lapses in this series. I kind of want to show you guys everything that we do get done. But guys, right now, what, what me and all the others are doing, as you guys can see over there, we are all basically building bases now. As this is episode one, they're obviously going to be very basic houses and stuff. But as the series goes on, the houses will get bigger, better. We'll start building like cities, and we'll basically make this a massive survival world. But for now, let me show you guys what I've done. So, I've made a kind of outside kind of farm area. So, if we walk up here, you guys can see i got all my uh, crops growing here and then i've got this kind of thing in the middle that when you go down it obviously i'm gonna have ladders here but this is just how i'm gonna have to do it because i haven't got around to making ladders yet i haven't made them so yeah i am in the middle of um mining out a massive area down here which is going to be for storage it's going to be the mine and over time this is going to be like a huge underground area where a lot of stuff's going to be and hopefully it'll be like an underground kind of system to get to all the other people's bases on the server and i'm hoping that eventually underground there will be some sort of like mine cart thing that we can use to all kind of go to different places in the um world so for now in episode one i think i want to leave the base like this and do a little bit of mining and then in episode two get some more you know detailed base building and, and build some actual storage rooms and stuff like that but i think we need to go ahead and get full iron gear make a bunch of iron tools and maybe try and find some diamonds and get that nether portal on the go so yeah let's go ahead and do some mining and i'll leave the base building for episode two probably how long do you reckon it takes to mine in one straight line till you actually find diamonds anyone got uh, an average time me like a minute it took me about 10 minutes, I'm getting concerned that I'm not finding any diamonds going this direction, but I'm just gonna have faith. Oh, I found diamonds! I found diamonds! Please be more than two this time. Oh my god. It might be a whole vein of eight. We might be on something here. I think I might have the most diamonds on the- on the server now. Nice. Let's go. Eight diamonds, and I literally was just talking about how I haven't found any, and then next minute, your boy just finds oh. some. Alright, I found a cave. Found a ca Oh my. It's. F you know, like those caves that are just filled with lava? Mm -hmm. Like, filled with lava. Like, this is one of them, and I'm scared. This is. This literally is. Oh, my, it's a massive ravine. I'm happy that I found more diamonds. Now I'm just gonna get iron armor. I'm just gonna get full iron armor, get a diamond pickaxe, and I think that is gonna be where I wanna be. Also, I need coal. Honestly, I, I'm just gonna rush for an enchantment table as soon as I can. Probably like in the next episode or something. All right, guys, I found another mine shaft. I don't know if it's the same one that we found though. All right, I'm going back up to surface level. That is literally what I needed. We have got diamonds. We've got good iron. We've got everything that we wanted to get. We're heading back to base and we are getting ourselves some iron armor. We're getting geared up. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is a weird ravine. It's literally half in the ground. It's literally on the overworld. I literally, I didn't even have to mine. I just had to build up. Oh, that is, that is a pretty cool ravine, I must say. But now I am completely lost. I do not know where spawn is one bit. I'm in a swamp. I didn't even know there was a swamp nearby where we were basing. I will take the sugar cane though, but I just don't know. I don't know how to get back to the base. I don't know where to go. I mean, there's oak trees and stuff. That's usually what was around me. I have a good feeling I'm going the right way. I'm going to take out all these pigs because food is a real issue at the moment. If you don't have potatoes or carrots, food can be very hard to get and seeing as i'm mostly living off these fish that i got earlier i don't think they're gonna last forever so i mean that's another thing we need to get done in the next few episodes is get a cow farm or pig farm which is something that will give us a good source of food because getting food on minecraft at the start 
is so annoying. But if you have a farm and infinite food, then you're good to go. Okay, this is where I was earlier. Okay, so this is the thing that I found at the start. I believe, break that torch, I think we have to go this way. All right, let's just head over here. I'm pretty sure this is where I've got to go. I mean, my base is quite hard to miss. It's literally kind of like this huge farm, which I definitely am going to make a house as well. But just, I need to get the Minecraft essentials first. Trust me, I can build better bases. I can build, I'm actually not even a bad builder. All right, here we are. Back at the base. Let's go. All right, we have arrived back. Let me get a f few furnaces out because we actually have quite a few things to smelt. If we just put an extra two down there. Okay, so we've got the iron in that one, more iron in that one, and we've got gold in this one, which we need to use a bit of coal from there to put in there. All right, boom. And let's make ourselves the diamond pickaxe. Let's go. Boom. Wait, do we not get an achievement for diamond pickaxe? I would have thought you got an achievement for diamond pickaxe. Oh, looks like they're getting achievements and grinding away. Now, guys, this has actually been a lot of fun, honestly. I don't know about you guys, but if you've enjoyed this, can we just take a second to realize that that house over there has come a long way since we actually just saw it a minute ago? All right, so the only thing I know for sure right now is that we need a storage room because just this, this one chest has been has been carrying every single one of my items for literally the longest time but we've got seven diamonds now diamond pickaxe let's go guys we are off to definitely a good start in this episode all right we've got everything we basically want we just need this iron to hurry up so we can actually just make some iron armor i think i should say this enchanted gold chest plate for a different time but if we if we go inside the furnaces three two one boom okay we can make iron armor now all right let's start off with the helmet the boots the leggings and the chest plate boom this is what you call a good start. We got the suit up achievement. Let's go, guys. Check us out. Episode one. You already know the vibes. And also a little base. Also, I think our crops are coming along nicely. If you guys check out over here, crops are coming over nicely. But guys, that is going to be the end of episode one. Make sure to join me and everyone else for episode two, guys. Make sure you have your notifications on so you don't miss out. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And um, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. In three, two, one. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've got the enchantment. And the enchantment we got is... <gasps> what is that? What is that? I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Where? <laughs> hey guys, it's Fruit, and welcome back to episode 2 of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. Now you're, now you're probably asking yourself, why am I just stuck inside of a ravine right now with diamonds behind me, and why is there a massive strip mine? There's a lot of questions you guys are probably asking yourself, because this is literally nowhere near where we ended the last episode, and you may also see some diamonds right there. I have a little bit of explaining to do. So as you can see, I'm literally the only person on the server right now, and I'm pretty sure the others are going to be coming on very soon, but oh, as I say that, Prod joins the server, but guys, basically, let me get rid of this zombie real quick, but basically, what I decided to do is uh, do a little bit of an off-camera strip mine because i mean i really didn't want to do any off-camera work but it just got too tempting to do a little bit of mining and i may have gone too far so what i'm going to show you guys is what i've actually found doing this strip mine so honestly i haven't found too much i haven't destroyed any of the diamonds i have found i've saved that to do all on camera after i found all these diamonds inside this ravine i did kind of realize to myself that i actually had to click start recording at some point but can we just take a minute to realize the amount of diamonds i'm literally getting here so yeah i have actually decided to start recording episode two so welcome back guys hopefully you are all doing well for me nothing too amazing has actually changed since the last episode apart from this strip mine. I haven't really done any housework or anything. As I said, I kind of want to do all of it on camera, but the others have been grinding the server quite a lot. So we're going to go ahead to start this episode off by showing you guys what they have done. So also there is another bit of diamonds down here that I did run past. And now I did just see Prod's name tag over there. I don't know if he's trying to prank me or something, but that's another thing about playing Minecraft Survival with more people than just yourself. There's going to be some pranks and I cannot even make this up. I've literally... What is going on? Let me know down below in the comments if you guys don't want me to do any off-camera work. As I said, I really don't want to do any off-camera work and put it all on camera and show you guys everything that we do on the survival world. But sometimes I just get a little bit carried away, but I'll try not to make it happen again. Also, make sure you go down there, smack a like, and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. All right, so Prod, I have made it to the surface. I'll show them MD's house in the meantime. As you guys can see right here, this is MD's house. It looks pretty good. All right, this house is actually really good. Have you seen this? Have you seen this house? I haven't been in it, but I... I've oh, it's got it a little, outside. it's got a little doorbell. Okay, okay. Very nice. Let's see what stuff he's collected. He's got five diamonds. He's just got a bunch of iron helmets for zero reason. I don't know why. He's actually, he's got a blast furnace. He's actually been grinding. His house is way better than when I last saw it. Guys, this is actually impressive. I am very impressed. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go look through his house. This is looking pretty nice. Okay, so this is Prod's house. It actually is really, really cool. As I said, guys, we are going to start working together on projects. But seeing as it's just the start of the world, we have all decided to make separate houses for now. And let's see where all of his goodies are stored. Oh, okay. A little bit of enchanted stuff. But guys, they actually went and found a village when I wasn't online, so that is fair enough. So yeah, you may have heard me say that we need to actually make this bit down here an actual um, thing, and actually put furnaces in it and stuff, make it a storage room. Can I just little, like, can I just quickly, like, address a little something, something about the last episode? <laughs> what? I don't know if I already told you, but someone liked your pet baby zombie. Wait, in honor of the person who commented that, what we're about okay. to do... Alright, Prod, I've got a name tag. <laughs> we're gonna go name it. Wait, God, wait, Prod, they haven't seen your pickaxe yet. Throw it oh. over. Let's show the enchants. Guys, Prod's been doing a little bit of grinding. Do you understand the name of it? <laughs> but guys, this is what Prod 
has been grinding for right now. He's got a Fortune 3 Efficiency IV Unbreaking 3 Mending Pickaxe. If you remember, he got that mending book from... Wait, where did you get the mending book from again? From in the mineshaft. Oh, yeah. In the mineshaft. All right, where's, where's the pet zombie? I've got the name tag. Let's go name him. Oh, <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Wait, can we call it Pumpkin? <laughs> Actually, I kind of like that. Oh, he literally shook his head at you. Come on, that's a sign. We've got to call him. Do you want to be called no. Pumpkin? Oh, he's, yeah, he's thinking. Literally. Oh, and also, guys, um, Prod's got an enchantment table full leveled now, which he's been grinding. So uh, I might have to go and use that when I get level 30. Oh, also, can we go to the nether? I need quartz to get, like, more XP. The name tag's been made. Go. We're gonna go call him Pumpkin. Let's go. I don't know why I'm so excited, but like I just feel like the viewers are gonna connect with Pumpkin. Okay, here we go. Green green there we alien. go. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh, there yeah. is Pumpkin. Oh, look oh, at him there. Pumpkin. Can we just make one thing clear? Can we make everyone on the server promise to never let Pumpkin escape? Or this, like, we cannot replace yeah, Pumpkin. I, I 100% agree. So should we go to the Nether then? Yeah. If you do remember this area, this is the fallen Nether that we found. We had no idea what it is, but apparently you guys told me. That is part of the new update, and this is where we're going to build the uh, nether portal. Let's see if it works. Oh, it does. I, I didn't think it would, but let's go. All right, here we are. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is all the nether update. I just forgot. I looked over and I saw this, like, random gold stuff that I don't know what it is. Are you all right there? I don't know. All right, let's see what this it. stuff is. What is this? <gasps> this is gold nuggets. Ew. You can get gold nuggets in here. Oh my, What? What is I don't that? I want to go out there yet. I want to go out yeah, there. Yeah, normie. Let's, let's, let's explore. Let's experience this. <gasps> what is that? What is that? I was in, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Leave <laughs> that. Look, you just jumped out. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does it do. <laughs> oh my god! It does damage! Get rid of it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got raw, raw pork chops. <laughs> Wait, that drops pork chops? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Run! Oh, I'm You're dead. dead. I'm actually dead. We're actually dead here. Oh my god, how many are there? I'm actually dead. No, you're not. No, you're not. Hide. Build yourself in. Do you have any blocks? No, no, no. no. I'm running back to the portal. Wait, I swear. <laughs> Yo, <go. laughs> They've definitely made this a lot harder than it used to be. Alright, it's over here. Alright, here he is. Alright, does he do damage when we hold this? Yep, yep, yep. Wait, what happens if we drop it him? No, take it, take it, take it. Prod, get rid of him. <laughs> All I want to do is just get level 30 and get out of here. I'm about to hit level 30. Ready? Three, go, let's go, let's go, let's two, go. one. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Three, two, one. There it is. Let's go. Ooh. All right, we're out. We made it alive. Let's go and enchant this pickaxe. I'm going to go cook these potatoes, get some food, and then I'll be back over. Are you ready? Let me warm the pickaxe up a little bit. Warm it up, warm it up. Give it a little, give it a little warm up. All right, here we go. Let's Come go, on, please be go. good. Please be good. What does it say on there? What does it say? It says, Fortune 3! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. In 3, 2, 1. I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. I've got the enchantment. And the enchantment we got is... <gasps> First attempt. Just take a look. Just take a look. No way. I know. All I need now is just to go ahead and grind to get mending, get villagers over. Okay, so you may be wondering where I am right now, and I'm actually I'm actually inside of my work in progress base. The reason I'm not turning around and showing you guys it right now, because what I want to do when it's kind of finished, I want to surprise not only you guys, but also everyone else on the server with what it looks like. So the next part of the video is going to be me showing not only you guys, but also getting the rest of the guys' reaction to the base. So I'm kind of excited to show you guys, and to also show them as well. Okay, after hours and hours of work, it is finally basically finished. It's not fully finished because there's still some stuff that needs to go in there. I need to kind of furnish it a little bit. But this is the main thing. Now, you're probably looking at this and you're probably like, how is this hours of work? Well, if you go inside, there is a little bit down there, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. And we're going to give them a little base tour as well as me giving you guys a base tour at the same time. So it'll be your guys' first time seeing it and also theirs. So I've told them to stay away from my house quite a few hours since I've been working on this. I'm going to go ahead and show them. So let's go. So I've all gathered you here to take a look at obviously the base. I've told you all to stay away for quite some time now. And I think it's time that we go check it out. So let's get the boring part out of the way first. Up here, I've made a little room for uh, which actually has nothing in it yet. But uh, let's let's get some more interesting stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. I love you. 
All right, yeah, that's actually the good thing about it. You can see the view. You got MD's house over there, looking pretty nice. MD, good job on the house, by the way. Thanks, man. Let's head down to the good stuff. All right, come on. Just a little I'm entrance, nothing view. too special, nothing too special. Uh, I'll, I have to furnish everything, by the way, so a lot of it's not furnished. But we've got a little view there. We got my bed in here, so yeah, that's where my bed is. Come down here, oh. the little spiral staircase. I like the we've got. To thank you very yeah, much. Like, we got like storage it. room, storage room. Um, I'm still yet to move a lot of stuff over. I've got like a bunch of like my building materials in here, but I've got all my valuable stuff that I'm gonna bring over. We got the furnace room. Where I'm gonna be, obviously, nice. you know, smelting all the stuff. Come up the nice, stairs. Nice, nice. Got a little we've walkway. Up some, we've put up some delicacies. I see. I see. Wait, wait. Before we continue, what are we thinking of it so far? It's I really like it's it. Empty, it looks very empty, modern, but also medieval at the same time, and I like that. Uh, <laughs> nice yeah, I agree with Zetra though. It, it is very um, unfurnished, but I think this is the bit you'll be excited for because it's a little bit more furnished in here. So we got the. Um, I don't. I don't really know what to say to this room. It's more the. Um, I like this area. Yeah. This, like, whole yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the, cool. it's got all the equipment, you know. So uh, look around. So um, then through here, is one of the more big rooms, and it yet again to be furnished. Ooh. It is um, the armory. So I've got all my spare armor here. I'll um, obviously oh. when I make my diamond set of gear, it will be in here. I'll add some more chests. Probably where my oh. ender chest will go when we get to that point. What's and I'll add. Got on these, though? Um, these, like, shelf things. The shelves, I haven't really thought about too much, but I'm, I'll probably add something like my valuable, like, swords and stuff, like, all my equipment, you know? Like, I'll have some sort of cool chest there, I'll have some diamond gear, like, I'll, I'll furnish it out with some gear, so, that's or it. you get, like, the, the ender dragon's head and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean, I think we should, for the ender dragon head, I think we should all make something for that, like, make a massive, like... Yeah, but we can get multiple of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is true. Yeah, the one you can only have one of. Alright, so, that is the base. I hope you're not disappointed. I, th I personally think I've done a decent job. I liked it. I, I think, think it's, it's pretty good. cool. How come this fire's here, by the way? Um, just for looks. Or like the next episode, we actually should all team together for a build. So guys, stay tuned oh. for the next episode because we'll be doing something exciting in there. Hopefully. All right, guys. So I think that is where we are going to end this episode. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. And hopefully, you guys like the base. I mean, personally, I think it's quite nice. We even got, like, a little mine that I've been working on down there and stuff like that. So, guys, make sure make sure you let me know what you think of this base and any adjustments you guys think I should make to it. And make sure you guys tune in for next episode because, trust me, it's going to be an absolutely awesome one. So, I hope to see you guys there. So, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace. All right, here we go. Let's see how much XP we get. You're going to get a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my. Oh, wait, down here, down here, down here. I see um, a mine shaft. Mine. This could be good. All right, come on. Three, two, one. Hey, guys, it's Fruit, and welcome back to episode three of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've got everyone to do the introduction for today's episode. And um, MD, what's going on in here? What do you mean, what's going on in here? What's with all the walls? What is your doors? Oh, my. What are all I of these? They're my dogs. What, what are their names? Um, <laughs> this is... <laughs> Dog, okay. Billy is... Bill Bob Bob Billy uh, Billy Bobby <laughs> Billy Billy Bob Bob Billy Bob Bob Billy Bob. <laughs> this is three. This is dog four. Dog four, yeah. What's this one then? Jeff. What about this one? Gary. This one. I dare. I just dare one of you to just punch one. one. Try just punch uh, one. He's gonna unsit okay. all of his dogs punch and then him. one okay. of you. Okay, punch okay, him. Ready. Wait, there's still one in the corner. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look oh, at them go. God. So yeah, welcome back to episode 3 guys, hopefully you guys are all doing great. Okay, so everyone slept and it's finally day, so I don't know why I wanted to get everyone for the intro, I just think it's been a while since we've all actually been reunited, seeing as everyone's been doing a load of stuff and they're always busy, so I thought we'd get together and do a nice little intro for you guys, but welcome back to episode 3. Today, there is a lot of stuff we are going to be getting done guys. So as you may have seen in the last episode, we actually got a base now, so we've actually got somewhere to sleep, somewhere to store stuff, in fact, we've actually got a bunch of stuff moved over into our chest now, as you guys can see. If we go through the chest, we basically moved everything over from our little outside chest that we had set up right at the start, we got our diamond in there and i also added a little strip mine down there it's not really anything too special but i'll show you guys it anyway so pretty much when you open the door there'll be a strip mine down there some of them don't even have anything done to them yet because obviously i haven't got around to strip mining through all of them but and i'm going to take my pickaxes on a really really long strip mine so we can see how many diamonds we can actually get because with what i'm about to do right now we're, we're probably going to waste quite a few diamonds so so let me go ahead and show you guys what i want to do so uh, as you can see we've just got iron armor right now and i don't know about you but that, that isn't what we want at this point so we're going to go ahead and make some diamond gear there is the boots the helmet let's make the chest plate the leggings oh my, okay, cover me with diamonds achievement, what is that? Diamond armor saves live, let's go. Thank you, MD, for the compliment. He's just uh, said that's a pretty epic achievement, so I'll take it. All right, let's take off all this iron stuff, get rid of it, and put on the diamonds. There we go. So, so now we've got ourselves some diamond armor. MD actually found something and made something under my base, which I think you guys need to see. We're with MD right now, and he's going to talk through mm -hmm. what he's actually built. So this little staircase, but this is literally under my house, though, isn't it? Like, literally yeah, above so that block. Is, well, that's one why of these this blocks. has to go down the stairs, because otherwise it'll go through your house. All right, so yeah, this is basically what MD's done. He's made an XP farm with the skeleton farm. We literally found, like, the first episode. We actually decided to do something with it. 
But, MD, do I have permission to give it a makeover? Yeah, sure. So, yeah, this is probably going to be where we get a lot of XP for, like, um, enchants and stuff like that. Apart from, like, going to get quartz. So, I'm going to give this a makeover, make it look nice. And then I also want to add an enchantment area onto it. So, as soon as you're done getting the XP, you can go up here and just yeah, enchant straight away. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. that's something I want to do. I'll just give it all... I'll make it all look better. I'll make the staircase look nicer. And, um, yeah, I'll get to work on that as soon as I can. Okay, so he's given us permission to give the spawner, or the XP farm, a little bit of a makeover. So, I guess now we've got to go ahead and get some supplies and actually start working on it. I'm not sure how I want it to look but i guess let's just get the materials ready and we also need to make another enchantment table so we can actually pop it down there as well so i've made 16 bookshelves for now i think that's going to be enough now let's head down to it and the annoying thing is about having the mob spawner right in my house is i can constantly hear skeletons spawning in whenever i'm down there so that's i mean it's definitely worth it because it is a skeleton spawner so so yeah i'm not too fussed so let's go down and start this makeover so this is before <laughs> all right here we go let's see how much xp we get you're gonna get a lot Oh my god! Oh, oh my! Wow! This is insane. That just gave me so much levels, man. I'm going to use this more often. Right, so we're all done with the mob spawner. If we go down here and check it out, you guys will see I've got a little part of my base, which now leads me straight down into it. Right, so this is it. This is the upgraded XP farm. So I just want to quickly say, if you don't really know how it works, I didn't actually build the XP farm myself. MD actually did it. So the way it actually works is the skeletons drop down this little hole. Once they've dropped down, they get leaded all the way up here, I believe, and then they all fall down here. So, so basically what's happening is once they go all the way up there, they fall down here and take a little bit of full damage. And as you can see, we have the maximum amount here and they've just been here just despawning for ages so we're going to take these skeletons out see how much xp we get and i've brought some diamonds and i've got my armor on me we're going to full enchant everything and i didn't actually show you guys but this right here is the enchantment room so in this chest we have a bunch of books so we can enchant books and then in this chest is a bunch of lapis lazuli so we can so we can use this lapis straight into the enchantment table and get the enchants that we want so this is a really quick way of getting xp and he actually did a really good job on the xp farm i hope my makeover has just made it better let me know what you guys think down below in the comments but i stone bricked everything around here it just looks really clean in my opinion i'm just excited to take out all of these and see how much xp we get hopefully this will bring us to level 48 maybe 49 if we're lucky but i doubt it the reason i actually have most of these levels is because when i was building this they kept spawning and i kept going back to kill them so i just get literally infinite xp so here we go come on can we get level 48 is it really that hard to get level 48 it is it really is that easy. They can shoot me through this, so maybe I should pop some slabs. But no, we actually got level 48. Okay, let's go. Okay, so seeing as we're down here to enchant, I'm going to take one of these bows. So what I want to enchant is... Actually, I need to make a fishing rod real quick. What I want to do, I want to enchant a shovel, an axe, uh, another pickaxe, and then also a sword. Okay, so that's how you make a fishing rod. And I also want to enchant a fishing rod max level as well. So yeah, we're going to need to do 11 enchants. So that's going to be quite a lot. So let's just get let's just get enough lapis for that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so 33 lapis. Let's just start. I think I want to start with a sword because... Honestly, I've been really excited to enchant a sword. So let's just start with the sword. Knock back two. Oh, no. Really? Knock back two? Oh, that is just terrible. Smite IV, knock back two. Okay, we might have to re-enchant a sword at a different time. Now let's do... I want to do the trident. I want to do a trident. Okay, I'm breaking three. Should we just do it? I'm breaking... Are you kidding me? Literally, I'm breaking three. Let's try a fishing rod. I'm breaking three. Okay, that's not that bad. I guess we can add lure on that in the future. Let's try the bow and arrow. Okay, uh, I'm just not getting lucky. Yeah, my power IV. Okay, let's try. Let's try a pickaxe. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Honestly, it, it doesn't have fortune, but we can work on it. Let's try the axe. Okay, of course we get fortune on the axe, but I'll take it as well. At least it's got efficiency. We'll have to add unbreaking. Okay, now we've got one more to do. Let's just add it on the shovel. We, yeah, we are really not getting good luck. What is that? Fortune three. Are you serious? Okay, so I guess we're going to go back to the skeleton spawner and start grinding out a little bit more so we can enchant these books. Let's just do that. Okay, so I've left it a little bit for them all to spawn in. There seems to be quite a lot of them in there. Let's see how much XP we get for this. All right, come on. Let's get, all, let's get rid of all of you. Come on. And this should bring us to quite a bit of XP. Maybe level 32. Come on, level 33, maybe? Okay, no, I'll take level 32, though. Alright, so, I don't know if I want to enchant all the armor. I think I'm actually just going to go for a book enchantment right now, seeing as we got terrible luck with basically everything else. Let's give a little book a go. Okay, come on. So, let's put the book there. Let's put a bit of lapis in. Alright, here we go. Okay, sweeping edge three. That is a good enchant, I'm pretty sure, because that's going to make our sword a little bit better. Alright, come on. Okay, so it's literally just a sweeping edge book. I'll take it. Okay, uh, it's not the worst. Alright, so now we're, we're back at level 29. Let's head down here and see if we can get straight to level 30. Come on. Give us level 30. This isn't going to give us level 30. No chance. Okay, now we are level 30. I don't know whether to enchant another sword or just go for the chest plate. I think I'm just going to go for the chest plate right now. And then the next enchant we do will be for the sword. So, let's go. Okay. 
Unbreaking three, protection three. That's not too bad. So we've got our first piece of enchanted diamond armor looking pretty good. That actually looks really nice. Okay, so I've just come out the XP farm and there is a villager here, a wandering trader. And let's see if they've got any good deals. Okay, blue eyes for six emeralds. Honestly, I don't really know if I'm going to use any of this. So I'm just going to try and get the... Uh, I'm going to get rid of these just so I can get the leads. And then where's the wandering trader gone? With so many mobs, I've got knocked back on my sword. So I keep knocking them back ages away. But guys, as you can see, I've done a little bit of an addition onto the house. It's nowhere near finished yet. But by the end of this episode, this is going to be a very nice addition to the house. And then in one of the future episodes, we will obviously furnish it and actually put stuff in it. I'll probably get some ideas. I'll maybe make a kitchen in there. I'll make like, I want to make this part of the house like really nicely decorated and stuff. So this is a, a this is an addition onto the house that we are going to work on in a bit. But I want to, but what I want to do is I just want to sleep so it becomes daytime so I don't have to deal with any of the mobs. And then we're going to get some of the guys on and go to the stronghold because I haven't told you guys this yet, but one of them have actually found the stronghold. They didn't use any ender pearls or anything like that. They didn't use any eye of enders. They just literally found it from caving randomly. And surprisingly, it's quite close to where we are anyway. So we're all going to go check that out, see if we can find the end portal, we'll see how many eye of enders we need to actually actually get, get into the end and then in one of the upcoming episodes we will be fighting the ender dragon so yeah in one of the future episodes we will be fighting the ender dragon now let's get all these skeletons down i'll be back when i'm level 30 then we're going to try and work on some of the housework and then we're going to go to the stronghold with the other guys okay so i've made another diamond sword let's get rid of all these skeletons this should bring us to level 30 this is honestly one of the best xp farms ever it's just so good like you get so much xp did you guys just see my xp bar right there it just went up so much but we have another sword and we are about to go in for another enchantment. Let's hope we can get sharpness and maybe fire aspect. But all the, the main one I want is literally just sharpness, unbreaking, and... And yeah, honestly, I do want fire aspect as well. So come on. Sweeping edge three. Okay, this could be good. This could be good. All right, come on. Three, two, one. S oh, no. Okay, so another thing I just realized is this diamond armor is basically kind of... The durability is kind of down anyway, and... After a little bit of mining with my fortune pickaxe, I realized that I can get loads of diamond armor if I want to. So what I'm actually going to do is just get a bunch of lapis and we're just going to put random enchants on it. So let's put that right there. I'm breaking projectile protection and fire protection. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to do. So we've now got full enchanted armor. It's not all max level, but I'm going to make a fresh set and make that all max level instead. So instead of having half broken armor with level 30 enchants, we've now just got a decent, we've now got decent enchants on them. Not the best, but at least we didn't have to waste a bunch of diamonds and a bunch of levels. But let's test out the sweeping edge sword. Okay, let's give it a little go. Whoa. Okay. Okay, this is going to be very good. For the mob spawner. Okay, though, now that we've got all these enchants and everything like that, I think it's about time we finish this addition onto the house by making it look nice. And then let's go check out the stronghold with the others. I actually prepared a bunch of glass because I knew I'd need so many glass panes and I got way too many. Like, I just have a chest filled with glass. I just spent ages smelting a bunch of sand yesterday. <laughs> Alright, so the house has finally been done, as you can all see. Uh, we're gonna show everyone it. So this is the little walkway up here I made a walkway because I was sick and tired of jumping up dirt blocks in here is the main thing I haven't got anything in it, but I'm gonna like put a kitchen put all the essentials from minecraft house nice little staircase Nice. Got the little balcony here straight out into the balcony Nice at my lovely house. Yeah, get a view of that get a view of MDs as well Where's the yeah, stronghold Zetro? You have to take us there because you're the one that knows where it is guys oh, This yeah. is actually Zetro's castle you actually haven't seen this yet. Zetro spent a lot of the first few days of the server doing this, so... Have you guys um, actually been to the XP farm yet? Uh, yeah. Have you seen how much XP you can get? Like, bruh. Yeah, it's good. I like what you've done with the enchantment table as well. Where you've Thank stacked you. all like, the books and the uh, lapis. Oh wait, down here, down here, down here. I see um, a mine shaft. Mine shaft. Yeah, and then there should be cobblestone around the entrance to the stronghold. So we're in the stronghold right now. We're going to see if we can find a library and or the actual end portal itself. Oh, prods. The, uh... Hello. Let's get these books. This would be good oh, for the enchantment right, room. All right, is it here? Hey, oh, let's go. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, eleven eye of enders, and then we'll be able to go to the end. I don't know if we'll do that in the next episode or the episode after. I don't know if we need to more, like, if, I don't know if we need more preparation time. When, when do you guys want to fight this thing? I don't know. We might be good for next episode, but it just depends. If we, if we get good enchantments, we'll see. Yeah. We could either do it next episode or the episode after. We'll have to wait and see. But guys, this is all, this is actually the first time we've all been in an outro together. This is actually really awesome, guys. Oh, yeah. We are missing, we are missing MD. All right, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Yes, yeah, so as I said, I don't know when we're actually going to fight the Ender Dragon. We'll probably do it maybe next episode, episode after. Comment down below when you guys want us to fight it. I mean, I'm definitely prepared to fight it. I just need a bow. More arrows and stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure Prod's pretty down to fight it. Zetro needs maybe some more diamond armor. But apart from that, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace out, everyone. MD, if you can land this MLG water bucket from all the way up here, we will literally give you a diamond each. Do we all agree?
Oh my god. Oh, found some. Found some. I got mending. You're lying. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. So as you can see here, we actually do have a dog, and I do have a name tag. So I'm definitely going to be naming our brand new pet here in today's episode. But guys, real quick, let's check on our other pet. If you guys do actually remember from the previous episodes, you may remember that we do actually already have a pet. But the thing is, this pet isn't just any ordinary pet. This is actually a very special pet. And so if you are new to the series, you may not know what I'm talking about right now. But as you guys can see, we got everyone online right now. So I think we should ask them if they want to check up on the pet too. So as you can all see right now, we are with Prod and Prod. So I've actually wanted to. Address Address some of you real quick. Okay. So I actually have my dog back at the other house, and I mean, it just made me remember the other pet we actually have. So should we go check on him? If you mean pumpkin, <laughs> I, I definitely do mean pumpkin, guys. If you have been watching since the beginning, what we are about to show you is our pet, pumpkin. All right, here he is, pumpkin Rex. It, Rex is the name of the chicken. Pumpkin's actually the name of the zombie. But is he doing well? Have we have we fed him today? Is he actually uh is he actually feeling good? MD. Yeah. What are you doing up there on that dirt tower? Not much. Demonstrate what you're doing, maybe. Yeah, demonstrate what you're doing up there. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, boy, it actually does look like you're doing something, so... I'm not. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, and uh, also, real quick, so, I think it was you guys, right, Zetro, Prod? You guys were the ones that went to this jungle and found all this bamboo? Yeah. You guys have not seen this massive bamboo farm. This actually wasn't here last episode. Prod and Zetro went out exploring thousands and thousands of blocks, and they actually found a um, jungle. And did you guys keep your parrots that you tamed there, or...? They, uh, they got were... lost. Just, yeah, oh. disappeared. <laughs> yeah. oh, one thing we really need to do is a bridge here. This just this parkour bridge isn't cut cutting anymore, guys. We're, we're evolving oh, in the world. Did a parkour? No, <laughs> not get rid of that. This is just turned into a race if you can build the <laughs> biggest bamboo. MD, if you can land this MLG water bucket from all the way up here, we will literally give you a diamond each. Do we all agree? I'll give you ten diamonds. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. Prod's gonna give you ten no. diamonds. I'll give you some diamonds. Oh my god! <laughs> Hang on, there's bamboo here. This is gonna be really tough. <laughs> oh god, please! No. no. <laughs> so there's actually quite a lot of stuff I actually want to get done in this episode. There's a lot of stuff we need to prepare for. We want to start doing stuff like preparing for the Ender Dragon and stuff like that. So we are gonna need some better armor. So today I was thinking, me and the other guys should start preparing better armor and stuff like that. And I was just thinking, what is the best armor you can actually get in the whole entire game? And that is now Netherite armor. So something I want to do in today's video is maybe try and get some Netherite armor, fully enchant it all to level 30, and maybe get a better sword, some better tools and stuff like that. So if you guys haven't seen the last episode what we actually did was finish up this enchantment room and this xp farm if you guys did remember we've actually got way more storage now so we can just put all the bows and the arrows and stuff like that so if we do need any more storage in the future i can always add that and also i added this little thing right here which is a really fast way to actually get in and out the xp grinder so this is actually to get down from my house but then if you come down here and then go up these stairs and just go to this water this will actually push you all the way up straight back into my base so as you guys can see we're straight back into the base the main part of it so yeah, and also guys, if you are enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like, that would really mean a lot, and also subscribe. So we're about to go to the nether right now, and probably this actually be your first time finding netherite, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so to find netherite, I actually am not a pro on it, but it's I think, again, I think we just got, so yeah, I think we got to go down to like, I think it's just like mining diamonds, we just got to like strip mine for it, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Right, let's just dig down somewhere random, and we should all kind of split off and see who can find the most netherite. I know it's really like, I know it's quite rare, rare. like it's more rare than diamonds, I know that for sure. Okay, um... Oh, Jeez. That lava. All right. Should we, we go down even more? Above or below the lava. I'm gonna go uh, down. I think we have to go down even more. Where's I don't... The... So, you you definitely know when you find netherite. It's very... It's got a very distinctive look. Like, you'll be able to tell it. it you won't yeah. miss it, basically. Is that, is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Whoa! Okay, we've actually yeah, found some is. already. Yeah, that's the... Oh, whoa! You've actually got a lot hidden in the depths. Obtain ancient debris. Let's go. So, yeah, I don't know how much you this, need. No, it's called ancient debris. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know. You turn uh, ancient debris into netherite, but I think you need a certain amount of ancient debris for one netherite piece. So I say we just grind netherite, and then when we get back, I kind of know how it works. You have to combine gold with it. Like I, I do. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I know how it works. But let's just let's just mine it for now and see who can find the most. This is literally destroying my pickaxe so quick. Oh, found some. Found some. Yeah. One piece. Right. Maybe maybe some more around the area. No, just found one piece by itself. Oh, yep, yeah, that's it. Yes, I got the achievement. So I think that's technically why the nether actually has gold in it now. Because you can turn the gold into oh, ingots. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah ancient debris. Oh, I found some. I found some, but it's right on lava. Right on lava. Oh, boy. Okay, no, that's not even that bad. All right, please be more. Yes, it's more than one this time. I nice. can't remember if it's four or three for one netherite or... Uh, I mean, to, uh, ingot. Um, I think it might be four. Ooh, yes. I found some as well. This is unbelievable. I've still got none. Gold. Three pieces. Yes, I've got six in total. What about you, Prod? 
Uh, six. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the nether real quick just so I can remind myself of how ancient debris actually work. I'm going to turn one of my tools into a netherite tool and then I'm going to head back in with a fresh pickaxe and probably carry on grinding it. And also I'm level 30 as well so I'm, so I'm going to enchant another pickaxe to get a good enchantment so I can go back down there. Or I guess I could just repair this one. Let's just see what enchant we get. But before we do that let's smelt the ancient debris. That's how it works. Okay so it goes into the furnace. Alright let me just let's just get rid of all this netherite. I have so much. I have so much bamboo as well. I've got loads of leads as well. Like if I go through my chest I have quite a few leads. I don't know where I put them or what chest they're in but I actually have so many leads here. So we've got another two there. The, am the amount of wandering traders I get is crazy, but here we go. So it goes into netherite scraps. Let's just turn all of our golden nuggets into ingots and then like that. Boom. All right. So let's grab the three. Okay. There we go. It doesn't give you too much XP when you're level 30. I mean, it is hard to level up anyway. I'm not quite sure how to make netherite. Is it like that? Like, oh, oh, let's go. Okay. I did remember. Oh, we only have enough for one ingot. Okay. There we go. So we've got our first netherite ingot. Okay. So if I put that with my pickaxe, it should be able to make it a Netherite pickaxe, right? Okay, I'm gonna try this thing. Maybe that, that. Oh, uh, oh, and it keeps the enchants. <gasps> oh, I didn't realize it kept the enchants. It actually keeps the enchants. You know what that means? Let's get our god pick. We still need mending on the god pick, which is the only thing we're missing. And then when we get that, hopefully we get it from villagers very soon because we do have a bunch. We do have some villagers now, so we should be able to get mending pretty soon. All right, here we go. Come on. So we got the efficiency IV, fortune three, and breaking three. And then this has efficiency three, fortune three, and breaking three. So this is how you do it now. I mean, I don't know if this has always been like this. When I last did, I think I just combined it together. Okay, so this, that was actually a really nice noise. Okay, here we go. Netherite pickaxe. Actually, real quick before we do go into the nether again, there is one little thing I want to set up. If I can find it in one of these chests, there it is. Okay, an armor stand. Let's take an armor stand. Let's take 24 diamonds. Let's make another full set of armor. Chest play, leggings, and boots. Okay, put all of our armor on the armor stand. Now this, hopefully before the end of this episode, that whole thing should be netherite armor right there. Let's carry on grinding all of the netherite. We have finally grinded out loads of netherite scraps. So we got 12 here, and then in here we have 8. So we don't have, like, a bunch, but we have 20, which is actually enough to upgrade, basically, a whole new set of diamond armor, which, if you guys remember, at the start of this episode, we made a diamond armor set, which we're going to upgrade to netherite. And then, also, we should hopefully have enough spare for maybe a sword or something like that. So I guess you could say we are about to get a very big upgrade. So we need to turn all these scraps into actual, like, netherite ingots themselves. So let's just quickly do that. We have enough of everything. So that is 4, and then we can also make the 5th. So yeah, that is a whole set of armor. Um, that we can upgrade and also a sword so I want to upgrade a sword not this sword because if you look at the enchants right there It's not the best so what I'm gonna quickly do is just make a diamond sword so we can enchant a new one down the XP farm And, and while I'm making my way over to the XP farm There's just something I really want to say guys like I just want to say and also let's just quickly bring all the armor with us So we can actually level 30 all of that because we're just gonna stay down at the grinder get our sword enchanted Get all of our armor enchanted and then turn it all into netherite stuff here So guys, I just really want to quickly say though I have been reading all of your guys's super nice comments And I want to say like me and all the other guys on the server just want to say a massive Thank you for all the support we've had on all the episodes. Like, it really, really does mean a lot. Let's just quickly sweeping edge all of this. Oh... This is why this is the best XP farm ever. And I also want to say, I have seen your guys' comments, and um, you did tell me to get the disenchant thing, which I have in here, I think it is. Where's the, where's the disenchant? Okay, so you guys actually reminded me that I can actually disenchant stuff with the grindstone. So um, for you guys that watched that video, thank you for commenting that. I actually completely forgot that you can do that. So yeah, once again, I appreciate it. And as I said, really appreciate all the support, guys. It literally means so much to all of us. So let's just put the grindstone, like, here for now. We'll move it in a bit. Oh, so I just realized I made this sword for completely nothing when I can just disenchant this one. Wait, should we just try it real quick? Does it, d does it, what, like, oh. Oh, we get all of the XP back. So we just disenchanted that diamond sword. All right, let's just go ahead and enchant this one. Please give us a good enchant. Please, please, please. That's looting too. It's not going to be good, is it? Oh, okay. Let's just let's just disenchant this again. Come on, give us all the stuff back. Come on. We also need more lapis. Apart from the episode where we got a really good pickaxe, our luck hasn't been best with enchants. All right, smite. Yep, I really don't want that. I, I want sharpness and something else. Now I've got barely any XP again, so i got to get my level back up to 30. Maybe this will get me back up to level 30, please. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Maybe this one will be good. Come on. I'm breaking three. It, it could be good. Uh, uh, let's also just disenchant that because let's be honest, that's not really good anyway. So I'm just going to grind the XP farm a little bit more and I'll be back when I have enough levels to enchant all of my armor and then also my sword. As you can see, they're just despawning right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a few of them out and hopefully this should bring us to level 42. And seeing as we want to do five enchants, level 42 is the exact level we need to do all of these uh, enchantments. So let's just get rid of all these, please. Get us to level 42. Okay, this guy's just shooting us. Okay, come on. Level 4. Yes, we're at level 42. Can we get level 43? Actually, what I'm going to do is start off with the boots and work our way over to the left. So we'll start with the boots and then end with the sword. So come on. Let's hope for some good enchantments. All right, starting off with unbreaking. Unbreaking 3, 5, protection 4. Not too bad. I think there is a villager that we do have with protection 4. So we can just get infinite protection 4 if we want to. Now let's, now let's move on to the leggings. 
I'm breaking 3 fire protection again, okay? I mean, I'll, I'll take it, as I said. As I said, getting protection for it is literally no problem. So, this one isn't as good. We only have fire protection 3 on that one. Let's do the helmet right now. Let's see if we can get protection on this. Oh, okay. That's actually not too bad. Acrofinity, Respiration 3, Protection 3, and I already said that we can get um, Protection 4 from the Villager. And then also Unbreaking 3, so that's actually really good. Now, let's move on to the sword. This is where we want the good enchantment. Not back to... Just knock back two. All right, so here we go. Turning the diamond armor all into netherite. And honestly, netherite, if you grind it enough, isn't really the hardest thing to get. So if we ever need to get more netherite again, we can always do that. But this is the set of armor that we are going to be using to fight the ender dragon. All netherite stuff. And then we just need a better sword, a better bow. But I mean, that's not too... Ooh, cover me in debris. What is that? Get a full suit of netherite armor. Let's actually go. To be honest, I am actually going to miss our half-broken diamond armor. You've been great. And you got us through a lot of our Minecraft journey. But now... To upgrade onto the netherite. Here we go. Look how awesome we just look compared to these other armors. We are in full netherite. And we've got the netherite pickaxe as well. Just look how all this just matches so nice. Netherite armor just looks so cool. Okay, back down to the XP farmer. We go to disenchant this honestly not the best sword in the game. Let's just get rid of the XP on that and just let's just get another enchant on it real quick. And actually, while we're down here real quick, we might as well take two bows and just combine them together and make a full bow. And uh, let's get that enchanted as well. I don't care about any other enchantment apart from fire aspect and or sharpness, okay? We can get all the other enchantments later on. But just come on, give us a decent one. Alright, even though it's not enchanted, I think we should still upgrade it to netherite for now though. And just enchant it at a different time because even though it is... Even though it's got no enchants on it right now, we can just enchant it whenever we want at a later date. So what we're going to go ahead and do right now is head over to the villager area so I can show you guys what the others have been up to. And another thing, me and the guys are all going to actually work on building this. This is what they've actually built so far. So this is actually going to be where the villagers get stored inside here somewhere. So for now, what we've had to do is put all the villagers down here. Now this is our villager breeder slash I don't really know what to call it. But this is where we keep our villagers. And we put up signs above their heads for the ones that we should keep so for this one we can literally get unlimited emeralds because we only have to give 32 sticks for an emerald which it's really easy to get sticks so this isn't a problem to get a load of emeralds this one as well it's got the same trade so i think we're going to keep him as well and then this one is the protection for enchanted book librarian so as you guys can see 43 emeralds we can get ourselves a protection for book we're also going to keep this guy so we can obviously get all of our armor to protection for now what i want to try and do with the others i want to try and get one of the villagers to give a mending book now it could take some time i'm no villager expert or anything so, so we're going to get them and try and find a mending villager so for now this is where we're keeping the villagers as i said really really work in progress but hoping for it to look really really nice further down the line all right i keep changing his job come on give me that oh he turns instantly oh he's got no good trades though what do you do if we get mending like first attempt oh he's got an enchanted book multi-shot i thought that said mending <laughs> he, he's got a curse of vanishing book he just had right there i got mending i got mending i got mending you're lying i i cannot believe it i cannot believe it 10 emeralds guys we literally just got mending on the fourth try I cannot make this up. It's 10 emeralds for a mending book, but the protection for villagers, like 40 summing emeralds for just the one book. Thank you, Zetro, for the uh, 12 emeralds. Let's, let's buy the mending book. Let me see if my price goes down. Go back on it. No, his prices haven't gone down. They're still at 22. I don't care, though. Mending book. All right, so I'm heading into my house. I'm so happy I actually was the one that got the mending book. We are about to put mending on to our pickaxe. That now technically means we can get mending on each piece of our armor, but before we do actually add mending to the pickaxe, I want to give it a name. So I'm just thinking maybe just through and then axe. So it's just the through axe. Yeah, we could always change the name at a different time. So let's just go through axe right now. And yep, we might as well. Boom. Efficiency IV, fortune three, I'm breaking three and mending. I'm now just gonna have to spend a lot of time getting loads of mending books for all of my armor. I'm going to make all of my tools netherite as well, including my axe, my shovel, everything like that. Like everything is gonna be netherite and everything's gonna have mending and top in chance. But guys, I'm just so happy we actually got that villager right there. Like the chances of that actually happening. All right, guys, I think that is where we are gonna end this episode off right now. We are ending it on a very good note, getting the mending villager so it's actually really cool that we got the mending villager all ready and done so guys in the next episode it's gonna be a very very special episode i'm not gonna spoil too much but guys trust me you really are gonna enjoy it. and also something that we need to just get sorted in the next few episodes is making this villager place look a lot nicer i mean the thing that we've got on top that you guys made is really nice but guys that is where we're gonna end this video this video has been less of a building episode and more of just getting stuff done ready for the next episode which is gonna be a very special one so as i said do not miss out on that but guys thank you so much for all the support on the recent episodes we all do really appreciate it so thank you all so much for watching and peace hey guys it's through and welcome back to to a very special episode of the Minecraft multiplayer series. We are all joined by all of the members right now, and we are about to enter the end. Now, I just want to say, some may call this the end, but for us, it's merely the beginning. <laughs> <That's so laughs>
god. Real quick though, I just want to say before we do get into the end, if you guys haven't watched the last episode of us gearing up all of our gear, as you guys can see, make sure you go back and watch that video before you watch this one. And now we are about to go to the end. We're all really nervous. So let's hope we can come out on top. MB's wearing zero armor for this. So he's kind of he's doing like a little mini challenge. Alright. Prod, seeing as you got all the eyes of Ender, you can do the deeds. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous. Alright, is anyone else nervous? Just me? Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, Let's go. Wait, where do we put our pumpkin heads on now? No, you don't. Uh, need to. Just don't look at the Enderman. Just don't look at the Enderman. But if you want to put your, I literally have all my best loot, so we cannot die. That bridge is scaring Literally's me. Off. Oh my god. <laughs> We're here. We are here. Uh, where right. is the guy? Wait, I'm putting my, I'm putting my helmet on. Where's the guy? Yeah, me too. I'm putting my pumpkin head on. I'm too scared for this. Same. So they can't break the things. Break the things. Break the things. Break the things. I literally can't see them. I literally <laughs> can't what? see. Imagine, imagine I jumped oh off my god! And off just then. Did I hit this one yet? How can we not hit this? Oh, I hit him. How are we not hitting this thing? Too, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm you already. I, I really want to take this pumpkin hat off. I literally can't see a thing. What is this? Same. Wait, you just got an achievement. You need a mint. Collect dragon's breath in a glass bottle. Wait, prod, you did that. Yeah. Wait, guys, can anyone build up like to no. one of those? Can anyone actually see the engine dragon right now? Because I can't. I we need to get rid of the orbs. Can anyone get rid of any orbs? No. Oh, 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 one shot, one shot. I just got one. I'm going to that one over there. Where the rest are in oh, cages. I accidentally hit the dragon. Oh my I'm god. To... I think I'm the worst to go for the ones in cages because I don't really. Yeah. Take this... I'm going to the one in the cage. Yeah, watch out for the dragon's breath, boys. There's so much. Is, is that like the purple, pu purple park was on the floor? Yeah, yes. yeah. <gasps> What's hitting me? Right, I'm gonna put some water. Wait, Zetra, I'm gonna put some water underneath you in case you drop, okay? I've got water, but yeah, do it anyway. I just wanna say, guys, I'm very sorry that I have to wear this pumpkin head. Um, I've not even I'm, I'm just gonna put my ha normal helmet on this. This. All right, there we go. I took my pumpkin off. I know this is very risky, but. Did you destroy it? Have you destroyed it? I'm I think going up you Just hit him and see if he takes damage down. back. All right, let's all just start taking fire, boys. Is it all gone? Yeah, we're yeah, all good every, to go. Every single one has gone. Start laying in the shots. We did that so quick. That was literally insane. Okay, I'm gonna take the pumpkin off since I'm at the top. Yeah. Just don't get hit off. No, I'd come down because if he comes up to you, he'll hit you off. Um, come on, oh, boys. We got this. Oh, we're draining oh. in the damage. Just do not die. We cannot die now. We've come too far to die. Yeah, we're literally destroying him. I'm missing so many shots, so just don't pay attention to my arrows. Under halfway. Are we literally about to destroy it this quick? Not a way. He hasn't been playing down yet. Yeah, he, he, he'll, he'll come down in a minute, and then we all just need to go up to him and whack him with our swords. I think he's gonna be coming down. I think he's coming down. I'm, I'm still shooting him. Yeah, try and lay in as many yeah. shots as you can. Alright, oh. here we go. Last he's nearly shot. dead. He's nearly dead. Come on. Come on. With the sword, with the sword. Let's yeah. go, boys. Oh. Let's go. Good job. Who, who's good. gonna get the most XP is the, is the question. Oh. Let's go, guys. I'm not, I'm not even there yet. No. Oh, I'm give me that done. XP. Give me, give me all that. Oh yes, I'm level 32. Not as, not as much. Wait, how much levels is everyone else on? I'm oh, hang on. We need to get the dragon egg. Did anyone bring a torch? Oh, uh, one. yeah. I think we should before we go to the end city, just make sure we get that back to the house because we really need it. Yeah, I've got a torch. All right, boys, ready? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get the no, dragon okay. egg. No, yeah, I'm just gonna one. grab the egg. Yes, I got go. it. All right, yeah. everyone, come here. I we all need this achievement. Really yeah. Hold the dragon egg. Yep. Yeah. Everyone, come here. Let's all pass it around. Get the achievement. Yeah. There you go. All right, guys, let's go. First attempt, we beat the Ender Dragon, and we're gonna go through the end portal. I'm not really gonna explore it too much because I have the egg on me, so I want to take the egg back home, make sure it's all safe, and then explore the end city, get the Elytra, and all of that good stuff. All right, so we have made it back to the overworld. We have made it back to our base, and as you can see in my hand, we have the dragon egg. So what I've come back to do is place the dragon egg here for now. It's it's not very exciting. Yep, it's it's just gonna be going on that li little stone slab right there, but. Soon we are actually going to be building something a lot better for the dragon egg. We'll probably build some sort of like massive monument. Just a little something so we can actually show off that we have defeated the ender dragon. But guys, now I've got to run all the way back to the end portal because we need to find the elytras and also some end city. We're going to head back over to the end portal. So guys, I'll see you when we are there. Here we are. So we've arrived back at the little kind of staircase that we have down to the end portal. We're going to go in it and we are going to start our adventure of going to get the elytras. Guys, I am literally a little bit scared because if I die... Look at everything I have on me. I have all my best stuff. So if we do end up not making it back, it's going to be a little bit of a rip. But, you know, we got to risk it to get the reward, which is, of course, the elytras and everything else that we can get in end cities. All right, so we've arrived back here. MD's dog. MD's dog is still chilling here. I don't know why it didn't come to the end with us. MD's dog just ended up not even coming to the end with us in the end. So here we go. Back in we go. All right. So we've got quite a few blocks to get ourselves through the end area so we can go over to, like, where end city should be. So I think we're just going to build off randomly. I think the others have gone in there. I don't know if any of them have elytras yet. Right, so I've just realized we don't have any ender pills to actually get in 
into the city, so we're just gonna have to like hit one of them or get one of them on us. What about? Okay, I don't know which one we should hit. Right, so I think we're just gonna hit this one. We just need to like get rid of him quick. Oh no, I think I've hit two by accident. Okay, I think we have two angry Endermen. Oh no, he's gone over there. Is he gonna take? Is he gonna die from my fire aspect? Okay, he's coming back. He's coming back. Come on. Yes. Is this one angry with me? No, nope, I think we're kind of chill. And that one didn't have any ender pearls. Great. Okay, let's do it again. Drop an ender pearl, please. Yes, it dropped one. All right, here we go. This is our escape into the end area. The worst thing that could happen right now is me getting hit off by enderman, but please say this works. I don't want to die. Wait. All right, so we've got another ender pearl. Let's hope that it actually works this time. I'm not going to crouch. Maybe it's because I was crouching. Oh, please work. Okay, this one worked. I always hate throwing the ender pearl through there because I'm always scared the ender pearl is just going to go through it and I'm just going to land in the void. I don't know which way they actually took. Um, there's one of their water buckets. Actually, I do have a spare one so I can collect that. Now, I just don't know which way to build. I'm kind of tempted to build over to those islands because in that way we're taking less of a risk. Okay, so I'm thinking about going this way. Uh, let's just get rid of torches. We literally don't need torches in here. Let's just organize our inventory a little bit before we do this. All right, I feel like this is enough blocks. I think we should just go this way or yeah, I think I'm just going to go this way because the islands are there. Okay, here we go. So let's just Go up and then across. This could take a while or we could get lucky and find an end city really close. So let's just go. Alright, Zetro is here to help us out. Let's go. So guys, it turns out Zetro already has a pair of elytras. So he's here to help me out get my own pair. So okay, that's one thing we're going to have to do as well is start up a enderman farm as well. Oh, there's an enderman after you. Oh, oh. <laughs> my god. <gasps> Alright, fly that way. Fly straight in a line that way. You want me to just fly this way and take it? <laughs> yeah, but do not, like, do not mess it up. Just stay, stay high up in the air and just only go forwards so you only know to come backwards, okay? Yeah, I know, I, I had to put that down oh in God, case this I... This is so scary, right? I know, because you can't run. see anything. Yeah, yeah, I... Oh my God, no, you should be good. Just throw it as far as you can. This is quite a big island. <gasps> I don't want to mess this up. Oh my, okay, no, that was fine. Okay, so Zetra's let's borrow his elytra, which have mending and unbreaking. So, obviously, we're going to go out to an end city. I'm going to find one. I'm going to take the elytra from that end city, come back to him, give him his elytras, and then I will also have my own then. So, this is just to speed things up a little bit by using his elytras that he did spend hours getting. So, obviously, we're going to give them back to him the way that he's given them to us. So, let's go. All right, so here we go. We found another island. Is there anything on this one? Maybe an end city? Let's keep going. we, we got to keep on going until we find an end city, and we got to make sure. we got to make sure that we don't die, because if we die, that would really suck and set us back to a very take us a very long time to get the stuff that we've got back because i've literally got all netherite max level i've got i've just got too much stuff on the line okay here we go so uh let's just continue just keep going in this straight line we're just gonna go in a straight line it's quite a decent sized island okay i don't think anything's here let's just keep going also i don't know what the durability is on these are looking like so oh oh okay let's go we found a ship end city Let's go, guys. We have found one. I got the achievement. Guys, as you can see, we've already found one. We didn't even have to go that far. All right, here we go. This is actually really good. All right, is there any shulkers in here? All right, what's in here? Instant health. Come on. It's unlooted. Oh, God. Here we go. We have found the elytras. Not even like 30 seconds in. It took us like a minute to find it. All right, let's look at the loot. Oh, diamond horse armor. <gasps> let's go. All right, let's just get rid of this stuff that we don't need. Let's get rid of like the eggs. Uh, let's get rid of leather. Cook pork chop. Get rid of the crafting table. We don't really need that. Get rid of a bucket that we don't have anything in. Half a stack of endstone. Get rid of the cobble. We're about to get the ele elytra. Boom! We've got it. Also, we've got mending back at home, so it's going to be really easy to put mending on. And also, we can get unbreaking. So, I think I'm just going to take this stuff, because why not? Uh, I don't really care about too much of this. Maybe take maybe take the protection leggings. Honestly, why not? I don't I don't really care about the iron tools. Uh, actually, I'm going to take that pork chop back. So, let's just loot around. We're going to loot the NC. Let's hope we can get some good stuff from it. All right, we need the dragon head. All right, let's just get rid of this guy real quick. <gasps> no, 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 no. Let's, let's maybe not do that. Let's maybe not do that. Our hunger's getting drained like crazy. Where's all this? Why, why are we needing to eat so much food? But we can take the dragon head. Uh, let's just put water down because I do not want to die from full damage. Water goes down. A little bit of blocks around the area. Okay, here we go. We're about to get the dragon head. Let's just get it. Wait, have I got any space for it? Yep, perfect space. Let's just grab that. Boom, we've got the dragon head. That'll be a very nice decoration back at the house, but now we need to fly over and loot this end city and then go back and give Zetro back his elytras. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Yeet. We're good. All right, let's just eat up our food. I did just shoot myself on fire with my own bow. This is very intense. The loot really isn't worth this, this elytra right now. I mean, I, I, I know I'm not going to die. Boom. All right, we got it. All right, here we go. Let's cover all this off. Let's get this chest. Let's just get rid of that thing real quick. Come on. There we go. It's dead. All right, let's just break the end chest. And also inside this chest, we got diamond boots. Oh, let's go. Uh, we're going to leave everything else in there. We're just going to go back. I'm pretty sure we've looted everything we need to do in this end city. Let's go back. Let's just get rid of this shulker. Oh, it just shot back at me. Oh, no. All right, let's just get rid of this one. I just want more shulkers. Please drop a shulker. Did that one drop one? No, I don't think it did. All right, so we've got five. Where are they? Five shulker shells. If we get one more, 
We are basically getting ourselves an extra shulker box. Yes, we got another shulker shell. Uh, let's just grab it. Head back in here. All right, Zetro, I'm coming back over right now. What are your cords? Oh, yes. I'm here. I'm here. I see you. Do you see me? Oh, my God. So now I'm getting fought. I think I'm, I think Mon's angry with me as well. Just build a thing like this above your head. F follow me. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're back with the elytras. I'll just follow you. I'll just follow you. I'll just follow you. Okay, follow me. I am. I am. I'm, li I'm literally following you. Don't, e don't even worry about it. Oh, no, it's this way. It's this way. Detour, it's all right, it's all right. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Oh, wait, this is the... Oh, this is the way, I think. I just can't wait to get mending and unbreaking on these bad boys. Oh, wait, this is... Yeah, look, there's builds here, so someone... Yeah, it's there, it's there, it's there. Oh, here we go. Let me get a good landing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not risking that, I'm building up. All right, is this, is, this, is this the actual... This is the actual end. Oh, okay, we're back. I can relax, I can chill out a little bit. Oh, that was so intense back there. I literally, so many times I literally got hit by those things. Oh my. Let's just get out the end already. But we gotta go back in the end very soon to build a massive Enderman farm. But guys, we've made it out. I have a fear of the end. I literally have a fear of the end right now. We can do it. We can finally make some shulker boxes. All right, let's do it. So I think to build them, I think we need three chests. And then I think you just put the shulkers on top of a normal chest. There it is. My, there are shulker boxes. That is one of my favorite things about completing the end is just getting the shulker boxes. I've got a really good idea. Do we have any dyes? Do we have any like flowers or anything in these chests okay we've got a rose what else what else do we have we've also got lapis so if we put the lapis in we will have uh red and blue dye okay here we go we're gonna have some nice colored shulker boxes there's a blue one and here is a red one boom all right so we've got some nice colored shulker boxes now now we have to get mending and unbreaking on my elytra so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head down to the xp farm in a second probably grind out some levels to get uh unbreaking on a book but i think for mending we can do that right this second so let's try and find where all of our sticks are just look at the amount of sticks we have we have so many all right let's just actually put the dragon head somewhere as well so i think we're gonna put the dragon head for now just in here so uh we're gonna put all the stuff here but obviously we are gonna be making something for these things real quick let's just put our armor back on so yeah as i said we are gonna be getting some really really awesome builds done to put the egg and both the head inside of inside of some type of like really really awesome build but let's just go ahead and get mending we got the sticks for now let's just put all of our shulker boxes up here we'll probably need to use these a little bit later on to like go on trips and adventures and stuff like that that's why i literally love having the elytra and shulker boxes so much because when you go out on like adventures not only can you just fly there really really quickly but you can also you can also store a bunch of stuff as well in your inventory so three shulker boxes is enough for now also maybe later or in an upcoming episode we're gonna work on a massive enderman xp farm so the end of the xp farm we have right now is really really good and it works very very well but we want to upgrade it to an enderman one so so maybe in this episode or one of the upcoming episodes we are going to be grinding out the enderman farm so let's just get all of our emeralds real quick so let's just grind out all these emeralds boom i think i think it was 11 or 10 for just one uh mending book let's have a little look oh, i just realized i'm forgetting a book okay it's only 10 emeralds but i need to go back to my base and get a book all right i put the elytras back on let's just go ahead and get a book real quick it's all the way back to my house just to get a book and then we'll go and enchant it all right let's just grab one of our books there we go all right let's head all the way back to get the mending i also just want to say guys thank you all so 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 much for all the support you guys have been leaving on the videos it really really means a lot to all of us so yeah so yeah we really all do appreciate it a lot guys so thank you all right here we go we made it all the way back to put the 10 emeralds in okay there's the mending book all right Boom, we got the mending. Let's go straight back to the base and put the mending on because trust me, el elytras take a lot of durability and they take it very fast. Mending is just one of those enchants that you just need on elytra. Like no matter what, you need to put mending. It only costs two levels. We should also try and think of a name for the elytras, but for now, let's just keep it as it is and let's go ahead and grind out some unbreaking books. But guys, just look how awesome this looks. We definitely need some sort of trophy room or some sort of like achievement room to make that look really cool. But yeah, as I said, let's get that unbreaking. We already do have over 30 levels right now anyway, so let's just see if we can just get lucky on our first enchant. All right, fortune three. Okay, we literally just got fortune three. That, that's not even too bad okay so to end this episode off i want to do one last enchantment on a book to see if we can get unbreaking and if we don't get unbreaking now hopefully we can get it at a later date so here we go guys we're about to enchant a book let's hope we can get something good come on sharpness three okay we just got sharpness three i already had that but you know it's not too big of a deal we can combine these together and maybe get sharpness four but guys so that is where we are going in this video hopefully you guys did enjoy us fighting the ender dragon but guys we have so much awesome stuff coming up in one of the upcoming episodes we are obviously going to be building an enderman xp farm so we, so we can take xp farms to a whole nother level and get, and get a bunch of xp by doing that but guys we have some awesome builds coming up we have so much stuff to look forward to but guys thank you all so much for the support recently that is where we are going in this video so guys thanks so much for watching and peace how far away is this thing oh oh my god don't oh my get god. hit no no, Zetro! Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. And as you can see here, Prod is wearing the Ender Dragon head. We did it. We've defeated the Ender Dragon. It is all destroyed. And Prod, move around a little bit for us. Show, show us the mouth opening and closing. There we go. Look at that. Wait, and uh, sh put it on the wall right there next to the, the redstone torch. Ooh, oh, looking pretty fresh. So, as I said in the last episode, guys, we are going to find a better place to kind of put this. But for now, Prod wants me to do a little favor. Now, Prod, what, what is this favor you want me to do right now? I would really, really appreciate it if you got me an Archer. 
Pro wants a lightra, but the problem is, obviously, he doesn't have a lightras, but I do. So what I'm going to do to start this episode off is going to head over to the end portal, go to the end city, get Prod his own elytra, maybe loot a bit of the end city as well, and maybe we can split the loot or something like that. That is actually how we're going to be starting today's episode. I'm going to be doing that for Prod. I'm going to head over to the end portal and get you your elytra. So guys, before we head to the end, we obviously need to more fireworks so we can actually fly around. I don't think 16 is going to be enough because I do not know where end city is going to be, so I need to find out where my gunpowder is. So yeah, that's something I want to do today, make some organized storage because I keep having to look through chests actually finding stuff and it's really hard to do it, so if if I can actually find out where gunpowder is. I don't think I have any, so... Oh, there's actually mobs down here. Alright, here we go. About to go into the end. Uh, I've got everything I need. Let's go. If, we get, if I get lucky again with NC, I'm gonna be happy with that. Oh, I found one. Is it being looted? Oh, it's... Uh... Has this been looted? I think I found a new one. Yeah, I've... Yeah, I found a new one. Already. What? That was really quick. No, that was That was actually really quick. Jeez. Alright, here we go. Guys, we've already got prod and a light chair, and we've literally been in the end for, like, not even... Again, not even 30 seconds. This happened last time. I found one so quick for you. I don't know if there's any chests in this one. I, I actually think this may be a very, very weird NC. Alright, guys, so there's no chests in this one. It's a really tiny NC, but luckily it did have an end ship, so we can give prod his elytra. But let's head back, and let's give him the elytra. Let's just get rid of some more shulkers, though. It's always good to have extra shulker boxes. <gasps> Can't let that thing hit me. Alright guys, that was a very successful end trip. And also, we will probably need to start on the end farm sooner or later. Um, I don't know if we'll do it in this episode or maybe in the next one. Who knows? But we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, I found I found the way back. That was really quickly. There are your elytras. Yes. yes. Let's go. I actually That was a, the easiest end city I've ever been to. It was the smallest thing and it had a ship on it as well. So, that I mean, it wasn't even hard to get it. So, Oh, also, let's check up on Pumpkin. Is he is he doing good? Can he actually grow up to be a full-size villager? Imagine we just come here one day and he's just this full-size villager. <laughs> Alright, so it has been a very, very good start to today's episode. We've got Prodis Elytras and now we're going to start doing a little bit of a build. Now, guys, as I said, one thing we really need to get done is the wither. We need a beacon around the area so we can mine really, really quickly. So, that is something that we're probably going to... That is something we're probably going to prepare for in today's episode and maybe fight in one of the upcoming episodes. But, guys, for today's episode, I think this wall here, break this wall out here, head down some steps, and maybe make a massive storage room. And when I say a massive storage room, I mean a massive storage room. I want to make it so we literally never ever run out of space in a storage room. So I'm probably going to end up making like a little thing down there. I may turn this down here into a strip mine, but I kind of want to make like a new room for it because I think that would be really good. I feel like because we destroyed the Ender Dragon, maybe we should do some building in this episode and then, and then also start preparing for the wither. So, guys, also, I haven't named my dog yet still. So if you guys want to leave any suggestions down below in the comments of what we should call him, that would really mean a lot. And I also really quickly want to say thank you guys so much for all the nice comments. It really, really means a lot to all of us, and just thank you guys so much. So we have a very, very exciting episode ahead of us. Alright guys, so right now, MD has been working on a little secret project that, I mean, I haven't seen yet in product. I think you have seen, like, a little bit of it, maybe? Yeah, the, not, not the finished product. Not the finished product, but guys, I literally have no idea, and MD has been on the server literally all day making this. He's on right now, and we're gonna go fly over to it. Prod's gonna leave me there, and we're gonna go see what it is. Alright, so Prod, I'll follow you. Know you. How far away is this thing? Oh, oh my god. Oh... <laughs> Oh, oh my god, MD, what? <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god, we can actually go inside. Jesus. This is huge. Oh my god, I did not expect it to be this. I, I thought you were, when you said you were building something, I thought like maybe a castle or something, honestly. Jesus. Look at how dark it is up there. This is so cool. Guys, MD. I cannot tell you how long he's been oh. doing this. He's literally done it all day. I honestly just can't even believe it. Like, I don't even know how long this must have taken him. Well, I mean, I know he's been doing it all day, but this is honestly crazy. I've got a really good angle of it right here. This is, it's just so random. It, it just is so random. I don't even know what to say. All right, guys, so I've got a really good idea of something I want to do, and I feel like it's going to benefit all of us. As I mean, it's something that's going to be pretty useful. So what it is that I want to do is a iron farm. That's pretty much what I want to do. I'm going to start collecting a few materials for it. I know that you don't need too many materials, but I know that it's really, 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 really really difficult to get the villagers in the positions you need them. So it's going to take a little bit of time to actually do, not in terms of building it, just in terms of getting everything prepared for it. So I'm going to get it all ready, and I'm also going to ask Prod for some of his help as well, and hopefully we should have a working iron farm by the end of this episode. So let's just get right to it. So guys, we're going to head over to Prod's villager farm, or village area he's been working on. I haven't showed you guys yet, but this is it. So inside, he's put a bunch of like villagers walking around, just to kind of make it look quite nice. Down here, we've obviously got the, um, the mending villager. Oh! There's a little baby villager down here. So yeah, and then this is our mending villager, and I think this is our, um, yeah, this is our stick to emerald villager. So we got all like the important villagers down here. So yeah, there's a bunch of farmers out here. Then inside of this little bit, I think, yep, is a little kind of library. So looks really, really cool. So what we're gonna do is probably gonna need to borrow a few villagers from out here and use them for our iron farm. So guys, we're gonna get to work on this iron farm. We'll probably build it, maybe, maybe around here somewhere. 
but let's get to work. We're gonna build the iron golem farm literally right behind Prod's village area, just so it's easy to transport the villagers here. So I've got all the materials, Prod's got some materials as well, and we're gonna build it here. It's, it's, it's kind of like an easy, simple iron farm to make, and it will be very, hopefully, it'll be very efficient. Hopefully it'll be very efficient. So let's just get to work on that, and uh, I'll update you guys along the way. All right, push him over, get him in the minecart. Objective one, can we even do this? All right, I'll, I'll help. Come on. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, all right, is he up? All right, he is. Don't, don't break his thing until these minecarts in there. Just broke it. Joking. Wait, should we push him in? Wait, are we pushing him in there? Give him a little push. Give him a little push. Go on. Yes. Yeah. All right, we got him in. Uh, that, that, that's fine. That's fine. Yes, we did it. We did it. They're all in. Okay, it's actually working. This took so long, but it worked. All right, now it should go down into the hopper. Okay, so as you can see, it's all working perfectly. So what will happen eventually is all of his iron should start coming down these hoppers into the chest. And as you can see, we actually already do have a bunch of iron already from where this has been working. It actually worked really, really well. A few little adjustments, and it has been doing its job. So let me show you guys how it worked in case you maybe want to build this yourself or something like that. So, okay, so I've built up so I can show you guys. So as you can see, another one is literally just spawned as we've come up here. So the way it works is that we've the reason we have buttons up here is so none of the iron golems accidentally spawn on the edge here so they're always spawn inside of there so pretty much all of his iron will actually go down into that hopper right there it will go down and sort itself out into the chest but the way this is actually working we have this little kind of area which the iron golems actually spawn we have a little lava area there so the iron golem will get pushed and then get hit by the lava so if we go down a little bit more you can see here that we do have a zombie and this zombie has actually got a name tag on it so it won't despawn so as you guys can see it's got the name tag zombie so what's actually happening is all of these villagers are getting scared of the zombie because the zombie's right there and that will actually cause an iron golem to spawn which has just happened again it's actually working really really well so so pretty much we have the villagers beds right here we have their little workstation so there's a workstation right there behind the bed there's also one here and then also one right there and then this is all covered in carpet and everything like that there's carpet here so obviously the iron golem doesn't spawn there's a bunch of hoppers leading it down into the chest area this isn't the best looking build which is why we've done it over here and oh no i think it's malfunctioned a little bit so i don't know why that's happened for some reason the iron golem just spawned down there let's just try and get rid of him to be honest it's been working fine i don't know why it's doing this right now i think we need to cover the floor all in like slabs and buttons so it definitely does spawn there so yeah i think we need to go around and put buttons all over the floor or like slabs or carpet so the golem actually does keep on spawning in there so yeah so because of that we're probably gonna have to fix it up a little bit more so yeah the way it actually works the zombies in the cauldron right there it took not that long to get the zombies and villagers in place so i'm actually pretty impressed that it didn't actually take too long okay yes it's working again so yeah it's just a really really basic uh and easy iron golem farm and it's just a way for us to get iron pretty quickly so it's just a few beds a workstation and a zombie there with a name tag on it in a cauldron so it's not going anywhere and yeah as you can see it's working pretty well we've got a bunch of iron already so in the future we're probably going to make a much larger one than this this is just what we're going to use for now. We might actually decorate it, make, a, make it look a little bit nicer at least. But for now, that is what we're going to go with. Just this little small one right here. Now, guys, I think it's about time we make a storage room. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's just head right back into the house now. I kind of already know what I want this storage room to be. I want it to be a storage room slash kind of slime farm area where we can get slime chunks. As you can see right here, I've already mined a little staircase out to kind of go down. And we're just going to get to work on making a little storage room. So yeah, the reason this is going to be a bit more of a building episode is seeing as we just did defeat the Ender Dragon in the last episode, I kind of want to do something. I kind of want to get some stuff actually done. But saying that, I think in the next episode we're probably going to be fighting the wither and in an upcoming episode we're probably going to be doing the ocean monument so we do have a lot of action packed stuff coming i just think we need to get some stuff done to make our world look a little bit better but also i definitely do want to go to the nether go to a fortress and get some wither heads ready for the next episode but guys let's just get this storage room done then explore the nether and get some wither heads and then next episode we should be fighting the wither so guys i'm pretty excited all right so after hours of hard work i have finally got it to a position where i want to show it to you guys so basically it's not finished at all i've literally been gathering all the materials for it so eventually it will be at a point where it's finished but for now guys let me show you what it looks like now honestly i'm not sure what i think about the blue glass combination i kind of want to make this look really really good and spend a lot of time on it so as you'll be able to see this kind of glowstone and blue kind of stained glass i don't i don't really know if i like it so i kind of want to get rid of that but this is basically what it is for now obviously we're going to extend it make it into like a slime chunk farm area but this is kind of the massive storage area that i've been working on so it's nowhere near finished i just want to say it. i'm probably going to get rid of all this trust me it may not look too good right now but guys this will be hopefully looking really really good over the next few episodes to be honest it's turned into like a bit of an XP farm because the amount of mobs that spawn down here is just absolutely crazy but hopefully the slabs will help out with that so we are going to be working on this over the next few episodes. Right now I think me and Zetro are going to head over to the nether and try and find some of the last few wither skeleton heads that we need to be able to take on the wither for the next episode. As I said in the next episode I do want to fight the wither and get a beacon on the go but guys for now that is the little storage area we've got down there. It's going to look way better. Got all the shulker boxes just filled with all the equipment we need to you know carry on with this build but let's head over to the nether and let's get to work on getting those wither heads. So guys let's go. Okay guys so obviously when we fight the wither we are going to want everyone online and we're all going to do the battle together but me and Zetro are going to go into the nether right now and we're basically going to go and hunt for a few wither heads and see if we can get any see if we can get any luck see if we can get any wither heads and then so I'm pretty sure prod already has one wither head so me and Zetro are going to try and get the other two and then hopefully in the next episode we will be fighting the wither so let's go ahead and get into the nether and let's see if we can find the nether fortress and try our luck against any withers so let's just get into it where is it do you know where it is should we just fly around 
I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where it is. I just remember me and Prod found one. Actually, no, I think. <laughs> okay, then, never mind. Follow me, follow me. Are you following? <laughs> yeah, I'm following you. I think it was to our right. Alright, all right, follow me. This is so risky. Alright, you following me? Yeah, I'm actually right, right behind you. Let's go, let's go. Should we risk it? Are we risking this? I wait, wait, know, okay. Really All right, we're, we're gonna have to do it. If we, if we want to find check, it... Check the health of your elytra. Is it good? Yeah, it's very good. It's very I good. All right. It's not this way. It's not this way. Are you it sure? This... No, yeah. Oh, wait, there's magma way. cube stuff. Oh, oh wait, it. no, I found it. I found it. Yeah, we found it. Is All right. It? Awesome. All right, let's see if we can find any withers. All right, are you ready? Oh, okay, this is my first time being at one. Okay, this is a different one, I think. All right, don't hit the pigment. Do not hit the pigment. If, if it's unlooted, then we should find some good loot. And also... Bear in mind, we're here for with it. Oh, don't go down there. Don't go down there. Okay, okay yeah, let's, let's not go that way. Wait, look at the amount of magma cubes. That. I'm That's not crazy. Just, if a blaze comes up behind us, just... This is way more scary. Oh, I hear... Oh, what? What? Come here. Look around that... Look! Oh, my God! There's okay. like seven of them. Do you have your looting sword? Oh, my... Yeah. Do you feel oh confident in taking these? All right, get rid of that blaze up top. Get rid of there, 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 there. How, how many, many are there? All right, so he's, he's only got looting two on this one, guys. So it might not be as lucky oh. with with the drops. I don't I don't know. I, I think we're good. They can't touch us. Why are there so many? Have they increased the spawn rates in updates or something? That's, that's actually insane. How many there are? Yeah, there's actually a load. All right. I mean, if we don't get Witherhead from all of this, this is going to be crazy. There's so many. All right, let me get rid of this one. Come on, this one's got to drop the Witherhead. Come on. Did we get one? No. All right, where do you want to explore? Do you want to go down here? I feel I have a feeling I this is going to be good. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's just bow this out. Get rid of that blaze. Don't oh get hit. No! No! Zetro! Oh my, no! Wait, let me go back up. Maybe some of your stuff might have no, been alright. No, I was in a one block of lava with four walls around me. No! Oh, get out of there, mate. Honestly, get out. We need these witherheads, though. We I need know, these witherheads. Think... I've got. I'm gonna stay here and get and oh. see if I can try my luck against these withers. How did Prod already get a witherhead? And we've been here. We, we've easily killed. He literally got one from the first one he killed. Give us the looting luck, please. No. Wait. <gasps> yes. Yes, we got one. We've got one. We've got a witherhead. All right. Come on. If we get double the luck here, we we could get lucky again. Guys, we did it. We've got one witherhead. We are a step closer to fighting the wither for the next episode. Oh my. That took so long. There's so much. Oh no! I'm on fire. One? I got one. I got one. Oh, is that what that achievement was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one. We did it. Okay, so we're down to our last piece of food. So if we don't find one by the time I lose a bit of hunger, we're probably gonna head back. Guys, we're down to our last piece of food. So we're gonna head back, put the elytras on. Um, but at least we are all ready to fight the wither for the next episode. Because all we need to do is probably get... We only need to get one more wither skeleton skull, which we can do definitely before the next episode. I don't like using my elytra in the nether. That is for sure. That is for sure. Okay, now I think... Where have we got to go? I think the way back is up there, maybe? Yes, okay, I see builds. I think I might, I may make it back successfully here. Okay, guys, I found the portal. It is right here. We have made it out. Okay, hopefully this has spiced up the episode a little bit for you guys going to the nether. Unfortunately, Zetro, we'll have to get your elytra back at a different time, man. All right, let's go ahead and get some food. And, guys, we are all ready for the wither fight next episode. Hopefully you guys are excited. I know I am because beacons. Beacons for me, I, re I really like using beacons. So I'll be happy to get a beacon finally in the server. But let's just get some food. All right, for now, let's put the wither skull inside of this chest. And we will be using it in the next episode. So Prod has a Wither Skull. I have a Wither Skull. We'll see if anyone else has a Wither Skull, like MD. He might have one. But if not, we'll go ahead and get that and we'll be ready to fight the Wither. Alright guys, so thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to join us in the next episode for when we do take on the Wither. But Zetro, we also got to get back all of his loot. I'm going to help him do that. And, and apart from that, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And peace. Any last words before we spawn this in? Oh, Just no. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't have any bucket of water as well, so... <gasps> Hey guys, it's Fru and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. Now we are all here inside of my house. MD looking pretty fresh with the Ender Dragon head on, I must say. But guys, as you heard us say in the last episode, today is the day we fight. A little, little tease there on Prod's head. We are going to be fighting the Wither today. But guys, speaking of the last episode, I actually asked you what we should call this dog. So yeah, guys, in this episode, we are going to be naming the dog one of your guys' comments that you suggested in the last video. So guys, let's start off the episode by getting all of the stuff ready. And by the way, where are we going to be fighting this Wither? I was thinking, like, uh, we'll just... You know, I don't care that should do. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let me go ahead and grab the wither head. I think I have it in one of these chests. Alright, I got it. Have you got the soul sand prod or do you want me to bring that over? No, I've got four, don't worry. Okay, so has everyone got everything that they need? Are we all equipped and ready to fight the wither? I guess. I think okay. So. Should we just run as far away as possible or are we doing it in the nether? Where are we saying to fight this wither? Not in the nether. I say I think you should just do it like somewhere around here. It flies, but not only does it fly, it literally just destroys everything it's around. So I wanna do it like should we just do it here? This is far this is far enough away, yeah. I'd say. I think this is fine. We're going to be fighting it at night as well, so not only do we have the wither to worry about, we have these flying things around us as well. If, if we kill it quick enough, it might not do as much just damage. Alright, are we, are, we, are we doing it? One. Oh. Two. Are you ready? The final one. I'm scared, I'm scared. 
no. Any last words before we spawn this in? Just do it. I'm scared. <laughs> Yeet. Oh, oh, no. oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Quick. Yo, go, 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 go. Oh no. It's traveling too far. I'm scared about this. Okay, this is a bad idea. I need to run. run. I just realized I don't have my chest plate on. Why is it only going for me? There's three other people you could be going for with her. Okay, oh, no. almost half. Almost half HP. Almost. Oh my god, look okay. at the amount of damage she's done. Why is it only me? There's so many. Come on, boys, please. Okay, okay. It's only going for me. I, I, I don't know what I've done to deserve this personally. Oh no. Oh no, there's a creeper here as well. Can guys, we guys, what is it doing? Go, can, can we get this over with? Can we get this over with? This is, I just want the beacon. I just want the, I'm, I'm fighting this in third person right now. I'm an epic gamer. Oh my god. That was so stressful. Where's the star? Did it even drop it? I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Oh, oh thank god, god for that. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Here it is. I, I would have thought you got an achievement for actually getting it, but no. Yeah, yeah. But here we go, we've got it guys, we've got the nether star. So should we make a beacon? In the future, I want to make a netherite beacon. Just just for the flex, honestly. Oh, so, so can you, you do diamond? Do you yeah, do you, you can, diamond? You can do diamonds. Alright guys, so it turns out I have all the stuff here to make the beacon. We're gonna make it, and I think for now, we're just probably gonna go with like a medium-sized type beacon, and then in the future, as I said guys, I, I'm gonna dedicate myself to get the netherite beacon, okay? It's gonna be a flex if we get it done, because I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like one of the hardest things you can possibly do in this game. I mean, honestly, I don't know if it is that hard to do, but I mean, it's just something I really want to do. But for now, I think this is what they're building. I might have to get some my iron blocks. I just want to say, guys, it was a, it was a great with a fight that we did right there. I mean, it, it did kind of target me the whole time, but you know, it was worth it. All right, here we go. Let there be the beacon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was really, that, that took a while to actually work. But there we go. Bring home the beacon. All right, so there we go, guys. We got the beacon all up and running. The wither fight was honestly, it, it, it wasn't as hard as I expected it. It was just a little bit annoying that it was literally targeted, <laughs> targeted me the whole entire time. But yeah. Wait, so Tetra, while we're here, do you want me to go and get you uh, some elytras? Yes. All right, guys, so we're with Prod right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to head to the end and we are going to get Zetro his elytra back. Because if you guys remember last episode, go back and watch it if you haven't already. But basically, Zetro died in the nether, lost all of his stuff because it all burnt in lava. So we are going to go on a little adventure to get his elytra back because you need elytra at this point all right we need elytra we've all got elytra so we're gonna go ahead to the end and we're gonna go get his elytra so let's go ahead and do it all right so we've made it to the end portal are you ready to go in have you got everything you need are we are we all good yeah, all right so. let's go so guys here we are we are back in the end this is another time we're gonna get someone elytra this is i think i think i got you elytras in the last episode right yeah you did all right, here we are. We're back in the end. All right, so I don't know what direction to go. Uh, I think we should just go... All right, guys, and quickly while we're flying to try and find NC, I just want to say thank you guys literally all so much for the support on the series. It's been absolutely crazy. In fact, we literally just hit 10,000 subscribers. So thank you guys all so much. We all really appreciate it. Like, we all read all the comments, and they're just so nice. So thank you guys. I'm just going to keep I'm just gonna keep going. I, I literally have no idea where I'm going. Oh, no. I, there's nothing around me. I, I, don't, I don't trust this. I do not trust this. If I run out of rockets right now, it's not going to be a good day. It's not going to be a good day at all. I don't know about you, but I'm just fire. I'm just using a firework, aiming straight up and just trying to not go full speed. So, I'd, oh no, I thought my elytras just stopped working there. All right, this is the longest I've searched. I got, I've got lucky too many times with NCs and now it's just finally, it's, it's just finally. The, oh wait, ah, prod, as I talk about that, I've literally just found one. Nice. Oh, I don't think it has a ship. Yeah, it doesn't have a ship. Should I loot it? Nah, I probably shouldn't, should I? It's probably too risky. I don't think we're getting lucky here, honestly. I, I cannot seem to find anything with a ship. There's like, there's there's an island here. Please, just be at end city here. Just come on. Give us the luck. If there's an end city right now, that would be great. Hopefully you get lucky. Oh, yes! Yes, I got one! I got one! Oh, okay. I don't know whether to waste a firework. Okay, I'm gonna waste- Oh my god, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty huge one as well, compared to normal. I don't have any bucket of water as well, so... <gasps> Prod! Oh, oh my god. My elytra just stopped working. I tried clicking space and everything. All of the idea. elytra, everything. And there's no way I can get the quads. I can get all my stuff back. I know that. I can get I can get all my stuff back. It's fine. Oh, wow. There it is. Respawn. We're back. We got to get all of our netherite stuff back. We got to get it all back. Everything. I mean, I've got diamonds and stuff, so it's not the end of the world. But guys, how has that just happened to us? I literally clicked space as well. Like, the elytra just didn't want to work. I don't know if it was like... I don't even know what it was. Was it Was it lag? I, I, I literally have no idea. I'll work on getting my stuff back. No problem. But I actually think I might make a animal farm right now. All right, so I guess we've got to remake all of our stuff. We've got to go through, make all of our diamond armor again. But don't worry, guys. You know, I'm going to be able to get all my stuff back. Don't even worry about it. I mean, to be honest, I think the main stuff I had was my pickaxe. And I mean, everything else was pretty easy to get back. So, I mean, I'm not really worried about that. But it is just a shame. That is the way 
way we had to lose all of our stuff, man. Literally just by the elytra's malfunctioning right there. Honestly, I can't even believe it. But for now, we're going to go down, try and level back up to level 30. Go to the nether, get some netherite stuff. And, and get on the way back to getting our pickaxe. Because our pickaxe we had was literally insane. But guys, in the rest of this episode, what I want to do is I want to build a animal farm. The reason I want to build some type of barn is just because... I mean, all I've been eating is literally just potatoes. So I definitely want to try and get a new food source by making some sort of barn outside of my house. Um, I, I want to get rid of the old farm I have and then replace it with some type of barn. And then what I also want to do is name the dog. In fact, I think we have the name tag right now. So while, while we're waiting for some of these skeletons to spawn, I'm actually going to go ahead and name the dog. Now I, now, I already do have a name for the dog. So thank you guys for all the suggestions in the comments of dog names. But I have found one which I really, really like. So we are going to name the dog right now. So shout out to the person on the screen right now for submitting the name Spike. I don't know why. I just, re I just really, really like the name Spike. So we are going to call our dog Spike. I don't know why. I think this name is just really awesome. So thank you guys all so much for the dog suggestions. Also, really quickly, if you guys want to leave even more dog name suggestions down below in the comments, who knows? We'll probably get another dog very, very soon. But guys, let's go ahead and name him Spike. I don't know why I really like the name. I just saw the comment and thought, you know what? That is a pretty cool dog name. So I need food real quick. Do we not have a single piece of food? Okay, there we go. We got some food. All right, let's go up to our dog right now and let's name him Spike. Let's see if he likes the name. All right, here he is. Here is Spike. All right, let's give him his name. Boom. There it is. There is Spike. I hope, I hope you guys like the name as well. I just think it's really, really awesome. So there is our dog Spike. Thank you guys all so much again for all the dog name suggestions, but we're going to go with Spike. So there you go, Spike. You got a name tag now. So uh, how does it feel? Okay, interesting. Okay, so I'm pretty sure in one of these chests, I have a pickaxe which has an enchant on it. Yeah, here it is. So I got the efficiency three, I'm breaking three pickaxe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to level 30 and then I'm going to keep enchanting pickaxes over and over again until I get a good enchant and then use this pickaxe here to go ahead and get some netherite. I think we're only going to need literally like four pieces to get one ingot and then we can go ahead and get our netherite pickaxe back. So guys, let's go ahead and do that. And then after we've done that, I'm pretty sure we're going to make a barn. So yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the max amount of skeletons to spawn and we're hopefully going to be able to get level 30 by just getting rid of all these. Now that should bring us over level 30 actually. Oh, my. All right, so now that we're over level 30, let's go ahead and try and enchant our pickaxe. For some reason, it's got a bit of damage missing. I might have hit one of the skeletons with it or something. All right, so here we go. Let's take a little bit of lapis. Come on, be good. Be good for the first one. I would... Uh Okay, uh, I'm breaking three, fortune two. I mean, it's not the best, but I mean, I'll take it for now. But guys, something I want to do in an upcoming episode is just build an armory filled with a bunch of armor, a bunch of the best tools, a bunch of really good swords. And I just want to be able to go there whenever I want and just get absolutely stacked with the best loot. So maybe, so maybe that's something we can work on for the next episode. All right, so I've made two more pickaxes and I've also resupplied on a bunch of lapis right now for this chest. So let's just fill up as much as we can. Uh, I think we're going to be able to fill up quite a lot. All right, so back to level 30. Let's give it another go. Come on, give us something good this time. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay, I'm- Okay, that really isn't that bad. If I actually go into my chest, I might have another pickaxe which I could combine with these and maybe get a better one. Okay, so yeah, I actually had a bunch of broken pickaxes laying around, so if we do this correctly, we should be able to actually get a really good pickaxe here, so maybe- So if we get that and then add it to the fortune, uh, do we not have enough levels for that? Okay, yeah, we do. So then we'll get unbreaking three, fortune two, and then efficiency, and then efficiency four. So then what I'm gonna do is- So if we use some of the books we have in the enchantment room, we should eventually be able to get, obviously, fortune three. Now, I think what I'm gonna do now is go with MD and head down to the nether and try and get some Nether right back. Okay, guys, so me and MD are about to go into the nether, and I need to get this pickaxe, I believe, here to turn to netherite, and then I will obviously get the fortune three at a different time. So let's just go in, see if we can get sure. any luck with the netherite. If we can, that'd be great. And if we can't, then that would suck because we've literally mined out so much of the nether already. But okay, all right, the... oh, we right. need to find where the mine is. Oh, yeah, it's literally right here. All right, so this is where we're going to mine for netherite. Apparently, the best way to get netherite is by using TNT. That's probably true. Because it, it but, doesn't explode when you um, TNT yeah. it. So, although I did lose my stuff, before the next episode, I'm definitely going to get all uh, the stuff back. I'm probably going to try and get an elytra again, get all my netherite armor back. And hopefully I should have that by the next episode. But honestly, the next episode is going to be a good one. So make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that. Oh, yes, I found some. Found some nice. Yes, please be more than one. Oh, it was, it was literally just one. That was such a oh, troll. I, I thought I was going to get lucky on the too. jackpot right there and just get loads of it, but no, just just the one piece. Yeah, I'm definitely going to bring TNT next time I do this. Oh! I just got lucky. I got another piece. Nice. It's just one by itself again, though, but I don't mind. Um, there's lava above me as well. Oh, <gasps> God. I just got another piece. Literally, nice. straight after that other piece. All right. It, again, it was just another one by itself. All right, one more, and then we can get our netherite pickaxe back. I literally need one more piece. One more piece is all we're looking for here. Oh, as I say that, I literally found a piece. Is it just one by itself? Right. Come on. Maybe, maybe lucky with the two? No. Nope. I always mine around it just to double check, but I don't yeah, usually get lucky by doing that. We should honestly, we, we should think about turning the nether into being something a little bit better. Have you seen the absolute just build everywhere we should make like a really nice nether like a nice base or something like that i don't know yeah just just something that looks better than this like we're just cobblestone everywhere but guys yeah. we're heading back to the overworld gotta turn my pickaxe into a netherite pickaxe and then i'm probably gonna start on a barn okay here we go four pieces of netherite scrap boom boom there it is netherite pickaxe back okay 
Let's start on this barn. Guys, we did it. We have got the beginning Ow. of our barn. Okay, guys, so we have made the barn. We got the sheep over here. We got three sheep over there, which we're going to start breeding. And then over here, we've got two cows, which we're going to start breeding. And hopefully, it will just turn into a massive animal farm. And I'll have and then I'll have unlimited supply of food. But, guys, that is basically the start of the barn. It's, to be honest, it's nothing special, but I think it's quite simplistic. I mean, we've got some lanterns up here. we got the little sheep hanging out in there. we got the cows. I think it's really, really nice, and it doesn't take up too much space. We can kind of just walk throughout it. And, yeah, so I think it's really, really cool. So, guys, something me and the other guys are planning on doing is doing a massive trophy room or just somewhere where we can kind of show off that we defeated the ender dragon and just a place to put all of our achievements so we're probably going to team up in an upcoming episode and make a massive build but apart from that guys i think that's where we are going to end this episode so guys thank you all so much for watching and make sure you do not miss out on the next episode guys because the next one is going to be absolutely insane so guys thank you all so much for the support recently and apart from that guys Peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. So as you can see, me and Zetro are over here at the beacon, and you may be able to see that I have my red shulk box on me. Now, before we get into what we're going to be doing in today's episode, as you guys remember, something really, really sad happened last episode, and I lost all of my stuff, including all of my netherite armor, and more importantly, my elytra. Now, I do have a mending book back at my base. What I have done, guys, is after hours of hard work, we have got ourselves some elytra but guys something really weird that actually happened while i was getting this elytra i'm just gonna play it right now this happened okay so i was literally using prod's elytra to come out here and find the end ship and literally look at the loot we've got we've got a protection four and breaking three chest plate an efficiency four fortune three and breaking three diamond pickaxe and of course the elytra this is a very lucky end city to say the least so yeah as you guys just saw right there i got very very lucky with my chests i actually ended up getting this protection piece of armor which in this episode i'm definitely going to be turning that into a netherite piece of armor same with this pickaxe here this is going to be turned into netherite and i'm also going to be putting mending on it as well and then obviously we're going to be getting some netherite to put in all of our tools but today we're going to be starting the episode with a bit of a build so zetro i mean just messing around with the scaffolding right here it seems but <laughs> what we're actually going to be doing guys is we are going to be making a bit of a trophy room now i did talk about this in the last episode but we're going to be making like a really nice modern trophy room here so this space is very very clear so what we're thinking about doing is putting a trophy room as i said here and it's just going to be it's just going to be a nice little modern build so yeah not only are we going to be building the trophy room right here in this space we are also going to be taking the beacon and kind of putting it underground so the beam of light that comes from the beacon will sort of be coming up through the middle of the trophy room if that makes sense so me and Zetra are going to get to work with that to start this episode so guys let's just get right into it all right so let's just get rid of the beacon and then we'll obviously move this later on Alright guys, so as you can see, we have actually been making quite a little bit of progress, so we set the beacon up all underground right there, and right now we're just working on actually turning it into an actual building, so the plan is, is to make all of this bit up here link to that part over there, and make up here like a bit of an armory, and also a trophy room, so we're gonna have all of our like dragon eggs, the dragon head, maybe some wither heads, and then a bunch of armor, a bunch of swords and stuff like that to kind of show off all of our armor, so yeah, let's just get this finished. Okay, so for this build, we want to use diamond blocks, but the thing is, is that that requires diamonds, which means I'm gonna have to break into my diamond collection to make seven diamond blocks to make this possible so i guess let's just get it done it's for, it's for the build zetro <laughs> after making the seven diamond blocks guess how many diamonds i've got left i've got 28 left i had like yeah. over a stack of diamonds all right so me and zetro have made it to the nether because we realized that we don't have any materials for the rest of this build in terms of um quartz like we need literally loads of quartz to get this build done so we've made a very dangerous trip to the nether with all of my building blocks on us just so we can try and quickly get as much quartz as we can and how much have you got on you over two stacks Oh, that's a good start. Say we need about four stacks and yeah, because this the majority of the build is made out of quartz So we need to get a bunch of that and there is like five of these things on me. Jeez. Move. We've hit the jackpot We've literally hit the jackpot with quartz. We're getting so much. Whoa. Okay. I'm running out of inventory room here This is what four stacks of quartz looks like. Zetro had his silk touch pickaxe and I'm about to mine it all with my fortune So let's just go through and see how much we get Hopefully this is enough to finish off the build but the build I didn't really know what the design was going into it I kind of just built something and then it just it just kind of turned out like how it's turned out right now But I, I like it. Yeah, and especially that if we do an enchanting room, I think that looks sick yeah, we're gonna put an enchantment room in there. We're gonna completely customize the interior. I'm so like lucky I found this pickaxe as well. This this pickaxe was literally from the end chest. Like I I literally that's probably the luckiest end chest I've ever found. The amount of levels I'm getting is crazy. I've literally got up so much levels. I can't even remember what level I was before. So I think I honestly think this is gonna get me like nearly level 30. Maybe I'm gonna guess 27. All right, we've done. We've come out of the Nether with this. I don't know how long it took us in here. Maybe like 20 minutes of mining for quartz, and we found like. Two and a half stacks. Even less, like 15. Yeah, we're literally in here for 15 minutes, so let's get back and finish off this build. I just want to make it out here with all of the quartz. We have so much. We have, we have too much at risk here. Wait, wait. Zedro! Zedro! What is what? this? Look! 
He's got a little sword as well. Okay, so as soon as you go in the build, the first thing you're gonna see right here in the center is obviously the enchantment room. And I want everything to kind of look like in place and all the blocks kind of match it. So as you guys can see with the bookshelves, we're pretty much gonna make this room out of planks to kind of match where the bookshelves are. Obviously the bookshelves are kind of made out of planks. As you can see, they got like the plank texture. So we want that to match really well. And then, and then when you go upstairs, you can either go up that way or that way. It's pretty much gonna be like a little area here where we'll probably have some armor, swords and stuff like that. And then up here above the enchantment room, I'm gonna make this look a little bit better and then also connect it down here as well. So it's gonna be very symmetrical. And, and I mean, also just take a look at that. It actually looks really, really nice. It looks like a really modern build. In fact, guys, comment down below any names we should name this. If you guys have any good ideas of what we should call this kind of enchantment slash trophy room, let us know down below in the comments. And what we'll do is we'll actually put a sign right there with the person who left the comment and also the name that they want us to call this building. So guys, whoever can come up with the best name for this building, we'll actually, we'll actually put a sign dedicated to you right here on this block. So then you will always have a part of our world. Also, as a lot of you guys may be able to tell, all of us on the server have been doing a lot more building recently. I know the others have been working on some building projects as well. And then obviously me and Zetro have been working on this one. So to be honest, we've actually been doing a lot of building recently. So, so also, if you guys have any suggestions of stuff you want us to build, let us know in the comments as well, guys. We're always open to build loads of cool stuff on this server. So do let us know. So I'm just going through right now, adding some of the finishing touches, adding a few details here and there. And then I'll basically show you guys all of it. Okay, so the build is basically finished. And we've got Prod here who hasn't actually seen it apart from this front area right here. So we're going to give him a little tour around it. And then obviously Zetro helped me build this and get all the materials for it. So, so Prod, what this basically is, is a trophy room slash armory. And now the reason I say it's basically finished is because things like the wither head and stuff like that, we're going to need another spare wither head to put in here, which we don't actually have yet. And also there's going to be like armor stands and stuff like that, which we need to fill up. But this is the front of it. So Prod, what are your first impressions for when you uh, walk up to this thing, man? It looks modern. I like it. It's, it's a very, very modern look. Looks pretty fresh. All right, let's, let's head inside. So straight down the middle here, we got the enchantment room. I am, I accidentally broke a bookshelf. So that is why the, uh, the bookshelf's missing. But you know, when, it, when it's there, it will look good. Um, there's two ways you can get up to the top. You can get up the left side or the right side. If you get up the left side, as you can see, we got some armor right here. We got some, we got some swords and all of these are going to be enchanted eventually. So this is going to be like our armory, somewhere to store all of our weapons. And up here, we have got the start of the trophy room. Eventually, I kind of want to dig down and go like down a bit and extend it to make it a bit bigger. But seeing as we've literally only got like two bosses killed, we haven't done like anything like the ocean monument. This is the end showcase. So, uh, nice. I like it. So it's a little bit small, not too much space. But as I said, when we do fight, when we do get another wither head, we're going to go down and extend it a little bit more. But for now, I honestly think this is one of the best builds that we We've got it, it's just so nice I, I think it's very modern i made a bunch of blue glass like a few episodes ago and didn't actually get a use out of it so i'm glad i got a use out of that we also got the diamond blocks i am gonna have to go mining now because all my diamond blocks are gone but yeah so this is it all right so as you guys can see we have been doing a bunch of mining here in the nether to get more ancient debris so we can get the god pickaxe that we have and turn it from diamond and turn it into netherite but the thing is i am completely lost in the nether i've just randomly been doing mines as you guys can see there's literally mines everywhere from where i've been searching for ancient debris now i know tnt is the best way to find ancient debris breeze but i mean we are yet to build a gunpowder slash creeper farm so we probably will have to do that in one of the upcoming episodes so we can actually start getting gunpowder and stuff so then we can obviously make tnt and we can make like literally unlimited fireworks so for now we're just gonna have to find our way back i as i said i don't know where i'm supposed to be going i think it's this way i i literally don't know i've just been walking around for ages like do i go down there do i go down there like where is the exit like guys i am so lost this is probably a bad idea but i'm just gonna dig straight up in the nether there could be like lava above me but you know we are risking it right now this is very risky Let's hope lava just doesn't start pouring on me right now. Okay, so we've made it to this little kind of area. Does this, I mean, should we keep going up? I feel like I should keep going. To be honest, I think this is the only way we're actually going to be getting out of the nether. I mean, just going back through those tunnels I've mined through just isn't going to work. So I need to mine up. I can hear ghasts above me. Let's just hope they don't shoot at me. I just need to get out the nether. Okay, wait, what? Jeez, there's a ghast right there. Why is there so many? Oh no, Annie's shooting at me. Okay, we need to find the exit and we need to find it now. All right, let's just keep going. And I think, yes, okay. I, I saw a little bit of purple and that is the nether portal. Let's just escape. Let's get out with all our ancient debris. Let's get it all smelted and let's make some netherite gear. Right, so we've made it out of the nether into the overworld. We have finally made it back. Let's turn all of our ancient debris into netherite. If we can just get rid of all these mobs, guys, take a look at the new build. I think it looks really, really nice. Just look how the beacon just stands out in the nighttime. It looks really, really nice. Also, you guys may have realized that I did change the bridge. The bridge that I had here last time just didn't really suit the kind of pathway I was going for, so I kind of changed it up a little bit, and I think it looks 10 times better than what it did, but guys, and here's Spike just chilling right here. How you doing, Spike? You doing good? Okay, yeah, I mean, that's good to hear. So, uh, guys, let's go ahead and turn all of our ancient debris into netherite. I'm super excited because we can also change our... We can also change that new chest plate that we got from the end earlier into netherite as well. So, I'm pretty excited to do that. So, let's go. Okay, so while we're smelting that ancient debris, what I'm going to do is combine this efficiency 4, fortune 3, and breaking 3 pickaxe with this efficiency 4, and breaking 3 pickaxe. And that should turn it into efficiency 5. Now, if I move these... I definitely don't want to pay 32 enchantment levels. So, let's just move it around again. Okay, so it's 20 enchantment levels. And then I get an efficiency 5, fortune 3, and breaking 3 pickaxe. So 
we're just going to do that right there and then we're going to turn this into a netherite pickaxe and then we will truly have the best pickaxe and i also need to put my mending book on i don't know if i'm going to be able to put mending on it with five levels but let's go check okay so the mending book is in here somewhere okay it's right there now let's see now let's see if five levels is going to be enough to put this on because i don't think it is all right here we go okay 17 levels and also as you can see the netherite is still smouting in there so we're going to leave it a little bit and i think zetro is actually using it right now all right these two maybe level 17 Yes, I'm level 17. Let's go. All right, let's go up to the, uh, here's our pickaxe. Let's combine it with the mending book. And boom, we have now got the best pickaxe you can get. It does have the best enchants on it, but now all we need to do is put a piece of netherite in there. And then here we go. The netherite pickaxe, efficiency five, fortune three, unbreaking three, and mending. Boom. Let's go. There it is. We have finally got it, guys. We have got our pickaxe back. I mean, the pickaxe that I did lose did only have efficiency four on, and I... So, yeah, this pickaxe is a little bit of an upgrade, but here we go. Let's also change this piece here, this protection four and breaking three also into a netherite piece of gear. Put the netherite in there, and here we go. We now have a netherite chest plate. Now, basically, all we need now is just to get some netherite tools and also upgrade the sword, because the sword isn't honestly the best right now. But to be honest, we can do that a different time. But guys, as you can see, we only have 24 diamonds after making the brand new build. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go with Zetro, and we are going to go on a huge mining trip and see if we can get a lot of diamonds using this new pickaxe, seeing as it does have Fortune 3. So guys, let's... So yeah, let's just go mining. Okay, so as I said, me and Zetro are super, super low on diamonds. So we've made our way over to Zetro's castle, which I don't think you guys have seen since like episode two or something like that, like a really early episode, because Zetro literally, this was the first thing he basically built but what we're going to do is we're going to go down under it dig straight down go to like diamond level and we're going to start straight mining and we're going to see if we can get our diamonds back that we had to use in the build so i'm hoping to get maybe a stack of diamonds because i mean obviously i got the fortune pickaxe and stuff so it's pretty easy to get like a lot of diamonds so as uh, how many diamonds are you aiming to get in this in this little mining session man at least like half a stack because then i've already got half a stack so then like a full stack so, yeah. Okay, that's that's fair enough. Right, so let's um, should we just start mining down here, maybe? So we're mining down to uh, diamond level. Zetro, what is your diamond level? Like, what would you say is the best? Because everyone has their own little diamond level that they mine at. I personally go level 11 for my diamonds, so what, what level do you go for? Well, I did do 10, 11, 12 until this series prod told me about level 9, and I think that's just a lot better, because... Yeah, I just yeah. think it's a lot better. I mean, I know Prod uses level nine. He he has found a lot of diamonds, to be honest. So I mean, we can't we can't we can't say that it doesn't work. But I mean, level eleven for me is just I've I've done it ever since. I've just done it since I can remember, and I just feel like I can't change. It's too late to change my diamond level now. And if we if we keep going forward as well, we won't have to like we won't get lost if we keep going forward. All right, let's see who can get the most diamonds. I'm saying that this pickaxe is going to be able to get me some diamonds, so that's all I'm saying. Okay, wait. I just want to say I think I got this iron shovel that I'm using right now from the from another end chest from earlier, and it's coming in clutch. Oh no, there's lava right here. Oh, diamonds, let's go. Nice. I found diamonds. Diamond. Yes. Nice. Oh, this could be. This is looking promising. This is looking very promising. Please be an eight vein. Oh. Are you using fortune or silver? Oh yes, yeah, so I'm. I'm using the fresh pickaxe. I'm using the fortune one. I hear lava. Yes, Zetro. A vein of eight. All right, get. Just guess. All right, from eight or eight diamond ore. Guess how. Guess how many I'm gonna get. I'm gonna guess. 21. 20 i'm gonna guess 24 all right ready here we go boom okay it's looking good it's looking good okay i don't think it's gonna be over 20 all right 17 that's not bad that's not bad yes yes i found diamonds i found more oh i think it's just one by itself though no please be more one than diamond. one mine a bit around it you know yeah i know is it just the one? Oh, go away skeleton i think it is just the one no i mean and it only dropped one as well the fortune didn't even work more diamonds more diamonds nice. How oh this is Oh, no, this is actually quite a lot. I'm at 27. 27 diamonds total. That is ha basically halfway to where I want to be. I can hear lava right next to me. I think I might be coming up to a cave. Maybe oh, oh as, I've just done, as I've just said that, I've just found a cave with diamonds in. Now, yeah, that, now the luck is on my side. But you know the bad thing is, I think it's one diamond again. All right, come on, be more. Okay, no, it's more than one. Is it more than two, though? Yeah, it's more than two. Okay, it's four. Any above, any above. Come on. Okay, I think it's just four. Is it just four? Maybe one here? Okay, it's five. Let's go through, mine all these up. 36. I'll take it. Oh, another cave. Oh. This one's got this one's got no lava in. This cave is the only cave I found pretty much with no lava in, but it does have three creepers and an enderman. So yes, it does. It does have diamonds in it. Alright, any more. So 46. 49. We could be on here for the for the for the stack. Alright, we don't want these diamonds falling in lava. I'm just securing in these diamonds right now. Let's put that there. Okay, we've secured the last two. I, I'm now on 53 diamonds. You're at nearly a stack. Oh, I nearly just completely missed it, but I found some more diamonds. This could be it. If there's more, okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna hit a stack here. I think this is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the luckiest I've got mining in a long time. I was on 53, I'm on 59. 
60. Okay, this one has to drop four. I mean, I don't know if that's possible, but we'll find no, out. It's not even possible. Ah, uh, 61. We're three oh, away. Man. One more diamond. Okay, that's it though. One more piece of like one more diamond find, and we've got it. We've got the stack. We've just had a little peek in this cave, and I think we've done it. I see diamonds. I don't care if it's one. We just need to hope that the fortune works on it. Because I need I need three diamonds to get to a stack. Come on. Oh, we've done it with just the one. Okay, I got 64 and four. Wait, just you from... just got seven from two diamonds? Yeah, I think so. This cave has been explored, though. So whoever explored this, you just miss out on diamonds. So, all right, guys, we're going to go up to the surface. And I need to do Zetra a favor because he's mined all of his diamonds with his Silk Touch pickaxe. So I'm going to give him my pickaxe and let him mine all of his and see who has came out with the most amount of diamonds. I've returned to the base. I'm at Prod's base. I knew it was behind Prod's base because this is where I always go to get my Dark Oak. But yeah, so I made it back. Going to go ahead, empty out my inventory, cook all of this iron ore and also all the gold. I think I have gold. Yeah, I only have a little bit. But yeah, let's go ahead, cook all of this. Right, so I just got an extra five diamonds, I think, because I was just putting a bunch of stuff in here to sort out later and i just found five diamonds just laying around in there so i mean that is even more diamonds to add to the collection but guys let's move some space out of the way for these diamonds and let's put them in okay boom and boom we have got ourselves 64 and 33 diamond this has been a very very successful mining trip but guys let's go help zetra out get his diamonds and yeah okay so zetra has made his way back up to the overworld so basically he's got all of his diamonds that he wants actually you can obviously mine them yourself so you get all the xp so how many diamond ore do you actually have in total there that is quite a little bit there's 23 there. I got 58. 58 from tw that's still really good though so today has been a very very successful episode we've literally got this whole build done i got my elytras back i got a bunch of netherite gear we've basically just got so much done but guys i think we are going to end the episode right there so guys thank you all so much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy and yeah apart from that guys have a great rest of your day and peace should we dive back in and see if we can get any further i, I say oh, we just go I'm for it, for it to pop up. Oh my God. <laughs> now it should change from an awkward potion into a potion of water breathing so let's find out hey guys it's fruit and welcome back to another episode of the minecraft multiplayer survival now you guys are probably asking yourself you know where are we we're just stranded out in the middle of the ocean but guys we are here with a very valid reason we are here because we have stumbled across a ocean monument now we've just stumbled across this ocean monument because we want to see what it's going to be like to actually fight the ocean monument because obviously we don't have any night vision potions with us right now we don't even have any water breathing potions with us right now so we're just going to dive in you know see what to expect and maybe fight this in one of the upcoming episodes so prod zetro are you guys ready to go and see what is inside of this ocean monument Mate, honestly, I'm so scared. We've literally just come over here unprepared. Zedra doesn't have any of his armor, but guys, are you ready to dive in to the ocean monument? I, I say we just go for it. I say we just see what it's looking like. Come on. I mean, I can oh, barely even no. see under the water. I think we should start bowing them. I mean, I don't want to fully fight it. We're just not prepared. All right, should we all charge at it with our sword? Yeah, this isn't working. Yeah, I'm saying we just go. Has everyone got their sword? <laughs> I thought I was going first. Just don't let it lock onto you. Just don't get too close either. Come on, though. Oh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure if it just locks on. Oh, wait. No, there we go. All right, what did it drop? I forgot what it drops. Uh, oh, I got prismarine shards and prismarine crystals. Should we dive back in see if we can get any further? I, I say oh, we just go I'm for it. I'm scared for it to pop up. Oh, oh my <laughs> god, I'm scared. It's so bad. Oh no, it's, it's locked onto you now, Prod. All right, let's just try to shoot it. I, I mean, bows just aren't going to work. It's underwater. I don't even know what we're doing here. We don't have any of the correct equipment. This is probably a bad idea. I've literally got mining fatigue for th like four minutes. We can just see Prod over there with his with his mining fatigue particles. All right, guys. So me and Zetra are literally just going to go over it right now. See if we can try and get a few shots off. If I accidentally bow you, Zetra, I'm very sorry. Just know I was trying to get one of them. That's what oh no! It, it just I can't even bow properly. So uh, Zetro, Prod, you guys ready to head back? Definitely. I'm very very prepared. All right, guys. So we're heading back right now. Let's get back. To safety. As you guys can see, just casually flying past MD's massive build right there. I honestly just can't believe how good it actually looks. Okay, here we go. We have made it back to our home. All right, let's get inside and let's start preparing the Enderman farm. All right, here's Spike just chilling here again. How, how are you doing, Spike? Well, um, that's pretty interesting, so, uh, thanks for sharing. Alright, so as you guys can see, we have basically collected every single material that we do need for this Enderman XP farm. So we've got a bunch of oak leaves, we've got so many stone bricks, we've got some hoppers, some ladders, and... And I've kind of just realised the amount of leaves we actually have. We need literally loads to actually make this Enderman farm possible, so... So me having all these oak leaves will actually make sense when we do start the build. So guys, we're gonna head over to the end, and we're gonna start on this build. Also, another thing we are gonna do in this episode, if you guys didn't watch the last episode, I basically said... So, if you guys did watch the last episode, you guys would have seen that we built this trophy room slash armory room which basically has an enchantment table it's got a bunch of gear all around it it's also got like a bit of the ender dragon stuff that we've got and collected over the time we've had the world and we are also going to extend it down here and add some of the wither stuff and also the ocean monument stuff but yeah so we pretty much made this build and i pretty much said whoever can come up with the best name for this actual building will have a sign dedicated to them right here with the name of the building and also their name so guys we are going to be choosing this a little bit later but guys before we do go ahead and make this enderman xp farm i do have a little bit of an announcement to make real quick so guys let me just show you guys this announcement i've actually 
actually opened up a Discord which you guys can actually join right now. So guys, if you do want to join the Discord and have a chance of being in future videos and just talk to me and all the other guys on the server, make sure you guys go down to the comments. It will actually be the pinned comment. So if you guys do want to join the Discord, make sure you guys do it. It would really mean a lot. So again, thank you guys for all the support and let's go build this Enderman farm. Okay, so as you can see, the build is done and it's very, very loud. All the Endermen are in there and they just, they're just so loud. So I've had, to, I've had to turn down the sound just a little bit. But also, guys, a massive credit goes to Shulkercraft for this design. It's actually a really, really good design and I'm basically finished with it. One thing I do want to do, though, is as you can see, Endermen can actually spawn on the bridge that I've made. So what I want to do is just go throughout the whole thing and place leaf blocks above where these leaf blocks are. So no Endermen can actually spawn because then that way it will only be two blocks high, which means Endermen won't be able to spawn actually on the bridge. So when we're walking to and from the end, it will actually be fine and we won't get knocked off or anything thing like that but guys what I think I'm gonna do now is just grind out a bunch of levels see if I can get maybe level 40 or something like that but something I've just realized is that I don't actually have sweeping edge on my sword so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay here get to about level 40 and then enchant a bunch of swords to actually get sweeping edge so then when we come back here we can make the process of getting rid of these endermen so much easier but guys if you don't really know how this works it's basically a massive platform where a bunch of endermen spawn over there and then above here there is a little endermite which basically attracts all the endermen to come over here and get trapped down here and then I can just go through and eliminate them all like this and get all their XP so that's basically how it works. But as I said, huge credit to Shulkercraft for the design and let's get to level 40. Just look at the amount of XP I'm getting from this. This is literally so much better than the other XP farm we had. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're at level 35 right now. Let's just go for another five levels and then we'll be all the way up to level 40. But guys, this is so efficient. I'm getting so much XP from this. The only thing is, is that my sword doesn't have infinite durability. So it is going to break eventually. But I mean, it's doing pretty good right now. All right, so here we go. We are about to hit level 40. It's so loud here. So I've had to turn the sound down as I already said, guys, because these Endermen, they can get pretty loud. But here we go. We're about to hit level 40. This has literally taken like two minutes. Not even that. It's so quick. And also how many Ender Pills we got? This is this is also a pretty good Ender Pill farm as well as being an XP farm. So I mean, that's also another good thing. But here we go. We're about to hit level 40. Can we get it? Come on. There's so much XP in there, but if I go too close, you can see that they all just hit me back. But there we go. We've got level 40. Let's leave it there because I want to go back and enchant some stuff. And I also want to start on some potions. One thing I want to do is just get rid of these Endermen real quick so I can build a platform above our heads when we run over here. So let me just see if I can get rid of these. Okay, they go into the void. Come on. Off you go. There we go. All right, so we're just going to have to push this Enderman off. I don't want it to hit me. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, no. There's so many up there. I'm just going to have to go like this so I don't look any of them in the eye. All right, so I'm really trying my hardest not to look at the Enderman up there. Please don't get angry with me and hit me off the edge. I'll literally lose everything. I've got my Elytra, my Netherite chest plate. I've got everything inside this Shulker box right now that is important. So let's hope that those Endermen don't get angry with me. Okay, there's none of them behind me that can knock me off. Let's just keep going. Okay. Just mind our own business. Let's just let's just get back to the end. Let's get to safety. Okay, I don't think any of them are going to bother with us. All right, can they even see us from here? Okay, to be honest, we're not even too far from the actual end anyway. So, I mean, I think we're like over 130 blocks out from the end, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is a very scary task though. Like, we're literally one block away from losing everything. And it's not even like we can get it back. It just goes into the void and disappears forever. I should probably have my elytras on for this and maybe some fireworks as a little bit of extra safety. But to be honest, I think we might just be fine here. All right, let's make it back with all of our stuff. We've come this far without getting thrown into the void. Another thing I just want to say is, guys, this Enderman farm took forever. It literally took so long to do, and especially the Endermite, where you've got to get the Endermite in the minecart. That literally took forever as well, so. So, to be honest, I'd say I've done a pretty good job there. Alright, here we go. We have done the platform right here, and another thing I want to also do is maybe put slabs all on the top of these as well, so no Enderman can spawn on top, but to be honest, even if Endermen do spawn on top, it's not the end of the world, because obviously, we're not going to be looking them in the eyes anyway, but guys, let's get back to the base. Let's enchant some swords, see if we can get lucky with Sweeping Edge 3, and then I also want to make a potato farm, and also start on brewing some potions, because as I said, we are going to be fighting the Ocean Monument soon, so we're going to need night vision. Okay, we've got one of the Endermen angry right now. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, we don't even have our chest plate on. All right, so let's just get some lapis. Let's get our diamonds out. Let's get some sticks. And I think I want to try and enchant maybe three swords. So let's just put three swords in here. One, two, three, just like that. And then I'm also going to put my chest plate back on and also get my pickaxe out. All right, so there's my pickaxe pack. Let's just put all the stuff in the shulker box. Let's also put our chest plate on and let's go over to the enchantment table. Okay, here we go. Let's go into the enchantment room. And guys, I still haven't got a replacement for the bookshelf. I definitely will have to get that done extremely soon. I just, if you don't know what happened, I basically accidentally broke a bookshelf. So I mean, we've just got one missing right there, but I don't think it actually affects us getting level 30 or anything like that. So as you can see, I can still do the level 30 enchant. All right, come on. Fire Aspect 2, Smite IV, not too bad. I mean, it's not got what we want on it. Okay, are you serious? An unbreaking three sword. O okay, I mean, we'll take it. This is our last one. Sharpness 4, knockback 2. I mean, we can do one more. 
Is it worth it? Should we risk wasting even more diamonds for this? I really am tempted now we got the Enderman farm, but I mean, that is two more diamonds. Should we just do it? If we do not get Sweeping Edge right now, that is going to be a big waste of diamonds. But on the bright side, we have all of these swords that I guess we can maybe put in an anvil and combine some of them together to get a better one. But I mean, it would be nice if we just got Sweeping Edge. I want a sword literally just for using the Enderman farm. So I mean, come on. All right, Bane of Arthropods. And it's, it, of course, it would just be Bane of Arthropods. I mean, come on. All right, so guys, we didn't get any luck there. So let's just make this potato farm and then let's get into brewing some potions. All right, let me just empty my inventory. Though. Okay, so for this potato farm, we are going to need some of our farming equipment, which I believe I have in here. So let's just get all of that ready. We got our potatoes here. I think I have another stack laying around here somewhere, maybe. Okay, so as you can see, we got this little kind of pathway going on, and I actually want my farm to be up there, as I said. So I'm going to carry this kind of pathway all the way up here, all along here, and then I want to extend it up here into, of course, what is going to be the farm. So it's, so it's all going to match perfectly with this pathway we've got here. So it's all going to go up here and lead nicely into the farm, which, which should take up quite a bit of space, but not too much. So I mean, let's just see what it looks like. <laughs> Okay, so we're basically done with the farm over here. If we go over, there's just a few finishing touches we've got to do, and we've also got to actually turn it into a farm by obviously turning it into a farm because there's nothing growing there. But let's just add a few final touches to it, and this is what it is going to be for now. Obviously, in the future, we are going to maybe work on it, make it a bit bigger, extend it and stuff like that. But as you guys can see, I tried to blend it in here with the kind of when you shovel the grass, it kind of makes this little design on the floor, or I don't really know how to explain it, but you guys can kind of see I've tried to I've tried to blend this in as best as I can, but it doesn't look too good. So I mean I guess I might try and fix that in the future. And some of these dirt blocks haven't grown into grass yet, so I can't actually use my shovel of them as you guys can see so yeah what i want to do right now is just actually turn it all into a farm area and in the future i definitely want to make them automated so for now they're not going to be automated but that's definitely something i am going to work on so guys we're just going to finish up this farm and then i think we're going to be going with zetro to make some potions ready for when we fight the ocean monument of course so guys let's get to doing this and let's plant all the potatoes we've got and also we're going to plant carrots so i think this one's going to be a potato farm and this one's going to be a carrot farm so let's just get to it so i'm nearly done with this one right now we've just got to go through and put the potatoes down and we should be good to move on to the carrot farm so i mean i don't think i'm going to have enough potatoes potatoes just to fill this up right now as it is. I mean, we've only got 42, so let's just see how much potatoes we can actually plant before we run out. Okay, so I'm literally on my last eight potatoes. I would have thought I was going to be able to at least fill half of it, but I'm literally only going to be able to fill up this bit, which is actually good though, because that means that in the long run, I'm going to have a massive potato farm. Now, let's use our carrots, and I mean, we've only got 26 of those, so I doubt we'll even be able to fill up too much, but I mean, to be honest, this isn't looking too bad. As just like a non-automated sort of farm, it actually looks pretty good. We actually have the skeleton farm, which means we can literally get unlimited bone meal if we really want to, so I mean, it's no problem to fast grow these farms if we really want to but to be honest i'm just going to kind of let them grow by themselves apart from these ones right here let's just get a bunch of these and let's start replanting okay so we got over a stack now wait a stack and 11 okay as i said we do need to start preparing for this ocean monument so guys let's go ahead and make some potions let's go okay guys so we're with zetro right now and we are gonna go and try and make potions to be honest i'm not really too familiar with how to make potions zetro i don't know if you're a professional with the potions or not i'm not sure are, are you never done it honestly so guys, what we're going to do is we're going to make a brewing stand and we're going to try and make night vision potions and also water breathing potions as well. So I've got uh, the stuff, I think, to make a brewing stand. I think it just takes one blaze rod and then also some cobblestone. Now, surely I've got to have some cobblestone laying around somewhere. What we need to do now is we need to get some bottles and we need to work on actually making the potions. And to make water breathing, I'm pretty sure we need puffer fish. So Zetro, how about you work on getting the um, water bottles and I work on getting the puffer fish? Yep, there we go. All right, I've used my uh, little water elevator as a water source. All right, turns out you don't even need to bother getting the water bottles i already had the stuff to do it come on yes we finally got one and it was and it was raw cod are you serious come on all right guys so it turns out while i was fishing zetro decided to tell me he had 38 puffer fish oh my oh geez <laughs> here we go zetro ignore the fact that my cows are being really loud above but this is the moment of truth is this going to be enough to actually make what we need to make okay here we go it's it's, it's doing something I, I don't know what it's doing but it's doing something i'm a bit nervous if we just make the wrong potion i think we just i think we just throw the puffer fish in wait what's this gonna do all right, this, this is the water breathing potion. So we've got the puffer fish in there. Now it should change from an awkward potion into a potion of water breathing. So let's find out. Come on, please work. Any minute now it should be done and this should be water breathing. Okay. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, but I think if we had redstone dust, that might improve it. I think it improves it from three minutes to like, I think it'd be maybe six minutes. It might double it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right, eight, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh my God. All right, so there we go. We have made three water breathing potions for eight minutes. There, here's one for you, Zetro, and I'll give the other one to Prod, and I'll make another one for MD when they're online. But there are our water breathing potions. Now, so for the night vision, we need to do the same thing with the awkward potion. So let's put all these in. We need to make an awkward potion, and, I, and then I literally just think we put in a golden carrot. The, the fact we can make so many of these as well with the amount of golden carrots we have. And the amount of nether wall, and also the amount of, what's it called, blaze powder. Again, this is going to turn into awkward potion. We slam the golden carrots in, and it should actually work. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Pop in the golden carrot there. And then I think if we put redstone again, it should last maybe eight minutes again. We'll have to find out. If I'm correct, this should be a night vision potion. Come on. 
Yes. That's yes, it is. Three minutes. Now add the redstone dust and it should be eight minutes again. So we're going to have eight minutes of water breathing time. So I think to be safe, we should make two of each potion for e each of us. Yeah, in total, that's about 16 minutes of water breathing and night vision. That should, it's not going to take any longer than that, I don't think. If it takes us longer than 16 minutes to do the ocean monument, then we're going to be a little bit in trouble. But here we go. We got the night vision. We got the water breathing. That is actually an accomplishment right there because yeah, I, I thought it was going to be way more difficult to get water breathing potions, but at least we got it now. But guys, there we go. We got the night vision. We got the water breathing. Let's go. Wait, Zetra, have you seen my um, potato farm, by the way? Do you want to check it out, maybe? No, I haven't seen it. All right, guys, so what me and Zetra are about to do right now is, if you guys remember, I said at the start of this episode, we are going to be giving a shout out to the person that has given us the best name for this building. Now, the person will be on screen and all that type of stuff, so thank you so much for the name. The name, I believe, was The Archives. Now, I really, really like this name because, I don't know, it just, it's just really nice and it kind of fits the, the theme of the building because it looks really, really kind of modern. And I think The Archives suits very well. So we're going to put a sign here with your name on and also the name that you came up with. So thank you guys all so much for the comments. And if you want to give us any more names of buildings that we should make in the future, let us know down below in the comments but guys let's put their name and also the name of what they want to call the building so let's go okay so here we go the archives and then we've obviously got their name there so that is looking pretty fresh i think that makes the build look a little bit better honestly having that sign what do you think Zetra? i like it i like how it's like dead center in the middle and i, I think the name just looks cool as well Make sure you guys keep leaving comments of stuff that we should build and what we should name it, guys. All of your comments really, really mean a lot to us. So, guys, let me show Zetro my farm because he hasn't seen it yet. So, Zetro, follow me over here. This is the beginning of my farm. So, I'm going to extend it, obviously, and I don't have enough potatoes yet to fully plant them all. But that will be done very, very shortly. So, I mean, what do you think? I like it. I think it's, I don't know, just nice and simple. I think it's quite, I think it's a good spot for it as well, to be fair, like right next to your house. Yeah, I mean, and the, the path obviously continues up to it as well. So guys, let me know as well down below in the comments, what do you think of my farm? So one last thing I want to do before we end the episode, guys, is show you something Zetro has been working very, very hard on. And honestly, I think you guys are going to be impressed because it really impressed me as well. I think it's one of the best builds that Zetro has actually done. And I think it looks really, really nice. So not only has he done a sheep farm over there, but if we carry on going, it should render in any moment now. There it is. Wow, that is very impressive, guys. Zetro has built a windmill. What was the thought behind the windmill? I mean, obviously you got a massive wheat farm. Was that was that the kind of purpose of it? I mean, obviously the windmill looks cool, but the wheat farm is basically. So if you look at that temple over there, yeah, it, it, it doesn't look the best with all the netherracks. So we're going to use this wheat to get sheep from over there and just keep breeding them, and then we can turn all that netherrack into red wool and just make it look a lot better, basically. Fair enough. So yeah, I I honestly when when you showed me this, I was literally so surprised. I think it looks really really nice. The detail. The detail's just insane. But guys, I think that is where we are going to end this video. So thank you all so much for watching, guys. And all the support recently just really means a lot to all of us. So guys, have a great rest of your day and peace. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yep, I've seen him. I've Come seen back. him. I've seen him. Right. And then over here, I, di I did get a little bit carried away. Hey, guys, it's Fruit, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now, guys, today is the day. Now is the time that we go ahead and we fight the Ocean Monument. Who is prepared? I am. I'm not. Okay, so, Prod, MD, you guys weren't with me and Zetra when we were making up the potions, so we have a little gift for each of you, so if you'd like to come here, I'll just give you some Ooh. potions ready to fight this. We've got some night vision and some water breathing right there. So, uh, Zetra, do you have your potions with you? Yep. So, guys, what we're about to do is we are about to go ahead and fight the Ocean Monument, so are we all ready to go for it? It, it is yeah, night time, so this is gonna... The potions have yeah. an eight-minute duration, so we will literally have so long to fight it. Are we ready to go? Are we ready? Yeah. Alright, guys, I say we just go for it. Drink up, the, drink up the potions. All right, guys. Oh, no. MD's doing this again with no armor, a bit like the end of Dragon Fight. Oh, okay, this this is gonna be this is gonna be I tough. I just want to throw it out there. So I believe there's three main kind of like guardian things that we gotta get rid of. Do you wanna block these guys off? Block these guys off, MD. Come here. MD, come on, gonna block them off. Hey, okay, I think there's gonna be one up in here, maybe. Hey, okay, these guys. All right. Come in, wait, 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 guys, guys, guys. MD, Zetro, there's a little gap up here. All right, just look yeah. out. If you see if you see one of the really big ones, let us know because yeah, that that is here. no. Make make sure you guys keep an eye on your water breathing because the last thing you want is that yeah, to run out, so just keep... Oh, yeah. Make, make sure you've got them in your hot bar. Block off these, block off these. Oh, jeez! Okay, yep, yeah, I've seen him, I've Come seen back. him, I've seen him. Okay, guys, so we thought it would be a good idea to block off this entrance so nothing could hit us, and now we just realised we've got mining fatigue, so to actually get back through is going to take so long, but Prod's just here trying to get rid of the blocks. Oh, no, 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 it's locked onto me. I don't think... Okay, right. it can't lock on through walls, so we're good. Oh, no, oh, no, it, it's locked onto me again. Just go behind the wall and it can't get you. Yeah, we need to kill all of his little guardian friends. Oh my god. Okay. Right, I'm going in. We got this. Okay, no, 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 no. I need to eat. I need to eat. No, there's I think there's three. Oh god. Is that it? We need to we need no, we need to kill the other two. Let's go. Let's go, we gotta go fast, we gotta go fast. We don't have enough water breathing potions to keep on going, we gotta go. We've got no room to hide though. Look, it's right up here. Oh yep. Right oh yep. Let's just go for it. You ready? Yep, we've gotta go for it. We've gotta risk it. Okay, go. We don't have enough water breathing. Hey, let's go. Nice. Okay, we got rid of that. Okay, there's one more. There's one more, I think. Right. I think it's no. got to be... At the, this was the middle, right? It's got to be at, like, one of the other sides. 
Yes, let's go. I think this. Let's no, go no it's left. We we went. We killed the right yeah, one. Though. All right, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Right. We gotta go for it again. We gotta go for it again. Let's go. Right, this is the final one, right? I don't yeah. know if I'm very good for this because my sword is sweeping edge three. Okay, Let's nice. Go. What we've got to do now is we've got to dry this out and turn it into our, like our own little base or something because I want to get all these blocks. We should turn it into a farm, bro. Okay, so congratulations, guys. We did it. Prod's going back down to get some of the blocks. He's going to go get some sponge, so there you go. Wait, so now we've done it, do you want to completely, like, drain out with sand or something like that soon and just turn it into, like, I don't know, our own little base, I guess? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's head home. Right, so as you can see, we have made it back to our house, and we have just stood here on our balcony looking over the brand new archives building, and we got Zetro's house over there. But guys, some things I want to do in this episode. I actually have a bunch of stuff I want to get done, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get it all done in today's episode. And how, how are you doing today, Spike? All right, that's... Uh pretty interesting thank you for sharing that all right so i actually do want to get a bunch of stuff done in today's episode guys and the main thing i want to get done is a new kind of building project and also a little bit of exploring because as you guys saw there we actually did defeat the ocean monument and inside the ocean monument there is a bunch of brand new blocks we can now get access to so if we actually do make our way back to the kind of ocean monument the amount of blocks that we can get there is insane that we can just get so many awesome building blocks and some more building projects i want to work on but another thing i want to do apart from get all of those awesome blocks down at the ocean monument is i want to go to one of those massive kind of ice biomes you can go to because well, I guess we're going to need ice for future builds and also maybe some builds in this episode, which brings me on to my next point of what I want to do. So as you guys can see, we got a bunch of sheep here, which I do want to breed because I want to start kind of furnishing this house we've got. And then I also want to add an extension for something I like to call the upgrade room. Now, hear me out. I want to make a room called the upgrade room because this room that we have here, the archives, this building kind of shows stuff that we've done on the server and kind of whatever goes in here kind of stays in here. As you guys can see, we got the eggs and stuff at the back and we've got like everything that we've kind of used on this server. And I guess it's just going to stay here. Here. So like this iron armor and diamond armor and stuff like that That's just gonna stay here for kind of decoration and well to also show stuff that we've done in the server Now what I want to do in the upgrade room is have a collection of the best tools the best swords the best armor The best everything you can possibly think of enchanted and just everything like that all in one room and ready to go So guys, I just want to have everything in the upgrade room Just ready to put on and go into battle or just to go on adventures or whatever it is Whatever situation there will always be stuff in the upgrade room There will always be tools in the upgrade room that I can use for any situation so guys, that is something I want to do and as I said, I want to go exploring and another thing I want to say is doing that ocean monument Look how much it broke my armor look like look at my boots right there They literally have no durability my leggings got broken luckily my chest plate is still intact So if the armory room doesn't make sense to you guys right now once it's done It's definitely gonna make sense and trust me It is a really really good idea So we're gonna go ahead and do that then we might try and work on making some new armor And then I think we're gonna go ahead and get some ice and also go back to the ocean monument and get some of those blocks So guys we got a very exciting episode ahead of us and I also want to say thank you guys all so much for the support It honestly means so much to me and all the other guys so guys thank you all so much for the support and let's go ahead and make this upgrade room slash kind of armory room so let's go all right guys so we are joined with prod right now so prod you haven't seen any of what i've been working on have you so so this is going to be like a little bit of a surprise for you yep it is all right so basically guys you may have seen that i was building the armory slash upgrade room which is basically a room prod where i'm going to be putting all of my best armor best tools that i'm going to be grinding out over the next upcoming episodes and i'm basically just going to fill up this whole building out there with just the best gear you can possibly think of but i mean first off before we even start on that what do you think of the kitchen i like it i like the checkered flooring Okay. Are these iron blocks? Yeah, I mean, I, I had a lot of iron, so I thought, you know, put it to good use. But, Prod, um, how about you try using the fridge? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. little cooked pork chop. <laughs> okay. Let's get, onto the, let's get onto the good stuff. Let's go to the upgrade room. So, we got a nice little back garden kind of walkway here, you know? Just a, just a nice little calming area. Right. And then over here, I, di I did get a little bit carried away. It was meant to be just an upgrade room, and I've turned it into an upgrade building. So a bit similar to what we did over at the archives. If you guys want to help me name this building, it would really mean a lot. So obviously, I put a sign with the name that you guys choose and also your actual name at the bottom of the sign there. So you'll always be in our world. So, Prod, here we go. It's not fully finished yet, and it's just it's just a little bit, I guess, work in progress. But if you'd like to come inside, this is this is what it is. So we've got the, um, I mean, just imagine these have armor on them, because soon enough, they are they are going to have armor on them. So, all right, so uh, Prod, what do, you think of the, uh, what do you think of the showcase area here that we've got? I I really, really like it, actually. I uh, like the symmetry between the two and how like they're gonna stare at each other. And I think it looked cool if you had another two, or maybe another one here, facing like that. Type. Yeah, yeah. As I said, I'm definitely gonna be adding some more. And I mean, these these signs, guys, they are they are for names of armor. So if you guys want to name my armor, feel free. Through here is everything to do with, I guess, upgrades or or crafting or repairing as well. So we got a few little decorations here, bit swords. I mean, these these aren't just decorations because I mean, you can obviously you know take them out at any time. A bit unrelated to anything. Up these stairs is a 
bedroom. Yeah, no, that that's literally oh. it. It's, it's just it's just a bedroom. So I thought I needed a dedicated room for my bedroom because back at my other base, I mean, let's be honest, there wasn't really any anywhere for my bed. I mean, I did have a bed in there, but it wasn't really a bedroom. So, so guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head straight over to explore the ocean monument again and just go ahead and get some of the blocks so uh yeah let's go ahead and do that one thing i want to do really quickly guys is i have a mending book and also a netherite ingot right here so what i'm going to do quickly is just make this sword a netherite sword and then just do this so boom just like that we got a netherite sword and then i also want to put mending on it so i'm just going to go there put the mending book on and oh no i'm one level off okay so i'm just about level 17 let's put the sword in here put the mending book in there it is so we got a sharpness five looting two fire aspect two unbreaking three mending sword and then i mean I guess I could add sweeping edge to it as well. I don't know if I even can do that because of just how many enchants it has. But guys, let's go ahead and let's get exploring. All right, so me and Prod are here. We've arrived. Now, uh, I think we just go ahead and just try and get the blocks. The main blocks I want right now is because, guys, eventually what we're going to do is we are going to fully drain this out. Like, we are going to make sure there is no water left in this ocean monument and drain it out. But for now, I just kind of want to go down and get those kind of light up blocks, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will show you in just a second. Let me just get inside. All right, we got some doors. We're going in. All right, we just got to skip through these guardians and let's just hopefully get out with the blocks that we want. There's two guardians above me, but Guys, the reason I want those light up blocks so bad is because, in my opinion, they're definitely one of the best looking type of light sources in the game. We are good. Let's just get all these blocks. Let me get these light up ones. Let me get those crystals. Okay, here we go. So, I think it's just like that. And then, oh, I'm still getting hit somehow. All right, there we go. I made one. Sea lantern. Okay. So that is how you do it. Okay, so right now I'm just hid behind this door right now because if any of them lock onto me, like if you see, they lock onto me right here. So if I close the door, they basically can't see me. So look, they all lock onto me. Wait for it. Boom. Like they're all locked on. Close the door. They literally have no idea I'm here. So I just need to quickly get rid of all these. And what I think I want to do is I want to head back and maybe enchant some gear. Go to the Enderman farm. But oh no, oh no. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. <gasps> no. Oh jeez. We need to go back down to the air pocket. But guys, that's definitely something we need to do. We definitely need to drain this before we get the blocks. I mean, I'm happy with what we've got right now. We got some crystals. We got some shards. We can make a decent amount of blocks. But guys, I think I'm going to head back, try and get some levels up over at the Enderman farm, and then go ahead and get some decently enchanted armor. Because as you guys can see, I'm using an iron helmet that Prod gave me. I am getting out of here. I need to go. I need to go. Where's the exit? Get me out of here. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, all right. Let me try getting this. Go through here. Come on. Where's the exit? I'm mining my way out of here right now. Okay. Yes. I found the exit. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the Enderman farm. Okay, so I'm making my way down here to the end portal right now, and we're going to go in to the Enderman XP farm, and we're just going to see how high we can get our levels. I'm aiming for maybe level 40 or something like that. I mean, we can definitely achieve level 40. If you guys have seen the episode where we built this thing, you'll know just how efficient this thing actually is. All right, here we go. It's about to get very loud. Okay, here we go. And as you guys can hear, it does get very, very loud, but I mean, it does the job, so there's not much more we can ask for, but let's just see how many levels we can actually get. I need sweeping edge on my sword to actually get the most out of this, so I mean, oh well, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just do this for now. Right, so I know it's really loud right here because of all these endermen, but guys, if you take a look at our level, we are level 46, about to hit level 47, if we can maybe get that right now, just just wait for it, yep, yeah, here comes the XP, as you guys can see, about to hit level 47, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back, so right now I'm going to head back over to the enchantment table, I'm going to make a fresh set of diamond armor, fully enchant it, all to level 30 enchants, and then guys, in an upcoming episode, we have got something very exciting, which I'm going to tell you guys in just a second, so let's head back over to the overworld and let's enchant all this gear. Alright, so we have arrived back to our house, as you guys can see, and I'm just going to make every piece of armor but a chest plate because as you guys can see our chest plate has protection for and also I'm breaking three so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on getting some mending books to put mending on it and that will basically be a very very good chest plate so I don't think we need to enchant the chest plate but what we do need to enchant is some boots a pair of leggings and also a helmet so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I've also got a bow here as well so we're going to head over to the archives and we're basically going to enchant the helmet the leggings the boots and also a bow so let's just make our way over to the archives but guys just look how awesome the archives looks it really really does look nice I actually just think the beacon just kind of it's, it's just like the cherry on top it just makes it look really nice and also, I saw you guys' comments, and again, yes, I need to start using the disenchanter thing for when I don't get an enchant that I want. So, guys, I've literally put one right here so I can't miss it and I can't forget. So, if ever I go to, like, make a new sword, the disenchant thing's literally above the enchantment table. So, there's no way I can forget. So, let me get my shulker box here because I think I've got a bunch of lapis in here. So, yeah, let's just get the lapis out and let's, and let's see if we can get some good enchants. So, let's put the helmet in. Let's put the lapis in. So, fire protection helmet. I mean, it's not the best, but, I mean, we can make multiple helmets and combine the enchants together. Okay, so I'm breaking three protection three. Not too bad. Let's move on to the boots. Come on. Okay, again, just fire protection. So as I say, guys, it's not that bad because what I can do is I can combine these helmets with other enchanted helmets because, I mean, look at our level. We have literally so many levels, so it really doesn't actually matter if we don't get the best enchants because, I mean, obviously with the Enderman XP farm, we can basically get infinite enchanted pieces of gear. So let's try the bow right now. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm breaking three, power four, and punch two. So that's not too bad. All we need to do is maybe add maybe add these two bows together and, and also we can add flame to that as well. But guys, if we make our way over here, this is going to be a little bit of a teaser for the next episode. But as you guys can 
see Prod has been working on a creeper farm and it is really, really efficient. Let me show you guys something. So Prod also had a really good idea of actually making a pixel art kind of creeper head surrounding it. So you can't actually see this bit of cobblestone bit here. He's just basically going to turn it into a creeper head, which I think is really, really awesome. But guys, if we move over here, you guys can see in this chest, boom, it has been working insanely well. We get stacks on stacks of gunpowder. I saw some of you guys' comments about using TNT to get netherite inside of the nether to like find ancient debris really quickly. So guys, when I say we're going to be getting a lot of netherite gear, we're going to be getting a lot of netherite gear, if you guys get what I'm trying to say, but yeah. Also, real quick, let's just turn all of our crystals and stuff like that into the actual lanterns, because that's the main reason I got all of these, so I think it's just that, yeah, so we got two lanterns right there, and I think we might have some more in one of these chests, yeah, we got some more there. Oh, wait, I've just realized we've got even more shards and crystals, so let's just go ahead, get these, go ahead like that, so now we have ten. Okay, so now we have ten sea lanterns, okay, that's actually pretty good, let's actually maybe put those in the new area, or like the new room. So I've just put one of the sea lanterns right there, I think it looks really good, so if we do any more of these showcases around the place, we can obviously put more sea lanterns in front of them like that just to make it look a little bit more nicer. But guys, I think that is where me and Prod are going to be ending this episode. But guys, make sure you are here for the next episode because, well, it's just going to be crazy. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. We're going to be filling up this room with just insane gear. We've got a bunch of exciting stuff that we're going to be doing with Prod and just all the other guys. But guys, that is going to be it for this video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. We really do appreciate all the support you guys give us on these videos. So I just want to say a massive thank you on behalf of me and everyone else that plays, guys. So really, thank you for all of that. Make sure you join the Discord, all that good stuff, guys. But apart from that, have a great rest of your day, guys, and peace. Three, two. One, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, this is this is gonna be very bad. This okay. That is literally one of the best enchants you can get. Hey guys, it's Fruit, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. So as you guys can see right now, we are out the front of the archives and we are joined with Zetro and Prod. So guys, what, what how are you feeling today? You doing good? Yeah. Yeah, man. So to start this video off today, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be heading over to the nether with a bunch of TNT. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Prod's Creeper Farm. We're going to get a bunch of gunpowder, a bunch of sand. We're going to make so much TNT and we're just going to dive straight into things and go on a little bit of a hunt to get some netherite. So as you guys can see, Prod's still using some diamond stuff over there. I mean, even I'm using diamond gear still, apart from my chest plate, of course. So to start off today's episode, I think it'd be a good idea for us all to go to the nether and just get a bunch of netherite and stuff like that. So are you guys ready? All right, so here we are at Prod's Creeper Farm and guys, just take a look at how efficient this thing is like how many stacks of gunpowder is that I, I don't even know but basically we're gonna take most of this gunpowder turn it into tnt and then head over to the nether so wait do you guys have any sand so to make tnt you just gotta go like that maybe this as well i think yeah okay so we can make 13 pieces of tnt that's just not gonna be enough is it we're gonna need some more how much tnt would you even say we're gonna need like a stack each probably more no probably a stack each yeah okay so i can actually make so much tnt now so if we go like that boom we now have 37 pieces and if i go back into the chest here we should be able to get like a bunch more so let's just take all of this go back into the crafting table go through and add all the gunpowder just like that let's just get all these leftover bits here just like that and we should now have a stack and 17 oh my goodness 64 and 17 okay that's gonna be more than enough let's head to the nether all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and go down to the normal netherite spot that we go to which i think is like around level 12 13 or 14 yeah, right. one of those oh god there's so many of these things oh geez they're fast as well oh geez all right so yeah let's just go down there we're gonna get all the tnt prepared and yeah let's hope this is actually gonna work apparently it's the most efficient way to actually get netherite, so uh, let's see if it's true. I think I've got a good idea of how we can do this. If we dig straight down here, fill all yep. of this up with TNT. Oh, all right. No. Everyone might want to move back for this one. All right, you ready? Run, oh. run, 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 run. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work. This. Okay. Oh. Jeez, okay, this is oh, way better than God. using a pickaxe. All right, the, the thing is, did we find any? Come on, don't do no. us like that. Come on, is this method real? Okay, that was our first attempt. All right, Prod's going to go ahead and give it a try. All right, go for it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to do it that soon. All right. Oh. Oh, yes. It actually worked. All right, guys. See? Yeah, TNT doesn't even destroy it. Okay, that does work. All right, I'm going to go. I think we've been doing it pretty good, but I'm filling up all of this with TNT. All right. Three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, this is this is going to be very bad. This. Okay. Jeez. Oh, oh. Oh no. no! We can't even see if we got any, because look, look at the lava. Alright, here we go. I'm going in big. I'm going in big with this amount of TNT. I used quite a bit here. Come on, this has got to work. Oh yes, I found some! Yes, right, I actually got some. Alright, I'm on fire, but I think it's just one piece. And yeah. Okay, so we have arrived back at our house, as you guys can see. And I mean, I only was able to get three pieces of ancient debris when we were using the TNT method. So I've gone back to the creeper farm, got a bunch more gunpowder, and we are going to go back and we are going to do it even better. What we're going to do is we're going to find a random place in the nether. I mean, we are going to fly out many blocks to go to a completely new area. We're then going to grab a bunch of redstone, a lever, and we're basically going to set off this TNT way better than we did with the last TNT. So let's just make as much as we can. I think we're going to make maybe one stack on the dot or maybe just a little less than a stack. So let's just see here. We can make that much let's just split that there 
keep splitting it across just like that now this should get us around i don't even know how much is that going to give us about 56 that's not bad now let's get our redstone and a lever and let's go ahead and let's set it off way better than what we just did there so let's make a few more levers right here all right so we're in the nether and we're already getting attacked by these things now i've got a bunch of pork chops just from killing these things but we've got our redstone and we've got our levers so i think we're just going to use our fireworks to go to a completely new area as much as i hate using my elytra in the nether we've just got to go ahead and do it oh this is so scary i, I literally hate using these things inside of the nether because you just don't know when there's going to be lava around the corner all right here we go so i think we should start around here this is a completely new area we haven't mined it yet and we've got our redstone we've got our levers and we've got our tnt so i think we're just going to dig down and we're just going to get to work okay so as you guys can see we've gone down quite a lot and i think we're just going to kind of spread the tnt out around here i think this is quite a good level to find ancient debris so let's just start maybe putting some tnt around let's also use redstone so we can link it all up just like that let's go all the way back here we don't want to get exploded by this because that would actually kind of suck all right let's put some tnt here as well let's redstone that all the way back over to here just like that okay now this should let all this tnt explode so we're gonna go all the way back here put the lever down okay here we go three two one uh wait what maybe we need to do that and then that oh yep that works oh geez that scared me all right here we go come on this should work oh god oh no oh Oh, all right, we've actually found two pieces doing this already. That is way better than what I was using earlier. And how much TNT did we use? We didn't even use that much. So we got two there. Have we got any around the area? No, I think that's about it. But the only bad thing about doing this is the amount of lava. This is going to be five pieces we're going to have in total now. So there's one and there's two. And then we've still got TNT in there that we've got a light. Is there any way I can cover up this lava? I think if I do that, it's just going to cover up. Okay, that's perfect. All right, let's go in here. Let's just use our flint and steel for this. Get rid of this redstone. Okay, I think we're just going to light all this TNT up. Okay, let's move back. I do not want to get hit by that. That is going to be an absolute ton. Oh, oh my. Okay, did we get any? Surely there's got to be at least one piece in here. All right, let's block our way over here. There's got to be at least one piece in here. I just want full netherite armor, okay? I just want full netherite armor again. There's got to be some. No? There's none in there. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, let's just use the rest of this TNT. All right, so I've got quite a good idea. So if we just fill all of this with TNT, put redstone all the way back here. All right, let's mine out here a little bit like that. Let's put some TNT in there. Let's connect that with redstone as well. Put it all above this TNT. And now if we go all the way back here. All right, if we put that down there, then we just maybe fill up a little bit more with TNT. I think maybe we should do this way as well. Like, we want to get as much surface area here as possible. So if we go like that, put all the redstone back there. It's all connected. Okay, so I think we're going to try this out. Come on. This should at least give us one piece. Okay, there we go. Hopefully the TNT just doesn't fling over and hit me. I think we're going to be good from here, though. All right, there we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five... Okay, this is way more efficient than what I was doing earlier. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Okay, six plus five is 11. So that's 11 pieces that we're going to have. Is there any more? Okay, no, but that is perfect. That is such a good amount just from that amount of TNT. All right, so any more around that's just hiding? I think that is all that we found. That is so good. Honestly, that is so much more better than I thought. All right, let's just get all of this. All right, is there any more hiding? Okay, no, I think I'm just going to mine around the area just in case there's any more, but I think that's everything for now. All right, let's just get this. Okay, this, this honestly, I didn't believe in the TNT method at first, but now, now I'm starting to believe it this is getting us so much okay we've got 11 pieces now let's make our way over towards there because that's where i want to use tnt next but honestly just look at the amount of damage the tnt does to the netherrack because obviously netherrack isn't the strongest block in the game so it's really easy for the tnt to just destroy it so just like we did last time we're going to go tnt in that direction tnt in that direction and then also let's put some tnt in this direction as well so then let's all join this up with redstone we've got plenty more redstone so let's just join it all up all right let's just put this down and let's just let it explode all right okay actually i'm gonna walk back because you know like it could just tnt towards me all right Come on, any in here, any lot? Okay, so apparently this bit didn't want to explode, so let's just sort that out real quick. We can just flint and steal it. All right, come on. All right, wait, did that actually damage me? I think it damaged me through the wall, but yeah, we've got no luck again. I think we've got unlucky again. Let's just keep going with the last 14 pieces of TNT we have. So we are now on our last two pieces of TNT, and I mean, ancient debris, I mean, I knew it was rare, but I didn't realize it was going to be this rare. So we're just going to keep going, and I want to make sure I don't leave the nether until I've got enough ancient debris to turn all of my armor into netherite, all of my tools into netherite. So guys, as I said, I'm not leaving this until we've done that. So the reason I'm getting all of this ancient debris is obviously to turn everything that I have diamond into netherite. We're not just going to turn this helmet, these leggings, these boots, or any of these tools into netherite we're actually going to go ahead get some of the best enchants you can in the game for all of these pieces of gear and then we're going to turn them all into netherite and we should have the most overpowered gear you can get in the whole of the game so basically that's that's actually the plan of what we're trying to do and as you guys can see i now have 19 ancient debris i mean it has taken me quite a while to get these 19 pieces of ancient debris but what we actually need to turn a helmet leggings boots a shovel and an axe into netherite gear we're actually going to need 20 pieces of ancient debris and i've literally just found the last piece we need right here so let's just dig around we found another piece right there but yeah so we now have 
21 pieces of ancient debris. So, so we're going to go ahead now, back to the base, turn a bunch of OP gear into netherite. But first off, we need to get a bunch of levels. So I think what we're going to do, go back, store all of this stuff in a bunch of chests, and then go over to the Enderman farm, get a bunch of XP, and then start enchanting stuff to get some of the best gear we can get in Minecraft. And then, guys, I also have a really good name that one of you guys left in the comments of what we can call the upgrade rooms. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for the name suggestions of the upgrade room, but I've picked one and it's really, really awesome. So we're going to go ahead and also name that. So let's just head back and get all of this stuff done. Okay, so we've arrived back to our house. How, how are you doing, Spike? Well, I mean, that's pretty cool, but guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put all of our stuff back in the chest. We're going to head to the end, get a bunch of XP, then we're going to start work on getting the god gear, and then putting it inside of the upgrade room, which we are about to name right now. So guys, let's just go ahead and name the upgrade room. Let's just smack our ancient debris, and let's head over there. All right, so we've gone ahead and called it the powerhouse. So huge credit to this guy right here for this name. I really, really liked it. I think it just fit the theme really, really well of obviously it being like an upgrade room and like an armory and stuff like that. So I just thought the powerhouse fit really, really well. So huge shout out to you. So yeah, let's now head to the end and let's get some XP. All right, guys, before we head over to the end though prod has a little gift for us aka i'm gonna give him 16 diamonds for this sweeping edge book which he has right here so prod thank you very much for this this is gonna help me out get the enderman uh, a little bit better but real quick do you want to quickly show us what you've done with the uh, villager breeder cool oh yeah. um, okay so, so guys you may have seen this a few episodes back and it was literally just it just looked like it was under in a little cave but now prod has actually spent a little bit of time revamping it and i think it looks really nice so here we got the mending villager oh no here he is here's the mending villager let's wake him up oh no here we have the mending villager right here so i mean 10 emeralds for a mending book then over here we have our emerald one where we give him i think it's 32 sticks yeah 32 sticks for an emerald so oh my protection four yeah. i didn't know we had that Oh, but look at the amount of emeralds. Of emeralds yeah. That's yeah, 43 emeralds. Yeah, but we can, there is a way you can get cheaper prices. So yeah, we've got, uh, we've got protection right there, mending, and then we can just like, I don't know, we can fill them up with maybe like unbreaking and stuff like that, like uh, maybe some efficiency ones as well. But yeah, I think it looks really good. But guys, what we're going to do is right now is I'm going to head over to the end, get a bunch of XP, and then basically, Prod, if you didn't know what I'm doing, I'm basically just going to get like the, the best gear and the best tools in the whole entire game and just basically make my upgrade room look a little bit better, or as it's now called, the powerhouse. All right, so here we are at the end portal. Let's just go through. Here we are, and let's head over to the XP grinder. And also, real quick, while we're heading over to the XP farm here. Make sure you guys comment down below what you want us to build in the next episode or just an upcoming episode. Give us some good build ideas and that would really mean a lot. So guys, let's go ahead and let's get to maybe level 50 or something. Let's go. Okay, so we're about to get level 50. As you guys can see, we are very, very close. We're about two bars off. Let's just see if we can get that real quick. Boom. There it is. Level 50. All we need to do now is just go back and enchant our stuff. So let's just go. Okay, so we made it back to our base yet again, and we have all the netherite scraps here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is turn all of this into actual netherite ingots right here. So we've got five of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this shovel into a netherite shovel. And I know it's nearly broken, but if we actually get mending on it, and I think I do have a mending book in here. I bought a few earlier. So yeah, as you guys can see, I've got three mending books, and we're going to go over to the villager area and purchase even more mending books. But for now, we're going to use these three, and then we're probably going to have to buy like a few more. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to put mending on this shovel so we can get that that durability that shovel all the way back up by using it we're then going to try and get a good enchant on the axe and just to save diamonds as well i'm going to unenchant all of these pieces of armor and re-enchant them and then put mending on all of them as well so the durability really doesn't matter seeing as if they have mending on they're going to be able to get their durability all the way back so real quick let's actually grab these mending books real quick and put them in this shulker box now i think i do have lapis in here so yeah we've got loads of lapis let's put the mending books up there and let's go ahead and see if we can get some good armor enchants because guys i'm excited to have the best armor in the game so let's go ahead and do that all right so here we are we are at the archives let's just disenchant all of this armor real quick. Let's just go ahead, get rid of all those enchants, and guys, I hope we can get lucky. As you guys can see, we got 50 levels, so if we don't get lucky straight away, we can always keep disenchanting and stuff like that. So let's just go with the helmet right now. Uh, actually, yeah, let's put the lapis in. Okay, I'm breaking three. If it's protection four as well, this could be good. Okay, literally just I'm breaking three. All right, not too bad. I mean, I mean, we are going to definitely disenchant that, but let's try again. Fire protection IV. I'm breaking three. I mean, that's not the best as well. Okay, here we go. Protection four. And now if we get an unbreaking villager, that'll actually be really good. So I'm actually going to keep this um, enchant here with the protection because that is really good. But what we're going to do is we're going to disenchant. Let's disenchant the boots and the helmet. But guys, I'm keeping that leggings enchant because protection four, that's actually not too bad. But let's just keep going with these. Oh, okay. Protection four on the boots again. As I said, if we do get an unbreaking villager and an aqua affinity villager for the helmet and stuff like that, we could have some really good enchants. But I just really like having protection four. So let's just go with that. And then with for the helmet, I'm breaking three fire protection three not too bad let's just get rid of it though because i just really the main enchant i want on all of them to start off with is just protection four because i feel like that's just one of the best enchants you can get on armor oh my 
Goodness. That is literally one of the best enchants you can get. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Respiration 3, and Acro Affinity. I don't think it can get much better than that. Okay, I am very happy with that. All right, now let's try the axe. Come on. Fortune 3 and Efficiency. I mean, I don't know whether I want to try my luck and try and get an Unbreaking on it. I mean, should we try and get an Unbreaking on it? Or should we just wait till we get an Unbreaking Villager? Or I think I might have another axe with Unbreaking on. We'll have to go check it out. But guys, look at that armor. If we get the Unbreaking Villagers inside of an upcoming episode, that is going to be some of the best armor we can get. Now, I think we just got to go ahead now and buy some more mending books off the villager but let me just go check something back at the base i want to see if i have an unbreaking three axe so let's just go see that real quick and if we don't let's just go grind out some sticks to sell to the villager okay so i've just looked through all my chests and i don't think we do have any other axes but guys i think we're just going to go with this enchantment for now because if we do get mending on it as well i think unbreaking is just something we can work on in the future but mending for now is going to be good so let's go ahead and grind out a bunch of sticks sell them all to the villager and let's work towards getting even better armor than we already have all right so we're back with prod and what i want to do is prod look at the amount of birch logs i have all right look at that look I mean, you have to pick it up, but that is that is a solid four stacks right there. So yeah, that's a lot of birch logs. So I'm going to turn them all into sticks, right? And I'm literally going to buy a bunch of mending books. 16 emeralds is the max. All right, now to get the mending, we need 10. And I also just realized I need a book. Oh, yep. I knew like, you were going to do it. <laughs> I always forget the book. I always forget. Oh, wait, this one sticks as well. This one, I found another stick one. All right, here we go. We got so many for sticks. All right, come on, buddy. Give me all the emeralds. I think I need 30 emeralds to make this possible. Okay, I've got 30. All right, and right. how many books? Okay, put all the emeralds there. Boom. Three mending books. Let's go. I mean, Prod, I just want to say, like, this is... This is a great work that you've done down here. I really like it. Also, another thing we really need to do, Prod, is get an Unbreaking 3 Villager. Because I've got... We've, we've got every good Villager, pretty much, apart from Unbreaking and Efficiency. Oh, it's actually not expensive. It, for the Helmet, it's two enchantment levels. All right, let's add Mending to the Boots. Okay, let's also call it God Boots. Onto the Diamond Leggings. Let's add Mending to that. Also call it God Leggings. God Leggings. Just like that. Okay. Okay, there we go. God Chestplate as well. So, we now have a full... God set. All right, let's get the other mending books out my shulker box real quick. Let's just get rid of that. All right, here we go. So now we need to turn the shovel to a mending. I wanted to do a little bit of a tribute to the first netherite pickaxe we had, and that was obviously called the fru axe, and it's going to cost me 32 levels. So I think we're going to have to do a little bit more XP grinding to get that, but for now, let's go turn it all into netherite stuff. Okay, so here we are at the powerhouse. Let's just go on in and let's turn everything to netherite. So let's go. God helmet, let's turn that to netherite. Turn that to netherite. God leggings, turn that to netherite. God axe, turn that to netherite. God shovel. Turn that to netherite. Oh, my prod. Are you ready to see what I look like? I'm ready. Bro, literally. We also definitely need to get the uh, Unbreaking Villager for these two pieces, but let's actually go. We got it. We did what we said we were going to do this episode and get a full set of God Armor, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so as you can see, we have put the God Armor inside of the powerhouse and that is our first complete set of basically God Armor, but it's just missing a few fire protections and Unbreakings, but prod, what do you think of that? How, how do you think that looks? It looks honestly amazing. All right, so that is where we are going to end this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys want us to build in the next episode. And apart from that, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to join the Discord. And guys, have a great rest of your day and peace. Wait, we've literally got the wither stuck. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. Use your pickaxe. Look at the speed. Oh, my. We basically now have perfect villagers you can get. Hey, guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. So, guys, in today's episode, we have a bit of a busy one. So, to start this episode off, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be meeting up with the others, killing the wither again, because I actually need another beacon now. Let me explain. Now, the reason that I want another beacon is because down underground, I want to build a massive, massive slime farm. And, well, I mean, using my pickaxe is fast, but if we had a beacon... We can make it a lot faster. So I think what we're about to do now is meet up with the others underground, fight the wither. We're going to make another beacon, set that all up underground. And then we're going to continue with a lot of other stuff we need to get done in today's episode. So guys, it's going to be a pretty busy one. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. So let's just get to it. All right, so we're all heading down to Prod's little kind of area, the massive mine. Jeez, this is literally huge. So where should we, where should we try and fight? I think if we spawn it right here, are you guys ready for this? <laughs> This is the second yeah. time we fought this, so I mean, it's not going to be, it's not going to be anything we haven't seen before. And I've, I've already misplaced one. Oh, jeez. All right. Three, two. Oh. One. Okay, go, 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 go. Trust me, this tactic will work. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. It's going to start running it. towards us. Wait, we've literally got the wither stuck. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, oh no, no, we don't. No, oh. no, 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 it's not stuck. <laughs> what? This is so easy. This is Why is this? This is too easy. I, I, I want it to be... I want it to be harder. <laughs> Wait, what is this? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. We, what? I literally thought that was going to be as hard as the first time, but nope, that was... Oh, that was pretty easy. Now we've gone ahead and got the nether star. I think I'm going to go back to my base where I've kind of got the underground mine and put the beacon there. But I'm going to make it like one of the full size ones. Another thing I want to do in this episode, Zetro, Prod, and MD, if you guys are all down, do you want to build like a horse stables so we can all go out and get some horses? I think I have a saddle on me right now. I have a saddle. So if we all get our saddles together, do you want to go out, find some horses, and then build a stables for them? First off, I'm going to go back to my base, build the beacon, and then we can start on that afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So we just absolutely destroyed the wither.
with it right there. And as you guys can also see, Spike has also got a brand new fresh collar. Look at that lime green collar on the piece of carpet that we've got right there. How, how are you doing, Spike? Well, I mean, that is pretty interesting, so thanks for sharing, Spike. But guys, if we head down to the chest, what I think we're going to do now is we're going to make this beacon with this nether star right now, and I think we're going to make it just out of iron blocks for now, because, I mean, when it comes to the villagers and getting emerald blocks, it is easy, but it's a little bit time-consuming. So eventually, yes, we will get a complete full emerald beacon, but for now, I think the easiest thing to do is definitely start off with an iron one. And if I look in my chests, I don't think I do actually have enough iron to even do it. Like, you guys can see I've got iron here, there, and everywhere. So I definitely do need to get an organized storage happening at some point, so... I mean, we will figure that out sometime. I think we might put it down there or something. But guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to go mining for a little bit to get some iron. And then I think we need to sort out the villages because as you guys may have heard me say in the last episode, we have a protection villager, a mending villager, and obviously we have the sticks for emeralds villager. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to go and organize those villages so we can get some unbreaking villages, maybe even some efficiency villages. So yeah, right now we're just going to go get a bunch of iron and stuff like that. And then we're going to go ahead and work on the villages. And as you guys may have heard me say, I definitely want to get a horse in today's episode. So let's just go and see how much iron we can get. Okay, so we're going through one of my old strip mines and I know for a fact that I've definitely left bits of iron just laying around the area so I think I'm just gonna go through get all of those pieces of iron and then obviously we actually have to make the beacon so I mean let's not die in lava with the nether star on us that would absolutely suck so I've got to be very careful on this mining trip but hopefully we come out of this with a bunch of iron now eventually I definitely want to upgrade it to emerald blocks and maybe even gold blocks we could honestly do if I have a lot of gold so yeah let's just get the iron though for now <laughs> Okay, literally, as I'm mining for iron, I've found some diamonds. Okay, like, the chances of that happening, I mean, isn't that hard. Wait, what? The amount of diamonds I've just found. I've just... Wait, how many diamonds is that? I have just found... 20 diamonds while I'm just going through random strip mines to try and get iron. I mean, I'll take it. Okay, so we're back at my house right now, and as you guys can see, these are all the blocks I was actually able to make, and I did use a few emeralds out of my chests over there to actually make these emerald blocks. But I mean, apart from that, we do have quite a lot of selection of blocks right here, and I think we can make one more emerald block, but guys, I think Zetro actually has a bunch of emerald and iron blocks, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask him if I can actually borrow some to actually make this beacon a thing. Okay, guys, so we're heading over to Zetro's house right now, and Zetro, do you have any blocks I can use for my beacon? You know, I'm trying to build the biggest beacon I can, so I was just wondering if you have any spare blocks I can borrow? I do. You want all of them? I think I need three stacks of blocks if my maths isn't wrong. So, I mean, I have about two stacks, just over two stacks. So, if you maybe have, like, a stack of maybe emeralds or iron or just anything you're willing to let me borrow, that'd be great. All right. So, I've got all these blocks. I'll just give you them all and you can do go and use whatever ones you want, okay? So, basically, if you guys don't know, Zetro does a lot of trading with the villagers over at the villager area. How many sticks do you reckon you've traded to the emerald villager that we have? <laughs> traded uh, too many. A lot, a lot of sticks, a lot of carrots. But, yeah, th those are all my blocks. There you go. Okay. So, we now have literally a stack of emeralds. We have so much stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this beacon then Zetro Are you down to help me out with the villager area because I feel like we need an unbreaking villager and also yeah. an efficiency villager All right guys, so we're gonna head back to my base We're gonna make this beacon and I actually don't know if I have enough obsidian to do it So let me just go see okay So we're back at my base right now and we have so many blocks So Zetro, thank you so much for letting me borrow all these blocks and I mean where is where did I put the nether star? Did I, okay, yeah I put it in this shulker box and now I just don't know if I have any obsidian because I need obsidian to make it and I need a piece of glass So please say some okay, so we got eight obsidian to make the beacon We need five pieces of glass and we literally have four so we're one off so i need to borrow a piece of sand i mean the chances that i have four pieces of glass when i literally need five is just i, I don't even know what to say so let's just let this mount and let's make the beacon all right so here we go the glass is done let's go into the crafting table all the glass in here put the obsidian at the bottom and then pop the nether star in the middle and there we go the second beacon that we actually have and it's going right down here in the mine and if you guys don't already know what this looks like let me show you what i've already kind of done with the progress of it so let's go look okay so this is pretty much it as you guys can see i've done quite a little bit of progress on it i mean it's nothing too big and, and it's definitely no near where I actually want it to be so I think I'm gonna put the beacon like right here so it's kind of like in the middle of these blocks and then here as well so so the reason I want to put the beacon there instead of over here is because obviously on this beacon we're gonna be having haste now I want the haste to reach as far as it possibly can so if I put it here it may not last for too long down there so if I put it right here in the middle it should hopefully work a little bit better so let's mine out an area and let's get to work on this beacon I think it's a nine by nine so yeah if we go one two three four five six seven eight nine that is basically the length it should be on this side and then we're just gonna mine out an area so let's get to it <laughs> Alright, so as I'm mining this area out right now, I actually had a genius idea of maybe turning some of this kind of underground slime farm area into a secret underground base. So let me know what you guys think of that and maybe we'll make it happen. Wait, we've just had a slime spawn literally as I was just doing this. We've already got a slime already. Oh, jeez. Alright, this is actually insane that we've already got a slime here. I didn't even know that slime spawned down here. What? Right, so I mean, we've just got very, very lucky. I mean, this is 
I, I don't even know what to say. And we've also got 15 slime balls now. As I was literally building the beacon as well, but we've got to finish doing this. But I mean, at least we know that we can get slimes down here now. Okay, so for now, we obviously need to use a mixture of different blocks because we don't have like literally hundreds of emerald blocks right now. I mean, we can get it, but as I said at the start of the video, it is quite a time consuming thing to do. So I guess we've just got to keep going with all these different blocks we've got. Now, as I said on this beacon, we're obviously going to be putting haste on it to increase our mining speed because I mean, this is going to be sort of like a mine slash slime farm. And I mean, of course, I want some underground base going on down here, which would be really awesome. But here we go. We are about to put the beacon on top. Three, two, one, boom. All right, so there we go. Any minute now, it should actually light up. Is it going to work? All right, so we've had some technical difficulties with the beacon. I'm pretty sure the beacon has to be able to see the sky. Um, and I didn't really think about that while putting it underground. So I think I've got to dig all the way up from where the beacon's going to go and maybe put like a glass block there or something. All right, so I've made it to the top. And for some reason, I've popped out behind the uh, village area. And prod, how you doing? I'm just going to go dig straight back down. So we got to dig all the way back down. And any minute now, we should meet the area. Yep, here we go. All right, come on. Please say this works. Oh, yes, it worked. Bring a beacon to full power. All right, so obviously we want haste. So let's put an emerald in there. And haste two, boom. All right, there we go. We're going to put a nice piece of stained glass up the top there, but that is it. Now, look how fast you can mine. Oh, use your pickaxe. Look at the speed. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Prod is here with the lime glass. Let's go for it. Put it down. Okay, there Ooh, we go. Now we're talking. Cool. All right, so take a look at this. We are already having so many slimes spawn already. We just had two big slimes spawn. And if I go through and get rid of these, how many slime balls will we actually end up with? So we're on 20 right now. And having slime balls, it just opens up so many possibilities for new builds we can do. Because we can obviously have sticky pistons now. Wait, if I just mined, if I just accidentally mined some more diamonds. The amount of diamonds I'm accidentally getting just from mining out this slime farm is literally insane. I found like two veins so far. So it's pretty good that we're already getting slimes here. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. We're just going to go ahead and leave the slime farm for a little bit because I think Z Zetro and Prod want to go ahead and build this horse stables with me because if you guys don't know, I really want a horse for some reason because I have diamond horse armor and I want to kind of put it to use. So we're going to go ahead and basically build a horse stables and then sort out the villages. So let's meet up with them and yeah, let's build this horse stables. Prod, Zetro, you guys ready to build the horse stables? So ready. If you guys didn't already know, Zetro has actually been working on a little bit of a building project and it's actually like a medieval theme kind of build project, would you say, Zetro? Yeah. All right, so let's just go ahead and check out and pretty much I think we should build the horse stables here because I mean, as you said, it would just fit the theme quite a lot. So as you guys can see, he's got the windmill, which we showed like not even that long ago obviously he's had his castle for ages and the sheep farm but this is the new addition that he's actually built here and it looks really really nice so i think we should maybe go with this type of theme you've been going with with the sheep farm and stuff like that okay so we've gone ahead and got all the materials we need as you guys can see i've got so much oak and i think zetra you've got all the dark oak and prod you've got all the cobblestone and kind of like the decoration stuff so guys we're gonna go ahead and start this build so let's just do it <laughs> So we're now all pretty much finished with the build. The only thing that it needs is maybe just some horses inside because it is, of course, a stables for the horse. But guys, look how nice things are coming along over there with the two beacons. It just looks really nice. But guys, here is the stables. Three, two, one, boom. Look at that. It looks really, really fresh. Kind of a simplistic design. And it also kind of goes with everything that Zetro's been doing over here with the kind of farm, the buildings, the windmill. I think it looks really, really nice. So we kind of all did team up for this build. And I mean, personally, I think it looks really good. So uh, Zetro, what do you um, what do you think of the build? Do you think it looks good? Yeah, I really like it. I really like this side fence bit as well. So you can just go straight to the farm. I think it's pretty sick. So I mean, if we added a pathway going from there over to here, it looked really, really nice. So yeah, we kind of added a side entrance. We're going to be able to fit quite a few horses in here. We got quite a lot of space. So they got a little bit of hay bales over there. We got a little bit of glowstone. Keep it all lit up but yeah it looks really really nice and i mean yeah we all, we all did a little bit of work for this so all i need to do is go ahead and actually get some horses to put inside and i mean obviously i do have the diamond armor back at home so guys another thing if you do want to help us name the stables make sure to leave a comment down below of what we should call it and we will leave a sign right there with your name on it and also what you want to call it guys so make sure you comment down below a name for the stables it would really really mean a lot so guys let's go ahead and let's get horse and then let's do some stuff with the villagers so let's just go get horse okay so here we go we're just going to keep flying out try and find some horses i mean i'm pretty sure they kind of spawn more in areas where there's not so many trees so we're just gonna like areas like this very flat kind of plain areas i'm pretty sure horses are more common so let's hopefully try and find something all right here we go right next to a little villager outpost or like a pillager outpost we have found quite a few horses okay it turns out the pillagers actually want to fight me so we do have a lot of horses right here i don't know why there's an iron golem up there but there's so many pillagers i just want to get these horses go away all right there we go we got rid of them all All right let's try out these horses all right let's get on this one right now come on okay so for some reason he's walking towards the pillagers okay i just tamed him just in time all right perfect Let's put a saddle on him. Let's get away from those pillagers. No, we don't want to fight them. All right, so I'm just going to go through all of these horses and try and find out which one's the best. Okay, here we go. We got this one. Is he good? Oh, look at the speed of this guy. Look at him go. How high does he jump? Oh, look at that. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this one. So let's head back to the stable, 
stables. Let's put him in and let's put some diamond horse armor on him. So let's just go back to the base. We've made it back to the stables. There's so many mobs outside because we need to put torches around. But we are going to go ahead and put him in this one right here. Let's just go ahead and open these up. So let's just go grab that diamond horse armor. He's got a brand new home in there. You know, he looks pretty happy. So uh, yeah, let's just go get that armor in. All right, so we're back at the base and I can't remember where I actually put the diamond horse armor. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so we got the diamond horse armor. Just take a look at that. Now all we literally need is all the others to go ahead and bring their horses in. I know for a fact that Prod's got a horse. I'm not sure about Zetra MD, but all we need is their horses in here and we're going to be pretty good. And why is there, how is there a zombie in here? Like, I know it's nighttime, but come on. All right, so we're going to leave the horse for now and we're going to head over to the villages. Oh no, of course there's a raid. Um, I mean, I might have to fight off this raid, but I know for a fact that we have a mending villager. I think we also have a protection. So I definitely want to get an unbreaking and efficiency and then I'll be just so happy with that. So, I mean, let's just get rid of this raid because the villagers are just going to be scared otherwise. So let's just do that. All right, so here they all are. Let's just get rid of them real quick. I don't even think it's going to be like a big raid or anything like that. I mean, we might not even get like a totem. They're just... The iron golems couldn't even do anything about it, but all right, so we've got the other round here. Let's just, honestly, let's just get this raid over with. All right, if we just get rid of him, I think we got a saddle from this guy. Yeah, we got a saddle from him. Okay, let's go. Do we have another round to go? Oh, no, we got it. All right, so there we go. We got the hero of the village. So now what we can actually go ahead and do is actually get really, really cheap prices on a lot of our stuff that our villagers actually sell. Because, I mean, if you guys don't know what hero of the village means, it just means that you get a discount on all of the stuff your villagers sell. So, say for example, if we go to our mending villager, it's only going to cost seven emeralds instead of ten. So, I mean, that's basically what it does. So let's just go ahead and get an efficiency villager. But more importantly, let's get an unbreaking. I mean, efficiency. I don't mind if we don't get that today, but all I want is an unbreaking villager So let's just look through these guys. They do have quite a few good trades. Like we've got lure three knockback I mean none of them are actually too good. I don't think I mean fire aspect one Yeah, none of them are too good. So oh wait that guy is silk touch So so let's just go ahead and change some of these guys jobs until we get the trade that we want All right, so i'm trying to trap this villager in right now and we've got him So what trades does he have right now? He hasn't been traded with before and oh wait what? Wait, how's he? No, get back in. Get back in. So let's just go ahead and keep changing his job until we basically get the trades he wants. So let's do it. Okay, let's just keep going. What has he got now? Projectile protection. That's not too bad, but let's just keep going. Uh, mending again? The chances of that happening is actually insane. I mean, it's not as good of a deal as what we've already got. So, I mean, I'm afraid we're going to have to keep going, though. I mean, we already... I mean, mending's crazy, but we already do have a mending one. So, let's just keep going. Projectile protection three, not too bad. I mean, I mean, it's not the best, but let's just keep going for what we want. Silk touch. Come on, I'm breaking. All we want is I'm breaking. Quick charge. Okay, so after quite a while with these villages, I have finally got quite a few really good villages. And so we're going to go check them out real quick. But before we do, I do actually want to buy some stuff off them. So I'm just going to quickly trade all my sticks for emeralds. So let's just quickly trade all these sticks for some emeralds real quick. So let's just go ahead and do that. I don't know how many emeralds I'm going to be able to get with all these sticks. The other thing is that these aren't the only two Fletcher traders that we have to actually do sticks to emerald trades. So we actually do have a load of them. So whenever these guys get tired of trading with us, we can always move on to the other ones that we have kind of roaming around the area. So it's never really a problem if they do run out of trades anyway. So let's just keep on going with these though. Alright, so if we go up these stairs right now, yes. Look at the amount of villagers we have. Now, I know it's very, very loud up here with all the noises they're making, but guys, I, after quite a while, I've actually got a few of them with decent trades. So if we go through right now, some of them have, like, not very good trades. Like, I mean, Acrofinity is not even too bad. That's pretty useful. We've got Thorns 2, which isn't the best. Acrofinity, again, which is good. This guy down here has Feather Falling 4, which, again, is really, really good. Alright, so here is the villager I'm talking about. 34 emeralds for a sharpness for book. Now that is actually really, really good because sharpness four is obviously like one of the best enchants you can get on a sword. Obviously you can get sharpness five, but I don't think you can get that in a book. They're all going to bed right now, but guys, if I can quickly show you in this kind of little area right now, it is very, very messy. In one of the upcoming episodes, I'm going to need to sort this out. It took me so, so long before I could even find one unbreaking villager. So the underground down here, you guys can see we have two villagers. One of them is actually a librarian. And for some reason, guys, I couldn't actually get unbreaking three, but after a very long time, when I tell you guys a very long time, I mean, in a very long time. I actually ended up getting an Unbreaking 2 Villager. So if we combine two Unbreaking 2 books, we actually get Unbreaking 3, of course. So let's just go ahead and buy two of these books right now. And then if we combine these together, we will obviously get Unbreaking 3. So, all right, so now we're going to go over to Anvil, combine these two Unbreaking 2 books together. And also you guys can see I've still got the Sweeping Edge 3, which I am going to put on my sword at some point. So guys, we basically now have perfect villagers you can get. We've got Mending, we've got Unbreaking, we've got Sharpness, we've got Protection. I think that is basically every single book that we're going to need right now. I mean, obviously down the line, we're going to get some more and we definitely need to organize the village area a little bit you guys can just see villages were just walking around randomly everywhere but if we go down here to our anvil which is down here actually you know what let's use the anvil inside of the powerhouse so let's move back here where the anvils are so here we go add in the unbreaking two with an unbreaking two and there you guys can see for literally three enchantment points we can get an unbreaking three books so for now i think we're just going to keep on getting two unbreaking two books and just combining them together for now until we do eventually get the unbreaking three which we will eventually get and actually now that we do have the unbreaking three book we 
can finally go ahead, put the Unbreaking 3 book here, put the God Axe, which has Fortune 3, Efficiency IV, and Mending, and we can upgrade it for 5 enchantment levels to get it to really be one of the best axes. So there we go, we got Unbreaking on that as well, but guys, I think that is where we are going to end this episode, so, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and apart from that, have a great rest of your day, guys, and peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. So, in today's episode, we have a very, very exciting episode, because, well, we're actually going to be doing quite a lot of stuff, so you guys are probably asking yourself, you know, why have I decided to do the intro of this video inside of the slime farm? I mean, obviously, we've got the beacon all set up now and stuff like that, but if you guys watched the last episode, you guys would have heard me say that I want to turn some of this underground area into a little bit of a secret room, so we're going to be starting this episode off by getting that done, building a really, really awesome secret room, which I really have a good idea for, so hopefully it turns out how I hope it's going to turn out. So, in fact, what I'm going to show you guys right now is all the materials I've been preparing for this secret underground base build. Now, it's quite a lot of materials, and I spent quite a lot of hours actually gathering them, so if we head to these chests right now and go inside of this one, boom. As you guys can see, we have so much sand, so much gravel, so much andesite, and the reason that I have all this sand and gravel is because I'm actually going to be turning that into lime concrete, so I can actually get a nice kind of design inside of the base. Hopefully, it'll make more sense when we actually start the build, so yeah, I've basically got a bunch of materials all ready to do this build, and then also, later on in the episode, we've got some more exciting stuff going on, because I'm pretty sure me and the others are actually going to be doing a little bit of exploring, because we want to go ahead and try and find a jungle biome, also kind of like a packed ice area, and also like a terracotta biome, so we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring in today's episode, but let's just go over to this kind of temporary cactus farm I've made, just to kind of get cactus for now, and also Spike's here, you know, how are you doing Spike? interesting as always, but guys, we're going to head over to this cactus farm right now that I've kind of set up just to get cactus for this build. Afterwards, we're probably going to make more of like a professional cactus farm, maybe even like an automatic one, but as you guys can see, this is what I'm working with to get my cactus at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead, farm all this up, and then let's head back down to the underground so we can start on this base, so let's just do it. Now, to make concrete, I'm pretty sure you've got to put sand and gravel like that, and then put the dye you want in the middle, so there's green, but I actually want to turn this into lime real quick, so if I think we go down to the skeleton farm, there should be a bunch of bones down there which I can turn into white dye. Actually, wait, no, Oh, I just remembered I actually have a load of white dye in this chest over here, so let's just turn this all into lime. Alright, let's head back to the crafting table, put the white dye in, put the green dye in. Okay, so there's a bunch of lime, let's put that in the middle, then put sand all around it, just like that, and then the gravel in the corners, let's just do that real quick. Now, this gives us the powder, but I think what we actually have to do now is get a bucket of water and pour it all over the powder to actually turn it into concrete. Alright, so I'm not sure what the best way to do this is, but I think I'm just gonna go up like this in kind of two blocks up, all the way to the sky limit, and then just pour the water buckets on. Hopefully this works out, I mean, I don't know if this is the most efficient way to do it, but we'll see if it works. Okay, so I've also just remembered it does drop like sand, so we can just go ahead and do this. This is a much easier way of doing it than building all the way up, so let's just go ahead and keep dropping it like this, and then we should have a bunch of concrete. Alright, so we're down to our last few blocks, let's just place them like that, and then I think we can go ahead and put the water bucket down. Okay, so I think all we got to do is just put the water bucket and let it go down for a little bit, so if I take that bucket away, the water should go all the way down. Yeah, I think that's working, and also on the bright side, if I put my netherite pickaxe here, we also have haste, so this is going to make this a lot more easier to mine. I'm glad we've got that beacon there, Just this is just going to make it so much easier. Alright, so the water's gonna go all the way down there. Let's just do it here as well. Alright, and here. Alright, so we should be good to mine it now. Let's see how quick it goes. Alright, come on. Alright, let's just go through. Okay, it's not that bad. It's honestly not that bad. I, th I thought it was gonna be worse than this. Alright, so we are all done with mining the lime concrete, as you guys can see, so I'm gonna go ahead down to the mine right now, and I'm gonna kind of mark out where I want the base to actually go, so I want to do it a little bit above bedrock, so I actually don't have bedrock as the floor, I kind of want it to be a little bit better than just the floor being bedrock and cobblestone and just all these random blocks, so it is gonna look really, really nice, it's just, it's gonna take a lot of time to kind of mine out more of the area, and also build it, so I'm gonna need to mark on the floor where I want the kind of middle of the base to be, and then we can work on the side rooms afterwards, so let's just get to that. Alright, so right now what I'm actually doing is I'm marking out where I want the middle of the actual main room to be, so this is going to be kind of the middle room, then we're going to have rooms going off there, 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 and stuff like that, and then obviously we've got the main entrance here, and all of this kind of side stuff, like all the stone and stuff like that, I'm going to completely change that to all look really nice as well, so all this staircase will be completely redone as well, so guys, I think it's about time that we pretty much go ahead and get this build started, so let's just get to it and start this build. <laughs> Alright, so we are with Zetro and Prod. Now, guys, you know that I've been working on a bit of a build, and you guys watching the video obviously know I've been working on the build as well. Now, after many, many hours, it is basically complete. I'm just going to say that it did take quite a lot of time. So, obviously, you guys haven't seen it. You guys watching this video right now haven't actually seen the final product. So, I'm going to show you guys, as well as all of you guys watching this video right now. So, are you ready to check out what I've been working on for all these hours? Yes. So excited. Okay, so it is underground my house. If you guys go down here, you'll be able to see it any minute now. Well, you'll be able to see, like, the entrance of it. I've kind 
kind of redone the whole entrance. Now, boom. This may look a little bit different to what you guys are kind of familiar with. Are you ready to go check it out? It, it's honestly, I, I think it's a really nice build. I, I quite like it. All right, you ready? You ready no, to go down? Yeah. I'm just going to walk backwards so you guys can see it first. All right. Zetro, seriously. <laughs> all right, so Zetro's back from collecting all of his stuff. All right, you guys ready to look at it? All right, ready? Three, two, one. Boom. All right, so this is the oh, main room right here. What do you guys think of the main so, one? It's really cool. This is sick. All right, so let me actually explain what the rooms are for. So in this room right here is where I'm going to be storing all my valuables um, for, for now, I guess. So this is where it goes. We've got the diamonds in here. We've got the gold in here. we got the iron, oh. the lapis, the redstone, the emeralds. We've got all of it in here. We've got some armor stands for decoration. So what do you guys think of this little room here? Really nice. I really like it. There is also a little storage room as well. So, you know, the storage room at the top of my base isn't really the best. So this is more of like kind of a bit of an organized storage. So yeah, it's pretty much got all my stuff in. So this is like the storage room. It's a nice organized one. And now the last room, which is actually a room which I think we can all get a bit of use out of here. This is the potion room. So it's got all the brewing stands. It's got the cauldron. And also it's got a bunch of ingredients as well. So in this chest, there's going to be a bunch of ingredients for brewing. There's obviously in the middle, we've got a 9x9 beacon. You can't see the bottom layer. But yeah, it is actually a 9x9 fully working beacon, which I've managed to fit inside the space. So guys... What are we thinking? I think it's amazing. I like really, it. really, really good job. This is the final result of the build. Honestly, guys, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And it did take a long time because I had to keep going, getting the materials for the build and then coming back to actually build it. So, I mean, this is what it's like. And I just realized we got a little fault over there with the trap door. Uh, let me just go ahead and fix that real quick right there. All right, let's see if it worked. And has it worked? Yes. All right, it's worked perfectly. All right, guys, so we're at the villager farm right now. And Prod has literally just found a villager. Is it this guy right here? With Unbreaking 3. This took us so long to get in the last one and we didn't even get it. But we've actually got it right now. Oh, my. We've actually got I'm breaking three villagers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy it, put it on my elytra, and then me and Prod are going to go and explore. So Prod, what are we looking for exactly? Like a ice biome or a jungle or a terracotta biome, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the unbreaking on my elytra, and then we're going to go on a little bit of an exploration. So let's just go. All right, so as you guys can see right now, we have the unbreaking three book in our hand. So what we're going to go ahead and do is put it on our elytras. And also, if you guys can see over there, we have the stables. So I basically said in the last episode, if you guys have any good name suggestions, I'm going to be choosing one from the comments and putting your name and also the name you suggested on the stable. So we are going to be doing that later on in the episode. But real quick, if you guys have any ideas for what I should name my Elytra and also what I should name the new underground base, then make sure you guys comment them down below as well. And we'll basically choose one for the next episode. But real quick, let's just take off our Elytras real quick and put on the Unbreaking book. So it's only going to cost us four enchantment levels. So as I said, guys, if you do have any names for the Elytra, feel free to comment them down below. Boom, there we go. We have the Mending and the Elytra. And I also have a Sweeping Edge book here, which we are going to put on my sword later. And let's go exploring with Prod. I also think I have some Quartz in this shulker box right now. So yeah, I've got some Quartz here. So if me and Prod's Elytras are going to break, they obviously have Mending on so i'm gonna go ahead and bring this nether quartz so if we do get low on durability we can just mine the quartz and get our xp back so yeah let's actually go so we're with prod right now so we are all ready to go we got all our potatoes we got all the fireworks ready so let's just go ahead and set on our adventure and see if we can find anything good i feel like we haven't gone in like that direction all right guys so we're just gonna go ahead and go in a random direction we don't think we've explored over here so we're just gonna go ahead and see if there's anything interesting to see all right so our first find here is a sunken ship and prod did you loot it what did it have anything anything interesting anything worth it a leather, a leather cap. all right so we stumbled across a temple right next to the village. Alright, let's see if there's anything good in this. Oh, wait, be careful, because there are traps down here, right? Wait, 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 be careful, because we don't even let a block land on it, because that will make oh, it. Oh, true. Alright, let me break the pressure plate. Oh, okay. Oh. Free TNT, I'll take it. Alright, let's see if there's anything oh. good in these. Oh, diamonds, some diamonds. Okay, saddle in here, nothing too interesting. Iron horse armor. Oh, golden apple, though. We've literally just found a golden sword with mending on it right next to where the buried treasure area was at this fallen nether portal. That's actually not even bad. I'm, I'm just going to take that just because it's got mending on it. Why not? All right, guys. So we've literally traveled for thousands of blocks and we haven't found anything. So we're kind of thinking about going back before we run out of fireworks because I've easily used like two plus stacks. All right. So as you can see, we have made it back home. Me and Prod did not get any luck with a packed ice biome, which is what I really, really want. I just want a packed ice biome and I'll be just so happy. So, guys, I'm not giving up because as you guys can see, I've refueled with a bunch of fireworks. So we're going to keep on going. And and exploring to try and find a packed ice biome. So guys, let's just go. Oh my, yes, we finally found one. After all this time of looking, we finally found a packed ice biome. Oh my, I cannot tell you guys how happy I am. Wait, hello? Wait, what is that skeleton? Jeez. All right, so the skeleton just dropped an arrow of slowness, and now I've got slowness on me. But guys, we have finally done it. We have finally found a packed ice biome. Now, I'm pretty sure I brought my silk touch pickaxe with me with literally just silk touch on it, as you guys can see. So let's go ahead and let's get some of this packed ice. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am. Let's get it. There it is. Oh my, I'm just so happy I finally found one. All right, I guess I'm just going to get as much packed ice as I can. I'm going to try and get as many stacks, maybe like four or five stacks, maybe even more. We'll just have to see how long our pickaxe is going to last. So let's just go ahead and see how much packed ice we can get. So I've been mining it for not even 
even that long and we've already got around about three and a half stacks or something like that so we're just going to keep on going and i think we can get actually probably like eight stacks of this or something crazy like that so i mean eight stacks would be great but i don't even know if i eventually is going to be able to fit that and plus i do have a shulker box over there so let's not lose that and let's see if we can fill that up as well with uh, packed ice okay so we are now up to about one two three four five six stacks of packed ice all right let's just keep going though and on the bright side our pickaxe isn't even halfway i've been gathering packed ice for quite a while now and as you guys can see we have so many stacks if we just put it all in here we literally have we have about 22 stacks or so of packed ice in here so i think that's going to be enough i do want to use this packed ice in the future so it will be going to use but guys we are going to make our way back home but i'm pretty sure on the way home we go past the end portal so on the way home i'm actually going to stop off at the enderman farm get enough xp so i can put this sweeping edge book onto this sword so that will then make this sword one of the best swords you can actually get in the game so we're going to go ahead and do that then i think we're also going to be naming the stables so let's just go back and let's get to the enderman farm all right so here we are at the staircase down to the ender portal so what we're going to do we're going to go through the end portal and then we're going to make our way over to the enderman farm and i think i want to get to maybe like level 50 or something because i'm pretty sure to get sweeping edge on this sword it's going to cost a lot of xp points or, or xp levels so yeah i think it's going to take quite a lot so i want to get to like level 45 to 50 to make sure i can definitely put the enchantment on the sword so let's just go through and let's make our way to the xp farm okay so here we go we've made it to the end of the path let's just see how much xp we can get as i said i want to get to level 50 or something around there just so i can make sure that the sweeping edge book can definitely go on the sword all right so as you can see i'm at level 45 right now about to hit level 46 so i think that's going to be good enough to put the sweeping edge on my sword and then also have some levels left over okay so i'm going to leave the end put sweeping edge on my sword and then of course we are going to be naming the stables which i have said we're going to be doing quite a lot in this episode but i really want to do it so as soon as we get back it's put sweeping edge on our sword and then name the stables so let's just go ahead and get back to our house so let's go inside the powerhouse which is obviously where we keep our anvil so let's just go over to this right now and guys look at our silk touch pickaxe oh <gasps> there's a creeper right there oh geez go away oh my that was a jump scare i literally didn't even notice until last minute oh okay game please do not scare me like that again but guys as you can see our silk touch pickaxe is probably going to break soon so i'm going to have to repair it with some diamonds maybe even put mending on it i mean i think you can put mending on silk touch if you have it in your offhand right i mean maybe i don't know but guys let's go ahead and look at the amount of pack ties we have we have so much but let's quickly go to the anvil okay 37 levels let's actually rename it as well all right so we're going to rename it to the god sword and boom as you guys can see we now have a sword with sharpness five looting two which i do need to get looting three on it fire aspect two i'm breaking three mending and also sweeping edge three and i mean how much is it to rename our pickaxe to god pickaxe 32 levels okay i mean that is doable but probably not right now so so now let's just go grab a sign and actually name the stable so i need to actually go and grab a sign for that i'm pretty sure i have a bunch of signs in a chest or if not i can just make one with the wood but i'm pretty sure i already do have some signs left over okay so i'm outside of the stables right now and i do have the sign so what we're going to go ahead and do is put the sign right here with the person's name and also the name they suggested i just also want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys that did leave name suggestions down below in the comments it was really really awesome reading through them all but i think i found one which i really really like so let's just go ahead and put it right here all right so the name we have gone with is the horse hotel i don't know why i really really like this so a huge thank you to you for coming up with that name i really really like it and we all do appreciate it so guys we are now calling this the horse hotel and also feel free down below in the comments to give name suggestions for my horse because we don't actually have a name for him yet so if any of you guys want to help me find a name for this guy then let me know the brand new name for the stables is actually the horse hotel i really really like it so as i said we all really appreciate it but yeah if any of you guys want to help me name this horse then feel free but guys let's just go over back to our underground base because i think it is about time that we do in this video so hopefully you guys did enjoy it was honestly really really awesome building this base so guys thank you all so much for watching make sure you join the discord and have a great rest of your day guys and peace a deal is a deal so i gotta eat the puffer fish i mean i, I didn't realize it was this bad no what is going on what is going on we're on the grind with this build like look at all of that concrete oh my hey guys it's fruit and welcome back to another episode of the minecraft multiplayer survival so as you guys can see right now we're starting the episode off in my underground base which actually some of you guys have been leaving suggestions of what we should call this so i think today we're actually going to be giving this a name but we are joined right now with prod so prod i think i have a good idea of another sort of building project i want to do now i mean you know we've all been discussing like kind of making shops on the server and stuff like that now what do you think of that idea do you think maybe shops would be a good idea i think that'd be pretty cool so guys i think what we have been talking about maybe doing is some sort of kind of shopping area or if not like an area for it maybe even building a massive shopping mall and when i say massive shopping mall i really mean massive shopping mall so pretty much in today's video guys i have so much stuff i want to get done there's so much exciting stuff that i want to do in today's episode but to start off what i think i want to do is start on the shopping mall obviously i don't think we're going to be able to get it done in one episode but i do want to make a start on it and then i also want to do some stuff with fishing and also really quickly before we do get into this video guys we have a little bit of an announcement to make so a lot of you guys recently in the comments have been asking us if it's possible that we can make a server for you guys to play on survival just as we do here basically so i'm happy to announce that we are actually in progress of making a survival server that you guys can actually play with 
every other person watching these videos right now. So if survival is something you're interested in and also survival with a bunch of people, click the Discord down below in the description because that is going to be the Discord of the new server that we are going to make for you guys. So if you do want to kind of play with us, play with a bunch of people, then make sure you guys go to the Discord because we really want to make a place where you guys can all play survival with each other and then we can also go on and see what you guys have been up to, what you've been building and stuff like that. So make sure you guys join the Discord and hopefully it's something that you guys are going to enjoy. So without further ado, let's just get into this episode. Frog, do you want to make a start on building the shopping mall? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. Alright, so the build is coming on really, really nicely. Obviously, we only are probably going to get the outside done this episode. Maybe maybe a little bit of the interior, but Prod, show them how much concrete and how much sand we've been gathering. Like, we're on the grind with this build. Like, look at all of that concrete. Oh, my. How many stacks is even there, Prod? Like, that is a lot of stacks. That's a lot of stacks, yeah. Yeah, a and lot. then not even to mention the amount that we've got in here. Like, look at all of that sand we've got in here. We've got, obviously, some more sand in here. We've got, literally, so much sand and gravel. Like, I don't even know what to say. We've just got too much. But, guys, this is pretty much what it's looking like at the minute. This is, obviously, the outside. Side. And I mean, we are eventually going to finish the interior. We're going to make the outside look a little bit better. We're probably going to turn this into like a mini kind of city or town or something like that with more buildings around the area, like flatten out more space. But for now, this is the first kind of project that we're working on here. And I hope it's going to look really good when it's done. But I mean, it's going to take quite a while seeing as how big it actually is. But yeah, so I'm really excited to see what it turns out like. And also, guys, comment down below what you think we should call this shopping area. What do you think would be a good name for the shopping area? Personally, whoever comes up with the best name will obviously put a sign with not only your name, but also the name you actually want to call it as well. So make sure you comment down below some names and uh, yeah, we'll put a sign with your name and everything like that on it. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys can see behind us, we have kind of got it to a really good state for this episode. So I think we are going to leave it for this episode and then work on it in the upcoming episodes. Maybe we could even get it done in the next episode. Who knows? But guys, this is kind of the design we're going for. So obviously we need to fill up these bits with glass like over there, as you guys can see on the roof. Go, 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 go. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, this is basically where we've got it to right now. So, yeah, as I said, we do need to fill in these bits of glass and stuff like that. But apart from that, this is the main outside design. As I said, eventually, we're going to turn this all into, like, a big town with, like, maybe, I don't know, roads or something. I don't really know where we're going to go with this whole project, but this is the first thing that we're doing, and this is basically the shopping center. Now, personally, I've kind of already decided what kind of shop I want to build in here when it's fully done. I think I want to do either an enchanted bookstore and a armor store, or maybe both. We'll have to find out. But, Prad, have you got any ideas of maybe some stores you want to build in here? I want to do something like a firework on, because they're they're very, very useful and everyone needs them. So when it comes down to the actual stores that we're going to be putting inside of here, we're obviously going to be making stores like armor stores, sword stores, pickaxe stores, tool stores, like just loads of random stores that we're going to be putting in here. And we'll, and we'll probably actually be able to fit in quite a few stores, seeing as the size of this is literally so huge. So yeah, as I said, we still need to work on the interior and stuff like that. But I mean, let us know down below, guys, in the comments. What do you guys think of the actual design from the outside? I mean, we're probably going to decorate the outside, maybe put like a fountain. So this is the very, very start of this build. But personally, I think it's looking pretty fresh. I must say, probably, what do you, what do you think? Because I mean, guys, Prod actually helped me so much with the material. So thank you very much for that, Prod. But what do you actually think? Oh, no. Baby zombie. I like the, the colours, personally. It looks really futuristic. This is going to look so nice when it's fully finished, but I mean, we're going to go ahead and leave it for now. And something that I've wanted to do for quite a while now is go fishing and make a god fishing rod. So I think what we're going to do now is go ahead, make one of the best fishing rods you can in the game. And I think me and Prod, Prod, do you want to have a little competition so you can find the best stuff from fishing? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get a fishing rod. And oh, wait, have you already got one? All right, Prod, you can take your fishing rod back. But guys, what I want on a fishing rod is mending, unbreaking, luck of the sea, lure. And I think that's all of them, isn't it? Is that is that all the enchantments you can get on a fishing rod, I think? Yeah, luck of the sea and lure. We're going to go ahead and get that max level. I need to also get like a bit more of enchantment levels, so I might head over to maybe the Enderman farm. We'll just have to wait and see. So, guys, let's go ahead and let's get this fishing rod. So, it turns out that I already had a fishing rod with Unbreaking 3, Luck of the Sea 3, and Lure 1. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep enchanting fishing rods. So, I don't need too much XP, so I've just come to the skeleton farm to get a little bit of my levels up because I feel like if we go to the Enderman farm, the Enderman farm, I guess, is for when you kind of want to get to like level 40 or 50. I only kind of want to get to like level 20 or something like that. So, I'm just going to go here till I get a decent level, and then we're going to enchant all of these new fishing rods I've just made. All right, so it turns out that I actually am going to go down to the end portal because I mean I just thought why not just do a one big level 30 enchant instead of doing loads of little enchants you know you might as well just do it when it comes to fishing rods because to be honest I think there's only like two enchants that you can really get anyway or maybe three if you include unbreaking so let's just go to the end and let's just get to level 33 maybe yeah I think we'll get to level 33 all right so here we are we have made it to the end farm and there's a bunch of new chests here that has been added if you guys didn't know this is just to store ender pearls because yeah as you can see there's a lot of endermen which means there's gonna be a lot of ender pearls look how fast I'm getting XP this is so satisfying sweeping edge three literally makes 
makes such a big difference. Like, I can't even tell you guys. Look at the amount of XP we're getting. As you can see, we have absolutely stormed past level 30. We're on, like, level 34 right now. Oh, I'm taking a little bit of damage. But there's so many ender pearls I really want to get rid of. But just look how satisfying this looks. Look how satisfying this actually looks. Just look at the amount of XP we're getting. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at level 43 right now. We, we might actually even hit level 44. Okay, no, level 43. We're going to head back, and we're going to go ahead and enchant these fishing rods. And then we're going to have a little bit of a fishing challenge with Prod. And we're going to see who can get the best stuff out of fishing with the best fishing rods in the game. So guys, let's just go back and let's enchant these fishing rods and hope we can actually get something good with them. Alright, so we have arrived back at the archive. So we're just going to go ahead to the enchantment table. Hope we can get something good with a level 30 enchantment. So we've got two fishing rods and I think I've got more string at my base. So if we do need to make another fishing rod, that is possible. But come on. Okay, lure two. But let's just see what we get here. Okay, so I'm breaking three, lure two and luck of the sea two. So that is not that bad. But the lure two and the luck of the sea two can be upgraded to lure three and luck of the sea three. Okay, are you serious? And I'm breaking three by itself. So I've now made an extra three fishing rods and Prod is kindly... Kindly giving me one of his mending books, Prod. I appreciate that a lot, by the way, man. You know, very kind thing for Prod to do. So, Prod, I appreciate it because I'm going to be able to actually add the mending to the god fishing rod. But, Prod, you, do you want to come over and see what I'm actually going to get on these fishing rods? Because I've literally been getting the worst luck with fishing rods. You have no idea. Prod, are you excited to see what I'm going to get? Let's hope it's nothing bad. If it's another bad enchantment, man, I don't even know what to say. All right, here we go. Fishing rod goes in. Same with the lapis. Okay, it says luck of the sea too. It might have lure three, though. No, literally just luck of the sea. Are you kidding me? All right, this one says lure three. Okay, lure three, I'm breaking three. I can combine that with my luck of the sea. Okay, I'm taking that. Alright guys, before we waste any more XP levels, I'm going to the powerhouse and I'm combining these two together. And then I'll finally have a god fishing rod after all this time, after literally so many failed attempts. I think I've made like literally over 10 fishing rods. So I mean, I'm very happy that that's finally happened. But here we are. So there we go. For only 21 enchantment levels, I can combine these two fishing rods to get an unbreaking three, luck of the sea three, lure three fishing rod. Alright, let's do that real quick. And then let's add mending to it, which is five XP levels. And then we're going to also rename this to the god rod. So we're going to call the fishing rod the god rod so i'm breaking three luck of the c3 lure three and mending all right boom there we go and then prod you've obviously got your god rod as well right i do indeed yeah let's go over to the water and let's start this fishing challenge so prod where do you want to meet up Wait, i didn't even know you guys had this i didn't even know you had a fishing hook all right so come on first time i've ever used this fishing rod what are we gonna get all right here we go here we go here we go first thing i got is a piece of raw cod. Do you want to make the forfeit that if one of, that whoever doesn't get the enchanted book has to eat a puffer fish? Yeah. Alright, no, but basically, if I get an enchanted book, you have to eat the puffer fish, and then if you get the enchanted book, then I'll have right. to eat the puffer fish. Oh, God. I'm only getting puffer fish. I'm getting actually quite good luck. I'm not even going to lie. I got everything apart from an actual enchanted book. Any enchanting books that I get, I will be selling in my shop. So, I mean, I'm very excited to get that shop open, but we actually need to make the shopping mall first. So, you know. Oh. So, Prod, uh, how are you feeling? You know, you're only getting puffer fish, so. I'm a bit nervous. scared. I don't want to eat one. <laughs> I don't want to eat one. It literally leaves you on half a heart. And then if, like, a zombie comes over and just hits you, you're basically dead. Come on. Give me something. Yes. Come on. Come on, please. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so worried. It's literally just a puffer fish, but it's just, I don't want to lose. Oh, no. I hate the fact that we're fishing so close together because when anyone, like, when any fish starts swimming over, you just don't know who it's going to go for. Okay, this is for me. Wait, I just caught a tropical fish. I think we should redo the fishing area you've got to make it so we can have some chests as well. <gasps> oh, oh, wait, what? Power three mending bow. Huh. Nice. I, for a second, though, I'm not going to lie, I thought it was a book and I got a little bit excited. I need to quickly clear some stuff out of my inventory. I think I'm just going to get rid of, like, all this random stuff. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. And oh. I think... No. Yeah. No. No. As I was clearing my inventory as well. Are you serious? Wait. Oh, I didn't believe you. I thought you were joking. What is it, though? Okay, it's a terrible book, but it's a deal's a deal. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. All right, I need to I need to lose hunger first. I need to go. I got full hunger bars. All right, let me just run and jump around a little bit, get the hunger. A deal is a deal, so I got to eat the puffer fish. I mean, I, the thing is, I literally made the bet up as well. I was the one that, <laughs> I was the one that started this. I've lost half a hunger bar. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Uh, oh jeez, wait, nausea, hunger, poison four. What? I didn't realize it was this bad. Am I gonna die? No, what is going on? What is going on? I can't see anything. Wait, okay, the nausea's gone. I'm just stuck on poison four. Oh no. Another 40 seconds. I'm stuck. Okay, I don't die. It doesn't fully kill me. As long as I keep eating, I think I should be good. Guys, I didn't realize eating a puffer fish was that bad. We've only got five seconds of poison left. Oh jeez, okay, it's over. It's over. No. Oh, my. All right. You can have your enchanted book back, by the way. But, oh, my. I know I got nausea, but I didn't realize I got hunger. And I got so many. I got, like, three debuffs right there. All right, but guys, a deal is a deal. And Prod actually did find an enchanted book before me. But that was when I was literally clearing out my inventory as well. So, you know, I reckon we need to get a rematch going at some point. All right, but guys, what I think we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the stables. Because I think Zetro's working on making a medieval town, if I'm not wrong. So, we're going to go over there and check it out. So, let's just go see what he's doing. All right. So, we're flying over right now. And, ooh, okay. He's actually been adding quite a little bit of extra building. So, obviously, he's had a sheep farm there. We've obviously 
times. And then obviously we've got the horse hotel and then the windmill, his castle, but and then also the town hall, which I think he's actually named. So what has he actually gone and named it? He's called it the Guild Hall. Okay, so inside it's got like it's kind of like a little library. I mean, he's kind of added a little bit more interior, but guys, let's go check out one of these houses he's made. So he's added an extra three houses. I know he's definitely gonna turn this into like a medieval town or village, and oh my. Of course, there's pillages as I come over right now, but let's actually see the interior of these. Okay, so he's added like a bed. I guess he's kind of making it like a villager kind of area. Maybe like I guess he's going for the theme of like a medieval villager kind of town, I guess. So he's got like a bed in here and stuff like that. The interior is looking kind of good. And I'm also pretty sure we haven't showed you guys where we're actually building the shopping center and like that kind of city area. It's quite far away from where we've been doing our main builds and stuff like that because I think everything was getting a little bit too cramped kind of thing. So we decided to make a little bit of a building project quite far away. So as you guys can see, it's not too far away. We're definitely going to add some sort of like minecart system or maybe even use that packed ice to maybe get here faster. But for now, we've all got elytras that we can use. So this is the beginning of what we've obviously made. I showed you guys earlier in the video. Right now, a bunch of mobs are spawning inside of it just because we haven't lit it up very well. But guys, trust me, within the next episode or maybe the episode after, this is going to be fully complete. And now what we're going to go ahead and do now is some of you guys obviously left comments of what we should call my horse and not only my horse, what we should call my underground base. So we're going to go back and we're going to go and get some signs and pretty much name the things with your guys' suggestions. So let's just go ahead and do that. And also, a lot of you guys were saying that I need to make Spike an actual house. So that is definitely something I'm going to do. But, but for now, I have already picked out three names of things that you guys commented down below. So in the last episode, I wanted you guys to help me name not only my underground base, also my elytra, and then also my horse. So we got three things to name. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think in my opinion, I've kind of chose like the best ones in my opinion. I really, really liked a lot of what you guys are saying. So again, thank you guys all so much for the support. It really, really does mean a lot. And the fact that you guys have been helping me name things just really means a lot to me, guys. So, so honestly, thank you guys so much. But for now, let's start off by naming the underground base. So obviously, I'll put their comment on screen and everything. Thank you so much for the name suggestion. It was the dome. I really, really like this name and I think it suits it quite well because it's kind of like each room's a little mini dome, I guess you could say. So, I mean, that is the name that we're going to go with. So, let's put that on this sign and then let's go ahead and name our elytra. All right. So, here it is. We got the dome and everything like that. So, huge thank you to you for helping me name this area. I think it suits really, really well. So, thank you so much for your name suggestion. Now, let's move on to the elytra, which I think you guys are going to like this name a lot. It's, it's honestly a really smart name that this person came up with. So, huge credit goes to you for thinking of this name. Honestly, it's, it's a genius name and let, let me just show you guys. So, let's go into the powerhouse and let's change the name of it. Okay, so I'll put the comment on screen right now. The name that they came up with is Through the Sky, but instead of like it being through the sky as it would usually be spelled, it's actually using the word through. So if that makes any sense, it's honestly a pretty genius name for my light. Just so let me take them off and name them right now. All right, so here we go. This should fit. Okay, so Through the Sky. All right, yes, it fits perfectly and only cost me four levels. So guys, there we go. That is the name of the elytra. Honestly, such a genius name. When I saw that comment, I was like, yes, we need to call the elytras that. And actually, while we're here at the anvil real quick, let me also name the name of the horse. So I'll put the comment on screen again. Boom. There it is. The name that the person came up with is actually Bolt. They also mentioned that it would kind of go with my dog's name. Like my dog name is Spike and then my horse name is Bolt. I guess it kind of fits really well. So let's just go over and put the name tag on the horse. And also this is the name tag that I actually fished up from the fishing thing we just did a minute ago. So it's actually perfect timing to do that seeing as we're about to go name it. So all right. So here we are at the horse hotel. Is my horse still in there? It should be. Okay. So I haven't actually seen him all day. So here he is. Let's put the name tag on him real quick. Boom. So there we go. Bolt. Honestly, I really, really like the name. Like looking fresh in the horse hotel if I do say so myself. So there we go. Bolt has now got a name. I actually really like naming everything. It just kind of, I just feel like if everything's got a name, it just, it's just much better if everything has a name in my opinion. So now what we're going to do is we are going to build Spike, his little house. And then as you guys know, I want to start a bookshop or an enchanted bookshop. So to do that, I'm going to need a bunch of emeralds to start buying the books off the villages. All right. So what I've decided to do instead of building it downstairs, I've actually made a little bit of use and started building something on the upstairs and we have put it here. So this is Spike's new home. All right. So we've got him in his brand new home. So, I mean, it looks a little bit better. I mean, it matches his green collar and stuff like that. So I'm definitely happy we've actually done this. I mean, I saw all the comments of you guys saying that I should move Spike into a little bit of like his own kind of area. So hopefully this will do for now. So I'm at the village area right now. And as you guys can see, I've filled my inventory to the max with sticks. So we're going to go down and see if we can trade with obviously our stick villager and then also buy some mending books and stuff like that. And I think our mending villager, I think our mending villager actually kind of escaped. So he's just kind of walking around, but he's still here. There you guys can see he's got mending, quick charge and looting. I mean, not the best apart from mending. So let's go over to our stick villagers right now and let's buy some emeralds. Okay, here we go. All right, so this should be the last trade we can do with him. So yeah, 32 emeralds, not even that bad. And now I'm just going to go double check if we have any more of those types of villagers in like the villager breeding area. So let's go check that out. All right, so to start things off, we're going to go ahead and buy a infinity book. I feel like that would be a nice book that we can sell. So definitely going to go with the infinity right there. All right, so fortune three would be really good if we got that as well. So I'm definitely going to keep that in mind. Any other librarians in here? Aqua affinity would be really good. Yeah, so we've got some really good ones and then we can also buy mending. So all right, so here the villagers are. And as you can see, they haven't actually restocked yet, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, we are just going to have to wait, you know? So yeah, I guess we're just going to have to go ahead and wait for these villagers to restock. But guys, I think that is where we are going to end this episode. So hopefully you all did enjoy this.
this video and guys just again thank you all so much for the support on these videos it really really means a lot to all of us so guys thank you all so much for watching we got some really exciting things coming and apart from that guys have a great rest of your day and peace hey guys it's fruit and welcome back to another episode of the minecraft multiplayer survival now as you guys can see in the background the mall is looking a little bit different to what it did in the last episode but guys as you can see me and prod have actually been working really really hard on this build as you guys can see i mean ignore all the torches we're going to be getting rid of those in this episode but guys as you can see we have got the bottom floor to actually a pretty good say it's not 100 done because we're going to be finishing in today's episode but guys apart from finishing the bottom floor in today's episode another thing we're going to be doing is allowing one of you guys to name this now you guys left a bunch of comments in the last video giving name suggestions for what we should actually call this mall and wait what why is a wandering trader just spawned in over there so yeah as i was saying we are going to be naming the shopping mall in today's video with obviously one of your guys' suggestions and then we are probably going to be starting on my shop and as you guys know it is going to be an enchanted bookstore for my first store so that is what we're going to be going with but to start this episode prod we need a beacon for this place i want a speed beacon so we can run around a bit faster and, and just basically be able to get more stuff done so do you want to head over to the nether get a beacon and obviously we need to get rid of these torches so while we're there do you want to pick some glowstone up as well yeah let's do it and while we're there we're also going to be picking up some wither heads as well so prod let's go all right so we're down here at prod's nether portal so we're just going to go in and first off i think we should go for the nether fortress get the withers out of the way and then go for the glowstone all right here we are at the fortress list land okay that was that was a risky landing. All right, we're here. Let's just go around and keep going until we find withers. All right, so we found one of these things, and it's completely unlooted. And oh my, I thought it was about to fall in lava. But yeah, this is completely unlooted. So what we're going to do is we're going to loot it, see if we can get anything good. I'm pretty sure you can get, like, soul speed and stuff like that, which we already have, I think. Oh, there's four chests. All right, let's just get rid of these guys real quick. Come on. All right, you ready to look in what inside each yeah, of the chests? All right. Good, okay. Nothing too good. Nothing too good. What about this one? This is a double chest. Uh, again, nothing too good. Ooh, oh, soul speed okay. one. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, so we actually didn't even get too much bad loot in these. This is actually kind of worth it. Soul speed three. If this one drops a skull then we, we know we're in luck right now oh wait something just burnt i think that was coal though wait i got one i got one with a skeleton Fine. skull wait what the chances are actually giving us one all right so one down two more to go so we've come back to the first nether fortress and we're gonna see if any withers are respawn and looks like we're already in luck right here because one and oh no there's another one up there it seems like they're respawning so we're gonna see if we can get any luck with these ones all right so i've already got one right now so let's just see if we can get another two i got it i got ahead i got with a head i got with a head let's go there's so many mobs on me and i accidentally hit a pigman all right if these guys give us what we need no I've, I'm, i don't want to hit him off the edge I got one! I got the third one. That's perfect. Let's go back to the shopping mall. All right, so we've made it back to our house right now. And as you guys can see, we have the three with the skeleton skulls. So we, of course, have to fight the wither. And real quick, guys, obviously, we've got to go check up on Spike because if you guys didn't watch the last episode, he now has his own little area that he can chill out in. So, Spike, how are you doing, man? Interesting as always. Thanks for sharing. But guys, no, seriously, we're going to go ahead and fight the wither. And also, I have been doing quite a bit of trading with the villagers. And when I say I've been doing quite a lot of trading, I've been doing so much trading with the villagers. So if we actually go down to one of these chests I have, I haven't managed to put all the stuff back down in my storage room over at the dome. And why is there a spider in here? What? So obviously, inside of the dome, we basically have the organized chests and everything like that. So everything I'm about to show you guys, I am going to have to put down there. But guys, as you can see, boom, look at the amount of emerald blocks. I was doing trading with the villagers for quite a bit of time, and I managed to get 32 emerald blocks now the plan that i was going to do with these emerald blocks i was going to turn them into emeralds and buy basically every single overpowered book that you can get from the villagers and that's what i was going to do with the emeralds but it turns out now we have the beacon i'm probably going to make a like five by five beacon for now or maybe like a small beacon just for now so we can obviously have speed around the shopping mall area and then eventually we will end up having a massive nine by nine beacon over at the shopping mall but right now the plan is to basically use the blocks of emeralds i have right here and then in the future or later in this episode i'm definitely gonna have to get more emeralds to pretty much buy the books that i want to sell in my store and also, if you guys don't know what enchantment books I have right here, we have all of these books we have. We have some insane books right now that we're going to be selling in our shop. But guys, what we're going to go ahead and do right now is go and fight the wither with prod. So let's go do that. All right, so here we go. We got the soul sand in here. So let's just grab some of that prod. Are you ready to fight the wither? I am very ready. All right, so here we are at prod's underground mine. This is where we fought the last wither, I believe. So I mean, you know, we know it works and we've tested this area for we're pretty much fighting the wither. So prod, are you ready to spawn in? Wait, where should we spawn in? Where would be the best place? I think maybe like, yeah, if we spawn it here, we can run down there. So let's just go for it. All right, one, two, three four and then all right here we go three two one let's go all right here we go any minute now any minute all right, there we go all right let's just get it wait let's see if it will come over to us will it will it even walk over to us oh no it's going up to the it's going up to the mine shaft we can't let it go any higher oh no this isn't this isn't good i think it's just gonna keep going up nearly at halfway nearly at halfway all right yes it's coming down again all right perfect all right i thought it was just gonna keep going up oh no there's lava there's lava all right let's just get it 
Alright, there we go. We got the wither, and of course, I've got the nether star right there. So we're gonna go ahead, turn this into a beacon, and then go over to the shopping mall. And not only are we gonna build the beacon, we're also gonna start on my shop. And I think, Prod, you're gonna start on your shop as well, I think? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's make the beacon real quick. I think it's three obsidian, five pieces of glass, and then the nether star in there. Perfect. Alright, let's head over to the shopping mall. Alright, so now we've got the beacon, we're gonna head over to the shopping mall. So let's also, and wait, I didn't realize you had so many animals in here. Alright, so we've made it to the mall right now with the beacon, and we need to get rid of these zombies, and we really need to light this up with the glowstone that we've got. But guys, the plan is eventually to have four beacons all on top of the same beacon pyramid I guess you could say so eventually we are gonna have literally four beacons all placed in here and they'll all go into the sky and stuff like that so it all look really nice but seeing as we only have one beacon for now what I think we're gonna do is just kind of put it somewhere temporary like outside or something like that but as I said eventually we will have all those beacons so as you can see Prod is over there decorating his shop but really quickly if you guys don't know what this is for right here this is actually gonna be an elevator that's actually why I've got all this calp so I'm gonna be making an elevator to get up to the second floor here and also over there so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna start decorating my shop so Prod I mean you're obviously changing the theme to the red theme right now to look like a firework yeah that is all right, so right now I'm in the middle of making the elevators, of course, and I've just looked over at the progress Prod's made on his firework base, and he's tried to theme a shop and make it look like a firework, and I think he's done a really good job. It actually looks really, really nice. Also, let's just set this temporary beacon up right now. I'm just going to put it right here. I mean, it's obviously going to move. It looks terrible right here. So as I said, when we actually get a few beacons, we will be able to set it up properly. But for now, let's just quickly set up speed. So let's just go to speed, click done. All right, so that should give us a little bit of a speed boost kind of around the area. So that's where the temporary beacon's going to go. But 100%, we do need to change it because it just looks so out of place there and also you may realize that we haven't finished the glass up there now the reason we haven't finished doing the glass up there is because we're actually gonna be putting the letter of whatever we name this area up there in glass so we're gonna actually have that as the logo up there so when we do name the mall later on in this episode we will be putting the letter up there in the middle of the mall so it's gonna look really really nice all right so we're about to finish the top bit of the elevator right now which means we can go ahead and start on our shop and not only that we can actually light this place up so mobs stop spawning and then we're gonna be all good to go so as you guys can see it's actually not looking too bad obviously when we do start decorating the top floor it will look much better but guys let's go down right now let's start on building our shop which is going to be this one right here and obviously lighting the place up so let's go and also prod may i say this is actually looking pretty good thank you is this meant to be like the little kind of bottom bit of the firework oh yeah i see that that is a really nice shop you got going there Prod, what do you think? We have got rid of all the torches. We've got these little bit of glowstone glass kind of combination going on. I think it looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. There we go. All the glowstone is in place and everything like that. So now we can actually start on making our shop. Now for my first shop, it's actually going to be opposite Prod. So Prod's firework shop is right there. And then right here is actually going to be where my enchanted bookstore is. So guys, what we're going to do, we're going to completely decorate and everything like that. And then we are going to go ahead and get so many sticks, get so many emeralds and start on buying the books or the stock for the store. So let's go and do that. So we're back at the shop and I have gathered a few materials to actually start this build and I think this is all we're going to need to finish it maybe a few more things here and there but guys if you want to help me name this please comment down below any name suggestions of what you guys would call like an enchanted bookshop if you guys have any good names make sure to comment them down below and obviously we will put a sign not only with the name you guys choose but also with your name right here as well so guys make sure you comment down below any good names and let's start on this build <laughs> Alright, so we are with Prod, as you guys can see right now, and my shop is now fully done. It's literally right behind me. You can kind of see into the glass right there, but guys, we are about to not only name them all, but I'm going to be giving you guys a little tour of my shop. Now, I kind of don't want to show you guys, but you can kind of see in a little bit. So this is how it's going to look for now. So let's go in and check it out. So guys, this is my Enchanted Bookshop. As I said, if you have any name suggestions, I'll put a sign right here with obviously the name you come up with and also your name at the bottom of the sign. So guys, let's go inside of the shop right now. Boom. This is it. We got the birch floor. We got kind of the little area where all the best kind of books are going to be. So let me show you guys basically how it's going to work. So if we head over to here, we have the random books area. Now in all these barrels, I'm going to kind of fill them up with just really random books. Some of them will be really good. Some of them won't be amazing. Like, if we look inside right now, we've kind of got things like Riptide 3, Power 4. We've got some Power 3, Bane of Arthropods. Like, we've got some decent books like Infinity. We've actually got some quite good books in here. So, this is the random books area. So, yeah, this is going to be where all the kind of good books are. Like, if we go and look at what's on there already, what I've kind of moved over, we've, we've got stuff like Protection 4. Here, we've got, like, Fortune 3. And then, I believe here, we also have a Fortune 3 book as well. So, this is sort of going to be the area where all the kind of good books go. And now, you're probably wondering, how do people find out how much these books are going to cost and stuff like that? Well, guys, we've already got that covered in the pricing barrel. So, inside of the pricing barrel there is a book which is a book and quill so i can edit it at any time but guys if you look inside the prices aren't final by the way the prices are just summing i thought up really quickly so if we go on it right now boom so here are 
the book prices. On the left, we've obviously got the book, so it'll be like I'm breaking three, efficiency four, or maybe efficiency five will sell here as well. And then over here to the right, we have the price. So the price is actually in diamonds. If you actually turn over the page, you'll see on the information section, it says use diamonds. So if ever like MD, Zetro or Prod want to buy anything and they're like, and they're like, what do I have to pay with? If you just turn the page, it's literally just going to say it right there, use diamonds. So that is what we're going to be using for like my prices. So I mean, the prices right now, I don't know if I've set them too low or anything like that. I mean, so let me know down below in the comments, should I change these or anything like that? So yeah, these are the book prices and and obviously we'll add books in the future so if we just click off that put it back in there and then this barrel right here is actually going to be where they paste so this is where they're going to be able to put all their diamonds and stuff like that and prod what do you think do you like it i mean i think it's actually pretty nice yeah i like the general design it's really really nice so right now what me and prod are going to do is we are going to name the mall we are going to give it a name and one of you guys actually came up with a pretty good name like there were so many names so guys as i said we really all do appreciate the support and all the names that you guys leave it's just so nice to see all of them so prod we've got the name and we've done something pretty special for naming this building so i guess let's just go and name it all right so we're just going to put the sign here and let's fill it out. Alright, so this is the name we have gone with. We have gone with the Hyper Mall. Personally, I thought it was a really, really nice name so we've gone and called it the Hyper Mall. Alright, so not only have we done a sign right here for this guy, so shout out to you by the way for the name, but guys we have also done, boom! We have gave it a H right on top for Hyper Mall so again, thank you guys all so much for the suggestions but we have called it Hyper Mall. I really, really like the name. So guys, what we're going to do now though is I actually have to get a bunch of stock for my shop because as you guys saw, we don't have any mending books or anything like that so I mean, if anyone does want to go in our shop and buy a mending book, there's not going to be any mending books there. So we we got to go ahead. I'm going to turn all of this wood into stick, buy a bunch of stuff off the villagers, and then we're going to go to the end. I'm going to get like level 50 or something like that, and I'm going to use these books that I have here and just do a bunch of random level 30 enchants. So we're going to go and get a bunch of stock for the shop. So guys, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I need to thank Prod a lot for what he's about to do. So instead of going to the end, Prod actually has a bunch of books that he doesn't care about that he's going to let me sell inside of the random book area. So honestly, Prod, I actually really, really do appreciate it. So guys, let's go and see what the books are. He Look at the amount of books he is giving us, Prod. Like literally, thank you so much. But like, like, let's actually have a look at what these are. So we've got, bro, are these all level 30? Oh my, Sweeping Edge 3? That is literally insane. Oh my, we've literally got so many. And also, we need to go and turn all of these into sticks so we can get emeralds, so we can get even more books. But this is going to be a very, very good shop. So, Prod... Thank you once again. Before we get a bunch of emeralds, what I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to head over to the powerhouse because I believe I left a Soul Speed 3 book in here, which I actually want to put on my boots really, really badly because it's actually a really, really good enchant when you're in the nether. So, I all right. So inside of this chest, we have a Soul Speed 3 book. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and put that on my boots real quick. Let's head over to the anvil, put that in there, put the Soul Speed book in. That is only going to cost 13 levels, which isn't too bad, which means we will then have Protection 4, Mending, and then Soul Speed 3. So we're going to get those and put them on. And by the way, if you don't know what Soul Speed 3 is, it literally just makes it so you can run really, really quick on soul sand. Alright, so now let's go over and sell all of our sticks. Alright, so here we are at the villager area. Let's just go down here to the stick villagers. After selling all of my sticks, I now have a stack and six of emeralds and I'm pretty sure I left a bunch of my emerald blocks back at the mall, so I'm gonna go grab those real quick as well. Not only do we have 64 and 6 emeralds, we also have 22 blocks of it and also 7 spare emeralds there. And also, while we're quickly here, we might as well just put all of these enchantment books inside of the shop real quick. So, thank you again, Prod, for giving me these. I really appreciate it. This one is Unbreaking 3, so we'll put that one there and then and let's put like the sweeping edge and stuff like that around in these chests. Let's just put that like, all right, let's kind of put these ones around the barrels real quick. If they're not like really, really amazing in chance, like, I'll keep the efficiency for one for item frames and stuff like that. But like things like power, piercing, we'll just kind of put all of this in here. And then we've also got another unbreaking three. So we'll pop that one in there as well. So guys, we're just going to go ahead and spend all of our emeralds on getting some of the best books in the game, put them all in here. And then we should be good to allow our shop to open. All right. So here we are. And I've got so many emeralds. I turned all the blocks into actual emeralds and yeah, we have quite a few stacks. All right, let's just start off by buying a bunch of mending books because I'm pretty sure mending is going to be a very... Wait, are you serious? Okay, it looks like we're going to have to wait for this one because we got to wait for him to restock his trades. I mean, on the bright side, we did actually buy four of them. So, I mean, let's just keep on going there. We also might as well just buy a protection four book as well. And I know it's 43 emeralds, but I mean, we've got quite a few emeralds. So I don't think we need to worry about that right now. So, I mean, let's buy one of those. And now let's go back down to the other villages. And I think down there, there's a bunch of villages with good trades. Here's the unbreaking three villager, 34 emeralds for unbreaking. So we're going to buy maybe two of those as well. So let's just buy two of those. So this villager has thorns three and I'm not going to put this in the shop. I'm actually going to use this myself because my chest plate doesn't have thorns. So we're just going to buy one of those to put on my own armor because I feel like a lot of people are going to want Unbreaking 3. I'm just going to spend most of my emeralds on just buying a bunch of Unbreaking 3 books. So let's just do that really quickly. And then we're going to go ahead, put all of this back in the shop and we should be good to go. Actually, really quickly, let's just head over to the powerhouse so I can put the thorns 3 book on my chest plate. And then, and then we'll go and put these books in our shop. So let's just head over to the anvil real quick. Let's just go in here, put the chest plate in. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough levels, but here's the thorns book. Okay, 13 levels. Let's just put it on. 
Boom, there we go. So protection four and breaking three, mending and thorns three. Let's put this right here and let's head back to our shop. Okay, so here we are back at our shop and we're just gonna go ahead and put all of our mending and breaking protection books inside of all of these item frames. I don't think we have enough item frames, so I think we might put the spares inside of a shulker box. Actually, we might just have enough space here. All right, here we go. All right, one there and then one there. That was perfect. I didn't even know that that was going to perfectly fit. That is literally every single item frame filled up, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so that is where all of our good books are going to go. And I think we may need to get some more, maybe like efficiency books. I think maybe we have like one efficiency or so in there. So I'm going to keep these books in here for now. And then if anyone gets them, I can obviously refill them with different books and stuff like that. And if anyone wants a different book, I can obviously go and get that for them. But guys, I think that is where we are going to end this episode. So guys, thank you so much for watching. As I said, if you do have any good names for shops, please let me know down below in the comments. And apart from that, have a great rest of your day, guys. And I'll see you next time. Peace. But do we fight all three of these withers at the oh. exact same time? <laughs> it is only three withers, so you know we might we might as well just fight them all at the same time. Jump boost two, speed two, strength two, haste two. This is as overpowered as beacons get. So here, I believe we have about a stack of diamond ore. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. So as you guys can see, we are starting the episode off down here in the dome. And today, we actually have a pretty exciting episode for you guys. So what we're going to be doing is a bunch of stuff, but something that I've wanted to do for absolutely ages is make some automatic farms. Obviously, we've got the potato farm and the carrot farm. So that's something that I want to do in today's episode. I also want to go ahead and get some more beacons because obviously, if you guys remember the hyper mall or the mall that we built in the last episode, we we do need some more beacons for that. I think we need like three more beacons or something. So that might be something me and Prod or me and Zetro and MD might go ahead and do. And also, I definitely want to go ahead and get a bunch of diamonds and go mining. And I also want to do it with a silk touch pickaxe. So that's something I'm going to have to think about in today's episode as well. So, and also a few episodes ago, we actually made a little bit of an announcement to you guys telling you that we would have our own server. Now, guys, I can go ahead and say that the server is now live. You guys are free to jump on and play it. So basically, I'll put the server IP on the screen right now and I'll also leave every single detail down below in the top comments so guys it is finally here and we are so excited to share it with you guys all right so me and prod are on the server right now as you guys can see and we are going to be just quickly showing you guys some really cool stuff that you can actually get up to on our survival server so let's just quickly show you guys so prod may i say there are some nice custom tools you got in your hand right there what, what, what is that one is that the uh is that the melon axe you've got right there that's looking pretty fresh the watermelon axe you got the little fruit bowl on your head. And you guys can see I've got a little pineapple on my head. And as you can also see in my inventory, guys, we have all of these awesome tools right now. We've got the strawberry axe, the strawberry sword, banana shovel, banana pickaxe. We've also got some banana armor, which is pretty cool. And this thing right here, we'll show you what it does in a little second. But there's actually a bunch of awesome stuff you can do. So we're just going to quickly show you guys some of the stuff and then we'll carry on with the episode. All right. So as soon as you guys join up, this is pretty much what you're going to see. And you may see some pretty interesting stuff over there. So let me go ahead and show you that as well. All right. So these people that you see over here are actually people that you can buy like blocks and stuff off. There's a bunch over there as well. So if I go up to it and right click, I actually can go ahead and buy any of this stuff. So, I mean, it's really, really awesome. And something that I really like as well is that all players get access to an auction. So, say, for example, you have an item that you don't really want anymore. You can go ahead and put it up for auction and see if another player wants to buy it. And you can also set up shops, which is awesome. Also, if I didn't mention already, there is a PvP arena. So, if you guys think you have what it takes to go in here and PvP, then go ahead. Also, it does look quite nice. All right. So, seeing as this is a survival server, let's jump into the portal and let's go ahead and show you guys basically what it looks like when you go in here. So, you actually can select between the mango world, the strawberry world, and also a resource world and as you guys can see at the bottom there every single thing that happens in one world is obviously synced so i mean the only difference is is that of course they're just different areas to build in and obviously the resource world is just basically a place where you can go in and just collect resources and this does reset every week so obviously things like spawners will reset and stuff like that so guys let's just go ahead and say we want to go into the mango world and say for example i really like the area and i want to build here you can do slash claim and actually claim an area where you want to build so then pretty much all that means is that people just can't go ahead and destroy all your stuff and take stuff out your chest and if you are playing with friends you can add those to your claim and also you you can even make towns, which is a really awesome feature. So say, for example, you get a bunch of friends, you want to make a massive town with shops and stuff like that. You can go ahead and do that. All right. So something that I really want to show you guys as well is something that I find just awesome. As you can see inside of my inventory, we have this thing called a safari net. Now, what you can actually do with this is collect any mob you want. So say, for example, you've got a cow here. If we just go ahead and get one of the safari nets right now and just right click the cow, as you guys can see, it pops up with a captured cow. So say, for example, I have a farm back at my base. We can go ahead and boom. We can literally plant the cow down, which is just so awesome. So yeah, you can now go ahead and join up the server. And me, MD, Prod, and Zetro, all of us that play the survival will probably be on this server quite a bit. So I mean, who knows? We might be on it as you guys are watching this video right now. So as I said, the IP is going to be on screen right now. Come ahead and join up if this is something you're interested in. But guys, let's go ahead and get back in to the episode. So yeah, hopefully you guys like the look of that. Now let's continue with the episode. So to start it off, let's go ahead and get a silk touch pickaxe so we can go mining. And I want to do a bunch of mining because we're going to need quite a lot of diamonds to build a full beacon. So let's go do that. All right, so I think we're about to go ahead and do 
do is go and grab my silk touch pickaxe because I'm basically going to go ahead and silk touch a bunch of diamonds on a massive mining chip and then we're going to go ahead and mine them all with our fortune pickaxe but let's just go ahead and see if spike's still there oh wait there's a spider up here I am so happy that that spider didn't make it over to spike's area but spike it seems like you moved a little bit maybe you don't like the carpet you see you there just chilling on the stair I mean how, how you doing spike all right, interesting as always. So guys, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our Silk Touch pickaxe, go on a massive mining trip, and then I think what we're going to do is fight like three withers or something because we only need three more beacons until we can finish off the beacon place that we've got going at the mall. So guys, let's go ahead and let's start this mining trip. <laughs> Okay, so we are back from our mining trip right now, and ladies and gentlemen, when I say I went mining, I mean I went mining. Guys, the amount of stuff I collected while mining is crazy, so I filled my shulker boxes up, and guys, let me show you what we've got. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, so here we have all of the coal, we have all of the gold, and we have 56 diamond ore. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get from this fortune pickaxe. I'm going to guess, like, maybe, like, two stacks, maybe even three stacks if we're lucky of diamonds. Honestly, I have no idea, so then also, in this shulker box, we have all of the iron now this is going to take so long to smelt through the furnaces but you know it's definitely going to be worth it to set up the beacon and you guys may see i've been on the grind with with the skeleton skulls i've actually ended up getting eight which means we only need one more to be able to get three more nether stars which means three more beacons to set up over at the mall and also i think we're going to be showing zetro through the mall as well because i don't think he's seen all of it yet so what i'm going to go ahead and do right now is just go collect the last wither head i need get some soul sand and fight all three withers and honestly i don't know if i'm up for the challenge but i think i'm going to try and fight all of these withers by myself we'll have to see how that goes we might have to call some backup but guys let's go ahead head over to the nether i think i've got some fireworks in here so yeah let's go over to the nether and let's see if we can get lucky with any wither skulls all right so here we are at the nether portal well, let's just go through and i'm hoping we can get a wither skull quite fast i mean i don't know how long it's going to take but seeing as our sword only still has looting two we definitely need to upgrade that to looting three sometime but honestly my luck with wither skulls has been quite good to get those other eight so the fortress is actually over there in that direction so let's just go for it let's just use our fireworks i think these are flight duration two fireworks i think we'll only need two all right so it's around here somewhere i think it's just over this direction and all right perfect it's right here so let's just go ahead and see if we can get lucky with a skull here we go we have found some withers let's see if these are going to give us anything all right nothing from that one is this one just going to come, come on just i don't want to knock you off the edge all right here we go give us something and no all right let's just keep on looking i'm sure we'll get lucky eventually all right we've got just what we needed there we go we got the last wither skeleton skull and also if you guys remember in the last episode we actually got soul speed three on our boots so when i was running over soul sand i was going so quick and at first i was actually kind of confused of how i was running so fast on soul sand then i remembered i had soul speed so i mean okay so i think it's time we get out the nether so let's just head straight for the portal and let's go back and make these beacons okay so we've gone ahead and got a little bit of backup right now zetro are you prepared to fight these three weathers in fact i don't know if it's a good idea or not but do we fight all three of these withers at the oh. exact same time <laughs> no, i mean it is only three withers so you know we might we might as well just fight them all at the same time oh. I'm, only, I'm only joking let's just do it one by one for now three two one boom all right we've fought the wither quite a lot of times now so this is nothing new all right we got this all right here we go we gotta get it quick because we don't want it breaking out and like destroying prod's house because that's literally what's above us right now all right this one's nearly done come on all right perfect okay i got the nether star all right let's move on to the second one here we go put that one there that one there and let's go oh, oh no oh no don't let it go up don't let it go any higher we cannot let it destroy anything else oh no Oh no, oh, it's no. going too high. We can't let it go any higher. We literally can't. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, it's coming back down. Okay, okay, that was close. That was a close one. And oh, we got it. All right, perfect. All right, that's the second nether star. Okay, literally look at the amount of damage it's done. Let's move over here and fight this one over here. All right, three, two. All right, you ready? All right, let's get this one done as quick as we can because I don't want it to go up any more than the other one did. No, stand back. It's going to explode. Oh no, it's going over the lava. Don't go over the lava with it. Come on. All right, we got about halfway. This is good. We're getting this one so low though. All right, this one. All right, there we go. We got it done really quick. All right, that is our third nether star. So now what we're going to do with these nether stars is turn them into beacons. I actually think I have enough glass and I have obsidian back at my base. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn these into beacons. And then Zetro, I think you have seen them all very briefly, right? You haven't seen like the whole thing yet. Yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and get these beacons and then show Zetro the finished bottom floor of them all. So we already have this beacon right now. So what we're going to do is just put the obsidian across here like that. Put the glass all along the top and put all three nether stars in the middle. And this should give us three beacons, obviously. So there we go. We have finally got four beacons. And trust me, this was a grind to get these beacons. So I'm hoping it looks good at the shopping mall. So let's go over and let's put them in place. All right, so Zetro, here we are out the front of the mall. And right now, all there is inside is my shop and also prod shop. And guys, I just want to say a lot of you left so many comments of what I should call my enchanted bookstore. So later on inside this episode, I'm actually 
actually going to be choosing one of your guys' names to name my enchanted bookstores. I am pretty excited to name it. So, Zetro, let me show you around the mall because, I mean, you haven't really seen it yet. So, let's go. All right, so as soon as you enter, you're going to be greeted with these two shops right here. So, you can either have this shop or that shop over there or one on the second floor, which is currently in progress. So, I mean, you can choose whichever one you want. They're both empty. Then, over here in the middle is actually kind of like a bit of a chill area. And if you look on top, it's actually called the Hyper Mall. So, we got a little H there for that. Over here is actually my enchanted bookstore. So, if we go inside, this is basically it. So, over here, we have a bunch of random books, which I just got kind of scattered throughout these barrels. So, I mean, if you want to ever, you know, pick one of these up, just let me know. And then over here is where my good books are. So if you just want to take one out of the iron frame and, you know, take a look for yourself. Oh, protection. Not bad. You're probably wondering, I mean, what are the price of these books? Well, if you just go in that barrel there, just take it out and maybe look at the pricing sheet for yourself. Oh, let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a little read. Also, one quick thing I do want to say, guys, make sure you comment down below what else do you want us to build in this kind of city we're in the middle of making. Obviously, the first build for the city was this mall. So if you guys want to see us build more buildings, let us know what buildings we should build down below in the comment section. And we're going to be flattening out more land to build one of your suggestions in the next episode. So, guys, comment them down below and I'd love to read them. Okay, so I've pretty much turned every single thing that I got from mining into blocks. So we're going to go ahead and build this beacon. So we've got all of the beacons, we've got all of the blocks. So let's get this done. All right, so here we go. The final block goes in and boom, we now have four fully working tier four beacons, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and put an emerald in each of them. And let's go ahead and get each of the different things. So we're going to have haste on one, speed on the other, jump boost on one of them. And I think we might add strength instead of resistance. We'll just have to wait and see. So let's go and do that. So I was wondering why I didn't have haste to and stuff like that. And it turns out I forgot to place one of the blocks down. So this should make it now a fully four tier four beacon. So let's go ahead and add haste to and stuff like that. All right, so that's better. Let's turn everything like this all the way to jump boost 2. Let's go. Let's add this like that. So everything is now all the way to the max. So let's go, guys. Look at that. Jump boost 2, speed 2, strength 2, haste 2. This is is as overpowered as beacons get. All right, so as you can see, this is a two block jump right now, but with jump boost two, we can literally just jump all the way up it. So yeah, this is very overpowered. It's literally pretty crazy. So yeah, we've got all of these right now. All right, so there we go. We got all four beacons in position. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is make the automatic farms that I wanna go ahead and make. I think I wanna make automatic melon one and also an automatic sugar cane farm. And then we are gonna go ahead and name this shop right here, which is my enchanted bookstore. And as I said, guys, comment down below any other buildings we should make in this city that we're in the middle of making, guys. So make sure you comment them down below. Actually, really quickly, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually Name our enchanted bookstore. So guys, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here is the name we have gone with. We have gone with the Mythic Scroll. So huge credit to this person right now that I've put on screen. Thank you so much for the name. I think it really, really suits our shop really, really nicely. So our bookshop is now called the Mythic Scroll. So guys, now comment down below what else we should build and add to the city that we're going to be making. So guys, comment them down below and we'll choose one for the next episode. So to get the melons for this automatic melon farm, I've actually made a very temporary melon farm just over here. I'm going to completely get rid of this and we're going to go ahead and make this automatic melon farm. So let's get to making this and let's make the automatic sugarcane farm as well. So guys, let's go ahead and get all the stuff for that and let's build it. Alright, so we are done with the automatic melon farm. As you guys can see, I was actually able to bone meal a few of the kind of seeds that are laying around there. So it's actually started working pretty well if we go look at the chest. Let's go ahead and check how much melon slices we've got. Let's go. Alright, 52. And I've only had it running for probably about 5 to 10 minutes with obviously all this bone meal in place. So it's actually really, really good. Huge credit goes to Shulkercraft for this design. It's a really, really awesome design. And as you can see, it's already working. So the melon's right there and the chest will come and pick that up or the hopper with the minecart. And then it just goes straight into the hopper, back into the chest. So honestly, I think we're going to have literally unlimited supplies of melon slices and it's going to be really handy for making potions with glistening melons and everything like that. And if you guys are wondering why I haven't built a sugarcane farm, well, it actually turns out Prod and Zetro have already made one. And well, I mean, it's all the way over here. So this is the one they've built. And in the future, I'm definitely going to extend it. But for now, I guess we're just going to be using this sugarcane farm to get obviously sugarcane to make paper. And then we can obviously make fireworks, which I mean, Prod is going to be opening up his firework shop very, very soon. So it's going to be really, really awesome just to go buy fireworks from him instead of having to constantly make them. So hopefully you shop can open within the next episode. So guys, so I think we are all done for farms, which leaves us with one last thing to do. And that is to go ahead and mine all of the silk touch diamonds that we've got. So let's go ahead and mine all of those. So here, I believe we have about a stack of diamond ore, which I'm going to go ahead and mine with obviously my fortune three pickaxe. So I'm going to guess that I'm probably going to get about a stack and a half of diamonds, maybe two stacks. I don't even know. So if you guys kind of want to make a guess right now, let's go ahead and let's mine all of these. Okay. So let's hope that the fortune pickaxe comes in clutch and maybe gives us a lot of diamonds. I'm just going to say a stack and a half. Okay. That's my final answer a stack and a half of diamonds but by the looks of things it looks like we're probably gonna get two stacks of diamonds honestly which is literally gonna be insane so come on all right here we go we are over halfway right now we're over stack and a half that's what i guess my guess was a stack and a half and it turns out we probably might get over two stacks no way are we gonna get over two stacks right now we've got two stacks and six diamonds what that is literally insane i mean i knew we would get a lot but that is just that is just crazy the fortune three absolutely coming in clutch right there but guys we've obviously made the melon farm and also we've got all these diamonds now so i think that means guys we are gonna go ahead 
and end this episode right now. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. We actually got quite a bit of stuff done, but guys, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys join up the Discord, and make sure you guys also join our brand new survival server. It's going to be absolutely insane. So as I said, thank you guys all so much for the support recently. It's been absolutely amazing. So apart from that, have a great rest of your day, guys, and peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now, as you guys can see right now, I am joined with Prod, and we are outside of the archives. I actually feel like it's quite a while since we've been over here to the archives, and it's always good to show a little bit of an appreciation to the archives, because just look at it in all of its glory. It's a really nice build. So, Prod, today we have a very exciting episode, and I, I mean, I hope you're excited for it. Like, Prod, are you excited for this episode? Extremely excited. All right, so, I mean, uh, that's great to hear. So, guys, what we're going to be doing in today's episode, we have quite a lot of plans. So, I mean, you guys remember that we obviously have started working on the Hyper Mall area, and and pretty much what I want to do is I want to turn the Hyper Mall area into a massive city. That's kind of been the plan since the start. We've wanted to turn it into a city. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start on, I guess, the very start of it. Because what I want to do is I want to make a restaurant. Now, someone actually did say that in the comments. And later on, I'll put their comment on screen and everything like that when we actually do start on the restaurant. So, so yeah, turning that whole area into a city has been a plan of all of ours for a very long time. So that's something that we are going to be doing. And also, Prod, I mean, I hate to say this, but I will be working on a secret project in this video, which I kind of don't want you or anyone else apart from only the viewers to see so I mean guys we're gonna be working on a secret project as well and maybe I'll show prod or I guess I only want to show like maybe one of you guys or something so I mean it just depends whoever wants to see it the most but guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by making the restaurant we probably won't get the restaurant maybe fully done in today's episode we'll probably just get the building done and then obviously we're gonna get some farms up and running and stuff like that so we can actually get the restaurant all up and running so guys we're just gonna go ahead I think I've got quite a lot of the materials ready to build this so prod is gonna be helping me with this so prod do you want to go ahead and just start building this restaurant yeah let's do it all right so guys this is the color scheme we're going for we got the red we got all the different types of gray we're just now going to do the outside and then we'll start on the interior so let's go Alright, so me and Prod have been working on it, and it actually is starting to come together really, really nicely. Obviously, there's some stuff that needs to be done on the outside, like there needs to be doors here. And we also need to light it up on the inside as well, but guys, it's actually coming along really, really nicely. We've got So, we've got all the nice little tables and chairs. We, over here, we have the counter, so if you just go through, you've got the counter, some barrels here, some blaze stuff up there, so maybe we can brew some potions in here. And then back here, we're actually going to make a kitchen. So right now, it's actually not fully done at all. In fact, we haven't even started on it, so we're going to make like a kitchen, kind of keep like all the food back there and stuff. And then, obviously, down the line, I'm going to make some sort of like chicken farm or something and I don't know why there's paintings here. So yeah, I eventually want to make like an egg farm and stuff like that so we can obviously have cake in here and I just want to have like a bunch of, I guess I just want to stack this place up with like a bunch of food and stuff like that. So that is what I'm going to do. The menu is going to go here so we're going to have like a food menu of everything that we do. So down the line, we're definitely going to get some food but right now, I feel like it's coming along together really, really nicely. So guys, we'll keep you up to date but this is what it's looking like so far. All right, so uh, Prod, what do you think about it so far? I actually really like it. Not gonna lie. It's actually looking really nice. Alright, so let's just carry on working on it, I guess. Alright, so I am joined with Prod right now, and we are outside of pretty much what is the finished product of this restaurant. So guys, if you do have any names for this, I'll put a sign, of course, on it. I might even make a big letter above it of what you guys want to call it, but guys, please comment down below what should we call this restaurant. Just give us some name suggestions, and guys, obviously, I'll give credit to you, and I will also put the name that you guys suggest on the restaurant. So guys, I'll also put the comment on screen right now of who actually suggested us to build a restaurant. So thank you very much for the suggestion. Now, all we need to do is actually name it. So Prod, why don't you say we are going inside and give it a little a little tour. Okay, let's do it. All right, so as soon as you enter the restaurant, you'll be greeted with all these tables. You've got a nice little... I'll say the tables are looking pretty fresh. You've got the sea lanterns underneath for a bit of extra detail. And honestly, I think it's looking really, really nice. We've got some paintings to make it look, you know, just, just to add that little bit of detail, I guess you could say. So we've got that all around here. Then over here, we have the food menu, which isn't completely done. Probably in the next episode, what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually put some food on here, put some stuff on here and everything like that so we can get the whole menu sorted out and everything like that. Me, Prod, and the others are going to be making this city literally insane, guys. I can't wait to actually get started on, you know, making the road making like the street lights and just basically adding a load of detail and also a road and everything like that so i mean over here we got some barrels just for kind of quick access storage we've got some brewing stands up here now if we go back into the kitchen the kitchen is right back through these doors so when you enter here you'll be greeted with the kitchen area so we got a little cake we got some details we obviously got the furnaces so we can cook food we've obviously got food storage here and then over here was actually prod's idea to make a sort of freezer area so if you go in here this is like kind of like a place where we can store all like the food that we can't store out there so in these barrels we'll fill them up with a bunch of food and stuff like that and honestly i actually love this build it's definitely one of my favorite builds we've done. I just love how nice and detailed it is on the inside. And it does really look like a restaurant. Like, it actually does. So, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So, guys, comment down below what you think and also give us a name. So, what I think I'm going to go ahead and do now, guys, is start on something which I don't really want to tell Prod I'm doing at the moment. And I don't want to tell anyone else. So, guys, let's go ahead and continue that. But, Prod, thank you for helping me with this restaurant. I'll say it's turned out pretty nice. Actually, Prod, before I go ahead and do that, do you just want to kind of give like a quick world tour? Because, guys, a lot of you have been commenting that you don't know how things like the temple and Prod's working on a new project. Like, there's some stuff that you guys haven't seen. So, if you guys are new to this 
series or anything like that. We're just going to go ahead and give you guys like a really quick world tour slash overview of some stuff. Some stuff we'll leave out that like, I guess that isn't really in the overworld. So prod, should we just go and give them a quick world tour? Hi guys, let's go. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are at Zetro's sort of building project he's in the middle of doing. You guys can kind of see he's in the middle of doing things because he's got all like these trees that he's been chopping down and he's kind of got to get rid of the leaves and stuff. But a lot of you guys have probably already seen the stuff like his castle, the windmill we showed off in a few of the videos. This is his new kind of town hall. And I think he actually named it. What did he actually end up naming? He ended up calling it the Guild Hall. So I mean he's got this thing, he's got like the sheep farm, he's got obviously the windmill, and then he's obviously just kind of making this a little medieval town. And when it's finished, I think it's gonna be really good. Like, Prob, what do you think of like this kind of design he's gone with? Yeah, I, re I really like Dark build so yeah i really like this so i guess we're gonna work our way towards that side of obviously where we've been building things so this is kind of zetro's area where he's been building stuff now let's move over to something which i saw a few of you guys commenting was actually this kind of temple here now the thing is with this temple i think it was like one of zetro's first ever builds he kind of did on the server and now there is really no use for it so we don't know if we're going to kind of take it down or kind of use this space for something else we're just gonna have to see what he thinks about it and kind of discuss it but i mean as of right now we don't know what to really do with it at first i think that he wanted to be some sort of like shopping area or something like that but obviously we have the shopping mall and everything so i don't think he wants to turn this into a shopping area and as you guys can also see he was in the middle of turning all of the netherrack and turning it into red wool to make it look a little bit better but honestly as i said i don't know if we're going to take this down i don't know what we're going to do with it but right now as it stands there's nothing really happening with this so i know a lot of you guys are asking about it so hopefully this clears it up i guess let's move over to my housing area zetro's housing area and also the archive area so if we go over here this is kind of where my house is and it's kind of turned into like a mini type of like village area obviously we've got my farm up there which if you guys didn't know is a potato slash carrot farm so i mean that's up there and then of course we have my house which spike is up here and guys i don't know what it is but every time he sits on the carpet he just doesn't like it on the carpet he always ends up standing and sitting on the wooden stairs for some reason so i mean spike uh, how you doing man all right, interesting as always, but guys, let's just go ahead and, and carry on with this quick little world tour. So here we obviously have the archives now. I believe we did build this quite a while ago in like one of the first few episodes. This was honestly like a really, really awesome build. I really, really like it. If you guys don't know what it is, it's an enchantment room slash trophy room. Like we have some bits of armor and swords laying around and stuff. And then obviously back here, we have got all the dragon stuff, which is our end showcase that we have back here. So honestly, it's a really, really nice area. It's a really, really modern kind of build and I like it quite a lot. Then over here we have Zetro's house. So Zetro's house is right literally opposite mine. And then we also have the new edition of the melon farm which i actually built in the last episode so if you guys didn't see that you guys can go check it out it's just a really nice and simple design and then over here we have md's house guys the amount of dogs md has is insane and i don't know why he likes to troll us like this but look at these doors the doors don't even make sense and then it gets even worse when you go inside he's literally got about 20 dogs in his house i don't know why he's done this but i mean you know that's, that's just md for you i guess he just likes his dogs all right so uh let's move on to i guess kind of the village area all right so here we are over at the village area now a lot of the stuff in the village area i guess is still work in progress because as we're getting more overpowered villagers i guess we're kind of building our sort of trading area which is down here now we've had to build a very temporary thing to make sure the villagers don't get out but i mean we have to probably put a door there or something but in here is all of our kind of main villages that are go to and i guess you could say they're kind of like our main villagers like we have our stick to emerald villager here we have like the mending villager over here and stuff like that so i mean we always use these villagers and then obviously if you guys have seen the other episodes you will know where all the other villagers go they're kind of like back there underground kind of and as i said the more better villagers that we get the more that we'll put down there in the actual trading area and then moving over to here we have the bamboo farm and the fishing area and of course like prod's house now prod's house looks kind of small on the outside but when you go down inside it's like quite big and then prod do you want to describe to us what this thing over here is uh, this is an entrance to like an underground rocket area that I'm still in progress of building. It's going to be a walkway to a rocket and yeah, it's going to look really, really cool from above. So yeah, a lot of you guys probably didn't even know this existed because I haven't showed it in any of the videos yet because I mean, I guess Prod's been doing quite a lot of work on it more recently. So I mean, that's kind of what he's going to do. He's going to put a rocket in there, as he said. Now, I believe the only thing really left to show is I guess the creeper farm and also the mall, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with the mall because we've been working on that quite a lot in the last like two episodes, I believe. And obviously, if you guys have been watching, you will know that we're going to be turning that into a whole entire city. So this, I have showed this off in a few of the other episodes but this is obviously a creeper farm and then over here we have a sugarcane farm so i mean once you've got the gunpowder you can go over here and get sugarcane and just make rockets straight away so it's really really easy and also there is one more thing i don't think i've showed you guys in a few episodes it is md's massive build that he did it's just a big ball made out of endstone it's just honestly it was like one of the first big building projects that md did and i mean come on just look at it 
in all of its glory. And obviously another build that I haven't showed you guys really quickly is obviously my dome or sort of secret underground base. I'm sure I'll let you guys know about that. If you don't, I do recommend you guys go back and watch the other episodes. But here is the hyper mall for you guys that don't know. So we got Prod's Fire Workshop, which is of course in the middle of being built right now. And then over here we have my bookstore, which is called the Mythic Scrolls, if you guys didn't already know. So this is my nice little bookstore. I really, really like it. So that's that. And then we've obviously got all the four beacons in the middle. Uh, we've got a creeper there. Don't know what he's doing. Let's just get rid of him really quickly. All right, so we got rid of that. So yeah, guys, I thought I'd just quickly go over and show you guys everything in the world just to kind of catch you guys all up. So yeah, a lot of you guys kind of asked for like a quick little world tour just to kind of catch you guys all up with some of the builds which you may not be familiar with. I did see a few comments talking about the temple and also Prod's rocket build that he's working on. And so I just thought, why not show you guys everything? So let's actually just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and get in to the rest of the episode. So guys, let's go ahead and let's get some stuff done. Okay, so hopefully that little overview of everything right there that me and Prod showed you has, has caught you guys completely and 100% up of where we now are on the world. So guys, now let's get on to another project that I'm going to show you guys right now, but we are going to expand this into something huge. So as I said, guys, in the next episode, we are going to basically be making the city turn into like an actual city instead of just having obviously the hyper mall and the restaurant, which does of course need a name. So if you guys want to help me name that, then comment down below. But yeah, guys, so apart from just that, we're going to be adding in a road, a load more buildings. We're going to get the others all on and we're all going to have like basically a lot of building time to just sort of like build something on the kind of city area. But now let's move on to something that I kind of want to get done. And I to be honest, I don't want it to go too crazy, but I have a feeling this build or this project that I have is going to go crazy. So I want to keep it a secret from everyone else that plays, but I want to build my own secret vault. Now, what I've done is I've actually already started on it. Now, if you guys kind of look around, nothing seems kind of suspicious down here at the dome. But guys, if you enter this room right here, do you still see it? Do you, do you see anything going on here? Well, it's actually over here. We have a little lever that when you flick it, boom, it will open up a hole in the wall. Like if, if I go back and shut it like that, nothing looks suspicious. But as soon as you go to this little lever, which I definitely need to do a bit more redstone work and kind of making it a little bit better. I kind of want to hide like a lever somewhere like up the other side of the dome and then it actually like come all the way to here. But this is just the early stages. So I mean, nothing's too serious right now. But I mean, hopefully none of them will come down and find out about this for the time being. But if we flip this just like that, it will open up this secret compartment door. And what you're going to want to do is go down here. This is obviously just the start, as I already said, but it will lead you in to a secret kind of tiny vault. Now, I'm going to expand this into something huge. I'm going to turn this into a massive, massive vault with like just insane valuables. It will literally get to the point where I place all of my valuable blocks down in a massive vault. But for now, we've just kind of got my shulker boxes and my end chest, which has like a bunch of diamond stuff. So for now, this is the small little vault and I feel like it looks really, really cool. And I mean, I think I've done a good job of kind of putting this together with like a little bit of redstone to kind of make this kind of secret wall kind of pop out, I guess. But guys, as I said, this is a secret project between me and you guys. So we're not going to go ahead and tell anyone about this. So uh, this is going to be something really, really awesome to work on. And guys, I'm so excited for next episode. The city is going to become a thing and it's going to be awesome. So as I say, guys, help me name the restaurant and stuff like that. But guys, I think this is where we are going to end this episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. So many awesome projects for next episode. I'm just so excited to work on the city and make it a massive thing. It's just going to be really, really awesome. There's so much stuff we have in store for you guys. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure you check the top comment for everything like the discord and the server and stuff like that. Make sure you join all of those. And apart from that, guys, have a great rest of your day and peace. So when you turn around, you may not see it all at first glance, but are you guys ready? Three, two, one. This is the best way to find netherite I have literally ever seen. Like, this is working so well. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. So as you guys can see right now, we are outside of the new restaurant that we actually built in the last episode, and it's actually raining, which I don't think we've ever actually started a video off when it's been raining. And of course, in the intro of this video, we are joined with Prod. I don't know what it is, but Prod seems to be in every single one of my intros for the past, like, maybe three or so episodes. So you guys have kind of noticed that and picked up on it with comments down below. So if you guys watched the last episode, you will know that we, of course, built the brand new restaurant. And I actually asked for some name suggestions of what we should call it. So we're going to be naming this in today's episode. So I appreciate all you guys commenting down below names for it. So we will definitely be naming the restaurant in today's episode. But guys, if you didn't already watch last episode, this is pretty much what we went with. This is the kind of design of the inside of the restaurant. We're going to be doing the menu in today's video. We're going to be setting up some farms. This right here is also the kitchen if you guys haven't seen it. And oh my prod, like how, how do you even get in that position? As I said, I definitely want to get quite a lot done in today's episode. So we're going to be working on turning this kind of restaurant. And one of the first things I definitely want to do is obviously start on the city. You guys know that we obviously have built the restaurant. We've got the high them all. So I definitely want to go ahead and turn it obviously into a massive city. I want to make a road. I want to make some street lights, And I also want to carry on with that secret project that if you guys didn't watch the last episode, you probably should because there's a little secret something in there, which uh, I mean, prod I don't even know if you know about that. I don't, I mean, I hope you don't. Nope. All right. So that's definitely good news. And also guys, I want to start on some farms because obviously to run this restaurant and stuff like that, we're going to need a lot of food. So we're going to need to make some more farms and obviously we're going to need some egg farms so we can make cake. So guys, we're going to go ahead and start that. And by the way, really quickly right now on the server or the fruity craft server, there should be a parkour event going on as we speak right now, guys. So make 
sure you go on to that. And apart from that, let's just get into this episode. Got a very busy one and exciting one for you guys today. So let's just get to it. All right. So before we turn this city into an actual thing and we build the road and the street lights and all the new buildings, there is a few things we have to take care of before we go ahead and do that. Not only do we need to go ahead and collect the resources, there has been something I've been needing to do for a while and we're going to go ahead and do that. But again, Spike, why don't you like the carpet, man? I mean, you always sat on the stairs. You guys know for the last few episodes, Spike, every time he sits on the carpet, for some reason, he just doesn't like it. He just doesn't like sitting on the carpet. But I mean, Spike, how are you doing, man? Alright, interesting as always. So guys, what I was going to go ahead and tell you guys is that if you go ahead and look at my sword, it's called the God Sword. I mean, obviously we've got Sharpness 5, Fire Aspect 2, we've got Unbreaking 3, we've got Mending, we've got Sweeping Edge 3. We literally have one of the best swords you can get. But if you look a bit closer, you'll see that the looting is only looting 2. And I know for a fact that we have a villager with looting 3. Alright, here we go. There it is. 12 emeralds as well. That is such a good deal for literally a looting 3 book. So what I think I'm going to have to do is gather up a bunch of sticks. We shouldn't need too many sticks. Sell all of the 6 emeralds and then we should be able to get this looting three sword and then we can concentrate on getting all the resources to make the city a thing so guys it's gonna be such an exciting episode so let's just get this looting book all right so let's turn all of these sticks into emeralds real quick so let's just go through so we need about 12 emeralds yeah we have more than enough sticks to do this yeah that we, we just have so many sticks to do this okay so we got the emeralds and all of the villagers are sleeping i don't know which one has the looting i'm just gonna go and guess it's maybe this one okay what a guess i oh no i just realized i need a book okay let, let me go grab a book all right we have returned with the book there we go looting three okay perfect here we are at the powerhouse of course let's just go through and head over to the anvil and and let's just see if we have enough levels. All right, into the anvil. Put the sword in there. Put the book and what i don't i didn't even put anything in it just says too expensive so i think that we may need to make a new sword and put looting three and add all the other enchantments back on maybe we could make another netherite sword and make it specifically for only getting rid of withers i guess and just making like a wither sword i i mean yeah that's definitely something i'm gonna do all right let's head to the dome and put this book away and, and let's start on getting the resources so we're going to need a bunch of concrete a bunch of bricks maybe quartz as well the buildings are going to be really really awesome all right let's just shove this in here for a second all right so let's go and grab these resources and i guess we'll just worry about the netherite sword and stuff like that maybe in the future so right now let's just get this city build started i found the perfect swamp like look at the amount of clay that there is in this swamp so we're going to go ahead and gather all of this and then after this i want to head to the nether to get kind of like the new trees or like the new tree blocks now that we have a bunch of clay i'm going to go ahead and go to the nether so let's go all right so i've just made it into the nether and there's already things attacking me like we definitely need to sort out the kind of spawn for, for the nether area because if you just look around this is not a good spawn like we need to make something of this so we'll probably do that in a future episode but for now let's go ahead and get the trees all right let's just see if this guy will let us over all right, we need to kind of like jump over him because I want to get over there. All right, here we go. And let's hit him off. All right. See you in a bit, bro. And there he goes. All right, that was easy. All right, let's just get some of these blocks. Yes, they're so easy to break. Look at that. Oh, this is amazing. All right, this is going to be really, really quick to gather up all the resources we need. So many of these things. Oh, geez. We've got everything that we need. So let's get out of here and let's start building. Alright, so let me catch you guys up on what I have been doing and what everything is looking like. So are you guys ready to see what the road is looking like? And I've done a little bit more extras onto the kind of mall and also outside of the restaurant. So guys, boom, look at that. Look at all the street lights in place. You've got the road and I really, really like the fact that I use that kind of like the new wood that you can find in the nether honestly suits this so much. But guys, I've done a little bit of adjustments to the kind of outside of the mall. I want to build not only like an apartment type building, but also like a brewery shop. And then I want to do some other shops and stuff like that. But for this episode, I definitely want to get like an apartment building done and also like a brewery shop which is going to go over there somewhere but let me show you guys how annoying and hard the, all of these street lights happen so let me show you guys what i've got to do so i've got to first off build a few stone bricks up we're going to go six up so two three four five six then i've got to go ahead and put two slabs just so i can put this one here then i've got to break this one i've got to put another one there so it looks good then we've got to put one up here as you can see for such a small build it's actually quite a little bit of work so then i've got to go down put the glowstone here then put the trap doors all like this. Let's just do that on these sides as well. And boom, that is how I've been making these street lights. And I mean, they have turned out, in my opinion, really, really nicely. Obviously, it's not all going to be done at once. I mean, obviously, over time and over episodes, we'll kind of do small work here and there alongside like the other projects that I want to get done on this world. But pretty much this is looking really, really nice. Obviously, we're going to add like a building there, which I think I want to put the apartment building there. And then we're going to put the brewery shop there. And then there's another shop that I want to do for the next episode. But I'll tell you guys that a little bit later. So what I'm going to do is get to building those buildings. And then I'm going to get the others online and get there reaction to this whole thing that I've been doing and this whole city. So, so let's just go ahead and get back to building. Ok 
Okay, so we're back at the house as you guys can see and I've completely finished building the kind of apartment area or the apartment building that I was doing and pretty much what I'm going to do now is build a potion brewing shop and what I want to do is I actually want to make the shop in the shape of an actual potion which I think would be really really cool. So what I'm going to do now is I've grabbed so much bone meal. To build a potion bottle what I'm actually going to need to do is get orange dye so I can get orange concrete so I need to go through and try and find red and yellow flowers. So here we go as you guys can see we've got a dandelion and we can get yellow dye now. All I need to do is just get a red one. Okay perfect there's a red one and if we put that together we should be able to get orange dye so as you guys can see two pieces of orange dye so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get a few bits of orange dye and then we're gonna make this potion shop and we're gonna surprise the others with what we've been building because they have no idea that I was building the city so it's going to be a really really awesome surprise to them so I can't wait for them to see but we just need to build this and, and then we are good to let them see what we've been doing but we're getting loads of orange flowers but we're getting no red ones but guys I'll be back when we're actually gonna start the build so let's go we've got what we need for the potion store so let's just go ahead and get to it all right so we are joined with prod and we are joined with MD now guys you know I I said I wanted to obviously work on getting the city done and kind of getting it to a point where it starts to look like a city because I mean we had the mall and then we just had a restaurant and it just it just looked kind of random and a little bit out of place. Wouldn't you guys agree that it just looked a little bit out of place? Yeah, yeah. I agree. All right, so what I have done is a little bit of work, okay? And I think this is basically looking like a city at this point. It looks really, really good. So it, I mean, in my opinion, it looks really good. All right, so this has literally taken me so long. Like this is this is quite a bit of work that's gone into this. So are you guys ready to look? I are you guys am. ready? Uh -huh. Right, so when you turn around, you may not see it all at first glance, but are you guys ready? Three, two, one, check it out. All right, you can you can walk Whoa. through it all. You can walk through everything I've done. So I'll, I'll explain it to you if you don't if you don't know what all of it is. So this right here is it's not 100% done on the inside, but it's going to be like an apartment building, sort of like have some apartments. So you know, put some like bedrooms in there, kind of make it look quite nice inside. So I mean, that's that. And uh, you may realize that we've got a road. And oh, come on, really? All right, so you may also see I've done a little bit of changes to the hyper mall. There's a little like entrance to it now, which you guys may have not seen before, with like this nice little garden area. This is obviously the restaurant which me and Prod built, and we are yet to name it in this episode. And then over here, I honestly thought it was going to turn out a little bit better than it did, but. This this is, wait, can you guys even guess what it's supposed to be? It's a potion shop. Yes, yeah. it's it's a potion shop. So if you go inside, there's like the little brewing stands. In here is where everything's going to be to be able to buy. Like I'll put some potions in there. So I mean, this is kind of the inside. What do you guys think of the street lights? I, I actually kind of like the like trap doors. Yeah, quite cool at night. Yeah, really, really cool. And as you can also see, the road kind of cuts off and like there's a little bit of like area up here. What I'm actually going to be doing like over like the whole time we play, all of us, I guess, can kind of expand this whenever we want. Like, if you guys want to make shops here or buildings here, then just feel free to, you know, expand the road down wherever you want. This is this could be like really big. This could be like a huge city. So I'm glad you guys actually like it. I mean, I, I think it looks pretty fresh. Nice little kind of road here. So there we go. This is everything I was working on. This is kind of like the starting of the city. So let's continue with the rest of the stuff that I want to do in this episode. So let's go. Also, really quickly, we are going to go ahead and name the restaurant. But before we do that, guys, if you have any good name ideas for for what we should call the potion shop please leave them down below in the comments it would be really awesome if we get a good name for this it would really mean a lot if you guys would go down there and comment some ideas of what we should call this shop and obviously we'll put a sign right there with not only your name but the name you come up with so guys thank you for all the support recently it's been insane so if we could get a good name for the potion shop that'd be really awesome but really quickly let's go over here and i've chosen a name which i think really really suits this it's honestly it's such a good name so let's go ahead and name it. i think we're going to put the sign here because that would make sense because there's not really like anywhere in the middle we could do it here so yeah let's just put it here and yeah all right so this is the name we are going to go with the miners Diamond. I really, really think that is a good name. So I'll put the comment on screen. So thank you so much for that name suggestion. It's really, really awesome. So as I said, if you guys want to go ahead and comment down some name suggestions for the potion shop over there, that would be really awesome. But yeah, that is the name we've gone with, the Miner's Diner. So now that we've gone ahead and named the restaurant, what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and get another netherite sword. And the only reason I'm going to get this other netherite sword is just so I can have looting three on it. So I'm going to keep this sword as like my main sword, but I just want another netherite sword with maybe like a bit of sharpness on it or something like that. But I just want something to get easy with a skull. So we're going to go ahead to the nether, get a little bit of netherite, make the sword and yeah so usually when i go to get netherite i usually bring a bunch of tnt so it's easier to find but seeing as we only need to find like a little bit of netherite just for a sword i don't think we'll need tnt so what we're gonna go and do is just go over in like that direction find somewhere we haven't mined before for netherite and i guess just see if we get lucky i mean we're just gonna go around see if there's like any kind of new space we haven't mined i don't think we've mined around here so i guess let's just go and see if we can get lucky with some netherite so we found our first piece let's see how many it is there's one any more around the area no okay i think it was just one piece okay that's not that bad though here we go we have found some more please don't be one by itself again come on we found another piece while it was by itself all right let's just keep going what i'm actually doing is i'm doing this kind of technique where i just walk along here and oh no there's lava there's lava there's lava oh no okay so that wasn't meant to happen um but what i was actually trying to show oh no okay so what i was actually trying to show you guys is what i'm actually doing to get netherite the fastest what i've actually done instead of using tnt i'm actually going across what i've already done and kind of mining like this because it actually shows quite a lot at such a fast rate this is a really fast way that i've discovered i just go down all my other mines and just go like this and then hopefully i'll find some this is the best way to find 
netherite I have literally ever seen. Like, this is working so well. We already have three pieces, and we haven't even been mining for that long, so I'll take it. Alright, so we've made it back to our house, as you guys can see, and I've turned all of the ancient debris, and I've turned it into netherite scrap, so if we go over to the crafting bench, put it in here like this. What we need to do is go down to the dome, grab two diamonds, make a diamond sword, and we need to use one of these on a sword, and why... Why is there a slime in my base? To be honest, I'm not even complaining because I actually need slime balls. Like, they're actually kind of hard to get hold of. Well, I mean, for some reason, some like to spawn in my base sometimes. I literally have no idea why, but let's just get rid of these 12 slime balls just from one slime. I'll take it. All right, let's go ahead over to the dome and let's get our diamonds out. Now, if you guys know, we do not have our diamonds where we normally have them. Obviously, we keep our diamonds in this chest, but if you guys look inside, there is absolutely nothing. Now, if you guys watched the last episode, you will know if we go down here and flip this, you guys will see that a little secret entrance is opened now guys as i said in this episode i wanted to do something with this but what i'm going to go ahead and do is probably say that for like the next episode we are going to turn this underground base into a massive netherite layer or just somewhere where we have stashes and stashes of the best loot in the game but this is going to be huge like right now it's only like a little like three by three but i can tell you guys right now that this is going to be huge i'm literally going to spend so much time on this in the next episode guys and well i hope you guys are excited but for now let's just go grab these two diamonds but i just can't wait to make this secret room massive i want to fill it up with just so much netherite some armor stands filled with netherite armor. It's going to be epic. So that little secret base right there is going to turn into something insane. All right, now over to the crafting bench. Let's just make the sword real quick and let's head to the powerhouse and upgrade this to a netherite sword. Here we go. We are inside. Let's go into this. Put the diamond sword there. Take one piece of netherite. There we go. Let's get the sword and there we go. Okay, so we got another one right here and I want to give it a level 30 enchantment and we're level 29. So I'm going to quickly go to the skeleton XP farm, get one level from the skeleton farm and then we're going to enchant it and then add the looting book, which we have down at the dome as well. So let's just spend a little time here to get to level 30. All right, here we go. Let's see if this will bring us up to level 30. It should do just like that. Literally one swing of the sword. And we're already at level 30. It's been a while, honestly, since I've actually came down to the skeleton farm. I always use, like, the Enderman one. So, I mean, I don't really need to use the skeleton one ever. But let's just go and head back up. All I'm really hoping for for an enchantment is literally just sharpness. Like, I don't really mind about anything else. Obviously, it's literally just a sword to get wither skulls. So, I mean, sharpness would be great. And then we can put the looting on afterwards. But let's see what we can get. Smite V I'm breaking three. I mean, it's just, it's not the best. I don't know whether to unenchant that and maybe try again. Should I try again? I think, I think we're going to try one more. All right, we're going to try one more. Let's get level 30 again. We're level 30 again. So, let's try it and see if we can get a better enchantment. Alright, what is it saying we're going to get? Knockback 2. Okay, we could get sharpness on this as well. And so we got Unbreaking 3, Bane of Arthropods 5, Knockback 2. Again, not the best. Let's just unenchant that and we're going to try one more time. No matter what we get, let's just put looting on it and just, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, all we need is looting, but I do want to try it and see if we can get something better. So let's just try one more time. Alright, let's give this one last go. Okay, come on. And it says we're going to get sharpness 3. Okay, that's actually not that bad. I mean, I'll take sharpness 3. It's, it's some type of sharpness. Sharpness 3... I'm breaking three. The only bad thing is, is knockback two. That is not even that bad. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the dome and let's grab our looting book and put looting three on it. And then now we have our sword, which is literally just for withers. And if you guys want to name this anything like special to do with like withers or anything, make sure to leave some comments down below. But let's just go grab the book and enchant it. The sword for getting wither heads now has sharpness three, unbreaking three, knockback two, and looting three. And then in the future, we can always upgrade this to get better sharpness and stuff like that. But apart from that, that is what I'm looking for. I just wanted a sword, nothing too fancy or anything like that. Something literally just to go and get with a head so i'll always keep that on me when i go to the nether but now guys what i want to do is i actually want to make a little bit of a egg farm because i mean you guys know i want to make cake in the restaurant and stuff like that so to make cake you need eggs and the only way you can get eggs is from chickens so we need to go ahead and make a bit of a egg farm so i've got a few chickens over there and that's probably where i am going to build the chicken farm somewhere over there or i might actually put it with my other farms or maybe my animal farms there I, I don't know we'll decide that in a minute but let's go ahead and let's start on this build i think we need hoppers though so let's go and get everything for this and let's start on an egg farm all right so so this is the chicken farm as you guys can see here It's just a really simplistic kind of design What I need to do is I need to get rid of like all of this stuff and put like a pathway up to it So inside of the egg farm under all of these carpets is actually some hoppers and the hoppers are directed to this chest Whenever the eggs go into the hopper then basically they go into this chest and this is where all of the eggs will go So now i've got all these seeds on me We need to go and grab the chickens from the temporary chicken farm i've made over there and we need to get them in there So this could take a while so i'll be back when the chickens are inside Yep, that is much easier than I thought it would be now Let's just give you guys these seeds and then let's put these eggs down any chicken chickens from them okay unfortunately not but here we go we are going to get a bunch of chickens in here they're all going to start laying eggs and we have ourselves an egg farm which means we can finally start getting cakes we can finally use eggs so yeah there it is the egg farm all right so that is going to be where we do end this episode hopefully you guys did enjoy this little bit of a building episode working on the city was just so much fun but guys in the next episode we are going to be doing some more exciting stuff there because i want to go ahead and bring stacks and stacks of tnt into the nether because what i want to do is i want to get so much netherite to not only work on some stuff in the secret base i also want to open up an 
an armor shop where I just basically have so much netherite armor all fully upgraded with mending protection everything like that so that is something I definitely want to do in the next episode so hopefully you guys are going to look forward to just me going into the nether with a bunch of TNT and also working on the secret base which is back there so we're going to be doing so much stuff with the secret base so much stuff with netherite I'm really excited but guys hopefully you did enjoy this one and yeah so thank you guys all so much for the support recently it's literally been crazy and yeah apart from that guys have a great rest of your day and peace I am about to put down 48 pieces of TNT. Now let's just go ahead and do the netherite sword. Oh my, okay. This is going really well right now. Sharpness IV. Hey guys, it's Fru and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. So as you guys can see right now, we are inside of the brand new city that we built in the last episode. And guys, so so what do you think about it? I mean, Zetro, I mean, I didn't even give you a tour on it in the last episode. So what do you actually think of it now? It's your first time seeing it. What do you, what do you think? I like it. I like how like there's like, the buildings are different. So there's like a city kind of building there. There's like a potion over there. I think I yeah. like it. Just having them all by itself was, I mean, it was quite cool. And then we added the restaurant. So I think we need something to make it look like a little bit more of a city. So in this episode, what I want to go ahead and do to start it off is I want to go ahead and get a lot of netherite. And when I say a lot of netherite, I want to bring stacks and stacks of TNT into the nether. And I want to go and just place it everywhere. I'm not talking three or four pieces of TNT at a time. I'm literally talking planting a stack down at a time and just letting it just destroy the whole nether and getting all the netherite. So that's definitely what I want to start off the episode. And then I'm also thinking of maybe adding another shop here into the city, maybe some sort of armor shop, and then guys, I can't really say too much in front of Zetra and Prod, but you know that secret project we're going to be working on, I want to make that huge, so guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, let's just go into it, and let's just go to the nether and get some netherite. Alright, so we are over here at the creeper farm, as you guys can see, all the gunpowder farm, and Prod is here just chilling under a tree, so pretty much, if we go over to this chest right now, we should have a lot of gunpowder in here, let's see how much you've got, boom, Oh my, so we've got quite a lot of stacks of gunpowder, as you guys can see, and I've also been collecting some sand in this chest, so what we're going to do is we are going to make as much TNT as we can, and guys, when I say we are about to literally destroy the nether, we are going to come out the nether with so much netherite, it's going to be crazy, so Prod, are you ready to take all of this, turn it into TNT, and then head to the nether? Let's do it. Okay, so first thing is first, let's take all the gunpowder out here, let's just leave some in there like that, let's take all this gunpowder out, let's take all of this sand out, and let's see how much TNT we can make, I'm hoping we can make over like three stacks maybe that would be perfect all right let's see if we can make it let's just put all the gunpowder like this put all the sand in there like that and that is going to give us a stack can we make another stack out of all of this that we've got in our inventory we still have some left in the chest but let's just go ahead that is another 37 let's just keep splitting this like that all right prod here you go there's about a stack for you so let's go ahead and get a lever and we also need some redstone and we are going to go pretty insane with this tnt so let's just go get some levers and also some redstone so here we are under prod's base where the nether portals are and we are going to go in right now i've got so much tnt so the plan is we're just going to go ahead and fly as much much as we can in this direction because we want to find somewhere where we've literally not even touched in terms of like getting netherite because our other place we mine for netherite is pretty destroyed if you guys saw the last episode you will see that we have gone insane with the amount of netherite we tried to get so we're gonna go out find somewhere which is completely just that no one's been to and then we're just gonna get the tnt and completely explode it so i think this actually might be a good area here i mean we can dig down and check it out so we are digging down right now and i think we may have found the perfect area there's absolutely nothing destroyed here so we might be good to test things out we're going to go ahead and put 16 pieces of TNT down for now and then if it works with 16 pieces we're gonna go ahead and put like half a stack down or something so let's just keep going put all the redstone on here I want it all to explode at exactly the same time because if it explodes at the same time hopefully none of the TNT should explode the other TNT all right I'm a little bit scared I'm a little bit scared to be honest I'm scared it's gonna fling towards us all right I'll say that's good enough all right you ready prod put the lever down three two one all right let's go all right this is gonna be great wait no it didn't all no I put the redstone in the wrong place oh back up all right is it gonna fling towards us I think we're good. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. The lava's literally going crazy. All right, I know that we've got one bit. I saw one piece. The lava's going to be a big problem while we're trying to do this, though. All right, we've got one piece there. Um, I mean, I'll take it, though. One piece is better than nothing, so let's just go ahead and grab this one piece right here. All right, so we've got one piece. Hopefully, many more to come. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. All right, I just I just get so scared because I'm scared that the TNT is just going to fling back towards us. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh. All right, here we go. Let's go. Oh my. All right. Did we get any? Are you serious? All right. We're literally getting more luck strip mining for it than we are actually like using stacks of TNT. All right, Prod, how much TNT have you got left? I have 40 more TNT. Do you want to use all 40 of that TNT right now? All right. Do you want me to light it up or? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Hopefully this works. Three, two, one. Okay. No, it didn't work with the reds. Please don't go towards us. All right. Jeez. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my. Okay, at least we found some over there. Have we only found two pieces? All right, let's just walk through. This is literally 40 pieces of TNT right here. We have just used 40 pieces of TNT for two pieces of netherite. I am about to put down 
48 pieces of TNT. Let's just keep placing it like this. I don't even know if we've mined enough. All right, this is literally 48 pieces. Okay, we're down to the last 10 pieces. Let's just keep going. I'm hoping that we can maybe find... Prod, how much do you reckon we should find from this? I'm, I'm saying at least six. I think anything above six would be good. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on. All right, there we go. Oh, geez. All right, run, 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 run. Come on, give us more than six pieces. I think we might be in luck. There's one piece there. Oh, no, no, there's six. Look, there's two there as well. That right there is seven netherite that I've got in total. Let's just grab this piece as well. All right, that's seven pieces. Seeing as we ran out of TNT, I decided to go ahead and do the same mining method I always do when I'm actually going for netherite. And I found three pieces of netherite next to each other, which I believe is the maximum amount of netherite you can find in one actual area. So I don't know if it's four or if it's three. But anyway, let's just go ahead and mine all this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to sit here in the nether and just mine a bunch. If you guys want to know how I get netherite so fast, what I do is I just dig in a straight line just like this. And then I go back through it and just go ahead and mine all across here just like this. And then what will actually happen is usually after a while of doing this, I actually end up finding quite a bit of netherite because what you're actually doing is not only are you getting all these bottom blocks here and all these side blocks, you're also getting all of these top blocks as well. So this is really one of the best ways you can actually get netherite. Like it's been working for me really well. And I only really discovered to like actually start doing it like probably in like the last episode. But honestly, it's been working really, really well. So I'm just going to stay in the nether for a little bit more, get a bunch of netherite and then we'll head back. Okay, so here we go. We are back at our base. And really quickly, let's just go ahead and check on Spike. So, oh, yes, Spike, you've actually decided to sit on the carpet. But anyway, Spike, how, how are you doing, man? Okay, interesting as always. Thanks for sharing that, Spike. But guys, on a serious note, let's go ahead down to where our furnaces are. And we're just going to go ahead and smell all the ancient debris. And then we are going to start building our armor store. And we're going to put a bunch of armor. Like, I'm talking netherite armor, diamond armor. We are pretty much going to fill an entire armor shop. So guys, after we smell the ancient debris, we're going to turn it into some armor, I guess. Make the armor shop. Then we are going to enchant all of our netherite stuff and make the armor shop a thing. Then once we've done that, we are going to expand the secret base. So let's just go ahead and get this ancient debris all smelted. All right, so all of the ancient debris has smelted and we have all the netherite scraps so in total we have 29 netherite scraps let's take this to the crafting table and turn it all into actual netherite just like that and that is now eight pieces of netherite i have in total which is actually going to be able to make us one set of armor and a bunch of tools so what we're going to do now i think guys we're going to go meet up with prod and we are going to go ahead and build this armor shop and then we're going to just enchant a bunch of netherite gear so let's go meet up with him and let's start this build all right so we are joined with prod right now and as you guys can see we have actually extended out the road onto the city a little bit and what we're going to do is we're actually going to make the armor shop in this area right now. So we're going to kind of break down this bit here, make a pathway. I need to finish the street lights, and then we're just going to get to work on pretty much building the armor shop right here. So we're going to get armor stands. I think the design we are going for is actually purple concrete and maybe another block. I kind of want to try and use some like dark wood or something like that. So we're going to go ahead, pretty much build it right here. So let's just go and build it. Prod, are you ready? Do it. Okay, so now we are done with the armor shop. Now, Prod, in your opinion, how do you think it turned out? Do you think it's good? I really, really like it, and I'm most likely going to be buying from this shop in the future. All right, so here it is in three, two, one boom this is it i honestly wanted to just use a different block because if you guys look over at the city i mean that's made out of glass that's made out of bricks these two things are made out of concrete and i mean there is concrete here but i just wanted to use planks for this build to i guess just kind of switch it up but guys inside let me show you now inside what we have is places where three different sets of armor is going to be only three pieces of armor is going to be in here at once so basically that can be some netherite armor some diamond armor and stuff like that and then over here when we set our prices up in the armor shop we're basically going to make it so these barrels are actually where you pay so we're going to put an armor stand there armor stand there and armor stand there then eventually we will get like a price list of, of how much we are going to be selling each armor set for so guys what we're going to do now is we are going to get all of this netherite and we are going to enchant max level some pieces of armor and then go ahead and put it in here i'm really really happy with how it turned out honestly i think we did a pretty good job so also guys comment down below do you guys have any name suggestions for this armor shop obviously we're going to be putting a sign right here with not only your name but also the name that you guys want us to name this actual armor shop and then also in this episode we've got to go ahead and name the potion shops we're definitely going to be naming the potion shop but for now guys let's just go over to the end farm let's get like level 50 or something crazy like that and let's go ahead and enchant a bunch of armor put it in the armor shop and then we're going to go ahead and work on that little secret project so guys let's just go so i've just made it over here to the end of an xp farm right now let's try and get to like level 60 or like level 55 or something like that let's go as you can probably tell we have been here for quite a while because we are now level 67 
Oh my goodness. I think as of now, this is probably the highest level I've been. Now a level 68. Okay, so what we're going to do is just going to take all this XP. We need to actually find a way to get rid of all these ender pills and put them in this chest. But what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go back, make all the armor, and then we're also going to go and make some netherite tools as well. So guys, let's just head back and let's start on the armor for the armor shop. Now that we have arrived back into our house, what we are going to do is head down into the dome, grab a bunch of diamonds and make some diamond armor, some diamond tools, and get ready to turn that all into netherite. So then we can fill up the armor shop and also get some stuff to fill up our little secret base over here as well. So guys, let's just go ahead and let's grab these diamonds. I have grabbed so many of our diamonds for this, so we better get some good enchantments, guys. I've literally had to take out so many of our diamonds. We just really need to hope that we get a good enchant. So let's just make everything in this crafting bench right now. Let's make all of the armor really quickly like this. Let's just quickly make two sets of diamond armor. One of them I'm going to turn to netherite. The other I'm going to keep diamond. And let's also make one of each tool. So we're going to make a pickaxe, sword, shovel, and axe really quickly. So let's just make all of this really quickly like that. And finally, let's just go ahead and make the final tool that we need, which is, of course, an axe. So let's just go like that. Boom. All right, we now have one of every diamond tool and two sets of armor. So guys, hopefully this is going to be worth it. So now let's just head over to the powerhouse. And what we're going to do is we're going to change all the stuff that needs to be changed into netherite and pretty much just turn it into netherite. So let's just head into the powerhouse right now and let's go and do it. All right, here we go. Okay, let's put all the netherite in there like that. All right, let's just go and put all the armor into netherite first. So we've got the helmet. We've got the leggings. We've got the chest plate. We've also got the boots just like that. Let's also put our tools in just like that. Boom. Okay, there we go. We've got all of the netherite stuff. Let's go ahead and enchant everything. Okay, let's start off with the tools and then we'll do the armor. Hopefully, we have enough levels to do both sets of armor and all the tools, but let's just go ahead and see. All right, so let's start off with the pickaxe, which is probably one of the most important ones because, I mean, we do already have a good pickaxe. This is actually really, really good. Okay, let's just go and do it. Please, Fortune 3, come on. Okay, actually, I'll take that. I'll actually take that. I really needed a good silk touch pickaxe. So now we have a breaking three, silk touch, and efficiency IV. So all we need to do now, another level of efficiency on there. So now we actually have our fortune pickaxe and then we also have a silk touch pickaxe okay now let's just go ahead and do the netherite sword oh my okay this is going really well right now sharpness iv okay that's actually really good sharpness iv and sweeping edge three okay now for the shovel fortune three efficiency iv that's actually pretty good because i have an unbreaking book that we can put on that for the axe let's get something good maybe efficiency okay i'm breaking three silk touch i also do have a efficiency book so that's not bad let's do the armor okay netherite helmet let's go okay fire protection iv i'm, I'm breaking three acro affinity let's just do the chest plate protection three and breaking three not bad leggings protection three and breaking three again not too bad the boots protection three just by itself now for the diamond armor fire protection iv and also respiration three okay that's pretty good i'm breaking three protection three again for the leggings fire protection four not too bad and for the boots Last but not least, protection three. Okay, we do have enough to do like one more level. So I don't know if we should unenchant anything. I'm actually pretty happy with the enchant. Actually, I might just go ahead and redo the netherite axe. I might just unenchant this axe. Why not? Because it doesn't have like efficiency on it. So let's just quickly unenchant that and let's just do this one more time. Okay, there we go. Silk touch and efficiency. Perfect. And we have loads of unbreaking books. So honestly, guys, all of the stuff we've got right now, we can upgrade it to be literally top tier stuff. So I'm pretty glad that all of our enchantments we did were actually good. Okay, now let's go over and put all the stuff inside of the armor store and then let's go ahead and finish off with our secret base all right here we go let's just go inside also guys make sure you comment down below any name suggestions you do have for the armor shop all would be very very much appreciated and also we all really appreciate all the support you guys have been leaving on the videos so again thank you guys so much but for now let's just put all these armor stands in place just like that boom and let's put the armor on them i think just for the one in the middle we should just make that netherite because it's literally the first thing you see when you go inside so let's just put all of the netherite armor on there and again guys we will work on prices for what we should actually like price everything in here and i think we should put the diamond on this one so let's just do that really quickly helmet chest plate boots and also the leggings there we go so guys we now have some really good armor to sell here now all i need to do is actually get some mending books from my enchanted bookstore and just put that kind of on the armor as like a little finishing touch but yeah as i said the armor store is pretty much finished all it needs now is a name and talking of names let's just go ahead and name the potion store let's place the sign and give the potion shop a name so the name that i have chosen is the burning bottle i really do actually like that name so credit goes to this person on screen right now thank you so much for giving us this name. It's honestly such a good name. And I also remembered I actually have to go ahead and name our Wither Sword right here, the one with looting three. We will definitely be naming the Wither Sword in this episode. And if you guys do not know why this is actually the Wither Sword, it's because it has looting three. And the only reason I'm going to use this sword is basically pretty much to go and get Wither Heads. So what we're going to go and do is name it. But before we do name it, let's go ahead and expand our secret room. So guys, let's just go ahead and start expanding. <laughs> The cat 
Really quickly though, before we finish the secret base, let's just go ahead and name the Wither Sword. So I'm going to put the comment on the screen after I quickly name it. So let's just go ahead and name the Wither Sword. All right, so the name I have chosen is the Wither Revenge. Now I'll put the comment on screen. So a huge credit goes to you. Thank you so much for leaving that suggestion down below in the comments. But guys, we now have an official name for the Wither Sword and it is called the Wither Revenge. So guys, let's go back down to the secret base. All right, so I'm done upgrading the secret room. So let's just go over here and flip this. And as you guys can see, the secret door pops open like usual. And of course, there's no diamonds in the diamond chest because obviously all the diamonds are down here in the secret base. So guys, if we go down here, you will see that this is the upgrade. We haven't gone too crazy yet. Okay, we haven't gone too crazy yet. I mean, this is definitely just the beginning of this secret room and I want it to be huge. So guys, leave down below in the comments if you guys have any suggestions of things that I can actually add down here. I was thinking of maybe adding like a painting here, then having a secret room behind it. We can add so much and extend this to literally be as big as we want it. But guys, this is it. We've got some armor stands. I've got my chest plate right here. We've got all of those enchanted tools that we made and everything just across here. We got my shulker box. We got my ender chest. That when we open our seven diamond blocks and then also inside of this shulker box, we've got a bunch of just random stuff, which I don't know if I'll keep the shulker box down here. But you know, I feel like because we've got so many shulker boxes, we don't actually need to go and take this out of here so we can actually keep it here. But guys, this is it. This tiny little secret room is completely secret. The others don't know about it. At least I'm pretty sure they don't know about it. But guys, as I said, we can go ahead and make this more secret. We could even change how the secret door actually works. And as I said, we can expand this. So as I said, let me know down below in the comments if you guys like this and also ways that we can obviously extend it and stuff like that. But for now, this is what it's looking like. It actually is really, really good. So guys, I think that is where we are going to end this episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. It's so awesome that we now have an armor shop. We got the secret base looking really cool back there. And we've even got a bunch more enchanted gear. But ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you did enjoy this video. As I already said, thank you for all of the support recently. It's been absolutely amazing. Make sure you join the server and also the discord and apart from that have a great rest of your day guys and peace hey guys it's Fru and welcome back to another episode of the minecraft multiplayer survival now if you guys go ahead and look around we are all by ourselves in the intro of today's video but there is a very good reason for that because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the others on a bit of a treasure hunt now let me explain now as you guys know recently we've been doing a bunch of building projects we've been getting all this awesome armor and doing just a bunch of stuff i thought it'd be a great idea to do a little something for the other guys where i basically make them a really awesome treasure hunt where they have to follow a bunch of clues and they will end up getting so much insane loot and when I say insane loot I seriously mean some insane loot so guys it's gonna be really really awesome for them so what we are gonna do to start this episode is that we are going to grab a bunch of really really awesome stuff to basically put inside of the treasure hunt chest I'm talking like a stack of diamonds some netherite gear a beacon and even some enchanted books including mending and bunch of stuff like that so guys we're gonna go ahead get all of that we're then going to make a bunch of clues and kind of make it a little bit fun for them and then after we've done that I've got a bunch of awesome and exciting stuff planned for the rest of the episode but for now let's just go ahead and get all of this stuff done for the treasure hunt and do something really really nice for the other guys so guys let's just go ahead and do it all right so seeing as we are already inside of the dome what i'm going to quickly do is head into the secret room because there is some stuff inside of the secret room which i actually don't mind giving them for the treasure hunt like as you guys can see if you watched the last episode we did a little bit of an upgrade or extension to the secret base so we actually have some quite good tools in here and stuff like that i'm going to give them this stack of diamonds that i have right now so let's just go grab those and another thing which i don't mind giving them is this sword right here now this sword if you don't know already is a netherite sword with sharpness four and also sweeping edge three so this is a really really good sword to kind of grind out over at the end xp farm so i'm definitely going to go ahead and give them this sword as well now now another thing that i know that they all really really like is beacons so i also want to go ahead and get them a beacon but before we do that i'm going to head over to my bookshop and get them some mending books so let's just go over to the bookshop and give them some mending books maybe even some other books so let's just head over there really quickly and let's go ahead and get some books so let's just head over to the hyper mall actually really quickly before we head over to the hyper mall let's just go ahead and check on spike so spike i'm glad that you like the carpet now if you guys have been watching the last few episodes you'll just know that spike does doesn't like to sit on the carpet. But anyway, Spike, how are you doing today, man? How are you doing? Are you excited for this treasure hunt? All right, interesting as always, but guys, let's just head over to the mall. So yeah, let's just go. Okay, so here we are. We have arrived in the city right now. And also, guys, in this episode, we are definitely going to be going ahead and naming the armor shop. Now, I think Zetro is actually building a shop here. I don't know what the shop is yet, so we might have to talk to him later on in this episode because this shop is actually really, really awesome. And this must have cost him so much. Look at the amount of emerald blocks this has literally taken him. But guys, let's just go ahead over to our mythic scrolls or the enchanted bookshop. So let's just go into the mythic scrolls right now and see what books we can give them. So let's just go ahead and see what ones we got. So we've got Unbreaking 3. I 
don't mind giving them that. Let's just see what this one is. We've also got a mending right here. And then do we have any others on this side? We have another unbreaking three. So far, we have two unbreaking threes and a mending. Let's just look through here and see what good ones we can get. Okay, power four and also infinity. That would be really good. And then have we got any other ones here that I don't really mind giving them? All right, perfect. There's also an efficiency four. So we're going to give them these six books, this netherite sword, 64 diamonds. And also we need to go over to the nether because we need to go get a beacon. So let's just go ahead and use the wither revenge to go ahead and get some wither heads. So let's just store all of the stuff in this chest that we are basically going to be giving them. And so now let's just head over to the nether fortress and let's just get some wither skulls. So let's head over to the nether fortress. Here we go. We have successfully made it over to the nether fortress. So guys, let's just go ahead, get the wither's revenge sword out and let's go ahead and get these wither skulls. Now the question is, are we going to get lucky with our first two withers right now? Come on. Are we going to get any luck? Just, just drop us a wither skull. Come on. Okay. <gasps> no way. We actually just got lucky. Literally our first two withers and we've already got a wither skeleton skull. Is it the luck of the wither's revenge? I don't know, but that was literally the first two withers I have just come across inside of the wither fortress. Now, are we going to get lucky again? Come on. Okay, no. All right, let's just go ahead and get these wither skulls, though. Yes, we've got lucky once again. That is our second wither head. Okay, only one more to go, and then I've got to fight the wither by myself, which I actually don't think I've done yet. I think I've always had, like, the other guys helping me out, so this might be a little bit scary, and I don't want to destroy anyone's house while doing it, but we have some more withers here. Can we get the third and final head here? Unfortunately, those withers didn't drop us anything, but maybe this... Okay, no, no, it didn't drop anything. All right, let's just keep going. Yes, we got the last one we need. We now have three, and I literally just ran out of potatoes as well, so this is perfect timing. All right, let's head back and actually start on making this treasure hunt. Let's go. Obviously, one of the things that I'm going to be giving them is obviously a beacon and to get a beacon and also keep it a surprise I need to fight the wither literally by myself. All right, here we go three two one boom Okay, here we go. Let's just stand back. Hopefully it follows me down where I've mined here I don't know if it's going to but let's just get this over with. Okay, there we go I don't know why it's up here. I, I literally can't hit it. Okay, please come down. Please come down If we go back here, is it gonna follow us? Oh, no, I don't think it's gonna follow us Okay, it's only going to go up. All right, we need to go up there. We need to go up there and fight it We can't let it go any higher. I also forgot one thing. I don't have my chest plate on me. Okay, come on Okay, so it's about halfway right now. Let's just keep going. I'm going to get so low. I'm also going to run out of food any minute now. We've definitely got it. We've definitely got it. All right, there we go. Okay. I knew fighting it was going to be a bad idea, but I didn't realize it was going to go that bad. Okay. Okay. So now we've got that out of the way. All we need to do now is make a bunch of clues. So I'm going to go ahead and get a book and quill and write like a little bit of like a pretty much the first clue. And then I'm just going to put signs around kind of like the whole area where we live and basically lead them to the final thing, which is going to be a chest filled with all of the stuff we've got. So let's get a book and quill, a bunch of signs, and let's get to work on making a bunch of really awesome clues. So let's just go ahead and get the book and quill and the signs. So everything is now in position. We've got all the diamonds. We've got all of the enchanted books. As you guys can see, we've got the nether right sword, the beacon and everything like that. So let's just go ahead and get them. All right. So we are joined with Zetro and we are also joined with Prod. Now I have the first clue in my hand for this treasure hunt that I put together for you guys. Now I just want to say throughout this treasure hunt and throughout all the clues, you know, I tried to make them rhyme together and stuff. And to be honest, it just didn't really work. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to drop you guys the first clue. Now, every single clue that you guys find, I want you just to read out loud. And so we can also know what clue you're on. All right. So who wants obviously to read out the first clue? Me. <laughs> Do it. Okay, first clue. The loot is close, but soon you'll see there is a spiky visitor that you must see. All right, nice. spiky visitor. Oh, spiky. I know. All right, all right, go on, go on. The view is amazing. Check the Red fridge. Blue. Oh. Uh, fourth clue. You are getting close to the treasure, as you may see. Have you tried checking the birch tree? It's not any birch tree. It's the, the birch tree. Oh, it's right here. Go, go and then chan. <gasps> Oh, the archives. The dragon has the answer you need. <gasps> oh. All right, yeah, you're what definitely doing this faster than I thought. It's freezing. All right, this this honestly is like what? one of the hardest ones. So it can oh. be ice, it can be snow, or it can yeah. just be water. All right, do you guys want the clue? Do you guys want yeah, the clue? You you've been on top yeah. of this mountain for ages. All right, let me give Prod a bit more of a clue. So Prod, you know when I said you were going to be more likely to get it? Let me just say it's a project that we kind of worked on together. Okay, so think of a project that we did together that is kind of related to freezing. Okay, so it's gonna be the mall wall in the yeah. restaurant. Yes, yes. Remember what the clue said. That's all I'm gonna say. In oh, the ice room. It's cold in here. Maybe get some more armor. The I armor shop. This. You guys think it's in the armor shop? All right, go for it. Have a little look around. See if you can find anything. Found it. Let's go. Have a little munch, 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 munch. You found the ninth clue. You have made it this far. Let's see if you have what it takes to get the final clue. <laughs> that doesn't rhyme. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but before you do that, I think you should go shopping. <gasps> oh, I think it's going to be in his bookshop because there's loads of books there. So it's going to be hard to find. The treasure lies beneath. <laughs> All right, go for it. Oh, no. Oh, 
Found it. Cod, you might want to come back up. Oh, oh my god, Prod. You guys have to split this between you two, okay? So, Zetro and um, Prod, what did you guys think of the little treasure hunt? I personally really, really enjoyed it. And you can tell he actually put a lot of effort into it, so... I appreciate that. And uh, what? what about you, Zetro? You like it? I like it. It's good we got the sword as well, because I'm literally in the process of making a radio B sword, so that's going to go towards it, since I don't think I even had sweeping edge before. There's even some, like, I'm breaking books and everything like that. But guys, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go exploring with the hopes to go ahead and find a trident so guys let's go ahead and let's try and see if we can get a trident and then also enchant it so guys let's just go ahead and do that okay so i've just had a really really last minute thought so as i was getting everything ready to go exploring to get a trident and stuff like that i've just realized how boring this part of our world looks like we've got all these buildings around here and stuff like that but we've actually not done anything here all we've got is a few cobblestone blocks and a bamboo farm so before we go exploring i think it's only right that i build something right here i don't know what it's going to be but i kind of want it to be some sort of like hub right in the middle of like where everything's built so i'm kind of planning for it not to be anything too fancy but just something that looks kind of nice and also something that just looks better than this bamboo farm so guys let's just go ahead and get some blocks and let's just get to work on making this part of our world look a little bit better so let's just go ahead and do that <laughs> So there we have it. I have spiced up this area of the world right now. So, Prod, what do you think? I thought things were just a little bit plain, so I decided to make this. So, uh, what do you think? I really, really like it, actually. It's just... It's just very clean, to be honest. I really, really like it. So now that we do have this build here, it can kind of be like something where we can extend from. So say, for example, we kind of want to build down in that direction where there's not really anything going on. I guess we can kind of expand this pathway and just keep going. And then I want to link up this pathway with stuff over there. And also the same thing with that pathway. But honestly, guys, I just thought that this part of the map, it was just it was just getting a little bit boring. So, I mean, I guess we actually just spice it up with this little build here. But guys, I mean, it's just a little something something for this part of the world. So yeah. For now, though, what I want to try and do is go ahead and see if we can get lucky with a trident. If we can get a trident, that would be awesome. But if we can and we just end up going exploring that's also fine but i just want to go explore and hopefully we can get ourselves a trident but hopefully you guys like this little build here let me know down below in the comments if you do and also speaking of builds comment down below guys what the next building project we should do on the world so guys comment down below and whichever one we pick we'll actually build so guys comment down below some awesome building projects we can start doing and apart from that let's go get the trident and then we are going to go ahead and name the armor shop so guys as i said make sure you comment down below any building projects you guys think we should build and apart from that let's go ahead and see if we can find a trident all right, so I literally can't even make this up. So as you guys can see, I do already have a trident. And the thing is, if we go down here, there was like a bunch of drowns actually spawning. And the first one I actually got dropped a trident. I can't even make up the first drown I got dropped a trident. Now, if we go in this chest, there's unbreaking fishing rod. I mean, we'll take it because why not? But yeah, I literally don't know what to say. The first drowned with a trident in its hand, drops a trident. The chances of that is literally insane. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to take it. So we are level 37. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a good enchant on this. So I think the way back home is in that direction. So let's get our fireworks. And I guess let's just go. All right, so we have made it back. And as you guys can see, look at the build. It actually does look really, really nice. But guys, what we're going to go ahead and do is get some lapis, enchant this trident right here. And then all we have to do is go ahead and name the armor shop. And then also, guys, if you have any good ideas of building projects you want us to build in the next episode, then make sure you guys comment them down below. But let's just go ahead and get some lapis so i'm going to bring 25 lapis because if i get an enchant that i don't like i can unenchant it and then use the rest of the lapis because we are like level 37 so we can do a few more enchants over level 30 so let's head back to the enchantment table at the archives and let's hopefully get a good enchant okay here we are at the archives come on we need to get lucky with this enchant okay let's put three pieces of lapis in here let's put the trident in here and what does it say we're going to get loyalty three okay that's not too bad just come on give us a few enchants on this and it'd be amazing and i also want to say back at my enchantment shop i actually have a bunch of enchants literally for a trident so no matter what we get from this, there will always be some enchantment books I can use, but it would be really good if we could get something from this. Okay, so let's just do it. Three, two, one. Okay, let's see if we get anything good. And we get literally just loyalty three okay i mean that's not too bad and by the way for you guys watching that don't actually know what a loyalty three is let me just show you guys really quickly so when you throw the trident all that's going to happen is this okay wait for it okay there we go it just pops right back in your inventory so wherever you chuck it it will literally come right back over to you so, so say for example we just literally throw it over there all that's going to happen is it's just going to come right back to us so if you don't know what loyalty three is that is what it is but guys what i'm thinking right now is to unenchant this which i don't know if it's a good idea but i want to try and see if we can get some more enchants and we do have enough for two more enchants 
enchants, I'm pretty sure. Actually, before I unenchant it, what I'm going to do is just double check what books I actually do have for a trident. So I'm going to try my shop and also see if I have any laying around in my house. So let me just go check that out real quick. Okay, so we didn't have any enchantment books in my house that would be useful. So let's go ahead and quickly check my bookshop. Hopefully there's something good in there because I really want Riptide. So let's just go double check. All right, here we go. Let's just check the barrels. Okay, soul speed. Oh, oh here. Riptide 3 is literally what we need. Okay, so we got Riptide 3. We've got anything else that would be useful in here. Maybe something. Okay, so let's just go ahead and grab a mending book and also an unbreaking book because we obviously need unbreaking and mending, but I don't know where my... Okay, so there we go. Unbreaking 3, Riptide and mending. So now all we need for it, I'm pretty sure, is impaling. I'm pretty sure is the only one we're missing. So once you got impaling, I'm pretty sure we have one of the best tridents in the game. So let's head back over to the archives. But another thing about impaling, I'm not sure if it does any better damage to things that are out of the water. If we put these enchants on the trident, the only two things we'd be missing is impaling and also channeling, which I'm pretty sure impaling isn't really that good because obviously it only does damage to things in the water. But channeling, on the other hand, is actually a really cool enchant. So we will have to get that eventually. But for now, let's go ahead and put these enchants on. And also, guys, if you have a name for the trident, make sure you guys comment it down below. And obviously, I'll name the trident whatever you guys come up with. Let's put on the mending book. Let's also put the riptide book. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I just realized you can't have riptide and loyalty. How could I forget that? Oh my goodness. Okay, it looks like we got to go and get another mending book back, but I literally cannot believe I forgot that loyalty and riptide can't go on the same thing. Oh, you know what? Let's just go and disenchant this. I literally can't believe I've just done that. Oh my goodness. Here we go. We have arrived back to the powerhouse once again, but this time we've got another mending book. So let's hopefully not mess up the enchants on this one. So let's just put the trident in here like that. Okay, so there we go. I'm having way too much fun with this enchantment. I, I just don't know why. Riptide just has to be one of the best trident enchants in the game. Just, just look at this. Just look at the amount of fun we're having. So now now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is head over to the city because, as you guys know, we've got to go ahead and we have to name the armor shop with one of your guys' comment name suggestions that you put in the last episode. So let's go ahead and let's head over to the armor shop and let's go ahead and name it. So the name that I have gone for for the armor shop is actually a really, really awesome name. It's actually a bit more of like a short name compared to kind of other names we've been choosing. And I just feel like this name fits perfectly. So let's go ahead and let's name the armor shop. So there it is. That is the name we have gone for. It's called Git Geared. Now, I feel like this is such a good name because obviously we you go to an armor shop, you're looking to obviously get geared, right? So what better name to call it than get geared? So honestly, shout out to you. I'll obviously put the comment on screen right now. So honestly, massive credit to you. Thank you so much for the name. And as I said, this name definitely fits the armor shop perfectly. So guys, there it is, get geared. And as I also said previously in the episode, make sure you guys comment down below a building project that we should work on in the next episode. And also make sure you comment down below a name for the Trident. And of course, we will be picking the ones that we like the best. So guys, apart from that, I think that is where we are going to end this episode. So honestly, guys, we did get quite a lot of stuff done today. We obviously got some building done. We obviously surprised the others with an awesome treasure hunt and stuff like that. So it was a really, really awesome episode. But guys, in the next one, we want to start on a massive building project. So make sure you guys get commenting down below some awesome building projects you guys want to see us make. And apart from that, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Make sure you guys join our Discord and also the server. And apart from that, have a great rest of your day, guys, and peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. And real quick, while it's raining, let's just let's just do this real quick. Alright, but guys, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. So, guys, in today's episode, we have a very exciting one because there's a lot of stuff that we are going to be getting done, and that is including probably one of my most creative and ambitious builds I have ever done. So, guys, it's going to be really awesome. We're going to be doing some building, but also prod. I don't know if I've told you this, but there is a little challenge that I want to do for the multiplayer series. All right, Prod, so obviously you are aware of what netherite is. I mean, we've got all the netherite armor. We've got pretty much every single piece of netherite gear we can possibly get in the game. Now, Prod, what happens if I was to tell you that I want to go ahead and try and get the biggest flex you can possibly get in any Minecraft world. What would you think that is? What what would you think the biggest flex in the whole of Minecraft would be? A lot of diamonds? I don't know. I mean, that definitely is kind of a flex having diamonds, but probably we're past the point of diamonds. Okay, Prod, I might as well tell you. What I want to do is it's going to take a long time, but I think over the episodes, we could make it happen. I want to get a fully maxed out netherite beacon. Oh, that'll take ages. I think a netherite beacon is definitely possible. So guys, you may remember a few episodes ago, me and Prod actually took a bunch of the gunpowder from over at the creeper farm, and I think we took around about two stacks of TNT into the nether to try and get a load of netherite, and it actually worked pretty well. We did end up with quite a lot of netherite, so guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to start the episode by doing that, but we are going to take it to literally the next level. I'm pretty sure over in the gunpowder farm, we have so much gunpowder, so we are about to take getting netherite to the next level. So that is how we're going to start 
this episode. We're just going to go ahead and work towards getting that netherite beacon just a little bit. But guys, as you may have heard me say, I want to do one of my most creative builds I have ever done. So as you may know, when you go out of our nether portal into the nether, it just doesn't look very good. In fact, let me go ahead and show you guys. It really doesn't look good. It does honestly look really, really bad. So as you guys can see, I did try and do a little bit of flattening out. But guys, honestly, look how terrible this looks. I mean, we have like loads of mobs here. It just, it just really doesn't look good. So I'm going to be giving this whole entire area a complete makeover and just make it look insane. And I want to use as many of the new nether blocks as I possibly can. So guys, that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. And something else that I really want to do is also make a wither farm. So that is something that we're definitely going to be doing in the future. I don't know if we'll do that in this episode, but guys, as I said, me and Prod are going to go get a bunch of TNT, get as much netherite. I want to try and get at least one netherite block just as a little flex. And then we are going to be starting on this insane base. And then we're also going to be getting a piece of enchanted gear, which I don't even have yet. So guys, let's go ahead and let's start off this episode by getting the netherite. But guys, hopefully you do enjoy this episode. So let's go. Actually, really quickly before we head over to the nether, let's just go ahead and check on Spike. Is he still sat on the carpet? Oh, finally, he's actually got comfortable. It's now been like three episodes where Spike has been sitting on the carpet. So Spike, let us know, man. How has things been going recently? All right, interesting as always. Thanks for sharing that. But guys, let's go ahead and let's meet up with Prod and let's head to the nether because we have a lot of stuff to get done. So let's just go. Okay, so it turns out Zetro wants to come to the nether with us. But the thing is, he doesn't know why we're actually going. So Zetro, if you look in the chest, look at the amount of gunpowder we have real quick. Just, just look at the amount oh we have got from God. this gunpowder farm. Now, the reason we have got all of this is because we're going to be going to the nether and we need a lot of nether right now. Just give a give a random guess of why you think we need so much nether, right? Just, I want to see if you can guess. I, I think I actually know. Just go for it. Yes. Why? Why? make a netherite beacon. Yep, you pretty much guessed it. We are going to get a netherite beacon. It's going to take a while, but I believe we can do it with lots of hard work over a long period of time. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to turn all of this gunpowder into TNT, and we are going to go to the nether with all of it. We are literally going to go crazy with all of this TNT. So guys, let's just turn this into TNT, and let's head to the nether. Let's go. All right, let's see how much TNT we can actually make with all of this sand and gunpowder. I'm hoping we can make around about three stacks, because if we can make three stacks, that will literally be perfect. Okay, so let's just put all the gunpowder like this. This is going to give us one stack. Okay, so three Three stacks and 28 TNT. All right, we are hopefully going to come out of the nether with enough netherite to actually get a whole netherite block. So let's just head over to the nether. So we're about to go into the nether. Prod, take that stack of TNT. Zetro, come here really quickly. Let me give you a stack of TNT. All right, so let's just head into the nether and let's see. First thing that we need to do is just go literally as far away as we can. Let's go over this spot. It's a pretty good spot. None of it has been explored, I don't think. So I think we just dig down to maybe like level 14 or something and then just start putting the TNT down. The thing that we have to be very careful is, is that we don't burn in lava because when using TNT, just lava's just gonna go everywhere. All right, is this the perfect level? Yeah, I'm so ready. All right, let's do a little bit of a tester with 28 pieces of TNT. All right, you guys ready? Three, yeah. two, one. All right, let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully, we can get some from doing this. Oh, the lava is gonna be so bad. I think. Oh my. Oh, All right, oh, we I found some over that. there. And there's some oh. to the right as well. Jeez, that lava. Okay, let's just cover that off. All right, there's one over there. Keep your eyes peeled in case there's any more. But I think there's only two pieces. All right, let me go get this. So this is. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, what? Three pieces Whoa. here. I right, get that one piece up there. Okay, so, so far, with only using about half a stack, we've already found three pieces. That's actually pretty good. All right, so there we go. Four pieces of ancient debris. Now, Zetro and Prod, do you guys want to use some of your TNT, maybe? All right, here we go. We've got another half a stack going. Come on. Another few pieces of ancient debris. That would be perfect. Oh, hopefully there's no lava. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, my, oh my goodness. I think that's it. I think there's only two pieces. Maybe we should, like, cover up the lava, though, just in case. I think that's only two pieces that we've got there, then? Is that is that two pieces from that half a stack? I mean, at least we got some. It's better than nothing. All right, Zetro, it is now your turn to use half a stack of TNT. Let's let it all go. All right, here we go. All right, run. Oh, my God. Look at all that. At the top oh, there. my. Oh three my pieces. That's like a max vein, right? Three pieces is a max vein. Seeing as we're getting this lucky prod, you might as well just keep going this way. Like, this direction seems to be perfect. I don't know why, but we're getting so much ancient debris. There we go. All right, please give us another. Another three would just be perfect. That would just that would just be amazing. All right. Oh, I see some. I see oh, some. Lava, lava, lava. Watch out for the lava. I see some. There's two up there. I have another whole entire stack. And Zetra, you still have half a stack, right? So we can do this again yeah. three more times. So let's just go down and do this again. Okay, so it seems if we go down here, there's just so much lava. So we're just going to have to change directions, like, over here somewhere. Should we just go, like, yeah, let's just go down here. So I've got another half a stack placed down. Let's just go for it. All right, come on. If we get another three pieces again, um, I just, I don't even know what to say. All right, perfect. It's all blowing up. Oh. Okay, oh, a three oh, vein there again. Okay, how are we getting this lucky? And then, is that it? Okay, I'm, I'm fine if that's it. I'm, I'm literally fine if that's it. Okay, I don't think there's any more. Let's just get rid of the lava again. But I think we found another three vein of ancient debris. Oh, wait, what? Where did these guys come from? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of ancient debris. Wait, so if Zetro, you don't have any more TNT and Prod doesn't have any more TNT, I guess we have the final stack or half a stack to go. So let me go ahead and get this. So we literally have about 30 ancient debris now, right? This is the last half a stack. All right, you guys ready? Three... 
two, one. All right, let's go. Come on. Okay, I think we've got two. Okay, this may have been our most unlucky one yet if there's no more above here. So we got two more pieces of ancient debris. I'll take it. I'm happy to take that. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. Well, drop me all of your ancient debris. Zetro, drop me all of yours as well. Let's add up how much we've got. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I actually can't believe we've got this much. I've got 33 pieces wow. of ancient debris. Only a few more to get a whole block. So guys, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna go ahead and mine a bunch more and then we'll be back once we've got a whole block. So let's go. So we are now out of the nether. And now guys, what I'm about to show you, we really need to thank Prod for because not only did we just go ahead and get 33 pieces of ancient debris, Prod has kindly gave us every single piece of netherite and ancient debris he has got to contribute towards this beacon. Now, I just wanna say thank you so much Prod for doing this. So guys, look at the amount of ancient debris we now have. We now have 56 pieces of ancient debris in total. Prod gave us over 20 pieces of ancient debris to go towards this beacon. So honestly, Prod is an absolute legend. So let's go ahead and smelt this up. And then let's head back over to the nether because guys, as I said, I'm going to be doing one of my most ambitious kind of creative builds I have ever done because I'm going to be using blocks which I haven't really ever used to build before. We're talking all of the brand new nether blocks. So we need to go get some of those. So we need to go ahead and not only get some of those blocks, but we need to then go and build it. So guys, I'm really excited, but I'm a little bit nervous us to build it. I'm hoping it's going to turn out good. So let's get all of the stuff and let's head back to the nether. So really quickly, what I'm going to do right now is head down to the dome, store all 56 of these netherite scraps into my chest in my secret room. And then once I've done that is build the whole entire nether base. And then we are going to make the netherite block. So let's just head down to the secret base real quick and put all of this netherite scraps. And guys, make sure you comment down below what you guys want us to build, because in the next episode, what I want to do is I want to build one of your guys' building projects that you guys suggest down below in the comments. So let's let us know down below in the comments any building suggestions and we'll make that happen. Also in this episode, we are going to be actually naming the trident with some of your guys' name suggestions you left in the last video. So it would really mean a lot if you guys would have commented down below some building projects that we should do for the next episode as well as also building a wither farm, which is what we're also going to do in the next episode. But for now, let's just head over to the nether and let's build this nether base. So let's just go. There we go, yes! That's my first time doing that. Return to the sender. Destroy a ghast with a fireball. Okay, that is actually the first time I've done that. So let's go. But guys, I have stumbled across the first block that I want to use for this build. So I'm going to collect a bunch of this and actually turn it into polished. So this right here is actually one of the blocks that I want to use in this build, as well as this actual one here. So what I'm going to do is just gather a bunch of this. And then all we need to do is find one of those kind of like greeny, bluish kind of trees. I think it's called like warped planks. So let's just get some of this. And then we need to go and try and find one of those biomes. So I think I'm going to try and get as many stacks of this as possible. So let's just go. And also to make this a little bit easier. I've also brought a spare pickaxe as well. So let's just see how much of this we can actually get. Okay, there we go. After quite a while of searching, I finally found one. I finally found the biome I'm looking for. So this is actually the wood that I want to use for this build. And also I kind of want to use this grass as well, just to kind of use it somewhere, I guess. But guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gather basically everything I can from this biome. And then we're going to start on the build. Guys, I'm super excited for you to see this. I'm hoping it looks good. Let's just start on getting all the materials and then building it. So guys, let's go. Alright, so I am now done with building the nether base, but really quickly before we go ahead and show you guys it and also show all the others, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be naming the trident. So in the last episode, I asked you guys for name suggestions of what I should call my trident, and honestly guys, I found a name which I think suits the trident really, really well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to name the trident, and then once we have done that, I am going to actually go ahead and get a shield, because while I was actually building the nether base, I kept getting attacked by so many of those kind of pigling things, and guys, I cannot tell you how much I could have needed a shield in that situation. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is name the trident and then we are going to max level enchant a shield. So let's go ahead and name the trident really quickly. So the name I've chosen is the flying fork. Now the reason this is just such a perfect name is because obviously the trident has riptide on it, which means I can fly through the air when it's raining, which technically makes this trident a flying fork, if you guys get what I mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the comment on the screen right there. Huge credit goes to you for thinking of this name. Thank you so much. Honestly, I just love the name so much. The flying fork is now a thing. So guys, thank you very much for the name suggestions and also guys if you don't already know make sure you comment down below what we should build in the next episode if you guys don't know i want to build a massive massive building project so guys let me know down below in the comment section what we should build and apart from that let's go get a shield so let's go all right let's just go and craft a shield really quickly so there we go we now have the shield all we need to do is go ahead and actually get some enchantments on it so i think all we can put on it is mending and unbreaking of course so let's do it so to get these enchantment books what i'm going to do is head over to the mythic scrolls or of course my bookstore and we are going to grab an unbreaking three book and also a mending one so let's just head 
head over to there and let's get the books. Okay, so here we are. We have made it back to the powerhouse and we've got our Unbreaking 3 book and also a Mending book. Now, I'm pretty sure on a shield, you can also get Thorns and Knockback. But apart from that, let's go ahead and put Unbreaking and Mending on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and then let's also put Mending on there. Okay, so guys, as I said, let me know down below in the comments what should we actually call the shield. And also, I'm pretty sure we can get Thorns on this as well, as I already said. So, so Thorns and Knockback are definitely something we're going to have to look into to put on our shield. But also, guys, as I said, let me know down below in the comments what we should call our shield and also what building project we should do in the next episode. And apart from that, guys, let's go ahead and let's show the others the nether base. And then we're also going to make the netherite blocks. So let's just go ahead and let's just head to the nether base. So we are now joined with Zetro. Now, Zetro, you are going to be the first person that I'm showing this nether base to. So I hope you're excited. But let me just take the shield off real quick. All right, are you ready to go in and have a little look at what I've been working on? I am. Let's go. Let's head into the nether. Oh. All right, so here we are. All right, so first impressions, what are you thinking? I know this is like the tiniest little bit. I've like gone with it. the new blocks. That's what I've tried to do. I've tried to use the new blocks. All right. So the first thing you're probably going to notice is that there's so many doorways or like, well, there's not that many, but there's a few doorways and that's because the pigmen can actually open up doors. I guess the reason I've done this is just to pretty much stop them from opening the doors, but there's no way they can get inside anyway. Anyway, so let's just go through. All right. So this is the first little walkway. You just come through right here. I'll close the doors behind you. All right. So here is the main kind of middle of it. All right. Are you ready? Three, two, one. All right. Let me show you. Boom. All right. So this is the Ooh. like kind of main entrance a little bit. What, what are you thinking? I like this. I like the, uh, the patterns and stuff like I love it. This is, this is cool. So yeah, I tried to um, I tried to use the new blocks, the kind of like new wood and stuff like that. Add a bit of glowstone. Like honestly, I think it's looking pretty fresh. What do you think? I like it. I like I like the glowstone as well behind this glass. It's pretty sick. I might as well just quickly show you now. Like if you open this door, there's literally nothing behind it. And the reason for this is because in the next episode, I'm building like a massive wither farm there. So I mean, this right here will be. Oh no, there's one of those coming for us. Right now, there's obviously nothing behind there. But yeah, as I said, there will be a massive wither farm in there for the next episode. But on the other hand, there are two rooms which are actually filled. So this room right here is actually like a little staircase up. And now this is kind of like a room so we can just go and actually explore the nether so it's kind of like an exit i guess you could say so when you go through it's kind of like a little balcony thing and you can just jump off use your elytras and just glide out wherever you want the nether fortress is obviously over there and stuff and then yeah so it's basically like a little place you can kind of jump off and just fly wherever you want so i kind of thought we needed that here so let's just move back down and i'll show you the other room this over here is more of like a crafting room slash like enchantment room so let me go ahead and show you this so we got like a furnace and anvil we got some storage like it's kind of like you know when you dump in the nether you just kind of like dump a load of stuff in a chest like say for example you've just gone mining for like i don't know netherite and you just want to dump all of your netherrack in here then all you just need to do is just put it in one of these chests and stuff so yeah i guess that's what these are for there's a little enchantment table here i like it maybe not maybe a different color shulker box one day but yeah this is good I like, oh yeah I maybe like maybe a like a cyan shulker box or something in the future to fit in but yeah so this is kind of this area so um yeah this is basically what i've been working on i guess it's definitely an improvement from what we were working with last time just going yeah. out into the nether just it, it it was terrible so i thought i had to do something but i really like this little room here guys let me know down below in the comments do you think I did a good job using the new kind of wooden blocks? I don't know if I overdid it with them, but I think it kind of did work out in the end. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. So, Zetro, there is only one last thing that we need to do right now, and that is to use all the netherite that we got and turn it into the netherite block to start our beacon journey. So, I've gone ahead and I have got the 56 netherite scrap and I've got some gold. So, let's go ahead and let's turn all of this into actual ingots so we can actually make the blocks. So, let's just do this. I think we are going to be able to make 14 netherite ingots. Guys, look at that. I now have 16 netherite ingots. So, if we got like two more netherite ingots, we could have probably made like a second block. But anyway, let's just go ahead and let's turn this into the biggest flex that we have on this server so far. The block of netherite. So, guys, let's just go ahead and let's take it. Zetro, take a look in my hands, man. Take a look at that. Oh, my God, that looks so cool. That actually does. Do you know how valuable this thing that I'm holding is? So, guys, what we're going to go ahead and do... I, I mean, the question is, what do we... What beacon do we place this on? Like, what, what what kind of beacon are we gonna start transferring into into netherite? Or do we just make a new beacon? I'll also make a new one. So yeah, what we're actually going to do is we're going to make a completely new beacon for obviously the netherite beacon. So guys, we now have one block of netherite. This is literally crazy. But apart from that, I think this is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. We actually got quite a lot done. We've obviously got the new base now. We've got this netherite block, which is insane. We've got so much done. And also we've even got the shield right there. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. In the next episode, we are going to be building a wizard the farm we're going to be even starting another building project there's so much that we're going to be getting up to so hopefully you guys did enjoy this one and apart from that guys have a great rest of your day and make sure you join the discord and the server and apart from that guys peace hey guys it's fru and welcome back to another episode of the minecraft multiplayer survival now as you guys can see right now i am joined with prod and we are outside of the archives now the reason we are outside of the archives is because if you look over to the right of the archives you can see my house now prod i don't know about you but the house that i have is just it's been the same for just so long don't you think it needs like a little bit of a, a re 
revamp or just a complete transformation. Yeah, I think it definitely deserves on after how long it's been up. Yeah, it's been up for a while. So guys, in today's episode, I finally want to go ahead and redecorate the whole of my house. We are talking the whole of my house. I'm talking about the top bit and more importantly, the underground section of my house. So I definitely want to give it a revamp in today's episode. And also, I want to get some use out of that packed ice. If you guys don't know, I have so much packed ice inside of my base. And what I want to do with that packed ice is I want to make a complete pathway over from the nether portal all the way over to the nether fortress and then I want to redecorate the nether fortress just basically making it easier to go ahead and get some wither skulls so yeah today's episode is definitely going to be a busy one we're also going to go ahead and get some enchanted items which I don't already have yet so that's going to be exciting but guys let's just start this episode by getting a bunch of new materials for my house redecoration and let's get started on that so guys let's just start off this episode with redecorating my entire house let's go all right so I pretty much have everything that I need to actually upgrade my base and transform it but really quickly before we go and get some of the blocks that I am actually needing to get let's go ahead and check on spike now spike how are you doing today man all right interesting as always and do you actually want to cook pork chop real quick spike there you go do you want that there we go there we go all right nice so okay so there we go so what i'm going to go ahead and do right now is i'm going to head over to the ocean monument because i actually want to go ahead and collect every single block that i can from there so guys what we're going to go ahead and do right now is just head over to there and pretty much just get all the blocks that i need to upgrade and transform my house so i believe i've got to go over this direction and then we will get to the ocean monument so let's just get over there all right so just over there is the ocean monument so i'm going to go ahead and try and get some of the blocks from it. I'm gonna actually show you guys what blocks I want to get so let's just head over there with the trident real quick or as we've called it the flying fork Okay, so let's just go ahead and let me show you guys what I want to get So the block that I want is this block right here the dark prismarine block I feel like it would actually go really really good with the kind of idea I have to upgrade my house So so let's just grab a bunch of this and start on upgrading our house So let's just go luckily I also brought my silk touch so I can go ahead and get some sea lanterns as well There we go I was actually able to get one two three about three and a half stacks of dark prismarine and I also got 35 sea lanterns So that should be perfect perfect for what I want to use this block on inside of the build so guys now it is time to go back and start on the build so let's go Alright, so I'm very close to being finished with the base extension as you guys can see This is just one of the things that I've been working on to actually extend my base And I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the comment on the screen which actually inspired me to go ahead and transform my base So I'll go ahead and put the comment on screen right now And pretty much I did ask in the last episode for you guys to give me ideas of things I should build And when I saw that comment I was like, you know what? I need to go ahead and actually transform my base or just do something a little bit better with it But guys now I want to go ahead and ask you what massive building projects do you guys want to go ahead and see for the next episode? Like I really want to go Go ahead and get everyone to work on one massive build so guys comment down below what massive build we should all work on and also what we should go ahead and call that massive build so guys get commenting down below any good suggestions you may have hold on a second i've just realized i've placed all of these blocks completely wrong but i just want to go ahead and quickly say guys while i have the time here it's just thank you all so much for the support recently on all of the videos it's been absolutely crazy me and all of the rest of the guys really really appreciate the support so thank you guys so much and so yeah we all really really do appreciate the support you guys leave on the episodes it's just been absolutely insane recently and also if you haven't already joined our discord make sure to go ahead and do that and if you haven't checked out the minecraft server yet make sure you guys go to the top comment i'll leave all the details there but there's actually a summer event that's going to be going on there soon so make sure you check that out but guys this block looks so nice with this build i don't know why i really really like dark prismarine i cannot wait to show the others what i've been working on hopefully they're gonna like what i've done to my house i mean personally i think what i've done is really really cool but guys i also can't wait to show you as well because you haven't seen what it looks like from the outside yet so i'm really excited to show you but guys let's just go ahead and finish this and then i think once i've done this i want to go ahead and head over to the end to actually get some more shulker boxes because guys when I was going ahead and collecting a bunch of sand and just a bunch of materials for this base extension I've realized how badly I need more shulker boxes because I think I only have like three right now and I mean that's good but when you want to carry hundreds of stacks of blocks back you're going to need some more shulker boxes so that's something that I'm going to go ahead and do once we are finished with extending the base I guess all there is to do now is just to decorate the interior so I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do and then we are going to go and get some more shulker boxes then I also want to use some packed ice over in the nether so let's just do all of the interior and then we're going to head to the end so guys let's just go ahead and let's get it done all right so we are here with zetro and now i'm about to go ahead and show zetro all of my house extensions i've made and basically every single upgrade i've made on my house and this is going to be the first time you guys are going to be seeing it as well so zetro are you excited to see what i've done with my house i am all right zetro turn around in three two one Boom. All right, this is the first bit oh of extension I've made. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I bet you weren't expecting that on my house. I, I wasn't. 
Oh, I've wow. completely changed up how the front looks, kind of like that bit over there I've changed up. All right, so let's just go inside. So I've also done a little bit of adjustments to the underground bit, only a little bit of adjustments, but I thought, you know, I love the dome design that I have for my dome so much. I decided to do a little bit of an extension. So if we go down my stairs real quick, boom, Ooh. check this out. So, so yeah, this storage room is basically just to dump stuff in and then the actual like organized storage downstairs is where my organized storage is. And then over here, which is directly opposite. So this room right here has got like a little kind of like station over here with some barrels to kind of store stuff and then this is where I'm going to put like my armor so if you just look real quick here I'll put it on the armor stand so this armor stand right here is just to kind of hold my armor so say for example I don't want to go anywhere with my armor and I just want to go with my elytra I'll put all my armor here and then I can also put my sword up there so it's like a little storage place to kind of put my stuff so yeah that's that part and that part and then over here you're probably wondering why I haven't finished it what I'm actually in the middle of doing is getting a bunch of bookshelves and an enchantment table to put in there and then that's going to be like a little mini enchantment room on the side so I'll get that done very very shortly but I just couldn't wait any longer to show you this space so uh, what do you think of like the uh, extensions I've made? I like it. This is actually really cool. I like how it goes off to the side. It's not like in loads of different directions like Dan says. It's just quite simple. And I like where you've like hidden this little bit area over here. I think this is really cool. All right. So what I need to go ahead and do now is obviously finish the enchantment table. But I need to go to the end because I need a bunch of shulker boxes. I want to at least come out of the end with around about 10 plus shulker shells. So what I'm going to do is head over to the end and get a bunch of shulker shells. And then I want to make a massive pathway from the nether base all the way to the nether fortress so let's just go to the end okay so we are on our way down to the end portal right now and here we are so i've got all my fireworks ready we're just going to go ahead into the end city and we are hopefully going to try and find around about 10 shulker shells if not 10 shulker shells we'll try and aim for around about eight shulker shells but apart from that i also just realized we actually need ender pearls so uh yeah let me just go ahead and get one of these endermen real quick he's pretty angry with us come on drop an ender pearl perfect two okay so let's just head over to the portal right now and let's hope we can get lucky with some shulkers let's take our ender pearls and boom just like that we have made it inside all right so we've got all of our fireworks ready i think we're just gonna fly in that direction i'm pretty sure this is the way where all of the other end cities that we found are so we, as i already said i'm going to aim for around about eight to ten shulkers that would literally be perfect and then that would bring us to a lot of shulker boxes which means we can then go on adventures with a bunch of shulker boxes okay we found our first end city here but i don't think there's any shulkers on it i mean we can try and listen out for any but i don't think we're gonna have any luck here let's just i mean look around anyway wait hold on a second i think i can hear one but i just can't see where it's coming from is it down here I literally heard it, but I just don't know where- Oh, there it is. Yep, perfect. Okay. And I also hear another one as well. I don't know where this one is. Let's just try and fly up and see if we can get it, but I can hear literally a few of them. I still hear it, but I just don't know where it is. I just hear it opening and closing. I literally have no idea where it could be coming from. I literally have no idea. I could not find where this thing is coming from. I can just hear it, but I just can't see it. I'm just going to look around for it, though. This shulker better drop a shulker shell for the amount of effort I'm putting in to find it, but I literally... It's annoying me that I can't see where it's coming from. Here it is. I finally found it. It was literally... Oh, yes, and it did drop a shulker shell. Perfect. All right. Oh, why is there an enemy on me? Oh, no, I'm levitating. I'm levitating. There we go. We now have two shulkers. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to keep flying around the end and just see if we can get any more. I'm going to try and get up to around about eight of them, and then we're going to be good to go. So let's just keep looking around and see if we can get lucky. All right, let's get out the end. Perfect landing. Boom. There we go. That is how it is done. Perfect landing. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head to the portal. I'm going to make all of these shulker shells into shulker boxes. And now, guys, you are not going to believe the amount of shulker shells that I have just left the end cities with. So, guys, let's go back. Let's make a bunch of shulker boxes. And why is there just a bunch of ender pearls just sat here? Um, I don't know what they're doing there. Maybe one of the others put them there. But anyway, guys, let's go and basically make these shulker boxes. And then I need to go ahead and name my shield. So let's just quickly make these shulker boxes. Check out the shulker box collection. We now have seven shulker boxes in total, which now means we can literally go exploring and not have to worry about storage at all. All. So that's really really awesome but guys now what we're going to go ahead and do is name our shield because you guys in the last video Commented down below a bunch of suggestions for what we should call the shield And I think I found the one that fits the shield perfectly So we're going to go ahead over to the powerhouse and name it But guys also make sure you comment down below on this video what we should actually build in the next episode And not only that what we should actually call the building that you guys want us to build So for now though, let's just go ahead and name our shield. Let's go So the name I have chosen is access denied now I just think this is such a good name for a shield obviously you guys can guess why but I'll put the comment on screen right Right there so thank you so much for this name suggestion massive credit goes to you we have now called it access denied so guys as i said comment down below what you guys want us to build in the next episode but there we have it we now have the name access denied for our shield but guys what i think we need to go ahead and do now is build that massive pathway leading from our nether base all the way to the nether fortress
fortress. So let's go get a bunch of packed ice and let's start on this fast transportation system that I'm going to make. So let's just head to the nether. All right, so I have this idea where I want to take a bunch of packed ice and make a complete pathway leading from the nether base all the way to the nether fortress. But the only difficult thing is, is that the nether base is a very, very, very long way away from the nether fortress. So I'm going to have to use a bunch of these smooth stone slabs to go over a bunch of lava, which is literally hundreds of blocks down under from where I actually want to build this path, which I'll show you guys when we get in the nether how actually risky this whole entire project is going to be. But I am at least going to go ahead and give it a try. So even if it does fail, I can go ahead and say that I've gave it a go. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the nether portal and let's attempt to make this pathway. It's going to be very, very difficult, but I'm hoping we can actually pull this off. So here we go. Let's just head in to the nether. All right, so here I am inside of the nether base. Now, I actually want to go ahead and make this pathway leading from out here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's just get rid of these guys real quick. Would you just excuse me a second? All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so what I actually want to do is I want to build the pathway all the way out here and make it go all the way in that direction where the nether fortress is. And actually, let me go ahead and show you guys where it is. So if we go down here, so if we just carry on going in a straight line, the nether fortress is literally here. So I I don't even know if I have enough packed ice. I think it's going to take me like over a thousand blocks. I don't even know, but literally it's going to take a lot of blocks. So I'm going to see if it's possible. And if it's not possible, then I guess we're just going to have to go ahead and say we've attempted it. But I mean, let's just give it a good try. Okay. So if we just look down under from what I'm working on right now, yeah. Yeah, this is very dangerous. Okay, so it turns out this isn't actually as hard as I thought. So what I've done is I've connected the pathway all the way from there. And if you just go down here, I've actually got it all connected back over to the nether fortress. So if we go through this little tunnel, which I definitely need to like sort out in a minute, is I've actually connected it all the way down here back to the nether fortress. Here we have it. After a few hours, I've finally completed it. Now this goes all the way to the nether fortress just like I wanted it to. And ignore the fact that I'm using netherrack to kind of block off the sides. I will be improving that. So we'll probably end up making like a really cool tunnel for it in the next episode or something like that but guys i haven't actually tested it out yet i mean there is a few parts of it which i'm kind of worried that it's not actually going to work and of course there is a few corners that will slow us down as well but i'm going to go ahead and give it a go let's hope the netherrack is going to keep us safe because we could just fly off the edge all right here we go let's just go ahead and give it a try all right here we go okay it's a bit hard to control and there was some mob shooting us but it's actually working it is working okay please say this bit works i was a bit worried about that okay it kind of works perfectly all right let's keep on going it's working okay this is exactly what I wanted. Oh my goodness. It's actually worked. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, no. I knew this was going to happen. I accidentally misplaced some of the some of the ice here. Okay, wait, let me just quickly kind of fill this in and see if this will work. Okay, will it keep us going? Okay, yes, it works. There we go. Now, this should bring us all the way to the fortress. And boom, just like that. We have made it all the way to the fortress. I definitely need to do some work with making it a tunnel and also making it so you completely stop instead of just like sliding all the way over there. So, I mean, for now though, it actually works a fully functional transportation system all the way to the fortress. Now, let's just head all the way back. But guys, I actually can't believe we have finally got a actual way to get all the way to the fortress. So guys, apart from that, I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. We actually got a bunch done. We got the pathway done. We've got a bunch of base extensions done. We've also got a bunch of new shulker boxes so yeah let's just go ahead and end this episode so hopefully you guys did enjoy and apart from that have a great rest of your day guys and peace gotta be one of the biggest end cities i have ever seen oh look at that pickaxe Oh, that's how, oh. That's a good pickaxe. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you may have realized that recently we've been doing quite a lot of building, and I mean, me and Prod haven't even had any time to go ahead and explore the end. So, ladies and gentlemen, to start this episode off, we are doing what we've wanted to do for absolutely ages and get a bunch of fireworks and head into the end and get every single end city we possibly can. Now, Prod, are you ready? to go ahead and do this. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so really quickly before we do head to the end and do that though, there is one thing I actually have, well, two things we actually have to do. So the first thing is, if I get you to follow me over through the new build, which I actually made in the last episode. Okay, it's this one. All right, so if you look into this Cyan Shulker box right now, we have so many stacks of Flight Duration 2 fireworks. So guys, we're going to be taking all of these into the end city. But before we do that, guys, I have a bow and I need to go ahead and enchant it before we go into the end city. Because I mean, if you guys don't know, shulkers are very hard to get rid of unless you have a bow. So Prod, give me a second to go ahead over to the uh, archives and just quickly enchant this bow. Okay, so let's just head over to the archives real quick. And I need to go ahead and enchant this bow. So Prod, let's hope I can get a good enchantment. I mean, I'm not too fussed of what the enchantment is. I'm just hoping we can get at least something just to take out shulkers. So here we go. All right, let's put the bow in. Let's put in the lapis. Okay, what does it say? All right, three, two, one. Power IV. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Give us something as well on it and... 
Okay, that's actually really good. I got Infinity and Power Ivy. That's just, I I'd say that's good enough to just get rid of Shulkers for now. Okay, and also really quickly, let's just go ahead and check on Spike. Now, a lot of you guys have been commenting that we need to get Spike a friend because you guys have been saying that Spike looks lonely. So guys, comment down below right now, what pet should we get Spike as a friend? Or should we even get a friend for Spike? Because a lot of you guys have been commenting that Spike looks lonely in here. So guys, comment down below, what animal friend should we get for Spike? And also, what should we call it? So I mean, anyway, Spike, how are you doing today, man? Alright, interesting as always. So guys, as I say, comment down below, should we get Spike a friend, and what friend should we get Spike, and also, what should we go ahead and call it? But for now though, let's head over to the end city, and let's go ahead and see how much loot we can get from a bunch of end cities. Prod, I don't know about you, but I want to come out of that end city with at least four elytras, okay? I mean, that's quite a lot, but would you say that's possible? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good goal. Alright, here we go. Let's get into the end, and let's loot as many end cities as we possibly can. And guys, I don't know if I already mentioned already, but in this episode, I am going to be doing what I've wanted to be doing for ages. I'm going to make Make a start on a huge building project, but we'll save that for later. But for now, Prod, let's go in to the NC. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Let's just crawl in here. All right, boom, we have made it in. Okay, so I guess let's just fly straight in that direction for literally ages. And I mean, you know, these kind of like little portal things, don't they kind of respawn every so often? I don't think it's possible to get stuck at the end. So uh, yeah, let's just, I mean, while it is very possible, let's just hope we don't run out of fireworks. Or let's make sure our elytra doesn't break. Throw back to one of the earlier episodes where my elytra broke midair and I literally lost everything. I've learned my lesson and I'm not going to allow that to happen to me again. All right, so Prod, let's just fly in that direction. Yeah, wait, wait, let me get some, uh, let me get some extra fireworks out here. Okay, do you need any? Let me just get rid of my shovel. Okay, I'm good to go. Let's 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 do this. Hey, there's one to the right. To the right. Wait, what? Oh, yes, we have found one, guys. We have found another NC. Okay, is it looted though? Wait, does it have a ship? Let me let me go check. All right, I don't think this has a ship, but it does have shulkers. Now this is why I needed a bow. Just look at that. Look how easy it is to get rid of these shulkers. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Don't hit me, please. All right, now I hate this part of an end city. I really hate this part. Like it's just all open. There is so many shulkers right here. I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of this one. He's not opening. There we go. Oh no! And he's closed again. All right, so we have found two chests right here and I'm not going to open them until Prog gets up here. All right, Prog. All right, three, yeah. two, one, boom. Okay, protection IV boots. Okay, nothing too good. Got some diamonds That's in there. All right, diamond. three, two, one. Uh, I mean, no diamond gear, but I mean, we'll take the diamonds though. All right, let's fill up this shulker box with everything that we get in the NC. And when it's full up, I've also got another shulker box. Okay, so this is everything we've got so far from the first NC. 14 diamonds, a bunch of enchanted iron stuff, and 10 shulker shells. Let's just get rid of this guy. And there we go. Okay, are you ready to check this chest out? All right, come on. Yeah. This one has got to have something good in. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh, what? Oh, what? I'm breaking three protection for leggings. We can put mending on those and upgrade them to netherite. Oh, yes, we found another one. This has took ages. This has got to be the smallest end city I've ever seen in my life. This has literally got nothing in it, apart from shulkers. There's no chests or anything. Oh, my goodness. This is literally right next to the other one, and it is huge. The, the, the biggest one I've ever seen. This is Yeah, this has got to be one of the biggest end cities I have ever seen. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, do you want to loot the end ship first and see if we can get anything good in there? Let's just get rid of a few shulkers. All right, this has got to have some good stuff in it. All right, let's just, um, let's head over to the, uh, end ship. Here we go. Let's get on top of the end ship right now. Let's land perfectly. Okay, nice. All right, yeah, we need to get rid of the shulkers definitely real quick. Otherwise, we are... <gasps> that was too close. Okay, perfect. There's water here. Okay, all right, let's see what is in the chest. Okay, come on. Give us something good. Let's get rid of this shulker real quick. Okay, are you ready to look inside of the chests? Yeah, the left one first. Three, two, one... Oh, look at that pickaxe! Oh, that's like oh, that's a good pickaxe. That is so vanishing. I mean, I mean, that's still fine though. At least it's not curse of binding. I'm um, breaking three, efficiency four, mending and fortune three. It literally has mending already on it. All right, are you ready to check the one on the right? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> that's actually a really good helmet. Protection four. I'm breaking three in Acro Affinity. Guys, this is probably some of the best loot I've ever seen. Look at that pickaxe and obviously the elytra, but oh my goodness. So uh, we still have the rest of the end city to loot, but let's just, um, let's just get all of this stuff. Look at that. We've got this insane helmet right here, this insane pair of leggings, this pickaxe, which is just absolutely crazy. All of these shulker shells, another elytra, some potions. We haven't even started on the rest of the end city. So yeah, we've got all this to loot right now. So I guess let's just go ahead and get it all looted. So I guess the way we've got to loot this is by starting all the way from the bottom and working our way up. So yeah, this is going to take quite a lot of time seeing as the amount of shulkers that are going to be inside of this thing, but it's 100% going to be worth it with all the loot we're about to get. So yeah, let's just start on looting this massive end city. All right, so as you can see, this is not going as planned. There is so many shulkers to the point where I've literally had to block myself in from them to stop shooting at me. Oh no, let's have a look. 
look, let's see how many more there are. Okay, so there's one right here. Let's just try and bow this. Okay, perfect. I think there's one down there. Let's just try and get him. Okay, is there any more? Yes, so we got all of the shulkers. Okay, let's just go all the way to the bottom and let's take all of these shulker shells. There's two right there. So how many have we got on us? We got three. There should be one more maybe. Okay, wait, no, maybe it didn't drop a shulker. Okay, let's go to the top. All right, here we are. We've made it all the way to the top. So let's have a little look of what's in these chests. Okay, so this armor isn't the best protection too. And then we've literally got Curse of Vanishing Leggings. All right, what about this one? Okay, again, nothing too good. All right, let's just take it anyway because, I mean, we're taking everything we get just so we can kind of see what type of loot we will get from all these end cities. But let's just fill up this shulker box right now and... Maybe we might have to start using this shulker box soon as well. So we got all of this filled up right now. So uh, yeah, let's just keep looting because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more stuff around in this end city. Here we go. We have stumbled across yet again another chest. But first off, we need to get rid of all these shulkers really quickly. Just, just get rid of this one. All we've got to do is get this one and boom. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get all these shulkers and then we'll check what we get in the chest. These chests up here are usually where you get the good loot. So let's just go ahead and look inside. Okay, boom. Okay, a silk touch shovel. Maybe I take back what I just said about this always having good loot. We've literally got a Curse of Vanishing Shovel and a Curse of Vanishing Protection 3 Iron Boots. I mean, I'll take it, but not as good as what I was expecting. I don't even know how I've managed to end up in a one-by-one -one block right now, but yep, this is what happens when I go into third person. But there is too many Shulkers out there. Um, I don't know if I should risk that, and if I haven't mentioned already, Prod's already gone back to the overworld. So, I am the only one in here right now, and I don't think it's worth risking to get all of those Shulkers. You know what? We're going for it anyway. Okay, come on. Where are all these Shulkers at? Yes, so we have found another chest right here. Let's just go ahead and see if there's anything good in these ones again. I don't think I- yeah, I didn't loot these ones. Okay! Fortune 2, I'm breaking 3 pickaxe. I'm breaking 3 boots. Fortune 2, iron pickaxe. And in this one, efficiency 3, diamond pickaxe. Okay, these are quite good. Fire protection 4, I'm breaking 3 diamond boots. And then this iron chest plate, we'll take it anyway. Let's just get all of this stuff and put it inside of this shulker box right here. Let's just grab this, put all of this inside of here. Yep, so seeing by the amount of shulkers that are here, I don't think we've looted this area. I mean, there's another end chest next to a chest. So unless this is the one that we've already looted, I think we're in for some luck right now. All right, let's just get rid of this shulker real quick. Let's just eat our pork chop. All right, let's see what's inside of this one. All right, boom. Okay, so some gold ingots and some iron leggings. I mean, we'll take it, but yeah. Okay, so that wasn't really that good. All right, so I found another end city, and as you guys can see, it's another really, 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 really small one. So, I mean, I might as well just go in and check if there's anything. Okay, so there's two chests. Um, I might as well loot it and see if there's anything good, though. So, yeah, this is basically it. So, I think we're just going to get our fireworks and just keep looking around for another one. I want to at least find another pair of elytras. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep going. I think we might have found another massive end city but does it have a ship is the question we are wondering does this have a ship on it i mean this it's a massive end city but unfortunately absolutely no ship okay here we go yes we have found another end city but this time it has an end ship in it oh my goodness i could not tell you guys how much i have been looking around for another end city since the last one like oh my goodness, here we go. I cannot tell you guys how long I've been looking. Okay, let's just go ahead and look in the chest. So we've got protection three diamond chest plate. Let's just take everything out of there. And then we also have a mending fire protection diamond helmet. And then we've also got some iron stuff there. So let's just take all of this stuff. So I think we should just get what we need to get from the rest of this end city and then head back, which I don't really want to do. I'm kind of enjoying looting all these end cities. It's actually a little bit different from doing all like the building stuff that we do and going mining and stuff like that. It's actually really awesome doing a bit of exploring because we don't really do that too often. So, I mean, I've actually really enjoyed looting this end city. It's actually been so much fun. Okay, so what I think I'm going to go ahead and do right now is try and find my way out of the end. It's going to be very difficult to say the least because I can tell you guys for a fact we are tens and thousands of blocks away from where we first came into the NC. So, yeah, we've definitely got quite a lot of exploring to do to get out of here. But, you know what? I think we can do it. So, let's just try and find our way out of here. Finally, we've actually found a portal to get out of here. Oh, I'm not even taking any chance. I'm getting out of here instantly. You guys have no idea how good it feels to finally be out of there. Three, two, one. Boom. There we go. We're home. Sweet home, we have made it back. We also have 37 shulker shells, but guys, what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is Zetro actually lost his elytra the other day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and surprise him with a brand new elytra. So hopefully he likes it. So yeah, let's just go over to Zetro and let's give him this elytra. And then what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to start on the biggest building project yet. And it was actually inspired by one of your guys' comments. So I'm actually going to put it on screen when we obviously do go ahead and start on the build. But apart from that, let's just go and give Zetro these elytras. Let's go. All right. Zetro, thank you for um, coming over to my house. Now, unfortunately, the other day, you lost your elytras, right? Well, how happy would you be right now if I was to give you some elytras? Here you go, here you go, Zetro. Oh, I did not expect that. I thought you were going to show me another <laughs> build or something. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, I actually was in the end so long today, so I thought I might as well get you some. So, yeah, put them on. There you go. You got some more elytras. Let's go. 
I did not expect that, honestly. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually start on the biggest building project that we definitely have in this whole world. So let's just go ahead and start on that. And I'm hoping to get it completely finished by the next episode. So yeah, as I said, let's just get started on that. And Zetro, you're very welcome for those elytras, man. Hopefully you can get some good enchants on there. You know, the mending, the unbreaking, all that good stuff. Thank you. No worries. All right. So yeah, let's just go ahead and let's start on this massive build. Before we get the materials, let's just go ahead and turn all of these shulker shells into shulker boxes really quickly. So let's see how many we can make. Okay. So this is 20 shulker boxes we are about to have. Look at that. I don't even know where to put all of these things. We literally have 20 shulker boxes. I think we really have a nice design going on up here. No, but all jokes aside, guys, I actually don't know where I can store all of these shulker boxes. So for now, I guess they've just got to go up here. I mean, we literally have so many shulker boxes. So uh, yeah, this is where they're going to have to go for now. But if you guys can comment down anything else that I should build to kind of put my shulker boxes in, or if there's any kind of like cool vault ideas you guys have that I can build. So yeah, comment down below any good ideas you guys have of where I should put the shulker boxes. But apart from that, guys, let's go ahead and let me show you what I've really been excited to show you guys. It's going to be the start to the biggest building project we have ever done. So I'm going to go over and find a location to build it and then we're going to get to work on the beginning of it and hopefully have it done by next episode. So yeah, let's go find a nice place to build this. All right, so right now I am in the process of flattening out all of this land around me and I'm going to be putting the comment on screen of what the build is actually going to be and then I'm going to describe to you guys of how I'm actually going to build it and what it's going to look like hopefully in the next episode. So let me just put the comment on screen right now. So the comment says to build a giant sphere that holds all biomes or all farms just for the big project that everyone works on so so let me tell you what I want this to look like so basically what I am going to do is I'm going to make a massive kind of circle shape all around here and it's it's going to be pretty massive and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build quite a few blocks up with white concrete as the actual kind of circle and then surrounding everything will be a massive glass sphere so that may not make a lot of sense right now but basically it's going to be a massive dome and then underneath the kind of dome area will be storage for what is actually going to be in the dome. So inside of the dome itself is going to be basically like a mini version of a world. Inside of the sphere will basically be a bunch of villagers, animals, you name it, will be running around in the kind of mini world. So what it's going to basically be is it's going to be a massive farm and oh no there's phantoms it's night time i seriously mean it's going to be a huge building project so guys in this episode all i want to do is kind of build the kind of outside of it and then in the next episode we are going to finish it so let me just flatten a bit more of this out and then we will get to work on building the kind of outside of it just so i can kind of show you guys the shape that i'm going to be aiming for so hopefully it makes sense if it doesn't trust me it will make a lot of sense so just to kind of describe it again it's basically going to be a massive kind of sphere but inside of the sphere it's going to be a mini world with a bunch of animals roaming around and it will basically be just a big farm that's pretty much I want to do so thank you for the comment all credit goes to this person for the comment it was a really really good idea so let's just start on building this thing So there we have it. This is how big the build is going to be. So let me just quickly go up here and really quickly show you guys from above. All right, so here we are on the mountain right now. So this is basically the shape of it. So it's kind of like, I guess you would call it like a square. It's pretty much a square, but it just kind of has like curved edges. So yeah, I really, really like the way it's actually going to look. And guys, there is a lot of work to be done in the next episode. What we have to do, we have to flatten out all of the area, make it look really, really natural and stuff like that. And then we have to obviously refine it, make sure it's completely symmetrical and stuff like that. And then we will build all the way up and turn it into into a massive sphere slash dome and not only that what I also have to do is I actually have to make and decorate all of it decorate the bit underneath and also decorate the actual top bit where it's all going to be looking like a complete natural world but the only difference is it is inside of a dome so yeah but apart from that guys I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode so hopefully you guys did enjoy honestly it was really really fun doing a little bit different to what we usually do instead of just doing like all the building and grinding to get the best gear what we actually did was we had a little bit of fun exploring in the end and not only that we came out with literally some insane loot so guys, in the next episode, it's going to be a very exciting episode and we are also going to finish the massive building project. So guys, as I said, comment down below if we should get Spike a friend and also what we should call it. And apart from that, have a great rest of your day, guys. Thank you for all the support recently. Make sure you check the top comment to join the Discord server and also the Fruity Craft server. And apart from that, have a great rest of your day, guys, and peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pretty crazy episode planned out for you guys because what we're going to be doing to start off this episode is we are going to go ahead and fight the Ender Dragon for the second time. Now, I don't know about you, Prod, but I am a little bit, just a little bit nervous. I mean, we've got all this gear and stuff, but I mean, 
It's still the Ender Dragon, you know what I mean? Nah, I think we'll be able to do it. It's pretty geared up now. I mean, that is true. We've got our Elytra and everything like that. So, I mean, guys, what we're going to be doing to start this episode off is we're going to go ahead, get a bunch of gas tears, get everything we need for the end crystals, and then we are going to go ahead and fight the Ender Dragon. Now, as I said, the reason I'm nervous is because we haven't done the Ender Dragon fight since the first time we've ever done it. So, this is going to be my first time respawning the Ender Dragon. So, I'm a little bit excited and obviously nervous. But, I mean, as Prod did say, we are pretty geared. So, I mean, fighting the Ender Dragon again should be no problem. So, we're going to go ahead into the the nether and do all of that and also guys if you didn't watch the last episode we are in the middle of making a massive farm build where we're basically going to get a massive place where we're going to put villages we're going to put every single farm in the game and also a bunch of animal farms inside a massive sphere so we're going to be working on the massive building project later on in this episode but for now i think it's about time that we go ahead and get all the stuff for the ender dragon and then take on the ender dragon so i'm prod are you ready to uh fight the ender dragon again yeah let's do it here we go, so we're about to go into the nether, and I believe we need about four gas tiers to actually make all of the end crystals, so let's just go and get those. Here we are inside of the nether base, so I think what me and Prod are about to do is just go fly around and see if we can get lucky. We both have looting on our swords, so I don't think getting these gas tiers is going to be too hard. So let's just go ahead and look for some ghasts, and yeah, hopefully we just get lucky. Alright, so we are inside of the nether right now, and we're just going to fly around and see if we can get any gas. So I'm just going to go towards the fortress, because I feel like that is where most of the ghasts are going to be. Follow me down here, there should hopefully be some ghasts over in this direction. All right, perfect. So there is actually a gas right here, not over lava, which is a good thing. So if we actually kill this one, it shouldn't drop anything into lava. So I don't know how we're actually going to get it. Do I build up to it? Do I maybe waste the firework? You know what? All right, let's waste this firework. Come on. Perfect. All right. And yes, it dropped two. Okay, let's go. So now all I believe we need is two more gas tiers, and then we're good to make the end crystal. So let's just go ahead and see if we can get another gas, which will hopefully drop another two gas tiers. Okay, so we have made it back in to the overworld right now, and if we go ahead and look in my shulker box, we actually now have six gas tiers, which is actually perfect, because I think we only need around four to actually respawn the ender dragon in. So now that we have the perfect amount of gas tiers, we are going to go ahead and respawn the ender dragon in, but before we do, let's go ahead and check on Spike, because Spike, actually, in today's episode, I want to try and see if we can get you a friend, Spike. So, I mean, anyway, how, how are you doing today, Spike? All right, interesting as always. So, guys, what we're going to go ahead and do right now, though, is just go and get everything that we need for the end crystals, and then we are going to head over to the end and fight the ender dragon. I'm a bit excited, but at the same time, I'm a bit nervous because we literally haven't fought the ender dragon since literally the first time we fought it. So, I'm really excited and a bit nervous. All right, so I'm pretty sure I have everything ready. We've got the gas tears right here. We've got glass, and we also have four eye of enders so what i'm going to go ahead and do is just make the end crystals and then we're going to go ahead and meet up with the others at the end portal and i'm pretty sure the way you make an end crystal is just like this if i'm not wrong okay perfect so there we go we need four of those so let's go ahead and make them three two one boom there we go we have the end crystals and what i might as well do with this last bit of glass is just turn it into a bunch of of bottles because I actually want to go ahead and collect a bunch of dragon's breath while I'm in the end because if you guys don't remember the first time we fought the ender dragon I don't think I actually ended up getting any dragon's breath so we are definitely getting dragon's breath this time that's for sure so I'm going to put these there and let's go ahead and meet the others at the end portal so let's go all right so as you can see behind me right now is the end portal and we're about to go inside and I think Zetro is waiting for us inside there as well so prod are you ready to fight the ender dragon again? Let's do it. I mean, to be honest, we're much more equipped than we were the last time because, I mean, obviously, we've got elytras now and stuff like that. So, as I said, it shouldn't be too hard, but prod, let's go in in three, two, one. Let's fight this thing. The way you actually respawn it, I'm pretty sure, is you need to get four end crystals and you need to put them all over here. And what will actually happen is all these iron cages will kind of like regenerate themselves. So we're going to have to break them all again. We're basically going to do it as if it's a complete fresh ender dragon fight. All right, are you guys ready? One goes here, I'm pretty sure. And then we put the second one there, put the third one here. And then I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Okay, three, two, one, boom. Okay, I'm pretty sure it should happen now. Okay, there we go. It's happening. Okay, now I'm pretty sure what will happen is it will connect to all the things and regenerate them. So if you look over there, boom, there's that one. All right, this is the last one, and then the Ender Dragon spawns back in. All right, so I think we should just fly around and try and, like, destroy all the things first, and then go for the Ender Dragon. Okay, here we go, there we go, and we got the achievement. All right, let's just literally do this as fast as we can. So let's get the Elytras, and let's see if we can just kind of get this one. Yes, okay, I got one. Oh, this is going to be so easy with Elytras. It makes you realize how good Elytras are for things like boss fights. Look how fast we've done this. Okay, one more. All right, there we go. With Elytras, this is just... This is too easy with Elytras. Oh, my goodness. I've literally got 19 Dragon's Breath. Wait, what? I think you got a bit too close to the Ender Dragon. So, we've got the Ender Dragon just under halfway. And Zetro, unfortunately, got a little bit too close to the Ender Dragon. So, I'm just going to pick up all of his good stuff for him. Let's just get his fireworks. It's all good, though. We can get all of his stuff back. So, there we go. I've basically got everything. So, yeah, I pretty much got all of his good stuff. Now, let's fight this Ender Dragon. He's down to his last few hits. And look at the amount of Dragon's Breath I've got. 24 Dragon's Breath. That's crazy. All right, here we go. One more hit is all you need. One more. Yes, there we go. 
All right, so Prod, you now have the achievement. Okay, perfect. That is the second Ender Dragon down. Let's actually go. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We now have another portal open. All right, so me and Prod are just going to quickly test it. This gives us a random teleport out into like the end city area. So uh, I guess let's just go up and see. I'm pretty sure it should. Okay, here we go. Yep, this is, yeah, this is completely fresh. Okay, perfect. So now if we go in any direction, we should have more of a chance to get another end city. But I think we should save exploring this kind of end area for another time. I'm pretty sure we're good for now though. If you guys have watched the last episode, you guys will know that we basically have started on a brand new massive building project which is probably going to be one of the biggest building projects ever that we've actually built before obviously when it's fully completed so what i'm going to go ahead and do is store all my dragon's breath in it to this chest right here i think we should put it in this one all right let's put that in there so yeah what i'm going to go ahead and do right now is head over to the area which we're building it and basically show you guys what i have done so far and i'm hoping to get it completely finished by the end of this episode so i'm really excited to go ahead and show you guys it so yeah let's just head over there actually really quickly before we head over to where we're building this let me show you guys a bunch of materials that I have gathered so far for this build. So if we go in these chests right here, these are where all of the materials are that I pretty much need for this build. So as you guys can see, boom, here we go. So we obviously have some dark prismarine. We've got a bunch of white stained glass. So yeah, we'll pretty much be using every single one of these building blocks that I've collected. We got some more dark prismarine in here. We got some glowstone and we've got some anvils for decoration. Same with the iron bars. We've got a bunch more glass. We've got a bunch of quartz pillars that I'm going to be using. To say the least, this is going to be a pretty crazy build. So what I'm basically going to do is transfer a bunch of the building blocks from these chests and put them into my shulker box and then we're going to head over to where we're actually building it and hopefully get it to a point where it's pretty much finished so so let's put all of these blocks into the shulker box and then let's start on the build so guys let's go ahead and let's do it Alright, so we are joined with Zetro right now, and guys, after hours and hours of hard work, it's pretty much nearly finished. There's only a few things that we actually have to do to make it finished, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this kind of rail design that I've kind of got going on here, and basically put it over this side as well, and then also add a little bit of a roof here, but pretty much, this is the design we're going for. And I also need to thank Zetro for helping me out, because he actually got a bunch of this glass that we actually used, so Zetro, I appreciate it, and also, what do you actually uh, think of it? I like it. I, I, I genuinely really like the design, how this is white, but then the, you've got white glasses well to go with it and then the glowstone really makes it like I don't know. I, I love it. I genuinely like, really like it. So yeah, as I said, it's still not 100% done because obviously in the middle here, there's going to be a bunch of trees. There's going to be a bunch of villagers roaming around, pigs, cows, sheep, chickens, and also a sugarcane farm, a wheat farm, and also a potato farm, and I think carrot farm we're going to put in here. So it's basically going to be a massive farm, which is pretty much going to be used for everything in the game. So we've got villagers in there, as I said, pretty much everything you need for farming will be put inside of here. But also in the very near future, we are going to basically add a bunch of details. We're going to make like a little roof part here that connects to there. Basically, this build is going to end up being literally insane. This is just the very start. There's not really much details yet. This is pretty much how it's looking right now. Honestly, I think it looks really, really nice. And it definitely has a lot more work to be done on it. We have a lot more detail to add. And I also made the kind of ceiling bit over here. I'll show you guys as well. So we have this little kind of ceiling bit up here, which is pretty cool. And yeah, this is pretty much what it is looking like. So guys, make sure you comment down below what should we actually call this. As always, we'll put a sign with your name and also the name you guys want to call it. So make sure you comment down some names for this massive kind of all-in-one farm area, which is going to have like a little kind of mini world in it because there's going to be trees and everything there. As I said in the last episode, it's going to be literally crazy. So yeah, guys, make sure you comment down below any name suggestions you have for this. And now guys, what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is actually enchant a crossbow because, well, I don't think I have a crossbow yet. So that's something we're definitely going to do. And I also want to talk about getting Spike a friend. As I said in the last episode, a bunch you guys left comments of what we should call Spike's friend. So yeah, we definitely got to sort that out at some point. But yeah, I'm really proud of how it's looking right now. And actually, there's one little detail that I actually forgot. I actually got a bunch of anvils right now. So I'm just going to go around and kind of put them on here because I feel like the anvils add a little kind of just a little something extra. We're just going to go around and put all these anvils here like this. I don't know why. I think anvils are such a nice addition for builds, but they are really hard to make because we need iron and stuff like that. And also something which I haven't mentioned yet is that I want to make a gold farm. And then in that gold farm, gold actually gets dispensed to like the piglet things which will then trade for the gold and drop items and they will go into a hopper and into chests. I'm not sure what the farms are actually called for that. If you guys know what the actual name for that farm is where you can get basically infinite trades with like the new pigling things then make sure you comment that down below but yeah that's what I want to definitely do but yeah this is how this is looking right now. I'm pretty proud of it so uh, Zetro as I said thank you for helping me out with this and I think right now we're going to go ahead and enchant a crossbow so let's go. This is also the view from outside of it. It actually looks really nice and is, is that a creeper over there? S seriously bro? Alright no but seriously let's actually go ahead and get a crossbow 
crossbow, but honestly, it's looking really, really fresh, and we can definitely get it 100% finished for the next episode. Seeing as all we need to do now that we've got kind of like the base build, we just need to go around and add a bunch of details for it. So, uh, yeah, I definitely want to make it look less plain. As you guys can see, like the glass just looks really, really plain. So there is going to be a load of details added to it. And I'm just really excited to show you guys the end result that I'm kind of thinking of how I want it to look. So what we're going to go ahead and do right now is head over, get a crossbow with some really good enchants. And then I also need to talk to you guys about getting Spike a friend because there was a few suggestions that you guys gave in the last video's comments and I really can't make up my mind. So I really need some help with that. And as I said, comment down below what we should also call the brand new build. So uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and see if we have a crossbow laying around. Okay, so I think I have everything I need to make a crossbow. Now I know for a fact it's a really weird craft recipe so I think we need to get a tripwire hook put that there put some sticks here string there and I think it might be iron here okay perfect so now we have a crossbow let's go ahead get level 30 and then we're going to enchant it now I'm not really too familiar with all the enchantments you can get on a crossbow um so I'm just gonna go ahead level 30 enchant it and just basically see if we can get lucky with an enchantment so where is some arrows I need some arrows to test this thing out all right so it turns out I already had 30 arrows on me but let's just get that up to a stack now I think instead of going to the end farm we only are two levels away so I might as well just go down to the skeleton xp farm and get to level 30 by doing it that way let's just get level 30 real quick. Alright, here we go. I've got some lapis and we are outside of the archives. Okay, come on. Let's hopefully get lucky with an enchantment for our crossbow. So I guess let's just go ahead and do it. As I said, I'm not too familiar with crossbow enchants because I don't really ever use a crossbow when it comes to Minecraft. But anyway, let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, what are we gonna get? I know I said I'm unfamiliar with crossbow enchants, but I know for a fact having just piercing probably isn't the best thing for a crossbow. I mean, I don't know whether it's worth just enchanting it again. You know what? We might as well just try our luck and see if we can do it again. So uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's try it one more time. Alright, here we go. Let's try this again. Come on. Hopefully we can get an actual good enchant this time. Okay, in goes the lapis. Okay, quick charge one. All right, I mean... Okay, so we got on breaking three... Quick charge one and multi shot. Okay. I mean, I think this is pretty good apart from quick charge one. I know for a fact you can get quick charge three, I'm pretty sure. And also, obviously, we need mending as well. I think you can also get piercing on a crossbow as well, which I'm pretty sure I have over here at the Mythic Scrolls inside of the Hyper Mall. Uh, let me just go ahead and check. Okay, yeah, so we have a piercing book right there. And do I have another quick charge? Let's just go ahead. We've got a quick charge two there. Do we have a quick charge three laying around anywhere? I'm pretty sure I do. All right, here we go. We are at the powerhouse. Let's go ahead over to the anvil and see if we can go ahead and put piercing on here. Okay, oh, wait, what? I'm pretty sure you can have both at the same time. So it looks like all we need to do is put mending on there. Anyway, let's just give this a test shot. Boom. There we go. That is multi-shot. That actually looks pretty cool having multi-shot on there. I don't know why I like that so much, but there we go. We have a crossbow now. I don't know why I wanted a crossbow so bad. I guess it's just something to kind of use other than like a bow and arrow and also a sword. But guys, we need to go ahead and we need to talk about getting Spike a friend because if you guys remember in the last episode, I said, should we get Spike a friend? And all of you guys were like, yes, Spike needs a friend. And here's the thing. I found three comments which I really, really liked, and I can't decide between which comment I think is the best. I mean, all three of the suggestions are really good, and they're three different animals with three different names, so let me put all the comments on screen and show you guys. So, yeah, let me just quickly show you. Okay, so I'll put the first suggestion on screen right now. So this one was to get a pet iron golem and call it Mike. So the reason I thought this was such a good idea is because then we would have Spike and Mike, but I also thought it is an iron golem, so I mean, let's just read out the other two suggestions that we have as well. So the second suggestion that we have is to actually get an orange cat and call it Muffin, which I thought was pretty cool because having a cat and also a dog would be pretty awesome. So, I mean, this is another suggestion. And then we also have the third and final one, which I really, really like as well. So let me go ahead and tell you guys this one. All right. So this one is to get a pet parrot and call it feather now i actually really really like this one i mean it's up to you guys which one we go ahead and choose do you guys want to see spike have a friend that's an iron golem do you want to see him have one that's a cat or a parrot personally i really really like the parrot but i just can't choose between them so guys it's down to you which one do we go ahead and get do we venture off to a jungle and get a parrot do we get an iron golem or do we get a cat guys it's all down to you personally i think getting a parrot would be really really cool because that way we can also get a map and also do some exploring on the map which i think would be really really cool and also some other stuff i want to do in the next episode is actually make a battle arena so we can get like a bunch of battles going on for just a little bit of fun nothing really too serious and also another thing I want to do is make an automatic gold farm so yeah there's some things I want to do in the next episode but guys as I said comment down below which friend should we get spike and apart from that guys I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode so I really hope you guys did enjoy this episode honestly it was really really awesome because we actually ended up getting a bunch done but in the next episode there are so many plans I have I want to make the battle arena as I said I want to make some farms and I also want to go ahead and get some exploring done so yeah as I said there's so much stuff that I want to do. So apart from that, guys, have a great rest of your day. And apart from that, guys, peace.
Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. So, as you can all see right now, we are out the front of the Hyper Mall inside of the city. Now, as you guys know, we are always going to be expanding the city and just basically making it a really, really nice build. But anyway, today, guys, we have a very exciting yet busy episode ahead of us because to start this episode, we are going to do... A battle. Yes, you heard it right. We are going to be hosting a battle event. Now, I've been reading quite a lot of your guys' comments, and I've seen quite a lot say that we should do some type of battle where basically we get two people to go head to head, and I'm basically going to be doing that, but putting my own little twist on it, where they are going to be doing a best of three, but the catch is, is that they are going to be doing it for some insane prizes, which I went ahead and gathered. So, I've gone ahead and gathered, like, a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be getting them to battle out for, and honestly, I feel like this is going to go down really, really well, and you guys are going to enjoy this quite a lot, so... To start this episode, we are going to be going ahead and doing that. And another thing that we are going to be doing later on this episode is just finishing a bunch of projects that we have and just kind of like finishing them all up. Like, for example, you guys know like the massive build that we were doing in the last episode. I want to go ahead and finish that completely. And yeah, I basically just want to go around and finish up a bunch of projects. Another thing that I really want to do for some reason is go into the brand new end city that we have and try and find some elytras. And something that I've wanted to do for absolutely ages is finally get around to making a gold farm. So I think after we go ahead and host this kind of battle event between prod and zetro we are going to go ahead and make a gold farm which i'm really excited for because prod has actually made it so we can get on top of the nether now which is going to make this gold farm so easy to actually build so guys it's going to be a really exciting episode hopefully you are all excited for this episode so without further ado let's head down to the dome and let's get this battle event started let's go so what you'll actually get if you can win a best of three you will get 32 diamonds a beacon four netherite ingots and also a mending book so uh what do you guys think of all of that loot right there? You guys, uh, you guys ready for this? That, yeah, um, sounds good. I, re I really need the nether out right now, so I hope I win. If you guys come over here really quickly and get the armor and sword I've supplied you guys with, it's just going to be a basic iron sword and iron armor 1v1. Now, whoever can come out on top will win all the prizes. Are you guys both ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, you guys can go ahead and fight on the count of three, two, one, battle! All right, so we've got a prod coming in there. Zetrov, come on, you feeling confident? Or Zetra going in with the swing and sword technique. Is he going to be able to take out Prod right now? Well, you guys got this. Ooh, oh, okay. First round goes to Prod, right? It's a best of three, remember? So, Zetro, what happened there, man? Do you want to give us a quick, like, game rundown? What, what do you think he did there that was maybe better than you? I don't know, man. Honestly, I just think his tactic was a lot better. The way he came out swinging, I just thought it was a lot better oh, yeah. than what I did. Those man. swings are pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, they're, they're, those swings are pretty good, right? Let's see if you can bring it back in round two. If Prod wins this one, he wins the whole thing, right, Zetro, if you'd like to return there. All right. All right, so I don't want to add any pressure or anything, but just to let you guys know, there is. There is some serious prizes on the line. All right, so you guys can fight again in three, two, one. Go for it. All right, here we go. All right, so we got the prod coming out with a confident stance again. Hits on prod. Prod returns with another swing. Both hit at the same time. Who can win this one? Oh, Zetro goes down again, which means prod. We have a winner. So, Prod, what do you think you did well in that fight right there against uh, Zetra? What do you think you did well in that battle, man? Well, I think in, like, the most recent updates, you get, like, a little hit thing where it does more damage if you wait. Yep. And the I combat update. Zetra, yeah, I don't think Zetra knew about that, so... Okay, Prod, so we all know what that means. That means you are the winner, so go ahead and take all your prizes. You got the beacon right there, which took me quite a while to get, so, you know... Make sure that you use it usefully, and uh, you also got the mending book and the diamonds, and also the netherite. So, uh, how are you feeling about that, Pro? You're getting all of that loot for just a simple little battle. I'm really, really happy, to be honest, but I think because Zetro did come and try, I think I'm going to oh, give him two pieces no way. of netherite. <gasps> just going to be nice. Oh, that, that, honestly, Prod, that's, that's pretty kind of you. All right, so there we have it. Prod came out on top of that 1v1. Honestly, that was so much fun to watch. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and let's get some stuff for this gold farm. Because as I said, I really want to go ahead and make a gold farm on top of the flat bit of the nether. Because I feel like it's going to be so much easier to build it up there. But let's just go ahead and check on Spike real quick. And oh my, I seriously can't make this up. Spike, why do you hate the carpet so much, man? Like, seriously, it's, it's it's way more comfy than the stairs, and you're sat here every single time. But anyway, Spike, on the bright side, man, we are going to be going ahead and probably getting you a friend in this episode. So, I mean, how do you feel about that? Alright, interesting as always, but guys, all jokes aside though, let's go ahead and start on this gold farm. So I'm pretty sure I actually have gathered some turtle eggs in here, so I've got 25 turtle eggs, which I was actually grinding out. So we definitely have everything we need to make, and also, huge credit goes out to Shulkercraft for this design, because I'm pretty sure he made this design for this gold farm. So let's go ahead, get all the magma blocks and everything, and let's go ahead and build this gold farm. Let's go.
So there we have it. There is the gold farm. You guys can barely see it just because it's kind of so misty above the nether, but that is the gold farm. Now, I've actually stood on top of the kind of platform that I've made up here, which is actually at max height. So what I've done is I've stood on this platform for, I'd probably say, a little bit less than an hour, maybe like 30 minutes to maybe 45 minutes. Honestly, I don't really know too well how long I've been up here, but I've been up here for quite a while, so I'm really excited to go down into the chests and see how much gold this thing actually can get us now as you guys can see the spawn rates are insane look at the amount of pigmen that spawn like there's four right there and i can guarantee as soon as those ones drop another four spawn there to be honest i didn't think it was actually going to be this efficient but guys let's go ahead and oh my look at the amount of pigmen there is but i'm going to go ahead and check right now though how much gold this has truly made us so let's go down to the little chests that we have down here and just look at the amount of pigmen dropping down let's actually see how much gold we can get okay let's have a little look okay here we go three two one boom oh my goodness okay this is definitely a really good rotten flesh farm as well as a gold farm but look at the amount of gold that we have i wonder how many blocks this is actually going to make us like we have so many i mean maybe down the line we'll have to get some more chests here but for now though this works really really good and also if you're wondering how i actually get back to the overworld what i've actually done is i've made a little kind of like arrow pointing where the nether portal is now if we use like one firework you guys can see there's the portal right there and i'm pretty sure here is where the little block is to get back down into the nether so now i'm pretty sure we're going to go ahead and finish off the massive dome build that we've been working on in the last episode let's go back to the overworld and get all of this stuff done so let's head into the nether portal and yeah if you remember this is what the build is currently looking like so i mean we've got a lot of progress done in the last episode and uh yeah it's a, it's a pretty big build so far and also as you guys can see i've actually started getting some animals inside of it now i know we only have two sheep in there at the minute but i mean it's a good start because what i want to do guys is i want to fill this thing up so much with an insane amount of animals and villages so my plan of where i want this to go is i want to actually make like a massive tree in the middle and then kind of make the rest of it i guess i want to make it as natural as possible let's just get this build pretty much finished <laughs> Look at how much these pillars changed the look of the build. Obviously, I kept the same kind of blocks. You know, I've got the concrete in there, the stone brick, got some cobblestone, and of course, some glowstone. But honestly, I think it just adds so much more to the build. Now, I guess all there is left to do is work on this middle bit in here. So right now, all I'm going to do is just work on putting a massive tree in there and just making it look really, really natural and really, really nice. And then, of course, we've got to go ahead and pick a name. So guys, I'm just going to work on this, get it looking really, really nice, and then we can continue with all the other stuff that we want to get done. But right now, I feel like these little pillars look really, really nice. So to make this big tree in the middle of the build it's going to take me a lot of leaves and when i say a lot of leaves i really mean a lot of leaves um i've kind of surprised myself i guess i didn't actually think i was going to be able to make a decent looking tree i mean it's not the best but i would say for a first attempt of making a tree it looks pretty good but guys this is the design of the inside as you can obviously tell it has a bunch of grass and stuff like that but just imagine this with a load of animals a load of villages and stuff like that and even like some parrots in here just kind of like flying around just chilling let's just go ahead and make a sign really quickly so we can actually go ahead and name it and guys another thing which i wanted to ask you guys should i actually build a battle arena because honestly guys at the start of the episode when prod and zetra did that battle it honestly inspired me to make a whole entire battle arena so if you guys want to see me build a battle arena make sure you guys comment down below any names that you guys think would be good for that and as always Always comment down below any things that you guys want us to build. We're always looking at the suggestions and the support really means a lot to us. So let's go ahead and put the sign on the tree of what we're going to call this area. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So the name we've gone with is the Dome of Life. Now, the reason I thought this was such a good name is because it is a dome, of course, and it's got a bunch of like animals and stuff in. So it just made sense to call it the Dome of Life. So I'll put the comment on screen right now. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Honestly, huge credit goes out to you. But now, guys, what I think we need to go ahead and do is fill this place up with some animals. All right. So there we go. Yeah, we got a bunch of animals roaming around obviously i want more animals in here in the future and obviously villagers but thanks to my egg farm we were able to get a bunch of chickens in here and kind of fill it up with some more animals and we've also got a beehive over there and we also have a bee right there just kind of chilling so honestly this place is coming along literally way better than i expected oh no so we now have the dome of life i keep saying how much i love this place but i just i just really do like it i think it actually did turn out really really well so now what i'm going to do is get some more fireworks and head to the end here we are we have arrived into the end and now i'm pretty sure this one right here is actually the new one that we got in the last episode so let's just go ahead and dive right on into it and hopefully let's see if we can get an end city really really close because i mean obviously it's all going to be unlooted and everything like that here we go let's get in here boom okay so this is completely unexplored the only thing we did is make this little staircase as you guys would have seen in the last episode right here is the portal so let's just fly straight on in this direction and see if we can get any luck i mean if we do find one let's just hope it has a ship on it and wait wait a second this close with an end ship as well 
I think we've just hit the luckiest possible end city ever. Like, this is so close. Okay, let's just go ahead and loot it, though. I mean, let's just see what the chests have and everything. But there we go. There's the elytras. I actually can't believe we found one this close. Let's try and get rid of this shulker without it hitting us. And of course it hits us. All right, come on. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this thing real quick. Any minute now. All right, there it goes. Okay, let's just check this left chest first. All right. Diamond sword with sharpness two, knockback one. Not amazing. That's a really good iron pickaxe. That iron pickaxe actually has some good enchantments. So I'm just going to take all of this because why not? Our inventory's literally got nothing in anyway. So let's just check out these leggings. Oh, that's actually really good. I'm breaking three protection four. Let's just take that and all those diamonds as well. Then here are the elytras. Okay, so I mean, I did think we were going to be in the end for longer than this. Um, we literally, the first thing we find is an end city. So I think I'm just going to go and head back and maybe explore this at a later date with the others. Because, you know, I don't want to steal all the elytras to myself. And I mean, if they do need one, I obviously will give them one. But I mean, I do want to explore this with them. So I think I'm just going to head back. Um, I, I really can't believe it took us that quick to find one. I mean, I, I'm that's pretty crazy. I'm still a bit shocked that it literally took us, like, no time at all to even get an end city. I mean, I, I just can't believe it. So now, <gasps> that scared me way too much. But let's just go ahead and head back to the overworld because what I want to go and do now is find Spike's friend. You guys know I've been talking about this for so long. We need to find Spike a friend. So we're going to go ahead, get a parrot, and then we also get a cat as well. I don't know if we'll get the cat in this episode because getting a cat is way easier than getting a parrot. So we'll just go ahead and see what happens but let's just go ahead and sleep really quickly and then we'll head to a jungle all right so we've made it to the jungle as you guys can see and a little fun fact about this jungle is it's pretty much the closest jungle to obviously where we are all based at and uh it is literally thousands and thousands of blocks away like let's actually take a look at the durability of our elytra okay so it's not even that bad but the thing is it's gotten breaking three and it's still just above halfway kind of so i mean it, it's not that bad to get to this jungle yes we have found one perfect okay Okay, no, he still doesn't like us. Whoa, there's another one there. We could take two. We need more seeds. Come on, give, give us some seeds. Okay, there's one there. Oh, no, there's skeletons. I, I can't believe it's nighttime. Of course, it would be nighttime while we're trying to do this, but give us some seeds. W why is there no seeds dropping? What is our luck right now? Okay, two seeds. I want to get at least, like, maybe five or so. All right, this could do. Let's go back to the parrots. Okay, both of these parrots look insane. I don't know which one to get. I, I want to try and get both. Take a look at what else we found right there, but I don't have anything on me to actually tame it, so I think we'll just stick to getting the parrot. Now, I don't know where they've gone. I can hear it, but I, I just can't see it. Is it up here, maybe? Wow, so I've managed to find loads of parrots, but let's just see if we can get this one. <gasps> That's a sign. It only took one seed. Come here, buddy. Take a look at that. After many seeds, we have finally got the parrot. I actually can't believe it. Now, a very important thing that we need to do is, of course, name our brand new parrot. Now, in the last episode, someone obviously did suggest that we get the parrot and call it Feather. But what I want to do is I want to see how many name suggestions we can actually get. So, guys, comment down below what should we call our brand new parrot. And in the next episode, we will obviously name the parrot and we will get Spike to meet his brand new parrot friend for the first time at the start of the next episode. So, guys, what I have to do now is I have a lot of walking to do because if you jump with a parrot on your shoulder, it's just going to fly away. So, what you need to do is I actually have to walk all the way back home. So, I'm going to have to use leads and boats to our advantage to actually get our parrot back home. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go and do that. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a perfect time to go ahead and end this episode. We've got the parrot. We've got so much done in today's episode. We've got a gold farm now. We finished the Dome of Life. We've literally gone to an end city we've got some new elytras honestly it was a very very productive episode but guys in the next one we have a bunch more exciting stuff to get done so guys that is where i'm going to go ahead and end this hopefully you all did enjoy and have a great rest of your day and apart from that peace all right let's press the button in three two one this could go really wrong but let's just do it anyway i think they should all just start coming down here but that is pretty much what is going on in there? Like, look at that! Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. So guys, as promised, we have got Spike's brand new friend, and he is a parrot. Now, in this episode, we are definitely going to be obviously getting him to meet up with Spike, and also, we're going to be giving him a name with one of your guys' suggestions. So, Prod and Zetro, what do you guys think of the parrot? Do you guys, uh... Do you guys like him? I think he's pretty cute. So yeah, he's a pretty cool parrot. I'm glad you guys actually like him. So yeah, he's going to be like our new... Our new little member. Alright, and also another thing, you guys might be able to tell that I sound a little bit more excited than usual. And the reason is, is because in this episode, to start things off, we are going to be making probably the most overpowered farm that we have yet. Now, Prod and Zetro, I don't know if I've told you guys what I'm making, but I'm going to be making a raid farm, which means infinite emeralds, and not only that, infinite totem of undying. So, Prod, Zetro, will you guys be using this raid farm when it's up and running? I will be, because I heard you could get a lot of XP and a lot of loot from it. 
That is yeah, true. What about you, Cedric? I'll probably just use it for emeralds, honestly, but yeah. All right, so that's great to hear. All right, so what we are about to go ahead and do is put our power in his brand new home with Spike. And if you guys can see in my inventory there, we have a name tag, which is going to be the name of the parrot. Now, it wasn't like a few of you guys wrote this name down below in the comments. It was actually a bunch of you guys that suggested this name. So it seemed to me that all of you guys pretty much wanted me to name the parrot this name. So that is what I've gone ahead and done. And I also think it's a very, very good name. And you guys will see why in just a second. So anyway, Spike, you're sat on the stairs again. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not even going to say anything. So so Spike, here we go, man. Here is your new friend, our brand new parrot, which is called Blue. Yep, that is it. That is literally his name. His name is Blue, and I mean, hopefully you guys can tell why he's called Blue, so let's just go ahead and name him. There we go. So we now have Spike, and we now have Blue. So anyway, Spike, let us know, man. How is your day going? <coughs> All right, interesting as always. And um, Blue, what about your day? How's your day going? Wait, what, Blue, are you serious? That's actually crazy that that happened. But anyway, so, um, yeah, Spike, Blue, I'm gonna leave you guys to, you know, kind of meet each other and stuff like that. So, let's just go ahead and start on this raid farm. But before we do, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys. The support on all of the recent episodes has just been absolutely insane. So, thank you guys so, so much. Me and all the other guys really appreciate it. And we want to do something pretty crazy because, if you guys look, we are super close to 100,000 subscribers, which is so crazy. But what we want to do is we want to invite one of you guys watching this video to basically come on the server and join us for one day and one day only to basically do whatever you want just to come on maybe have a look around maybe start on a little build or something like that anything you want we want to get one of you guys on for the day and just yeah if that's something that interests you i will leave the discord in the top comment join up and when we get closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers we will put out an announcement on the discord and that will basically be where you find all the information to join the server for a day so i thought that'd be really awesome to do for 100,000 subscribers and again just thank you guys so much it's just been absolutely crazy but without further ado let's just get in to this raid farm all right so let's make a start on this raid farm so first things first the reason this raid farm is going to be useful is because you can get so many totems of undying and not only that you can also get a lot of emeralds and a bunch of other loot so that is only a few reasons why we're going to be building this but to actually build it we need to go ahead and find a pillager outpost so i've actually got a bunch of fireworks right here and we need to go and basically find a pillager outpost now if you know pillager outposts you will know that they are not the easiest thing to find however we've got a lot of fireworks we've got our elytras so uh yeah i guess let's just fly around and see if we can try and find a pillager outpost yes now would you look at that we've already found a pillager outpost now this isn't too close to where we're based and let me explain why this may cause a little bit of a problem not too much of a problem but just a little bit of a problem so pretty much to make a raid farm we obviously need a villager now the only problem with that is that if we were to transport a villager from my base all the way to here on a minecart track that's gonna take a lot of resources like you guys have no idea how many resources that's actually gonna take up so what I need to do is I need to scout out a village nearby where I can actually take a villager and bring it here so I'm gonna look around hopefully if we can find a village nearby that is just gonna be insane luck and I doubt it's gonna happen but if it somehow does that would be crazy now there's already a bunch of pillagers over here so I need to kind of be careful but yeah so we need to get a villager back here you've got to be kidding me I remember this village the village is right here and the outpost is literally not even far that way you can almost see the biome where it's actually located in that is actually insane luck that we've just found that oh my goodness and is there villages yes there's villages this has saved so much time okay so now that we have a village here and the outpost over there we can go ahead and collect the materials to start building this thing and get a villager all the way to that outpost guys i cannot tell you how excited i am to do this so all there is left to do right now is build this thing so let's go Alright, so not the best looking farm, but it's going to hopefully do the job. Now, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm actually kind of scared it might not 100% work. And if you're wondering why I've actually changed locations into this kind of ocean area. So, originally, I was actually going to build this exact farm over near the pillager area or, like, over at the pillager watchtower. But the thing was, is that there was no, like, ocean or, like, really open space to build it. And, obviously, this needs to be in a place where it's kind of surrounded by an ocean. So, nothing else can really spawn close to it. So, if we head over 
in this direction, you will see that there is a village actually really close to where we're building it. So as you can see here is kind of where I transported the villager over to the actual farm. So what we're going to do now is we are going to test this farm. Now, as I said, I'm really, really nervous. I haven't tested it yet. This is going to be my first time testing it. So I need to go back to the outpost, get a bad omen, and then we can begin testing this thing. Okay, so let's head over to the pillager outpost and let's get bad omen. Let's hope this thing works. Here we go. We have arrived over at the pillager outpost and this is exactly what we're looking for. One of the ones with the banner above their head. Let's just quickly get rid of him before he can shoot us. And there we go. We have bad omen. So now we head back over to the farm and hope that this goes well. As you guys can probably tell right now, I'm extremely nervous. I really want this to work. This farm has taken absolutely ages to actually build, so that is kind of why I'm a bit nervous. But anyway, there's only one way to find out if it's going to work, so let's go close to it, and hopefully a raid should begin. Okay, there we go. So we head up to the top. Okay, it's looking promising right now, but we just have to hope they spawn exactly where they're meant to spawn. So when this raid bar fills up, I think we have to wait until it actually says that we've won the raid, and then we can basically let all of the kind of pillages and everything like that drop down into here, and then we can just kind of finish them off. So I will describe how this works in just a second so first things first let's hope that at the top of our screen it comes up saying that we've got a victory with the raid and then we can basically press this button and let all of the stuff drop and hopefully everything goes smoothly okay so i think i may have done one thing wrong because the bar should still be at the top of our screen wait is the villager even in there all right so the villager is in there but for some reason the bar at the top the raid bar has completely gone i'm pretty much just going to do a few adjustments to this part and i'll keep you guys updated let's try this again let's get rid of this guy get bad omen again and let's head back and Hopefully, this time it works with a few little tweaks I've done. Here we go. We have made our way back. Hopefully, it works this time. So, the raid bar is going up. Please work. This has got to work. I don't see how this could go wrong. I mean, I, I, mean, I do, but I'm just going to say that I don't. Wait. Here we go. I hear them. It's working. All I had to do is move the bed the other way around. There we go. This is looking really, really promising. This could go really wrong because um, obviously the Vexes aren't going to be too happy about this. Um, I'm kind of scared to press the button, but should we do it? Uh, uh, yes, we probably should. Okay, here we go. All right, let's press the button in three, two, one. This could go really wrong, but let's just do it anyway. I think they should all just start coming down here. Here we go. It's working. Oh, let's go. It's actually working. Okay, let's just keep getting rid of them like this. Okay, I'm, I don't think we're going to take any damage anytime soon. Seeing as we have Bad Omen again, let's just drop down and do this again. So I have done it quite a few times and this is going to be my last time until I check what loot we have got. So I'm going to do this one and then I will check what loot we've actually got from doing this. Hopefully we get quite a few totems of undying, maybe some emeralds in there as well. So let's just press the button. Three, two, one, boom. Here we go. They are all dropping down. Here's the satisfying part. Let's take a look at the loot in three, two, one, boom. Oh my goodness. I actually can't believe how well this thing has actually worked. So there it is. So I think that is basically everything. Let's just put this in here like that. That is an insane amount of loot. Like look at all of those emeralds, all of the totems. I actually can't get over how amazing this actually worked out. All right, let's just go ahead and grab our shulker box. Seeing as there's a raid starting right now, I actually want to show you guys like actually what happens up here. So if we just go ahead and look, I don't want to get like absolutely destroyed by all of their crossbows, but that is pretty much what is going on in there. Like, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, so now that we are done with the raid farm, what we are going to be doing is starting work on an ocean monument farm. Now this ocean monument farm is actually kind of a simple one. So all I need really is just a bunch of soul sand and there's actually some over here. So I'm going to farm up as much of this as I possibly can maybe like two or three stacks actually is all i'm going to need let's just farm up all of this soul sand how much do we have right now okay yeah about three stacks nearly should be enough so i think that is all we're going to need so let's start on this and hopefully it's going to work out really really well because i just really want to get so many of like the blocks from there because if you guys don't know i am planning on making a huge base um so i'm going to need a lot of nice blocks for it and i think this is the way back actually no that's the way towards the nether fortress we need to go this way so i'm pretty sure back at my base i have all the other blocks i need so as long as we got the soul sand we should be good so let's head over to an ocean monument. Another thing that we need as well is also a bunch of obsidian, which I nearly forgot, which would have sucked if I got all the way to the ocean monument and forgot the obsidian because obsidian's quite a hard block to mine, which means I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time in the end to actually get it, but it's going to be worth it. So let's just get all of the obsidian that we need. As you can see, we've mined out quite a lot of this obsidian tower and managed to get around about two and a half stacks of obsidian. So I think we are now all good to start building this ocean monument. So let's do it. So here we are over at the ocean monument. Now, all we need to do is kind of clear off this top bit, get rid of some cow around the area and then once we've done that we are pretty good to actually make this farm so let's get rid of some of these guardians and then actually start on this farm so let's go there we go this is pretty much how we want our ocean monument to look like no cow on it or anything like that so i'm pretty sure 
we're all good to go ahead and start building this thing. Let's just put all of the obsidian just like that and then put that there. All right, of course, there would just be a phantom here while we're trying to do this. All right, let's just connect all these corners with obsidian, put that there. All right, looking pretty good. Oh, no, I've misplaced obsidian. No. Okay, let's just keep on going. Put that there. Connect this corner. And then that is the first kind of cube shape done. This is what it looks like from the outside. And then when we go on the inside, we can now go ahead and we can light up all of these portals. So let's just go through and light all of these up. So let's do the middle ones first. Let's get that one. Let's get that one. Let's try not to get hit by a guardian because that would kind of be annoying. All right, let's just get that one as well. That one, that one. And then finally, three, two, one. Boom. Okay. As you can tell, underneath that cloud is where the ocean monument is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually test and see if this farm works. So I've got everything up and running. So I'm just going to sit here and wait a little bit. And then we will go into the nether and see if this is actually working. Hopefully it does. And I mean, it would be great if it does. Because that means I will be able to get a bunch of the blocks I want to make my base even better. So let's just wait here and see what we can get. All right. Let's go ahead and check how this farm is doing. Let's go and land in the water. Go through the portals. And hopefully it has done quite good. What I'm going to have to do though is take off my elytras and oh if we can look through the wall it's actually got quite a few in there okay so i'm going to take off my uh elytras and put my chest plate on in case they try and damage me this could be very risky doing this but you know what let's just do it anyway let's get in the portal quick um okay are we gonna get damaged come on quick 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 Okay, here we go. All right, let's get out of here really quickly. Break that block. All right, let's see how much stuff this is actually giving us. So where is our chest? I think it's over here. Okay, this could be really, really good. I mean, at least I think we were meant to get a lot from this. All right, let's just check it out though. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at the amount of prismarine shards, prismarine crystals. We have infinite food. I seriously don't know what's better, this farm or the raid farm in terms of how much loot you actually get. But that is, that is on another level. That is literally what I needed. We can literally make this base way easier than I expected with the blocks. I mean, obviously I want my base to be ginormous, but this just makes it 10 times easier. Because this gives me like pretty much all the blocks I want. But I can't believe that we have so much. This is... This is crazy. I'm definitely going to need to come back here with some more shulker boxes. But for now, though, I already have two of them on me. So I might as well go and fill these ones up. And if you're wondering why I have this shulker box, this isn't mine. This is actually Prod's shulker box. But, um, yeah, I need to go and give that back to him. But if I can fill up all of these shulker boxes with a bunch of prismarine stuff, let's see how much I can actually carry. Will I actually be able to get all of it? I wonder. I opened up the shulker box and was like, oh, my goodness. But, yeah, like, literally, the raid farm is just going to be so useful. We literally have unlimited emeralds. I'm definitely going to end up spending quite a few hours over at the uh, raid farm. Um, just because, yeah, it, it gives a lot of emeralds, which is really, really useful. So um, let me just see if we can carry any more of this stuff. If we take a look inside of the chests, you can pretty much see that we've got everything out there, like when it comes down to the prismarine stuff. Like if we look in here, we've got basically a shulker box full. And then in here, I've tried to fit as much as I can. So yeah, at some point, I'm going to come back here and obviously, you know, bring some more shulker boxes. Same with the raid farm. When I go to the raid farm next, I'm obviously going to go like insane with it and just bring a bunch of shulkers. But what I want to go ahead and do right now is I want to show Zetro the load stone block which I don't think he is familiar with so I'm gonna go and show him that and then I'm also going to start on a bit of a turtle farm as well well kind of like a turtle farm but I guess it's more of like a place for turtles to hang out if that makes sense so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back and let's meet up with Zetro and I'll show him the lodestone block real quick let's just head up to our shulker box collection which is what I like to call it so let's just put this here put this there and let's fill up this shulker box with all of our prismarine stuff so let's put that there I'm already starting to see how many emeralds we're going to be getting in the upcoming episodes and Let's just say it's going to be a lot, like seriously. I am actually so proud of what we've done today with the farms. Like it's literally helped us out so much, but I'm just more happy about the fact that we're going to have millions and millions of emeralds. But now though, let's just go make this lodestone and then I want to start on this turtle farm. And while we're doing that kind of turtle area, I want to talk about what we're going to be getting up to with my base. Let's just quickly check on Spike and Blue. You guys are kind of just chilling here. I like it. I, I think we need to extend a little bit of a house to them. In fact, guys, comment down below. Should we make Spike and Blue their separate house? houses but make them huge should we give like blue his own massive like bird area where he can just fly around and have a bunch of fun and should we give spike his own little run around area just guys let me know down below in the comments and also what should we call it so guys let me know should we do that for blue and spike comment down below it would really mean a lot so yeah let me know so to make this lodestone what we actually need is we need one netherite ingot so we have to head down to the dome and go to our secret room and grab the netherite and then we will make it and surprise Etro with it because i'm pretty sure he has no idea what this block is because well 
it's quite new and I just don't think he will have any idea. So it's going to be really interesting to see if he has any idea what it is. All right, so we've got what we needed. Let's get out of here and let's make this lodestone. And we also quickly need to use our stone cutter. So I think we need eight of these, I'm pretty sure. So let's get eight of our chiseled stone brick. Let's just go ahead and get that. Boom, just like that. And then I think to make it, we just need to surround the netherite with that there it is there is the lodestone okay so this will actually give us achievement like you guys know like we're also on that achievement grind in this minecraft world as well so what we're going to do is we're going to make a compass and then we'll take this into the nether and we'll surprise etra so i've got everything for the compasses let's just put them in here boom just like this and then there we go so we've got two compasses and a lodestone so let's just go and get zetro so here we are with zetro so zetro i'm going to show you something which i'm hoping you haven't ever seen before so let's go into the nether and let me show you okay zetro just follow me through here and let's go up here so this is where i want to place it so I'm hoping you haven't ever seen this block before, but if you have, it's it's fine. But have you ever seen this? I haven't. I, I, no, I haven't. All right, let me actually show you what it's for. There you go. Uh, it just, it just looks cool, maybe. Right, let's just say, yeah, there we go. All right, so, do you know what it does yet? No, no. So, so, where, where is it pointing to constantly? Like, where is it always pointing to? Oh. That block? Yes, like that's what this is for. Oh. So basically, whenever you're like out in the nether, no matter where you go, if you have that compass on you, you'll always find your way back. So let me get the achievement as well. There we go. So we both have the achievement. I'm actually pretty happy with that. So as I said, we are on the grind to get all those achievements, and this is basically one of them. I'll see you later, Zetra. I'm actually going to go and do some stuff with some turtles. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh my goodness, that looked like you're about to fall. All right, so I'll see you in a bit, man. Here they are. These are the turtles that actually got me the turtle eggs to build the gold farm. Here they are. And they're doing just fine in their little kind of, like, s sand here. So, I'd say this is pretty good for now. I mean, the main point is, is just to make sure that they can't get out anywhere. So, let me actually just make, like, a little bit of a floor here as well. So, no, this isn't meant to look good or anything like that. It's literally a very temporary area where I can actually just put all of these turtles in here and let them just roam around. And also get a bunch of eggs and stuff like that to kind of start off our little turtle kind of... I mean, I guess you would call it a turtle farm. we got, like, a turtle over there going around. And we've got, like, a bunch of these kind of eggs that we're just going to kind of place around. we got a bunch of these cracking. And in the next episode, we will definitely return here and see if they have all cracked open, which they obviously will have. And I mean, it's going to be pretty crazy to see all of the turtles kind of roaming around this little area. And I mean, this is very temporary. So when we get a lot more turtles, we are definitely going to have to make it look a little bit better. But guys, you may have heard me say earlier in the episode that we have some major stuff planned for the base. And when I say we are going to make one of the biggest and best bases ever, we are going to go extreme. We are going to go absolutely insane with this base that I want to make. I want to have auto everything. I want to have auto smelters, auto brewers, auto storage i want to have everything in there i just want it to be like the best minecraft base that i can possibly build and honestly i'm really looking forward to it obviously we've got all these farms set up in this episode so we have so much just to help us do it and i mean i don't know when these are going to crack they look like they're very close to cracking so i'm just going to kind of leave it to it but apart from that guys i think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode and now i'm unsure if i want to do the outro inside of the dome of life or at the city. So why not just do it at both? So as I already said, we are going to go ahead and end this episode. So this has been a really, really good one. We got so much done. We got all the farms ready and we now have everything prepared for the massive base that we're going to be working on. I am talking, this base is just going to be insane. I'm so excited to get to work on it and it's just going to be crazy. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And apart from that, have a great rest of your day and peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. So, if you look around us right now, we are all by ourselves out the front of the Dome of Life. But, there is a very good reason for this, because what we're about to do is we are going to give Prod a very, very good gift. Like, trust me, this gift is going to be pretty crazy. So, if you watched the last episode, you will know that we got ourselves the OP Raid Farm. Now, this Raid Farm can generate insane amounts of emeralds and insane amounts of totems of undying. So... Yeah, we may have gone and got Prod a pretty big gift, and we're going to give him this shulker box. So, uh, just take a look. Um, so, as you can see, we have near enough about five stacks of emeralds and a ton of totems of undying. So, I can guarantee he doesn't have to worry about ever losing his stuff again, because with these totems, I think he's going to be set for a very long time. So, what we're going to do to start this episode off is we're going to go ahead and give Prod this shulker box. But more importantly, in this episode, we are going to be starting on a huge base build where everything inside of this base is going to be automated so we're talking automatic storage rooms we're talking automatic farms and we are even talking automatic 
potion brewers and a bunch more stuff in fact let me tell you everything that i want to get in this space by the time it is finished so as i've already said i want to get an automatic storage room automatic farm and automatic smelter but that is only a small amount of stuff that i want to do on this base i want to also do a random mob farm a massive enchantment room a nether room a animal farm and also a pet room because obviously we can't forget about spike and blue of course and some other things i wanted to add include a massive beacon room which is kind of themed around like a laboratory type build and also a shulker room so we basically have a place to kind of store all of our shulker boxes so as you can see on that massive list we have a lot of work to do with this base and of course we can't get all of this finished in one episode but we can get a few things finished bit by bit so that is what we're going to be doing in today's episode we're going to be working on that base and also i want to do some stuff with maps as well i want to get some maps sorted out maybe even go back to the turtle area from last episode basically as you can tell We've got a busy episode ahead of us, so we might as well just jump straight into it. But before we go ahead and, like, obviously check up on Spike and stuff, we got to go ahead and give Prod his shulker box of gifts. So let's get me up with Prod, and let's go and deliver him all of his stuff. So let's get the fireworks, and let's go. All right, Prod, so you're probably a little bit confused of why I've asked you to join me out the front of the Hyper Mall, but trust me, it's worth your time. Okay, so you know how we've obviously got the raid farm going, and, you know, we've basically got quite a few automated farms, and getting emeralds might be a little bit easier than it once was. Let me just, let me just say I've got you a little gift. Okay. All right, so it's in this shulker box, and I, I, you can keep the shulker box. That's fine with me. But let me show you what I've got you. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Check it out. Just go ahead. Take a look in that shulker. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nearly five stacks of emeralds and a bunch of totems of undying. So, uh, Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Honestly, it's all good. You can keep the shulker and everything. So, I mean, you shouldn't lose any of your stuff, all right? You know, you've got, like, plenty of totem of undyings in there, so... Appreciate it. Thank you. No worries. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is start work on the base. But before I do that, I need to go ahead and check on Spike and Blue. But, Prod, thank you for joining me out the front of the... Hyper Mall, I appreciate it, and I'll catch you around some other time, right? Yeah, see ya. Okay, so now we have given Prod his gift. Let's just go ahead and check out how Spike and Blue are doing. And, yeah, it's not even a surprise at this point. Of course, Spike would be sat on the staircase instead of the carpet. But, Blue, you know what? I'm happy that you like the carpet. But, anyway, as I was saying, Spike, how are you doing right now, man? Are you doing good? <laughs> All right, interesting as always. And, Blue, what about you? Wait, hold on just a second, Blue. Are you serious? That is actually crazy, but I'm glad you guys are getting along and everything like that. But actually, in the new base I'm going to be building, I'm actually going to be getting you guys a brand new house in there. You know, a brand new massive place where you guys can chill out. Maybe like some sort of big outdoor jungle underground or something like that. You know, like how, how that sound to you guys? You know what? Seeing as you guys just seem way too excited for that idea, we've got to make it happen in the new base. What we are about to go ahead and do is find a place to build this massive base. And guys, when I say this thing is going to be massive, it is going to be huge. All jokes aside, though, I am actually really excited to go ahead and start building this. So we're going to go ahead and probably find some place down here to go ahead and build it. And it's it's going to be pretty big. It's going to be impressive. So let's just go ahead and start work on it. So let's go. All right. So let me show you what it is looking like so far. So if we go down here and take a right, you'll pretty much be able to see that I have dug out the main sort of area. And all I have now is to just kind of make the rooms and stuff like that. So here... It is. Not only do we have one floor, not only do we have two floors, but we have three floors inside of this base. And if you're wondering where the rooms are going to go, there's going to be a room in each of these kind of sides. So one there, one there, one there. And then the same thing goes for like all of the other floors. So pretty much wherever you see a kind of flat side like this, there is going to be a room inside of it. So in total, I think it's about 11 rooms, not including obviously the one up there where you get into this place. But down here is where a beacon holder is. So I'm going to basically make this thing like all the way up to the top. And it's going to be like a massive sort of thing that looks cool and it's going to hold a beacon so I can't wait for this to be done because well it's just going to look absolutely crazy so let me show you guys the kind of rooms that I have planned out right now so what I want to do is an automatic storage sorter system room so in one of the rooms I want to have obviously a storage room but it's not going to be any storage room it's going to be an automatically organized storage room so if I chuck something in a chest it will just automatically organize itself throughout the whole entire system which is going to be crazy by the way and then another thing I want to do is an auto farm as well as an auto smelter a random mod farm an enchantment room, a nether room, an animal room, and also how can we forget about Spike and Blue? We will be adding a pet room and then also we'll be doing a massive beacon room, which will kind of look like a laboratory. And then finally, 
we are also making a shulker box room, which is going to be like a really cool place to store a bunch of shulker boxes. So they are the kind of starter rooms I want to do. Obviously, we have a lot of space in this thing, so there's going to be a lot of added rooms in the future. So yeah, as I was saying, this is obviously just the very start, so we have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on making the floor, making it look a little bit nicer in the main area, and then we can start on obviously making the rooms and stuff like that. But guys, as you can probably tell, I'm really excited to build this thing. I think it's going to be one of the best underground sort of bases I've ever seen, and I'm just really excited to make it all come to life so guys that is where i'm going to go ahead and start on this thing and hopefully get it to a really really good point and then we can also show the others so guys let's get to work on this insane and massive base let's go so after a lot of hard work a bunch of resource gathering and tons of building we have finally got the first floor looking pretty good if i do say so myself so let's go take a look if we go in here this is the first floor check it's out. I've completely changed up the type of building themes we've been doing and I've just sort of done something new to kind of keep everything looking fresh. Also, really quickly, make sure you guys leave some name suggestions down below in the comments of what we should call this brand new base. But this is it. We've got the beacon in the middle there. We've got these kind of lights in the ceiling. We've got lanterns. We've got dark prismarine, which dark prismarine was pretty easy to get thanks to our ocean monument farm I built in the last episode. But apart from that, this is looking pretty good. And obviously, the second and third floor aren't quite finished yet because we're going to be concentrating on the first floor today. And then down here, we've kind of got, I've, I guess you could say, I've kind of started work on this down here, but I don't know if I want to get it finished because I think this needs a little bit more planning. I think I kind of dove into just doing this beacon holder thing really quick. So I think I might hold off and maybe just have a little time to think of what I really, really want to do down here. So, I mean, this beacon thing, it may be completely different, maybe in the next episode or something like that. I think it definitely needs a change or something. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, let's focus on what we've got to do. So let's talk about what each room at the first floor is going to be used for. So as you can see, I've marked out the doors of each room already. So in this one over here, is the one we're going to be working on first. So this is going to be an automatic chest sorter organizing system. I don't know if I said that right, but basically it's going to be a very, very useful thing and something I've wanted to do for ages. Now, moving on over to here, this is going to be the auto smelter room slash kind of staircase because what I want to do is I want on the left and right side to be kind of two auto smelters and then directly in the middle, I want there to be a staircase so you can get down to the second floor. And then over here, over here is going to be something which I'm really, really looking forward to work on. This in here is going to be Spike and Blue's brand new home. So it's going to be a really, really cool, like, underground jungle theme. It may sound a little bit crazy, to be honest, but it's going to be really, really nice. So pretty much in here will just be Spike and Blue's new home. And yeah, so for now in this episode, I want to get the auto smelter done and also the automatic chest organizer. And then once I've done that, I want to start on, like, a big map kind of wall so we can kind of have, like, a really cool map area. So yeah, let's just start on this automatic chest room and then the smelter room and then we will go and do that. So let's just go and get everything. I'm pretty sure we're just going to need a few little bits of redstone and also some things like repeaters and chests and then we can get to work on doing this. So let me get everything sorted and then I will catch you guys up. All right, so I've got everything that we need to make this automatic storage system. We've got the hoppers, we've got the chests and everything like that. And yes, my inventory is so messy right now. I know we've got like all of these building blocks and these kind of like redstone stuff down here, but we need to start on this. One, two, three, four, five, do that there and then also do the exact same thing on the top just like that and then I messed this one up oops so then we've got that on that side and then we'll do the exact same thing on this side so let's just go one two three four so that's five in total with this ace two beacon this is just so nice to do like look how fast we go ready boom just just look at the speed we go with our pickaxe all right so let's get the hoppers back out let's go so basically I'm building the exact same system on that side as I'm building on this side let's also put hoppers on the top bits of the chest like this and let's just do it on this side so I'm literally just replicating what I'm doing on one side on the other so that's just how that's gonna go also if I haven't mentioned already huge credit goes out to Shulkercraft for this design it's going to really be useful obviously with like automatic storage it's just going to make life a lot easier when obviously organizing chests and stuff like that because it does it completely automatically okay so we've got the whole entire system all set up on this side i'm still yet to do it on this side but that is what it looks like obviously we're going to need to cover all these hoppers and stuff like that make it look a little bit nicer but apart from that this should work i haven't actually tested it yet and i'm a little bit nervous to test it because as i said i'm not 100 sure it fully works yet so what we're going to do is we are going to try it out so in this one i'm going to put stone brick in this one it's got cobblestone this one has got stone, gravel, and also glass. So, I mean, as I said, we obviously can extend this all the way down there and make it basically an infinite storage if we want to. But let's try it out with these five blocks. So, I think I actually have some cobblestone on me right now. So, if we put the cobblestone in that chest, it should automatically sort itself. So, as you can see, it's automatically getting taken out of that chest. Now, let's hope it doesn't sort itself into any of these other chests. Okay, let's go in the cobblestone one. Is it working? Okay, if we go in this one. Yes, it's working. This is actually crazy. This is a fully automated storage system. No organizing is needed from me. It just does it all by itself. Wait, do I have any other block we can test it on? Let me go and- Oh my goodness. I actually can't believe it. This is insane. Imagine this 
on a massive scale all the way like hundreds and hundreds of blocks that way also let's just check this chest works okay so as you can see there's no chest here for lanterns so if we put lanterns in here what should happen is it kind of goes, okay, a lantern can't fit in any of those, and it should go into this one, which it does. There it is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do that side, and then we're going to start on the automatic smelter, and then we're going to do some stuff with maps. So let's go ahead and make this look a little bit better, and then we will start with that. So let's go. All right, so here it is. So if you're wondering why I've left the back wall like this, it's because I'm always going to be expanding this down that way, so I kind of need to leave that as it is for now, just because I'm always going to need to have to break it down and extend it. But... Apart from that, this is what it's looking like. So, pretty much when this chest has space, we would just start moving things over from the shulker box in there, and it will automatically move its way into the chests. I'm really glad that we finally got one of these done, but now what we've got to do is we've got to start on the auto smelter. So, for this, I think I need around, like, 50 hoppers or something crazy like that. So, we've got to go ahead and do a bunch of crafting, and then I'll catch you guys up when we're about to go ahead and make this. And I think we might go and get Zetro to test this thing out with us. So, let's go get the blocks and all the items that we need, and then let's pretty much start on it. So, let's go. Take a look at the amount of hoppers we have. 48 hoppers. That is crazy. But that is the amount we need to make this auto smelter. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is kind of mine out a little area for it and build it in here. All right, so this is what it is currently looking like. So we've got a bunch of hoppers down here leading to the chest. We've got all these hoppers up here leading into the furnaces. And if you want me to just go on top really quickly so I can kind of show you guys what's going on, this is what it looks like from above. So you've got the normal rails here, and then you've got the powered rails all the way over to here. So that is what it's looking like right now. And then obviously it's got a bunch of hoppers pointing to the back of the furnace here. So let's just finish this thing off. All right, so Zetro. Um, before we go ahead and test something out, which is why I've kind of brought you here, I want to show you my fully automated storage system. So, um, actually, just go ahead and take maybe like a, let me see, take a stack of prismarine shards, or just take the prismarine shards and just put them in this chest real quick. Just, just pop them in there. Alright, yeah, they're in there. Alright, now take a look, take a look. Ah. Alright, so that isn't really what I want to show you. What I actually want to show you is something new I've been working on. So, I've got a stack of coal in my hand, and also a stack of potatoes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try out my fully automated smelter all right check this out all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in and put the fuel in so just wait there a second if i put the coal in this one and the potatoes in this one i believe and give it a second to fill up what should happen is when i flick this lever it should automatically just start like pretty much cooking all the potatoes so um i'll give you the honors of trying out just flick the levers Zetro. go for it all right there we go okay yes yes this is working yes it's working. So what's going to happen is the minecart's going to keep coming back and forth and keep putting coal and potatoes in each of the furnaces. And let's see how fast it's doing all of this. So let's check the output chest. Look at that. Look at the amount of potatoes. That's actually sick. That's actually really cool. So imagine this with iron or just like how easy this is going to be for ores. Okay, I'm glad it works. But guys, this is the automatic smelting room. So down there is obviously the staircase to get down to the second floor. So now we have a fully automated pretty much system for storage. And now we have one for cooking things. It can be ores, it can be any anything that you can put in a furnace and cook is basically what you're able to do here. So if you have stone, you want to turn it to stone brick. You can do that here. So Zetro, obviously you can come here anytime and, you know, use the system whenever you want. So what do you think of it, though? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's actually sick. I, I didn't expect this. I'm not going to lie. When I looked in that chest, I didn't expect that. Look at that. Already cooked a stack of potatoes. And actually, I needed that. So guys, what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is sort out a map and pretty much start on, like, a little bit of, like, a map wall. But Zetro, thank you for joining me. And um, feel free to use that whenever you want. You can even use my organized storage. I don't mind. You can use whatever you want. But guys, what we're going to go and do now is sort out some maps. So let's go do that. Okay, so I've been messing around a little bit with the cartography table, as you can see. And this map right here is the one that I've been experimenting with. Now, this is as big as one single map can go, and it covers a huge amount of space. So, as you can see, I've kind of flew over in that direction towards, like, the Hyper Mall and stuff, just to see how big this thing really is. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see how much this map I can fill up with this amount of fireworks. So I've gone to the creeper farm. I've got a bunch of gunpowder. I've also got a bunch of sugar cane. So we're going to turn this all into paper as well. And we are going to make a bunch of fireworks. So let's just go ahead and put all of this in here. Let's just make all of these fireworks just like that. Boom. Okay, so as you can see... We have a bunch of fireworks. We have some flight duration twos as well. But this is seriously a crazy amount of fireworks. So I'm going to put this in one hand here. And we're just going to fly around and see how much of this map we can cover. And I also didn't realize, look at the amount of XP we have. Yeah, we can probably go and enchant some stuff before we end this episode. So let's just go ahead and fly around and see how much of this map we can get covered. As you can see, we actually do it pretty fast for the amount of space we're covering. So if we go over here towards, I don't know if I've showed you guys this, but Prod made a huge creeper farm. Way better than the other one we had. So the amount of gunpowder we get in this is absolutely crazy and what i'm pretty sure prod's working on right now which we should fly over any minute if we go in that direction is a brand new iron farm now the iron farm that we have we made it a bunch of episodes ago it's 
really old and it's not really efficient so what prod's going to be doing or what he's doing at the moment i think is making an iron farm which is like 10 times better so um yeah we're gonna have to stop by and see what that's looking like but let's fly over here at zetro's castle and let's see how much of this map we can get covered okay so i would say we're pretty much done with the map but actually here is where prod is building the iron farm i was talking about if you take a look this is going to be a lot better than the one that we were building but also guys i don't know if you've noticed but just just look at the top of my house where's it gone um well i'll tell you what happened a lightning bolt actually hit the top of my house and burnt most of it off but luckily it didn't burn off too much so the work that we've got to do to kind of make it back to what it was looking like really isn't that big like it was only a bit of wood that it took off the top obviously it's made out of like a little bit of stone brick and glass so luckily that can't burn but the rest of it did, so it won't be that hard to fix. So what I think we are going to do right now is just go ahead and get an item frame, and then we need to find a place to put this map, and then we will put it in the item frame. So let's just go get one. So inside of this shulker box, we actually have some item frames, so let's go ahead and take one of these, and I think I want to put it kind of in the top of my house. Maybe we should put it where Spike and Blue is for now, before they actually move into their new home, which should be ready for the next episode. So really quickly, though, let's just go ahead and put that map over here. Here we go. Let's see if this looks good. Put that there, put the map inside, and boom. Honestly, not looking too bad, but what I want to do is I want to get a massive map table, and I'm talking a huge one. I want to do about, like, maybe 12 of these maps and put it together. I don't even know if that's possible, but I'm pretty sure it is that you can get, like, a 9x9 nine nine of uh, maps. I, I think you can do that, so that is something I want to do, but guys, Spike and Blue... In the next episode, you guys will be moving into a much larger area. We're talking like a massive little underground place for you guys. Are you, are you excited? I mean, you know, I've already asked if you guys are excited and you guys seem pretty excited. So I'm really, really looking forward to doing that for you guys. But I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. So hopefully you all did enjoy. We got so much done. We gave Prod his gift. We made this massive base, which is in the works now. We've got the automatic chest organizer. We got the automatic smelter. We are also going to be building Spike and Blue, their brand new home. We got the map done. Honestly, it was such a good episode. So hopefully you all did enjoy and yeah apart from that have a great rest of your day guys and peace All right, so we are fully done with it and uh, I'm gonna show you guys but I can't help but notice prod Look over there. I don't know if you can just about see but is that is that Zetro very faintly over there working on a build? <laughs> I think I think it is. I think this is probably the luckiest you can get with ancient debris. I'm I'm just straight up saying that right now. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. So as you can see right now, we are inside of the brand new base. Now, Prod, what do you think of this base? Do you think it looks nice? Like, what's your opinion on this? I really like the blocks that you use. They they're really really nice, and they they match really well. Well, Prod, you know what? I appreciate that because I put a lot of thought into this block selection. So guys. Really quickly though, before we even talk about what we're going to be doing in today's episode, let me show you something. So if we head down to the dome right now and check out all of our valuable chests, let me show you what we find. Alright, so if we just head on into here and just check out all these chests, uh, yeah. As you can see, we pretty much have barely any valuables left. I've pretty much used up everything, and if we even go into the secret room right now and go ahead and see what we have in here... Uh, yeah, we, we literally only have like 18 diamonds and I think we have like another 30 diamonds up in our shulker boxes So as you guys can see We're running low on valuables, which means I think to start this episode We need to go ahead and do a good old-fashioned mining trip So I guess let's just head over to the mine We've got our silk touch pickaxe and we've also got a fortune pickaxe So I'm gonna get all of the ores with our silk touch pickaxe And then when we return home, we will mine all with our fortune pickaxe and see how much valuables we can get in total Hopefully we'll be able to fill up all of our valuable chests to the absolute maximum And when it comes to emeralds, we can obviously use the raid farm or even trade with villagers I mean getting emeralds is really easy, but I think I just want to go and get a bunch of coal iron just get all the basic valuables because honestly we've been running pretty low on it so let's just go ahead and do that all right so seeing as i want to get a bunch of stuff while mining we might as well bring some shulker boxes with us for some extra storage and also while we're up here we gotta go ahead and say hi to spike and blue so guys how are you doing today spike you're obviously chilling there on the staircase but you know what how's your day going man is it going good all right interesting as always and blue what about you man how's your day going Whoa, wait, Blue, you actually serious, bro? That's actually kind of crazy. So, as I said, though, you guys will be moving into your brand new houses today. We're going to be making a massive little area that you guys can go around in. It's not going to be as small as this. It's actually going to be pretty big, so I'm really excited to give you guys that. But right now, though, we need to go ahead and we need to start this mining trip. So, let's go. Okay, so I'm in a completely new area, which I haven't mined in yet. So, hopefully, we have a lot more chances of finding some good stuff and some unexplored caves and stuff like that. So, as I said, I'm pretty much going to be silk-touching everything, like coal, iron. We're going to come out of this mining trip with a lot of 
valuables, and I mean a lot. So I am hoping once we're done with this mining trip, I should be able to fill up two shulker boxes just filled with ores and stuff like that. That would be honestly really, really good if we could do that, because that means we won't have to worry about getting valuables or mining for quite a little bit. I mean, if we do need to go ahead and get it, and oh, nope, there's lava. I'm pretty sure the only valuables that we will need after this mining trip is pretty much emeralds, but we can do that easily. I mean, you guys saw in the last episode, if you did see, we gave a pretty crazy gift to Prod, but I don't know if there is going to be diamonds in this cave. It just does look like one of those caves that will give diamonds. So let's just go and give it a little look. So I've explored this cave and there's nothing too good. But guys, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to keep mining and I'll update you guys if I find anything good or like diamonds and stuff like that. Here we go. We've just found some diamonds. I literally walked right over them and I had no idea they were there until I like turned around and saw them. But how many are we going to get right now? So I think this might be a vein of eight. And yep, I think it is. All right. So let's just silk touch all of this like that. Boom. All right. So Prod, I have literally just been on probably like a good two, three hour mining trip, right? And... The reason I've asked you to come here on top of the powerhouse, which is, um, sorry about the chickens, by the way, but this is a very weird place that I've brought you. Now, to be honest, the reason I brought you on the powerhouse is because you can, you can see it's pretty flat, right? You know, it's got quite a lot of space. Check out these shulker boxes. I kind of need your help just placing all of this down. Um, yeah, maybe go in some layers like this. So do like one layer. I'll move my shulker boxes over here. Let me just do that real quick. All right, so we are fully done with it, and uh, I'm going to show you guys, but I can't help but notice, Prod, look over there. I don't know if you can just about see, but is that, is that Zetro very faintly over there working on a build? <laughs> I think, I think it is. Let's go and have a little look. Oh, oh, this is actually looking pretty good. Honestly, oh. it's looking pretty fresh. You know what, though, Prod? Let's just go. Oh, my goodness, Prod. Look at the powerhouse. Look above it. I don't know whether to keep this here. This is, guys, I mean, I'm going to have to mine it, but... Just imagine having this on the powerhouse all times, and just every time I go mining, I add on to it. But guys, this is what about three hours or so of mining looks like. We got just over a stack of diamonds, tons of coal, but you know what, guys? The satisfying part of all of this is putting every single piece of ore that we find in this into the auto smelter. That's that's just going to be so satisfying. But Prod, you know what? I appreciate you for letting me help, and you know what? When, when I've mined all of this, Prod, I'll give you some diamonds, alright, a little bit later. So, uh, I do appreciate it, though. What do you think about this? Should I leave it on the powerhouse? You know, it's looking pretty fresh. There are a lot of ores here, but I think, you know, it's going to be worth it if you mine them. Yeah, it's going to take me a little bit of time, but it's going to be worth it. So guys, we just got to go ahead and mine this. And as I said, I'll maybe leave some of these diamonds in your little letterbox you got outside your house just for helping me. Thanks. And um, wish me luck. I've got, I've got to go and mine all of this now. So good luck. All right. I appreciate it. Let's get all this mined. This is honestly just too satisfying to look at. And it's just going to be a little bit sad to see it go. But you know what? I kind of need the diamonds. I need the valuables. So let's get on top and let's start mining. Okay, let's just see how many diamonds we're going to get from all of these pieces of ore. Oh, this is going to take ages. Just look how slow we're doing it. I mean, this isn't even that slow, but there's just like 20 layers of ores. Okay, we're up to about a stack of diamonds, though. All right, let's stand on all of these diamonds at the same time and see if we can get up to a stack. If we can get maybe even four stacks. Not four stacks, but around about three and a half stacks. Let's just go. Okay, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Three stacks of diamonds and six. All right, so I'm just realizing this now. Why did I think it would be a good idea to place the iron and the gold here as well. But on the bright side, we are making very good progress. I've already filled up about a half a shulker box full of all this stuff, so it's going pretty good. And I've also got my shovel in my offhand, so we are getting that mending. Here we go. We are onto the last few coal blocks right now. I have literally no inventory space. So I'm going to go and have to quickly store all of this stuff. Actually, thinking about it, we should probably head over to the auto smelter now, just so we can go back and pick up some of that coal. Will it let me get over this? Come on. Okay, there we go. So yeah, let's just go down to the auto smelter, put all of this stuff in. And while all of it's smelting, I think we should actually start on building the brand new place which Spike and Blue are going to be living in. So let's just go ahead and smelt all of this, then we'll do that, and then I think what we're going to be doing is heading to the nether with Zetro. Why is there random pieces of dirt in here? But anyway, so I think what we're going to be doing is heading to the nether with Zetro with about 20 stacks of TNT. So let's grab all of this iron really quickly, put it all in here. We'll do all of the iron first, and then we'll do all of the gold. In fact, what we can do is we can do both at the same time, but let me just get all of the iron first. Okay, so before we build this pet farm, we've got to go ahead and we've got to actually turn this on. So let's just go here really quickly. I don't know what's with the random dirt. Boom. Check how satisfying it is. All of it goes into there. So by the time we've built Blue and Spike's brand new home, all of this should be done and we can go ahead and take it all out. And I almost forgot once we've done with all of the stuff, we actually have to name the brand new base. And also, guys, comment down below any suggestions for the pet area that we should actually call it. So let's go ahead and start on the pet area. And also, once we've done that, we actually have to name the brand new base. So let's hope all of this gets cooked by the time we come back down here. Hopefully it should be done. So I'm just going to leave this on, let it do its thing, and yeah, come back and see if it's all done by the time we build the brand new pet area. Okay, so let's just get right into the build. So this first room right here is actually 
actually going to be spikes room so what i've tried to do is i've tried to take the outdoors and put it into the indoors if that makes any sense i've actually tried to make like a little bit of like an outdoor cave um so with this room i'm actually pretty proud of it the way i've lit it up and the way i've layered all the dirt to make it look like a cave looks really really good in my opinion and for all of the rooms i've built in this build the floors go a little bit crazy with blocks i've used so many different blocks to make the floors look good you guys can see right here i'm just kind of adding some flowers making it look a little bit natural i've added spike a little mini bridge which he can sit on in the middle there which i think looks really good and i've also added some slabs to kind of make it look like a cave and round it off a little bit so for this build i think i made about three rooms in total now the middle room that you will see is actually a bit of a sand theme room now for this room it was originally just going to be really really plain but then i thought it looked a bit too plain so i ended up adding a mini ocean monument inside of the middle of the room which i think looks really really good it's honestly not meant to look amazing it's just like something to kind of i guess make the room look less plain so um yeah no animals will be living in this room in fact if, if you do want any animals living in this room make sure to comment down below maybe we can get a third pet on the go um also make sure you guys comment down below what we should actually call this pet area if we get any good suggestions of course we'll add your name and also the name that you guys have decided so for this room this is actually going to be blues room it's pretty much just like a little bit of a cave and for the floor of this room the amount of blocks i've used is pretty crazy i've got so many different blocks on the floor but i think in the end this build actually turned out looking pretty nice Alright, so the brand new pet area is done. Spike and Blue, say goodbye to this house. You know, it's been really good for you. The carpet, Spike, you've obviously loved the carpet, right? And Blue, I mean, you haven't even been here that long. But guys, the new pet area is built. So guys, comment down below what we should call it. And let's go show Spike where he's going to be going. And let's show Blue where he's going. So Blue, if you just want to get on my shoulder real quick. Alright, so we've got Blue right there. Spike, let's unsit you. Follow me. And let's go show you your brand new homes. Okay, so really quickly, I might actually have to be careful going down these stairs so Blue doesn't fall off. But is Spike following me? Yes, he is. Alright, let's go and bring these guys down here. So here we go, Spike. This is where you're going to be living. You're going to be sat right here on this little bench right here and also guys someone commented down below now i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find the comment but massive massive credit to whoever told me to put bookshelves inside of spike's room because of like the interesting stories he always has to tell so if i can't find that comment you know who you are thank you for that idea because honestly if it wasn't for you i wouldn't have put these in here so i'll try my best to find the comment but here we go spike come over here man just I don't know why you're not, I don't know why you're not following me, come on. There we go, so this is Spike's brand new home, let's go and take Blue over to his, but honestly guys, I really like the way it looks in here, it's really, really cool, I think I need to sort out a little bit of a doorway over there, because the doorway's a bit messy, but let's go and bring Blue over to where he's gonna go, let's carefully walk down here through this little area, and Blue, this is where you're gonna go, man, so let me try and get you on here off my shoulders, this is gonna be a bit tricky, but I really wanted Blue to sit there, because I feel like it'd be a little bit of a better place for him to sit, but you know what, if he doesn't want to sit there, he can sit there for now. If you have any good name suggestions of what we can call this, please let me know down below in the comments, we'll put a sign right here with your name and obviously the name that you choose so yeah if we find any of them good we'll obviously name this so yeah make sure to leave some name suggestions down below in the comments but apart from that this is their brand new area honestly i'm really really proud of it i think it looks really really good let's just check blue still there yep blue is definitely still there but i really want him to sit there hopefully we'll sort that out soon but guys what i think we're going to do now is we're going to name the brand new base and then we're going to be going to the nether with zetro and then working on a little bit of a hoggling farm because you can actually get so much pork chops and stuff from working on that so let's just name this and then meet up with zetro all right so this is the name we are going with the orb of dominance so massive credit to you. I'll actually put the comment on screen and everything like that. But I actually think this name is pretty good. It definitely looks um, a little bit too big for the sign. But you know what? It just sounds like a really good name. So what I think we're going to be doing now, though, is now that we've done the pet area and stuff like that, we are going to meet up with Zetro and work on a new farm. All right. So we're with Zetro right now. And thanks to Prod's brand new creeper farm design. Check out how much gunpowder we have in these shulker boxes. A full shulker box filled with gunpowder and in this one we have about half a shulker box so let's just take some of this gunpowder out and let's see how many stacks we can make i think it'll be about eight stacks if i have done the math correctly all right so there's one stack let's see how many more we can make okay so after making all of that sand and gunpowder into tnt look at the amount we have we have around about nine stacks of tnt so what we're going to do right now is head over to the nether and just literally see how much ancient debris we can get if we don't end up with like at least maybe like half a stack or maybe even a stack of ancient debris all right so we've made it to the nether i think we should just go in this direction and see if there's any kind of like unexplored areas uh and then just maybe put all the tnt down there so etc we found the place we want to mine but you know what? i think we should make this a little competition okay so you take all of your nine stacks of tnt i take all of my nine stacks you go that direction i go this direction and we see who can get the most ancient debris i'm nervous because this took a lot of work to get but yeah i'm, I'm ready i'm ready Honestly, my, my luck with ancient debris is pretty lucky, so I'm just I'm just warning you. Alright, let me get my TNT out and uh yeah, let's just let's just go. Here we go, I've already found someone. I didn't even need to use my TNT. Wait, is that actually I've already found two. Alright, Zetro, I'm going in with my first stack of TNT. Okay, come on. Oh, that was close. That was yeah, close. I nearly exploded all your TNT, but have we got any luck? Oh Ooh, yep, two. I see some over there. 
Could be more though. Could be more. I'm gonna go do my first one. You got two right. veins so far. Uh, yep, I've already got literally four right off the start. All right, let's go down here. All right, I'm up to about five right now. And what is that lava doing? I'm just hearing like a really annoying noise coming from the lava. What? After my first stack, in total, including the pieces I've mined, I am now on six pieces, which isn't actually that bad. Okay, let's go. Let's run all the way back here. Come on. This is another stack. This is actually going to take quite a while. I've still got like, how many is that? Like seven stacks left? Okay, so Zetro, from the second stack of TNT, I didn't get lucky at all. I found literally one piece. Ooh, okay. I already see two pieces. This is going very well. This is going very good. All right, three, two, one, boom. Four stack of TNT. Give us some more. Honestly, we're not even doing too bad. Right now, 11 ancient debris. All right, here we go. Ooh, okay. Is there any in here? I actually think I'm... Oh, no, I found one. Two, three... Four, four one five. Oh, wait, no. I'm on 17 pieces. How many are you on? And how many stacks of TNT do you have left? I'm on 15. <laughs> I've I've got about six stacks of TNT left. Right, I'm going in for my like I don't even know. I've lost count of the stack. It's like my fifth stack or something like that. I've lost count at this point. But you know what? Found some more. Yep, one over there. Found another two vein. And apart from that, I think I found in total about three pieces from a stack again. As long as I'm finding over like two pieces of in a stack, that isn't too bad. Because, you know, you're going to have unlucky attempts, you know? Give us some more ancient debris. We're up to... Actually, I don't want to say. I don't want to say. But we're, you guys you guys can see what we got right there. It's not too bad. All right. Oh, that was satisfying with the gravel, though. Looking around. One right... Oh, oh Yes. Yes, this is perfect. Just that one piece of TNT over there just didn't want to explode. Wait a minute. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, please tell me there's more. Zetro, I'm pretty sure I've just found nine in one stack of TNT. I think this is probably the luckiest you can get with ancient debris. I'm, I'm just straight up saying that right now. The amount I found with only one stack of TNT, this... I, I, this has got to be the luckiest I've ever gotten. All right, Zetra, as promised, I'm down to my last two stacks, which means I'm going to both place them down in one massive line. Let's grab this piece, make sure to mine around. Yep, you've always got to mine around. Top tip, if you guys are mining for ancient debris, even with diamonds, this is, this is a this is a very beginner tip, but always make sure you're mining around the area. All right, so in that case, Zetro, do you want to go back to the overworld and see who has the most? Yeah, can do. All right, let's go. Okay, so Zetro, there is only one way to find out who has won this competition. We're both going to build poles up out of our ancient debris, and whoever gets the highest pole obviously is the winner because they have the most ancient debris. So are you ready to go and do this? I am. All right, let's do it. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. What? Okay, is that actually... Is that it? Yeah. I, okay, I knew we were both, I knew we were both <laughs> trolling. I've actually been pranked. I actually, I actually Sorry, thought... I, that, I actually thought I was watching you though. You won by what? How much? Right, I literally I, thought you were about to whip out like another stack of something. <laughs> no, wait, but you won by what? One, two, three, four. You won by five. Oh, oh, no. No. oh, no, no, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh no. So now that we have become the winners of the ancient debris contest against Zetro, we now have to go ahead and make this hoggling farm that I've been wanting to make. So let's just go ahead and get everything sorted for that. But there we go. 55 ancient debris. I cannot wait to turn that into netherite. So yeah, let's just go and make this farm though. Okay, so to be able to make this hoglin farm, we actually need five warped fungus. So what I've actually done is I've brought some bone meal here to actually get some a little bit easier. And we're not actually getting any luck right now. Let's just keep going. All right, so we found another one and I believe we need around about five. So let's just keep going and see if we can get another one. Uh, not getting too lucky with these. I don't... Oh wait, there's one over here which I didn't see. Okay, now we only need two more to get. I didn't realize these were going to be as hard as they are to actually get. I mean, they're not hard, but I mean, these other ones are spawning a lot more often when I use bone meal. Uh, so yep, none there as well. Let's just keep going. We're going to build this thing on top of the nether like I've actually done with the other farm. The only farm that we have up there right now is the gold farm. So why not make another one, but make it a food slash leather farm. So what we're going to do is going to hop up here just like that. Boom. And we are on top of the nether. Okay. So I don't know where to build it. We actually have to build it on top of a crimson biome, which I believe could be under here maybe. So seeing as this farm isn't actually the biggest thing, I'm pretty sure we're good to build it right here, very close to the entrance of how to get on top of the nether. So I'm going to start building it here. So uh, yeah, let's just get on with it. So there we are, we are done with the farm, and if you look down there, you might be able to see one of them has just spawned in. Now, this is actually already started to work, but what I have to do is get rid of this really big pole that I've built up right here. So guys, this is the finished farm. Now, this should give us pretty much unlimited cooked pork chops and unlimited leather. So when it comes to making things like item frames, which isn't really common, you don't really make item frames too often, but when you do want to make them, you kind of, it's one of those things you want to make a lot of at once. So that is what we've done. We have basically now got an infinite resource of that, and also whenever I don't want to make potatoes now, 
now I can pretty much just come here and get unlimited cooked pork chops. So there we are. We are done now. I've actually had this set up for maybe like five or ten minutes or something. So let's see how much food we've already got. And that is about a stack of pork chops and about, I don't know, like 10 or 11 leather right there. You guys can tell how efficient this farm is and massive credit goes out to Shulkercraft for the design. So yeah, now we've got the farm done. I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. But really quickly, I almost forgot. We've got all of our like ores smelting over here. So before we actually end this episode, let's just go and check if this is done. And I mean, looking at the furnaces, this should be done. So let's turn this thing off and check all of this in here. Oh my goodness. Look at all of that. The iron, the gold. My <laughs> look at all of that. So guys, as I said though, this is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. We got a lot done today. We've got a bunch of nether right now. We went on a massive mining trip. We got the brand new pet area over there. We've got the auto furnaces going in big time with all of the ores and stuff like that. So we've also got the new farm. Can't forget about that. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you did enjoy this episode and hopefully you have a great rest of your day. I hope you've all enjoyed and peace. Zetra, I'm glad you've uh, managed to oh. come along to the little meeting if you'd just like to take a little seat right there. So, um... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you know, you're probably looking at the uh, fancy suit that I've got on right now. So, Zetro, this is probably quite shocking to you that I've that I've wanted to talk to you about this, but pretty much. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to a very, very special episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now, if you go ahead and take a look at the amount of subscribers we are on, we are over 100,000 subscribers. Let's go. Guys, we just need to take a second out the intro here just to say how honestly thankful we all are for the support and just everything, all the comments you guys leave, every single bit of support is just absolutely insane. And 100,000 subscribers is literally a dream come true. So I just want to say on behalf of everyone and just all the support we get, just a massive, massive thank you for the love and appreciation you guys show for the series and everything like that. It just, it means more than you guys think. And to be honest, we will just need to say a massive, massive thank you. Like guys, seriously, Seriously, it just means so much to all of us. So again, thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. And yeah, as I've already said so many times in this intro, just thank you guys so much for all the support. It really, really does mean a lot. So let's get into what we're going to be doing to start this episode off. Now, I don't think we haven't done anything like this yet. This is going to be the first time we've ever done something like this. And to be honest, I think we are going to outdo ourselves with this prank. So that is right. We're going to be pranking someone. And I mean, you guys can probably tell we're not going to be pranking Prod because he's literally right behind me. Uh, we're going to be keeping Keeping it a surprise of who we're going to prank until we meet up with someone else, which is who I'm going to be doing the prank on. So, guys, when I say this prank is probably, like, the most insane prank you could possibly do um, in terms of how long it's probably going to take, yeah, it's, it's going to be a pretty crazy prank. So, guys, before we get on to anything else in this episode, before we go and finish off any of our projects, before we do any building, anything like that, we're going to go ahead and we are going to do this prank. It's going to be pretty crazy, so let's just go ahead and... And let's begin this thing. But you know what? Before we even start this prank, let's head over to the Orb of Dominance and let's go ahead and check how Spike and Blue are moving into their brand new home. Let's see if they're liking it or not. So let's go in and see. Oh, yes. All right. Spike is literally here. And oh, I... Guys, I promise you right now, the last time I saw Spike, he was on here. And now he's on the staircase. Guys, I don't know if it's to do with Spike or just dogs in general. But every single time I've ever given Spike a home, he always finds a way to find a stair. It's the weirdest thing. But anyway, you know what, Spike? How are you doing, man? Are you doing good? <coughs> All right, interesting as always. And let's just go over here as well to go and say hi to Blue. Let's see how Blue's doing right now. Let's go through here into the cave. Okay, perfect. Blue, you're still right left. You know what, Blue? I really wanted you up here, but for some reason, it's pretty hard to get you up there. But anyway, Blue, how are you doing today, man? You doing good? Wait, Blue, are you actually serious right now? That's actually kind of crazy if you actually did that, by the way. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and let's begin on this prank. All right, so that is right. We are doing a prank. And would you look at that? Zetro's treehouse build is finally done. If you guys watched the last episode, you will know that Zetro has been working on this. But another thing, we are going to be doing the prank on... In fact, Zetro, are you over there right now? Okay, yeah. All right, so Zetro, go ahead and tell him. Who are we doing this prank on? Is it going to be Prod or is it going to be MD? Because obviously I'm not doing a prank on you. You're not doing a prank on me because that would be a little bit weird because... We're literally here with each other right now, so... We are going to be pranking MD. MD is getting pranked. Guys, if you know MD's house, it is a very luxurious, it's a very modern house. Actually, should we go and give him a little look at it right now? All right, so guys, obviously you all know what MD's house looks like. If we fly over to it right now, you know, it's got the pool out the front. Let's just, just, just take a look at this. He's got the little pool out the front. He's got all of his dogs and stuff. So we thought, what better to do than take his house and flip it upside down? And make it look like we've ripped it out the ground and give it a full switcheroo 
and make it go upside down. Zetro, I don't know if this is a good idea to you, but to me, this seems like a genius prank idea. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to be so funny. I actually can't wait. It might actually look better. You know, he might be thanking us, but honestly, that's <laughs> that's probably unlikely. All right, so guys, what we're going to do is we've got our axe because this is pretty much built out of wood. We've got all of our tools and we are just going to go ahead and we are just turning this thing upside down. I'm a little bit excited, but again, I'm also a little bit nervous because, well, no one's ever done any pranks before. So this is going to be like the first thing that we're doing and it's to MD's really, really nice little mansion. And I feel a little bit bad, but you know, hopefully he likes it. And also one last thing, MD, if you're watching this and you want us to turn your house back around after we've done the prank, um... I guess, I guess we'll do it. No, but seriously though, if MD does want us to flip it back around, obviously we'll do it. You know, we don't want to be too mean, but Zetro, I think we should just go ahead and start building this thing. So guys, let's go ahead and let's do the prank where we turn MD's house completely upside down. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, we need to find out how many blocks high the top point of his house is. So let's just use dirt for now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, including the slab. So... 13 blocks high, uh, Zetro's already working on breaking out the floor, and I just want to make it clear, this was, this was my idea, I don't know how I came up with this, but I thought it'd be genius, so it's about 12 blocks high, I think, right, uh, I, I might actually just recount that, alright, so it's 13 blocks high, so that's honestly not too high, so, I mean, it's more of, like, the width, like, it's quite a wide house, so, 13 blocks high, we will count how many blocks it is width ways, and, uh, yeah, apart from that, Zetro, are you prepared for this? Honestly, no, but, oh well. It'll, it will, it will be worth it, it will be worth it. It will. Oh yeah, and one more thing I want to say, MD, if you're watching this, uh, we're sorry, and please don't be mad. Oh, this is, this isn't going to go down well, is it? Okay, so, me and Zetro are finally done with turning MD's house upside down, and are you guys ready to see what it looks like? MD, I am so, so sorry. <laughs> we have got every single little detail on point, and we even managed to do the swimming pool with some blue stained glass. We've got his bow right there. The bow should actually be on the floor, technically the roof. This is actually confusing to explain this, but the bow should be there if we go inside... <laughs> we have done everything upside down the staircase upside down his furnaces all of his like workbenches I I don't even know what to say MD. I'm so sorry if we go down here You guys can see we've got his beds. I tried putting the beds on the roof It, it just wasn't happening and you guys can see or probably hear his dogs down there if we be quite a second But the thing is MD still isn't online right now, which means he has no idea that we have done this. MD, I don't know what his reaction's gonna be. I mean, to be honest, if you guys know MD, he, he, you know, he should take this as a joke, you know, he should, he should be fine with it, but at the end of the day, I've already promised Zetro, and I've promised myself. So what we're gonna do now, though, is, as you can see, I have 71 levels right now, so, while MD is still offline, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use all 71 of these levels on a bunch of netherite gear that I've got, and pretty much just try and get a bunch of max enchantments, and then, hopefully, by the time we've done that, MD should be online, and we can get his reaction to this. And really quickly, though, before before we go ahead and enchant, guys, I don't think I gave you a proper showcase of Zetro's brand new house. Now, the thing is with Zetro's house, it's over there, but I think this is actually where he's going to be living from now on. So I thought, why not show you guys it? Because honestly, this is actually a really, really impressive build. I mean, it actually looks really, really good. I mean, I think he might need to light up inside here a little bit um, in case of any mob spawns. But to be honest, this is actually looking really, really good. So I think on top of the tree is where his houses or like his little kind of rooms actually are. Now, if you look up here... This is looking really good. It's, it's literally inside of the clouds. That's how high it is. But honestly, I'm really impressed. So you know what, Zetro? I'm very impressed. But guys, what we're going to go ahead and do is just go down to our secret base, grab all the netherite, and let's go ahead and let's get all of this enchanted. Look how fresh the netherite blocks are coming along. And the funny thing is, none of the others know that I have two of these right now. So guys, later on in this episode, I'm going to be letting one other person know about my little project with the netherite beacon and stuff like that. And there's something which I haven't told you guys yet, and a massive project that I want to get done. So this is probably sounding confusing right now, but let me just tell you, once we've got all this prank done with MD, I'm going to be doing something pretty big with netherite. So, yeah, let's just quickly make a bunch of new tools and also some boots with diamonds. So, so the only problem we have now is, is if we only use these four tools and turn them into netherite, then we're going to have two spare netherite left over, which technically means we might as well do this just for the flex. I mean, 
uh, there's no other reason. I mean, I think there's an achievement that you actually get. Actually, let me have a little look. Because, well, a lot of you guys were telling me that we need to get some more achievements done. And if you actually look through all of our achievements, we actually don't have that many achievements to go. In my opinion, this is probably the hardest achievement. So... I might want to go ahead and get maybe like prod or someone to help me out with this later on. But let's actually just check. So this achievement right here is to use a netherite ingot to upgrade a hoe and then re-evaluate your life choices. So you know what? Just to get a little bit of progress on this achievement, we might as well change this into a netherite one. Which then means we'll have one netherite left over, which we can save towards our other netherite block. And I mean, if you guys want to know why I'm talking so much about netherite blocks, it will become very, very clear as this episode goes on. But really quickly, let's head over to the powerhouse though and turn all of this stuff into netherite stuff. All right, here we are inside of the powerhouse. Let's just go over here. Let's put all of this in there. So we can save this ingot right here and we can go put it back and wait. Wait, what? Oh, for some reason I thought that you had to actually use the whole entire thing until it was broken. I'm pretty sure that's another achievement you can get. But you know what? I'll take it. We've got another achievement and oh no. Why is there a creeper in there? Alright, so we've definitely got plenty of lapis, so let's just head into the archives and start enchanting. So, I think we're gonna do it just in this order right now, maybe put the pickaxe right at the end. So, let's just go ahead, put all of the lapis in here, and let's start enchanting. Okay, so let's start off with the shovel. Okay, so I'm breaking three, that's not always a great sign, but it can also mean that we can get efficiency as well on there, which, yep, that's actually a perfect shovel right there. Okay, this is going very well right now, efficiency four, I'm breaking three, fortune three. Okay, let's just do this right now, um... Okay, I don't think I have that on my current boots. So oh my goodness. Okay, apart from the protection three I think I have a protection four book over at my shop, which we can use so you know what I'll take it All right last but not least let's do the pickaxe Okay, we have got a god enchant apart from obviously we can add mending to this but there we go I mean death strider is good But I actually have a death strider book So I think i'm gonna unenchant these boots and try again for like maybe feather falling or something like that protection four and breaking three You know what that's a little bit too plain. Let's just keep going now. I don't know how rare it is to actually get oh as I say, I was about to say Feather Falling 4. I've really wanted boots with Feather Falling, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep those. I might head over to the Mythic Scrolls later on to see if there's maybe a protection book. I know that there's definitely, like, quite a few protection books, but I don't know about maybe... No, we definitely have Unbreaking. No, I actually think... We can add all the perfect stuff to these boots. Okay, that's perfect. So what we're going to do now, though, is I'm just literally going to wait and sit here until MD comes on. And then I'm just literally going to sprint over to his house, see if he's over there, and get his reaction. So, guys, I'll be back when MD is over there. So, let's go. Okay, follow us over here. Follow us over here. All right, no, I'm no, don't look up, though. Don't look up. Yeah, yeah. I'm following that track. Keep looking down. All right, just keep looking down. All right, keep, walk. Keep coming. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hang on, slow down, but I've lost you. <laughs> all right, look up in three, two, one. Oh, no. All right, there you go. What? Oh. Oh, how did you do that? Oh, that's how oh. my dogs have moved. Oh yeah. my god, I'm going home. MD, look at your swimming pool. It's literally upside down. Yeah, yeah, turn around, MD. Why don't you go, go for a little swim? <laughs> All right, so, uh, MD, what do you think of your brand new house, man? I'm going home. What do you like more? Uh, upside down or normal? Um... I can't get in this one. <laughs> but you've got your elytras on, so you might as well just use those to get in from now on. Oh, yeah. Go on, give it a try. Oh. <laughs> Do you want us to twist it back around? No. Oh, thank God. How long will it oh, take? Okay, one? honestly, I was going to say, if he had said yes, that's another, Wait, like, ten really? hours work. Now you've got the brand new upside down house. Yeah. Is there any other of your builds that you want us to flip upside down for you? Because honestly, like, if there's do anything else oh, you need... Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Hang on, follow okay, me. Okay, yeah. So there's this one here. It's, oh! I built it upside down. Oh, oh, you want us to flip this around for yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> About that. So, um, um, I'm going to leave you with that. Is that a dog? MD, why do you have a dog in your... Oh, big, that one was... Um, that's like, a special one. That was that. I tamed that one when I was building it. Oh, and uh, by the way, Zetro, I just... Um, I, I, I need to have a little meeting with you. So, MD, I just I just need to talk with Zetro um, for, for a little bit. All right, I don't think he can hear us from over there. Zetro, I need to, um, I need you to meet me at the Miner's Diner in about, in about five minutes. Okay? Right. Yeah. Okay, this is, this is, Zetro, 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 this is, this is serious. This right. is extremely, this is extremely serious. All right, so you may be wondering a few things. The first thing is, why do I want to go and have a meeting with Zetro inside of the Miner's Diner? And the second thing is, is why am I wearing a suit? Two very, very good questions, and I can answer them both. So... You guys may know if you watched the last episode that me and Zetro got a lot of ancient debris. We actually ended up getting about a stack or maybe a stack and a half in total, which means 
me and Zetro pretty much have the most netherite. Out of everyone else, me and Zetro pretty much have the most netherite. So, I kind of need to talk with Zetro about something that I want to do with netherite. And I want to make me and Zetro have a secret kind of little thing where we both go ahead and get so much netherite over the course of however long. And we build a netherite castle with a netherite beacon inside of it. Now, the netherite castle isn't going to be obviously all built out of netherite. It will basically be like a little bit of our HQ for where we're going to be storing this netherite beacon. So, we need to find a place to build a massive castle and we need to obviously put the beacon inside of it so I think we should just go ahead and talk to Zetra about this so let's get him to come over and meet us up Zetra I'm glad you've uh, managed to oh. come along to the little meeting if you just like to take a little seat right there so um oh, okay. <laughs> yeah I, I you know you're probably looking at the uh, fancy suit that I've got on right now so Zetro, this is probably oh. quite shocking to you that I've, that I've wanted to talk to you about this but pretty much you remember last episode, right? It's not any sort of secret now that we have the most netherite on the server. We are the richest when it comes down to valuables. I mean, MD has a bit of netherite here and there. And, I mean, I mean, Prod's been slacking a little bit with the netherite, if I do say so myself. And we're the only two which have a lot of netherite. So, Zetra, if you'd like to read through this, um, this little kind of thing I've got right there for you. Just give it a little read. So, if you look at the top, you can obviously see that it says, I want to build a netherite castle to store this beacon in and you're probably sat here right now and you're like why why do you need me for it? Well, let me tell you so zetro if i take care of building a whole entire netherite hq for us all i need from you on my team is for you to collect infinite ancient debris for me so um yeah are you down to do that i mean this is a bit of a surprise um yeah i guess but if i mean if you have any questions i can i can answer them what what benefits are there for me Okay, so, so what you'll get out of this is, of course, you know, the netherite beacon, which is what we want to build, but you'll be getting a massive netherite castle as a HQ. You'll be getting infinite netherite. You'll be getting infinite ancient debris. Anything you want, Zetro, when it comes down to netherite, we will have. We will be the kings of netherite. At this HQ, we are going to have a netherite beacon. We are going to have a castle, and it's going to be a big castle as well. And all I'm asking is if we both agree to this, to just always be on the grind for getting that netherite beacon, you know, always be getting those blocks, always be building towards, as I said, I will take care of the HQ, I will build this castle by myself, all I need is just someone to help me get this beacon. Okay. And that, I'll and also, also, in case, in case you haven't fully been convinced, we're talking infinite netherite armor, we're talking infinite netherite tools, everything you've ever wanted netherite, Zetro, it will be there, whenever you want it. Okay, so, do what it. do you say, you do it? Yeah. Alright, Zetro. I appreciate that. I will be getting on to, um, I'll be making some, uh, some calls and stuff like that. I'll be getting on to some other people and, uh, yeah. I'll start on this very, very soon. So, Zetra, I appreciate your time. You take a, you take a safe trip back to your house, okay? Alright. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way, I can finally get out of this suit. I mean, this is just, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. And second of all, we now have Zetro on board with the team netherite thing i don't know what we, we don't have an official name for the team so if you guys want to comment down below what we should call the netherite team what should we call our little team that we've got going on but guys now that we have zetro on board that means we can get infinite ancient debris we're going to set him on a mission very very soon we're going to set him on a mission we're going to give him a little reward for getting us some ancient debris but i think we'll probably concentrate on doing all of this stuff in the next episode because as i said we've got a castle to now build we've got this beacon to get towards we've got a lot of stuff to do now that we set this little kind of team up so guys as i said though comment down below if you have any names of what we should call this little team and stuff like that and guys just remember don't tell anyone else this is a little secret okay but apart from that Let's just get out of this suit and let's go and continue with what we've got to do. Now, I think I want me and Prod to go into the nether and try and get one of the hardest achievements done. There's an achievement which you basically get if you drag a ghast from the nether into the overworld, which is definitely, in my opinion, one of the hardest achievements. So, but guys, what I'm going to do now, though, is head back, get this suit off and try and meet up with Prod. All right, so you can see we are finally out of the suit. And if you look around, we are inside of the snowy mountains. Now, what I was actually doing is looking for a place where I can build this netherite castle that I want to build to obviously store the netherite beacon. So you guys would have heard with Zetro, I said I would fully take care of building a netherite castle and that is exactly what I am planning right now. So I think I want to make it in the hills and ignore all this build right here. I'm going to completely get rid of this, but this is where I want to build the castle. So it's going to take a lot of terraforming, but I want to build it on this level all across to that mountain over there and maybe that mountain over there. So yeah, I want to expand this castle or make this castle all the way from here 
to there and join up to here and then terraform all around the outside. Now, yes, I know this is a very big project, but guys, this netherite beacon castle is it's, it's just going to be insane. It's going to be a really awesome HQ for me and Zetro. So this is kind of the first stage of finding where to build it. And now I guess we will just get around at some point to building the actual castle itself. So I think I'm going to concentrate on first off, we found the location. Then I want to build the kind of outside of it. And then we will work on terraforming last. So I think that's what we're going to do over the upcoming episodes is kind of get this castle like done and get this beacon done it's definitely an insane project that's going to take a while but it's honestly going to be so worth it because it's going to definitely be the biggest and most impressive build that we have but also it's going to be kind of secret and only me and Zetro know about it for now so this is where we're going to be building the netherite beacon castle so this is the area what we're going to do now though is we've got to go and meet up with prod because i promised prod that we are going to be getting the hardest achievement in minecraft or arguably the hardest achievement because well we've literally got to bring a ghast all the way from the nether into the overworld which actually sounds harder than it really is so what we're going to do is we're going to meet up with prod do that but beforehand we've got to go ahead and name the pet room okay here we are at the pet area let's put the sign down here and name this thing all right so the name we have gone with is the s and b hq now i'm going to put the comment on the screen and the reason we've chosen this name is obviously because s and b obviously stands for spike and blue so this is spike and blue's headquarters so as i said i've put the comment on the screen and that is the name we've gone with so yeah the s and b hq so yeah this is now spike and blue's headquarters as the SMB HQ is now a thing and honestly it's a really really good name it actually suits really really well because I guess this is their little HQ that they've got going on so blue spike I've got to leave you guys because I'm heading over to the nether to do one of the hardest achievements so guys let's go meet up with prod and let's try and see if we can do this achievement all right so we're with prod right now we are already we've got the fishing rods on us we've got the flint and steel prod's got literally like over a stack of obsidian so we're gonna make a massive portal inside of the nether and we're gonna try and drag the gas in prod are you prepared for this because this is the first time I've ever done this yeah it so same for me, really. i kind of nervous. Alright, hopefully this gas doesn't get out and just completely destroy our world. Let's dive into the nether and let's do this. My boots have soul speed. Ooh, look at the speed of this. No, you need to light it. I haven't got... Oh my, speed. okay. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna have to fly by it and light it up. Okay. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. No, I missed. Alright, let me try again. I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Whew, okay. Now we need to fish and rod this thing in. Oh! Yes! Oh! Guys, this might be it. This might be it. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at that. We have done it. And we... Wait. Zetro was the only one that got the achievement. Rescue a ghast from the nether, bring it home safely to the overworld, then kill it. So, you know what, Zetro? I mean, you, you only did join in in the last, like, two minutes, but you got the achievement, and that's that's all I'm happy with. You know, I don't know about Prod. Prod, are you a little bit angry that Zetro just came along and just take the achievement away from us? Zetro literally just stole that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look, at the end of the day, Prod, one of us had to get the achievement. As I said, I don't mind, but guys, that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. We were actually able to get so much done in this episode. We obviously hit 100,000 subscribers, so guys, thank you so much for that. We were also able to do the prank on MD. We even made a team with Zetro now, so in the next episode, guys, we are going to be setting Zetro on his first mission to get us some ancient debris, and we are going to be building the castle. That is right, the netherite castle is going to be starting in the next episode, which I'm really, really excited for but guys apart from that let's go ahead and end this episode so thank you all so much for watching and guys have a great rest of your day and apart from that peace hey guys it's fru and welcome back to another episode of the minecraft multiplayer survival now today is the day we set zetro on his first mission today we will be commencing Operation Ancient Debris. So yes, we are about to go ahead and meet up with Zetro, but before we do, there is a few things that I actually have to do because I've kind of ran into a little bit of a problem, and let me just show you guys what that is. So as you can see, I've got a lot of shulker boxes in my inventory, and if I just go through and place all of these shulker boxes down, I think you guys will be able to see the problem I'm having here. So let's just place these three down here just like that, and let's just do this one as well. So yeah, if you guys can kind of see what's going on, um, Prod's new gunpowder machine thingy kind of creeper farm is, it's insane. It's literally crazy. I've managed to gather 10 shulker boxes filled to the maximum with gunpowder. So I think we need to start this episode by getting some more shulker boxes so we can actually store some TNT. Because, I mean, not only do we need gunpowder for TNT, we also need sand. Which means we're going to need extra shulker boxes to store the sand. And then we can actually craft the TNT. So to start this episode off, we are going to be doing a quick trip to the end to get some more shulker boxes. Then we will be going to get a load of sand and make a bunch of TNT. And once we've done that, we are going to meet up with Zetro and we are going to talk him through what we're going to be doing for
for his first mission. Now, I'm pretty sure Zetro has a lot of gunpowder as well, because if you guys don't know, the creeper farm that Prod created, as you guys can literally tell, is, is insane. So, I'm pretty sure Zetro has a bunch of gunpowder as well, so hopefully he does, um, because we obviously want this mission to be a complete success. So, I'm pretty sure you guys can kind of gather what we're going to be doing in this first mission, just judging by the amount of gunpowder we have. So, yeah, let's go take a quick trip to the end, and then we'll go and get a bunch of sand, and then we can meet up with Zetro. So, yeah, let's go to the end, and let's get some more shulkers. But, of course, before we do anything, we obviously have to go into the SMB HQ to check on Spike and Blue. Spike, how are you doing, man? Honestly, at this point, it's kind of normal you sat on the staircase. So, you know what, Spike? I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about it, but you know what, Spike? How are you doing today, man? How are you doing? Alright, interesting as always, and let's go over here to Blue, let's see how he's doing, so of course Blue's gonna be sat down chilling, and yes he is. Alright, so um, Blue, how are you doing today, man? You know, it's a pretty nice day outside, you know, Spike's doing good. What about you, Blue? How are you doing today, man? Whoa, hold on just a second, Blue, are you actually serious? Yeah, that's actually kind of crazy if you did that, but you know what, Blue and Spike, I'm going to the end right now because I've got to go ahead, and I've got to go and get some more shulker boxes so I can store some of this sand, and then when I'm back, I will be back with a lot of ancient debris, like, you guys have no idea. What's about to happen? We are going to get the netherite beacon before you know it. Alright, so let's just head to the end. Here we go, I've arrived to the end port. Well, let's just go through and I'm pretty sure we can go through... Oh yeah, we can go through the new end city port that we've got, which I believe is not that one. It might be the one next to it. Okay, wait, I don't know if it's that one. Okay, no, it's this one right here. This is actually the new end port that we've got, which I think we did a few episodes ago, but I don't think anyone's actually explored too many of the end cities. I think maybe Zetro might have actually explored a few, but in terms of shulkers, we should be pretty good. Alright, would you look at that? As soon as we enter the portal, this is pretty much in front. Now, as I said, I'm pretty sure Zetro told me that he's already kind of been to this end city or quite a few around the area. So, if we go in here, I think this will already be looted. Yep, this is fully looted. Did he leave anything behind? Okay, yep, no, he, he didn't. But he did leave the dragon head, which is perfect. So, we got another one of those. Alright, let's get some shulkers. I just realized I probably should have brought a bow in here. I don't know why I didn't, um, but I mean, a sword will do. Alright, so I'm leaving the end with 18 shulker shells, which is actually enough to make 9 shulker boxes, which should be a good enough amount to store some sand. So let's go ahead and make our way back to the overworld So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go get probably about nine shulkers plus of sand And then we're going to meet up with Zetro and talk him through the plan of action So let's get back to the overworld and let's sort out all of the sand that we need So yeah, I guess let's just go and get some sand actually really quickly before we go get sand I'm pretty sure in our secret room. I might have some more shulkers. Honestly I'm not sure if I remember but I think we might so let's just go in here really quickly and check So I think I may have put shulkers in my end chest something's telling me that I have have so okay wait all right so i think i may be thinking about another chest but oh my look at the two netherite blocks we got there we're going to be having a lot more of these in today's episode but really quickly though let's just go ahead and make all of these shulkers real quick okay so we've got nine of these let's go turn all of these to have a bunch of sand in them so yeah let's go and uh let's go and fill these things with sand <laughs> Would you just take a look at that? Our inventory is literally filled with shulker boxes, and in all of these shulker boxes is all the stuff that we need to make TNT, and I don't even think this is going to be enough, so what I'm going to have to do is, is change all of this stuff into TNT, and then go back to the desert, get even more sand, and pretty much getting sand until we have enough TNT, or until we've used up all the gunpowder. So we're not 100% done with the sand, but I would say we're a pretty good chunk of the way there. So if we look through, we've got all the gunpowder and all of the sand in here, so I'm pretty much going to turn all of this into TNT, and then head back to the desert and get all the sand that we need so let me get a bunch of gunpowder maybe not that much so let's just do maybe like half an inventory of gunpowder and then half an inventory of sand i'll say that's about half and half so let's go over to the crafting table and see how much we can make with just one inventory full okay let's just put all of that in there put all of this in there like that so there's a stack let's keep on going this is going to take such a long time to get all of this into tnt but i'll catch you guys up when i'm just about finished with it so Wish me luck, this is just going to take absolutely ages. Alright, so if we take a look in these two shulker boxes right now, we only have two shulker boxes left of gunpowder, which is still a lot of gunpowder, but not as much as we had. But if we go over here, I was able to make not one shulker box of TNT, but almost two shulker boxes of TNT. When I say we're probably going to come out the nether with multiple stacks of ancient debris, I genuinely think that we can. I mean, if Zetra brings some TNT as well, we will probably be getting a lot of stacks of ancient debris. Like, I, I couldn't even make a guess, but like, a, a ridiculous amount of ancient debris is going to be gathered today. So what I'm going to do now is head back to the desert, get a bunch more sand, and then we should be able to take all of this into the nether. So, let's go ahead and get all the rest of this sand that we need, but I cannot believe the amount of TNT we have. Like, this is crazy. Just, just, just take a look at that. Alright, though, all jokes aside, let's just head back to the desert, get the final amount of sand that we need, and then we'll be good to meet up with Zetro and start 
this mission. All right, so I've got all of the sand and combined it with the gunpowder, and now in total we have one shulker box full of TNT, but not only one shulker box full of TNT, two boxes of TNT, including this 25 right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the miner's diner, meet up with Zetro, and ask him if he's got any TNT as well, and then we'll be making our way to the nether to hopefully come out of it with stacks upon stacks of ancient debris. So let's get all these shulker boxes together, let's meet up with Zetro, and let's hope he's going to bring some TNT for us as well, and let's start Operation Netherite. So let's just make our way over to the miner's diner. Oh yeah, and did I forget to mention I've got to put the suit back on? Oh boy. So we have arrived and as you guys can see I'm back in the suit so let's go and wait in the miners diner and hopefully Zetro will turn up soon because I've told him to meet me here so let's see if he turns up any minute. Ah oh, yes Zetro just the man I was looking for. Take a seat man. Alright Zetro so you know what time it is right? I do. Operation Ancient Debris. Have you got the goodies? I do. Do you want to see? Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, pick it up before anyone finds out. Okay, Zetro. Right. If without any failure, Operation Ancient Debris goes, you know, smoothly, a promotion oh, may wait. be... Um, Zetro, oh. wait, wait, wait. I think I heard someone. Okay, we're fine. We're good. We're good. I mean, I, I like the fact you're looking out for us, man. If Operation Ancient Debris moves smoothly, a promotion may be needed for you, okay? So, um, you may have also heard me talk about the uh, the HQ in the last episode, you know? Um, yeah. Obviously, the castle. That we're gonna build. I don't think anyone's found out about this plan yet. Okay, I mean, I, I think maybe Prod might have seen me at the at the gunpowder farm. I don't think Prod noticed. Okay, that I was at yeah. the gunpowder farm for any specific reason. So I think I think we're all good to um, go ahead with this mission. Um, and also we have a name for the team now. We are no longer the Netherite team or anything like that. We are now the Ancient Hunters because we hunt for that ancient debris, the ancient like debris it. goodness. I think um, if you take a look here as well, I got the goodies as well. Got some TNT. Right. So um, how about you say we head to the Nether and get this started? Yeah, let's go. Alright, Zetro, as much as I love the suit, I've had to take it off, and we're about to go into the nether, so, um, let's hope this goes a success. Let's move let's in. Alright, I don't think anyone's in the nether base, it'd be awfully weird if the, oh, the doors are open. No, no, we're, we're good to go. Alright, let's move out, let's move out. I think we should honestly go, like, thousands of blocks away, like, we need to go far, far away. We don't want any suspicion going on, you know? Yeah. We found the spot that we want to mine at, so, um, I think we should just dig down to, uh, a good layer for netherite, and... See how much we can get. Alright, so me and Zetra have found out where we're going to mine. We're on a perfect level for it. So Zetra's going to place his TNT down there. Me, on the other hand, if we go over here, I'm going to put all my TNT down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my shulker box out, get an inventory filled of TNT just like that. So this is the amount of TNT I'm going to be using. That is, this This is obviously a crazy amount, Zetra. We, we have too much TNT. This is this is just too much. Alright, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. You can never have too much ancient debris. And you can never have enough netherite. So let's get this going and try not to fall in lava. Okay, so I've already started placing the TNT down there. I think I'm maybe going to be able to use around about like two, three stacks or something like that. And that is completely nothing compared to the amount of TNT we've already got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep placing it down in this strip mine I've made. And then we're going to explode it. And if I could make just a rough guess of how much ancient debris I'm gonna get. I'm probably gonna say maybe this right here is gonna give me half a stack. I'm not even gonna lie. Like this, this is a lot of TNT, guys. This is an insane amount. Okay, I've already put a stack down and I'm not even halfway through yet. So I'm probably gonna be able to get maybe three stacks done. This amount of TNT I'm placing is about two stacks and four, I'm pretty sure. So let's see how much we get for this. I'm gonna guess probably about probably about 20 ancient debris from this. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's get this. Is there any more around the area? Yes, a two vein, perfect. Mine around any more spare there. Yes, a three vein. All right, so another two vein right here. Let's get that. All right, let's get that. So right now, Zetra, I'm on nine pieces, which isn't too bad. So yeah, it's just it's just not working, guys. I'm just going to stop putting like a separation between each piece of TNT and just join them together because for some reason, it keeps not exploding all of it. So all right, Zetra, hear me out. Imagine how easy it would be to get ancient debris if there was no lava. Just, just imagine that for a second. I know, that would be insane. That would be so much easier. Alright, so I'm just going to use the rest of this TNT, and I'll kind of catch you guys up if I find anything interesting. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted of what happens. But wish me luck. Let's see how much TNT we can get through. So Zetro, how much uh, ancient debris are you up to right now? Uh, I have 49. Oh, no, 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 I just jumped in lava. Okay, yeah, I have 49. Okay, 49 plus a stack. We, we're basically at two stacks between us. And I have i don't know about you, but I've got like another shulker box and a half of TNT to get through. So we have a little bit of a situation going on. The lava is literally getting too out of hand. I'm having to go above the lava so I can get through it. Like, there's just... 
Just look at the amount of lava. Okay, so I'm currently on around about two and a half stacks of ancient debris, which is literally so crazy. But if we look here, I've still got another whole shulker box filled with TNT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this and then I'll update you guys with the amount of ancient debris we get with all of this. Hopefully, we can get up to six stacks and hopefully Zetro can get up to six stacks and then we will have 12 stacks of ancient debris. So hopefully, we still continue to get lucky with ancient debris. And apart from that, let's get all this TNT and let's use it. Okay, so I've used all of the TNT and let's just say I have a lot of ancient debris on me. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the overworld. We're going to meet up with Zetro and we're going to turn all of our ancient debris into netherite blocks and see how much closer we are to getting the netherite beacons. So let's head back and let's turn it all into netherite and see how many blocks we can make. Honestly, I'm so excited. So let's just go do it. All right. So I've told Zetro to meet me in the miner's diner. In fact, I think I can see him in there, but real quick, something just doesn't seem right. I mean, oh, Actually, I think I might know what it is. Just just give me one second. All right. That is much better. Okay, let's go inside. All right. So, um, yo, Zetra, you, uh, you inside here right now? Oh, yes. How are you doing, man? What's up, man? What? What's, go what's going on with this? <laughs> what's going on with the seats? So, I thought we'd just, like, you know. This is, this is what it... No. Okay. No, they're cursed. All right. So, Zetro, we just got back from the nether. Honestly, I don't know about you, but, man, I am tired, man. Like, we spent too long in the nether getting all of that uh, ancient debris. But I'm hoping okay. we're, we're going to get some good results. I'm hoping we're going to be getting close to that beacon. So, um, Zetro, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll tell you how much I've got. So, I've got one, two, three, four, about five stacks. I've got four stacks and 45. So, yeah, I, I have I have quite a lot. What about, what about yourself? I've got one, two, three, four netherite. You got four, four, four pieces of ancient debris from... Two shulkers of... Oh, and two stacks. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so, you know what? Not too bad. I mean, two stacks isn't shabby, but, I mean, as I said, what, what can I say, right? I mean, you know, I, I just, I, I'm just very lucky with ancient debris. Not everyone can have the ancient debris luck. All right, so all jokes aside, though, Zetro, um, what I'm going to do with this ancient debris, you've completed your first mission, and you haven't disappointed. This is an awfully large amount of ancient debris I've got here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time converting this into blocks, and once I'm done, I will, I will meet back up with you, maybe at my house or something like that. And um, we can start kind of drafting out what this beacon's going to look like and maybe even start on the HQ. All right, so Zetra, I appreciate you for getting this mission done. Um, as I said, we're not fully done yet. I'm going to turn all of this into netherite and I will catch back up with you and um, I will tell you what our netherite collection is looking like, okay? All right, so the auto smelter's all ready to go, so let's flick this and boom, let's go. Okay, so I will be back when all of this is cooked and I will go back and meet with Zetro and show him how much we have actually got in terms of netherite blocks. So, um, yeah, this might take a little while to smelt because, I mean, obviously, there's quite a lot of ancient debris, so yeah, let's get this uh, smelted and meet back up with Zetro. All right, so I'm really excited to turn all of this into blocks. I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna get, well, we actually might get quite a few. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, 12 blocks of netherite and an extra scrap right there. We might as well put the extra scrap right there, but honestly, let's go back down to the secret base. Let's go ahead and grab the two blocks I have in there, and in total, that is 14 blocks of netherite. This HQ is going to be filled with infinite netherite gear, infinite netherite blocks. This is going to be the richest base I've ever seen. Like, okay, let's just go down into the secret base and let's see how many blocks we've got here. So we've got the two blocks here. Let's just break these. Ready for the satisfying noise as well? It, I, I don't know why. I love the sound of netherite blocks being broke. Okay, so let's head back up and let's go show Zetro the amount of blocks we got. And it, it, it's pretty crazy. So, but anyway, let's go and meet up with Zetro again. I've turned all of the netherite scraps and everything like that into blocks. Are you ready to see the ridiculous amount of netherite we've got? Okay, I'm worried because I'm I'm hoping I'm worried there's not going to be a lot for the amount of time we spent on it. But okay, yeah. I'll, I'll say I'll say it's it's kind of average. All right, take a look. Look at that. Just 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 imagine that just turned into oh. ingots my that is infinite armor basically like we would never ever use that amount on just armor and stuff like that so Zetra, what i'm going to do now though is i'm going to go ahead and start working on this hq and hopefully get it kind of maybe finished by the end of the next episode or something like that <laughs> right so i'm going to go turn this back into block guys make sure you comment down below any name that we should name our netherite hq whoever has the best name we will obviously put a sign on the massive castle that we're going to be building for our headquarters and also put your name on it as well so guys get commenting down below and apart from that let's just go ahead and start on this build <laughs>
Right, so what I've managed to build so far is the front of it and I guess kind of a little bit after the front of it. So I've kind of done like the base design and stuff like that. Now, if we go over in this direction, I believe. Okay, so it was straightforward. So as you guys can see, this is what it is looking like so far. So there's absolutely no detail. Yeah, so the brick that I've used over there and for kind of like the outline of the door and stuff like that is what I'm going to build the floor out of. So this level right here is the floor and then anything under, I'm pretty sure me and Zetro are going to work on kind of terraforming this and stuff like that. But all up here is going to be the floor and it's all going to lead all the way back there so I guess this is kind of like the entrance area that we've got going on like all of this will obviously have stuff inside of it this will obviously be a floor like right now it's kind of hard to tell what really is going on because it's got not much detail or anything like that but the front honestly is actually looking kind of good obviously there's literally no detail as I've already said there's no detail on the walls or anything just yet but when there's detail on the front and stuff like that this is going to look absolutely amazing and it's going to be super tall Honestly, this, this castle is going to be pretty crazy. So, I think this is where we're going to end this kind of build part for the episode. And in the next episode, we are going to be getting this completely finished, hopefully. I'm pretty sure by the next episode, we should be able to get this up to a pretty good, like, state and make it look really nice. I obviously need to grind out getting some more netherrack to get these bricks and stuff like that. And, I mean, the door, I think, needs work as well. I'm not sure if the door is going to stay like that. I mean, everything right now is probably going to change. But, guys, right now, name down below in the comments what we should actually call our HQ. What should we call this castle base? Honestly, this, this is going to look really good. So guys, what I'm going to do now though is go ahead and try and enchant a bow because obviously when we get in shulkers earlier, I didn't have a bow or anything like that to like protect me. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some lapis. We're going to use about, I don't know, I'll say probably like 10 of our levels or something to go and enchant a bow. So let's go and do that. And yeah, this is, this is what the castle's looking like so far. So we've done the base of it and all we need to do now is just kind of build over there and uh, obviously connect it to the ground and terraform it and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think and give us some names down below in the comment section. And apart from that, let's go get a bow. All right, so let's head into the archives right now. I've got three bows. So we have three chances of getting something good. And obviously we've got the grindstone as well. So we can enchant for quite a while. So let's just go for it. Let's just put the bow in and let's see if we can get lucky with some enchants. Okay, starting off with a terrible, terrible bow. Okay, let's try again. Um, flame power... Yeah, that, that's also pretty bad. All right, let's try again. We don't have too many levels, so... Okay, let's try this again. So let's put this in. Okay, punch two. Yeah, you can already tell it's going to be terrible when you get punch two. Okay, this could be good. Of course, it's only power four. Okay, um... What is our luck right now? What is going on? All right, so our luck is terrible right now. Okay, and I'm breaking three. This could be good, or it could just be I'm breaking three. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, there's no point in getting a punch one. We can't even do another level 30. The best thing we were able to get out of that. Okay, I, I think we can unenchant and maybe get back to level 30. That was the worst set of enchants I've ever done. In the last episode, we got like the best three enchants, or no, like best five enchants in a row, and now we get just terrible luck. So I might just try and get back to level 30 and give it one more attempt, um, but if all comes to worst, we might have to just go to the Mythic Scrolls and probably just try and get the books out of there to enchant our bow. So what I'm going to do now is head to the Skeleton Farm and get back to level 30, and then we can try our luck again. Okay, so let's just give this one more attempt, and if we don't get anything good, then I think we're just going to have to wait, but here we go. I'm breaking three. Oh my goodness, and I'm breaking three. Is that, is that it? I went from level 51 or something like that to level 27 to get absolutely nothing. You know what? I think we're just going to have to combine the enchanted bows in the future. But guys, I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. Hopefully you guys all did enjoy. We got so much done. We got so much ancient debris, so much netherite. And also we have started work on the HQ, which is very, very exciting. And we've even got some more shocker boxes now. So guys, hopefully you all did enjoy. In the next episode, we will be getting this HQ hopefully done and also doing a lot more exciting stuff as usual. So hopefully you guys enjoy. And apart from that, have a great rest of your day and peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now today is a very special episode because not only are we going to be starting off by doing something nice, we are going to be building the Netherite HQ. That is right, the Ancient Hunters are about to have their first HQ. And well, you know what that means, we will finally have a place to store the Netherite beacon that we are working towards. So guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the HQ in today's episode and obviously naming it with one of your guys' suggestions that you gave in the last video, which is going to be really, really exciting. But you guys may have heard me say that we are going to be starting this episode off by doing something nice for the others. Now, my plan is, is to start this episode off by getting a bunch of beacons and scattering them out throughout all of where we live, throughout all of our bases, and give them all speed too. So that means we will be super fast everywhere around here. So not only will the beacons make everything look cool, we will also have 
permanent speed two no matter where we go around where we live which is pretty exciting and i kind of want to run the idea past prod first so that is what i'm going to do shortly but before we do that guys i need a little bit of help now you guys know i gave zetro his first mission in the last episode i basically brought him with me to the nether to get stacks and stacks of ancient debris now i do have another mission to give him in today's episode but the thing is i need help with some more missions so if you guys can comment down below some suggestions of missions that i can give zetro I'll be picking some of the best suggestions and giving your guys' names and also the mission itself to Zetro. So Zetro will be doing some of your guys' missions, so make sure you comment down below some suggestions. And apart from that, let's run this beacon idea through Prod and see what he thinks about it. Personally, I think this is a genius idea. Speed 2 no matter where we go. Come on, what can go wrong with that? You can never have too many beacons. So that's what we're going to do to start off this episode. So yeah, let's go talk to Prod about that. All right, so pretty much what I want to do is I want to go and get some beacons for like pretty much scatter them all around where we actually live. So, you know, like when we're walking around, like I'm walking to your house or something like that, you know, instead of using our elytras all the time, why don't we get some beacons all set up across like where we live? Like that, that would just be so nice. And I mean, between me and you, Prod, you can just never have enough beacons. Like there's, there's always room for extra beacons. So I'm going to go ahead over to the other Prod and I will catch you later, but I'm going to go and get some more beacons. I think I want to maybe get like three beacons or maybe two or something like that. And then I will see you later, man. All right. So... Take it easy, and I will update you of how many beacons I've got. Alright, good luck. Okay, so you guys heard it back there. I am going to go ahead and head to the nether and get a few beacons to kind of scatter across where we live. Obviously, we've got that beacon over there, which is haste. But what I want to do is I want to get a few, like, max level beacons and kind of scatter them around where we live. So that way we can always have speed and jump boost. But, of course, before we do anything... We've got to go ahead and check on Spike and Blue in the SMB HQ. So let's just go ahead and do that really quickly. And, oh my goodness, I didn't think I would see the day where Spike isn't sat on a staircase what is going on spike are you feeling okay are you are you feeling all right man like the, the staircase is right there and you're not even he's not even looking at it no but seriously the last thing i suspected to see today is spike not sat in his staircase but anyway spike how are you doing today man are you doing good all right interesting as always let's just go ahead and check on blue as well let's make sure he's doing all good let's go into his little cave right here and yep there he is so blue how are you doing man anything interesting being going on recently Whoa, wait, are you actually serious, Blue? Did you actually did that? I mean, if that actually did happen, that's actually kind of crazy. But, I mean, Blue, Spike, I've got to leave you guys once again because I've got to go ahead to the nether to get some wither heads. So, yeah, Spike, Blue, I'll catch you guys later on. I need to go ahead and fight some withers, though, because we need to get those beacons. And to get them, we need to go to the nether, of course. But, guys, once... We are done in the nether. We can go ahead and continue with the Ancient Hunter's secret project, aka the beginning of the castle. So if you guys watched the last episode, you will know that we basically kind of started on the castle. So later on in the episode, we will be building even more on the castle and getting it all ready to show Zetro. Because if you guys don't know, I promised Zetro I would build a whole entire castle HQ for us. So that is the thing that I have to make sure that I get done. But before we do that, we obviously have to go and get the beacons and stuff. So let's head to the nether. Let's bring our sword and let's see if we can get lucky with some wither skulls so let's go here we are we are inside of the nether right now and i've also just realized if we take a look at my fireworks i only have two left but fortunately for us the fortress isn't even that far away so i mean i definitely should have came more prepared with fireworks but i'll tell you what i have came prepared with food i have about a stack and a half of pork chops so i'm pretty safe for food right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around kill a bunch of withers and see if we can get lucky i want to either get around about six wither skulls maybe more so let's just go and get some withers so i don't know why but i have a pretty good feeling one of these two withers are going to be dropping us a wither skull okay so that one didn't okay let's try this one show us the wither skull come on um that's that's not what I wanted, but thank you. Also, when we do fight the Withers, though, I think I might need a little bit of assistance from Prod or Zetro. Um, because I'm kind of thinking I want to fight all of the Withers at the same time. That could be a bad idea, but I kind of want to try it out. Please, one of you drop me a skull. <gasps> Finally! Yes! Oh, my! That took way too long to get one skull. Okay, so we got one. We have about another eight to go. Okay, so right now we are on two. Oh, make that three. We are on three with the heads right now. So I think I'm going to get six more. So I'd say I want about nine. So then we can get three beacons. So let's just keep going until we get nine with the skulls. Okay, so we have arrived back to the nether base, as you can see. And we also have the nine with the skulls. Finally, after running around the nether fortress for absolutely ages, we have finally gone ahead and got them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to try and convince Zetro to fight all of these withers with me. I mean, I, I don't know if he's going to want to do it with me but hopefully he will and then we will have all of the beacons so let's just go ahead let's get back and let's fight these withers all right so we've got all of the soul sand let's do this okay zetro i need your help okay so pretty much it's been a long time since we've done this so it's going to be pretty strange to be doing it again 
But I need help taking down some withers. Would you please help me? Yeah. Okay, so I've got all the soul sand. I've got all the wither skeleton skulls. Let's head down to uh, Prod's little underground mine area and uh, let's um, let's fight this thing. All right, here we are. This is literally where we fought pretty much every single wither, and it's you can definitely tell the 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 mess down here is it's it's pretty crazy. Okay, Zetro, so I think we should fight them one by one, not do all three at once, unless you're down for the challenge. Nah, okay, no, I think I think that would be very unsafe. Okay, yeah. all right, here we go. Let's just put all of these like that. All right, are you ready? Let me get rid of this rotten flesh. Okay, three. Two, one, let's take this thing down. Any minute now, all right, let's go, let's go. Let's take it out before it can destroy Prod's house. I'm actually oh. losing a lot of heart. Yeah, I'm losing, I'm losing some serious healthy. I might need to put the uh, chest plate on. Yep, the chest plate's going on, the chest plate's going on. Oh my goodness. Oh no, 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 oh my God, I'm actually- oh Run, God. run, 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 run. Oh my, oh my. God. Don't worry, I can take care of it from here. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh my, I'm on three hearts. It's normally not that hard, what? Oh wait, we got um a wither rose, I think. Three. Two, one. All right, let's do this. Run. Okay, and there we go. Okay, it looks like it's going up. Oh no. Oh, watch out for oh, the lava. We're so close to lava. Yeah. Okay, we got it. We got it. Let's keep going. Easy. Let's keep going. All right, perfect. All right, two oh, nether stars. Oh. All right, we got one more. Okay, this that one was a little bit easier. Okay, I don't know what it was with that first one. Two down, one left to go. Okay, here we go. Let's put this here. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, come on. There we go. Got it under half health. Oh, look at the damage we're doing. Oh, oh my. Oh no. Quick, we need to get a quick dude for a night. I am oh literally... God. Two and a half hearts. Wait, where is it? Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. So, Zetro, seeing as we're both here right now, I might as well uh, give you a little insight on what's going to be happening with the HQ. So, once I make these beacons and set everything up, I will be going ahead and working on the uh, HQ. So, once I'm done with, like, the main kind of front bit, I will update you and get your opinion on it, if that's all good. All right. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to get these beacons, and then um, maybe we could meet up afterwards so I can... Show you the uh, the castle when I build it. Yeah, okay. Thanks, uh, thanks for the help with the withers, by the way. I uh, I appreciate that. All right, so now that we've got rid of the withers, we can go ahead and turn all of these into beacons. Okay, boom, there it is. All right, so we've got three beacons right now, and I know exactly where I'm going to place them. So really quickly, though, I need a lot of iron blocks, diamond blocks, basically any block I can get my hands on because I want to make all of these maximum tier beacons. So let me head down to my secret room in the dome and let's see if I have any blocks spare. All right, so for the first beacon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it right here because I feel like this is a spot a lot of people walk past. Like I know for a fact, I always walk past here to go to the villager area and stuff like that. So I feel like speed boost here will be really cool. So let's just go ahead and put the beacon here. Oh, and also if you're wondering how I'm getting all the blocks to actually power the beacons, I am using the villagers, the villager trade and I'm also using some emeralds I got from the raid farm. All right, so let's just keep on selling all of my sticks to all the different villages and then we will be good to actually make the beacons. All right, so we are about to finish the first full level beacon. So let's just quickly fill all of this up like that. So this is the first beacon we've set up. So let's just quickly go ahead and put an emerald in there. And I think we're going to add speed, of course. So let's add speed two. Let's just click done. Oh my, that is so nice being able to just run around here with speed two on. This is just so good. So now we have got this one set up right here. What I'm going to do is make another one over there in Zetro's medieval village and then I might do one over where prod space is so I think we'll have all that area covered and also all of this area covered all right so I'm going to make this one literally right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the glass down and then the beacon okay so let's just mine out a nine by nine beacon and then we will power it up okay so last but not least let's go ahead and do one right here so it's going to be right next to the creeper farm which is really really good so let's just use the green stained glass for this one so I think I want to do it around about maybe here just kind of in line with the middle of the creeper farm so let's just do it about here and yeah that's pretty much a lot of the space covered there it is we got the green beacon over there for the creeper farm and then over here we've also got the red beacon for the medieval village so if we just go over here really quickly as well so there we go we got the red one over there over at the medieval village so i'm really really glad i got this done because it's something that i've wanted for ages just to kind of put beacons everywhere but now that we've done that we officially have too many beacons we've got one there one there one there we got one there we've got one over there we've got one down at the dome we, we just have way too many beacons now but I'm not complaining, but now that we have done all of this with the beacons, it is time to start on the netherite castle. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard me correctly, we are about to go ahead and start on the Ancient Hunters HQ, aka the netherite castle. So what I'm going to do is head over to the snowy mountains, I've got all the materials prepared, and we are going to get as much done as we possibly can. All I want to do for now is get the front design completely finished, just so I can kind of get an idea of how it looks. It's going to take a lot of trial and error to kind of get the right design that I'm looking for. Then I'm going to show Zetro, and if he's happy with it, and if I'm happy with it, that means we can then go on and build the full thing. So let's go ahead and let's start on this guys i'm super super excited i'm a bit nervous as well because this is of course the hq where not only unlimited netherite gear will be going 
but also with the netherite beacon itself will be going so i'm really really excited let's go ahead and let's start building on this and then we'll get zetro and show him so let's just head over to the snowy mountains and let's start on this castle let's go all right so when i was building this castle i had so many ideas for it and i wanted to make it as big but yet keep it as detailed as i possibly could so that is why i decided to completely scrap what we did at the end of the last episode and start fresh with this way better and more detailed design so i went with nether brick stone brick and cobblestone and i also tried to make it look medieval and also evil at the same time so that is why we got these like massive corner pieces with like red stained glass in them and i did a little bit of terraforming at the front so i think i managed to make the front look as good as I possibly could. I mean, there's still going to be some details that I'm going to go through and add. I'm going to finish the terraforming and stuff like that, but I think we have a pretty good thing that we can show Zetro. So let's go ahead and let's get his honest reaction. I'm really, really nervous. I'm hoping he likes it. So let's go. So this is what we have so far. Check it out out this is actually looking really really good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get zetro to come over here and check it out but honestly it is looking really 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 nice i'm really really proud of it so this is obviously only the front of it and if zetro says he likes it and obviously i like it we will make the rest of it and completely finish this build up so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go and show him it and then we are going to be setting him on a brand new mission which i'm actually going to be putting in a book and quill and putting in his house so it will be a little bit more of a surprise for him so we're gonna go and show him this so let's go ahead and to get him oh wow you see it oh there you are zetro how are you what oh, is wow. up all right so this is the design we're going for so before i went any further i decided i would uh run the front of it past you so what do you think this is uh this is sick it's quite big and i like oh it's it, so. it's gonna be it's gonna be huge this is this is sick i like how it's on a mountain so yeah oh i just i just realized that i'm so sorry <laughs> You know, I, I didn't think you would catch me without my suit on. I do apologize, but you know, doing oh. builds like this, you know, I don't really have I don't really have time to change into the suit. I do apologize for that. You don't want to get your suit dirty so why are you building? Yeah, exa exactly. So I'm just in, in the armor. This is basically like the design that is gonna be on the outside and then on the inside, um I'll take care of that as well. So um also Zetro, there will be a another mission for you soon, but you know, I don't want to give you too many too many spoilers, okay? So um just keep your eyes peeled. And also, you know what? Seeing as we're here, we may as well give it a name, which one of you guys suggested in the last video. So yeah, let me give this a name. Alright, so this is the name we have gone for, the Nether Ending Castle. Now, this is just a genius name. I, I really, really like it. So that is what we are calling the HQ. That is the name right there. So guys, hopefully by next episode we will have a completed Nether Ending Castle castle so guys make sure you also comment down below any missions that we should give zetro or any good ideas and actually talking about missions for zetro let's go ahead and give him one right now all right so here we are at zetro's massive treehouse now what i'm going to do is i have a shulker box with a book and quill so i'm going to write the mission on the book and quill put the shulker box on the top of his treehouse which is where his actual house is on there and then hopefully when he's next up there, which he will be up there soon, he will read this book and quill. So we've also got a sign here as well. So we can write on the sign like it's a really important thing that he needs to open the shulker box for. So we're going to put it right here. Now, Zetro is on his treehouse quite a lot recently. You guys know he obviously built this not too long ago, and he absolutely loves this place. He's always on top of his treehouse. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the shulker box right here. We're going to put a sign right here saying, okay, so hopefully he realizes that I want him to open up the shulker box. I mean, I, I don't know why he would, to be honest. I, I mean, it's not like I read it four times on a sign. Seriously though, all jokes aside, I know exactly what mission I need Zetro to go on. So you guys know, I actually have quite a few netherite tools. I have a shovel, I have like pickaxes, axes and stuff like that. But one thing which I have kind of got a little bit low on and I don't really have any spares of it is a netherite sword and also netherite god armor. So what we're going to ask from Zetro is for him as his next mission to get us some netherite armor and also a sword. So let's just write it in this book. This right here is the mission we are setting him on. So it says, so Zetro, it's come to my attention. We are getting low on netherite defenses. So I need to set you on a huge mission. That's where I go on to say we need a full set of enchanted netherite armor and a enchanted netherite sword. So let's sign that. So let's sign and close that and put it inside of the shocker box. But there it is right there that is his mission so let's just put it right in the middle right there and there we go so hopefully by the next episode zetro will have 100 percent seen this in fact i know for a fact he will see this because he's always up in his treehouse so this is going to be really exciting to have all this netherite armor and stuff that zetro will be getting for us so guys as i said comment down below any more mission ideas i can give to zetro but for now this is what we are setting him on right there so guys what we're going to do though is we are going to go ahead and end this episode so hopefully you guys did enjoy we actually managed to get quite a lot done we got the beacons all sorted we've got the netherite castle we also got to show zetro it and more importantly we now have zetro on his 
second mission. So hopefully he'll see that shulker box and he'll get the message. And yeah, so guys, hopefully you enjoy this video. And apart from that, have a great rest of your day. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. So apart from that, have a great rest of your day, guys, and peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. So in today's episode, we have got quite a lot of exciting things that we are going to be doing. In fact, there's a few projects I want to work on and even just some stuff that I want to get done. But before we get into any of that, if we look around real quick, we are joined with absolutely no one for this intro. Now, there is a very good reason for this, and let me tell you guys why. So, the reason we are starting this intro off by ourselves is because me and Spike, yeah, we kind of have an announcement to make. Alright, so here we are at the S and B H Q, the Spike and Blue headquarters. We have arrived, and guys, take a look again. For the second episode in a row, Spike isn't sat on his staircase. Look at him over there. But anyway, me and Spike have a little bit of an announcement. Now, guys, this has been something which I've seen in the comments a lot recently and something that is finally here. Spike, do you want to go ahead and tell them or, or do you want me to go ahead and tell them? Oh, you, you want me? Oh, okay, that, that's absolutely fine. Okay. I see how it is. Okay, so the announcement is, are you ready? Three, two, one. We got merch! That is right, the two designs on screen right now, you can get them in hoodies, you can get them in t-shirts, guys, the merch will be linked in the top comment, inside of the pinned comment will be the link directly to the merch store, honestly, I've seen all of you guys asking for Spike merch, we have a Spike merch design, we also have the other design, I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys, it's absolutely crazy, and also, if you do go ahead and get the merch, make sure you also join our Discord, so you guys can send pictures of your guys' merch arriving, now, Spike, how does it feel, man, you are on one of these designs, Spike! How crazy is that? Your face! Everything about you is on one of the merch designs. I bet, you're, I bet you're pretty excited about that. But anyway, Spike, how are you doing today, man? Are you excited? The merch is here, everything like that. Anyway, Spike, how are you doing, man? Alright, interesting as always. And let's go and check up on Blue. Now, Blue is actually inside of his cave right here, just chilling. There he is, Blue. How are you, man? Are you doing good today? Whoa, wait just a second, Blue. Are you actually serious about that? If that actually happened, that's actually pretty crazy. But Blue, Spike, I've got to leave you guys to it because right now we have a pretty big project that we're going to be starting. But guys, as I said, the merch is here. If you guys do go ahead and get some, please let us know in the Discord. And guys, just all the support recently has just been absolutely crazy. It really, really does mean a lot to me and everyone else. So again, just a huge thank you to all you guys that watch the series. And wait a second. What is that doing in here? Why is there a cat in here? How? I am seriously confused. How has a cat managed to get inside of here? This is literally... I, I... Has one of the others put this in here? Surely one of the others have got to have put this here. Wait, let me let me go and talk to Zetro really quickly. I, I am actually so confused. Alright, Zetro, follow me a second. Is this... Did you do this? Alright, just try and be a little bit careful. It's around here somewhere. Okay, look. Look at that. Did you put this in here? Did you put the cat in here? Uh, I don't know. I... I don't know, I didn't even do that. You promise this, that this wasn't you. Was was this you? Be honest. I swear, on this block right here, it wasn't me. Okay. It was it Prod? This is just so weird. How has it managed to get all the way through my base, not only through my base, all the way down to this underground area? Like, it just, it just makes no sense. Alright, so let's put some temporary walls down right here, and let's also just quickly check that the cat is still in here and it hasn't escaped. This has got to be the most random thing ever, but let's just go ahead and check on it. Is it in here? Okay, it is. Guys, what do we do with this cat? Like, do we keep it? Do we give it to Prod? Do we give it to Zetro? Do we even give it to MD? Like, what are we going to do with this cat? I mean, I, I mean, I definitely want to keep it somewhere, so... I mean, I guess we could maybe surprise one of the others with it, or we could keep it in here and maybe get a little use for this room. Anyway, guys, comment down below what should we do with this, and also what is its name. But guys, let's just go ahead and let's also just close off this area for now so it can't escape. But guys, we have a lot of exciting stuff to get done, so let's just go ahead and start on some of the stuff we've got to get done, and oh no. So, one thing that I want to get done in this episode is finish all of the walls of the Netherite Castle. I want to get that completely done. And another thing that we're going to be doing to start this episode off is we are going to be making an official mine. Now, the reason I want an actual mine is because when it comes to me getting diamonds or iron or pretty much anything you need to go mining for, I always find myself just going to somewhere random underground and just going mining. But, 
That is where everything changes today. We are going to be making a huge mine that we can always come back to whenever we need materials like diamonds or anything like that. So we're going to start this episode by doing that and then we can go ahead and finish off the walls of the castle. And there's also some other stuff that I want to get done, including another mission for Zetro to go ahead and do. So we've got quite a lot of exciting stuff. So let's just go ahead and get some concrete blocks to kind of mark out where I want to build this massive mine thing. And then we can go ahead and start mining. And also, I don't really have a name for this kind of mining project. So if any guys want to give us some names down below in the comments, that would really mean the world. And as I said, guys, we do have merch now, so it will be linked at the top of the comments. So apart from that, let's just go ahead, let's get everything together, and let's start this mining project. It's going to be pretty crazy, so let's go. Okay, so we've got all the blocks to go ahead and build this thing. Now we need to go and find a very good location because we don't want to make it anywhere near where we live because it's going to be a massive hole all the way down to diamond level. So I don't want to make it like too close. So I think this project will look best in a swamp. So that is exactly where I'm going to build it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a like 30 by 30 barrier. I think will be big enough, and then we can start on this project so let's just go ahead and place all of the barriers and then we'll be good to go all right so here it is this is the land that we flattened out for this mining project now if you're asking yourself why have i made the barrier so eye-catching the reason i've done this is because this is going to go all the way down to like diamond level right so i know for a fact either me or one of the others are going to accidentally fall down here and just lose everything so what i have done is i've made the barriers so eye-catching so there is no possible way even though there probably still will be a way somehow that someone can drop down here. It is impossible. There's no way you can just be walking along and jump over this and fall all the way down. There's just... I'm hoping there's no one that will do that. So I'm going to set up a temporary beacon and we are going to go all the way down to, I think, maybe just under diamond level. And then we will go ahead and start mining off in loads of different directions and see what kind of materials we can get. So let's just get onto this and then we will see what type of materials and valuables we get. So let's set this beacon up and let's get to work on the mining project. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so if we look down here, look at the crazy amount of progress I have made on this mining project. But what I think we are about to do now though, is Zetro is going to come and help us mine some of this out. And then whatever diamonds we get from doing all this mining, we are going to go ahead and split. So we will basically end up getting a bunch of diamonds throughout this mining project and then splitting them. But this is the official mine. This is where we are going to be going mining from now on. And also guys, if you do have a name for this mining project, we will put a sign on one of these blocks here with your name on it and also the name that you guys come up with so if you do have any good names let us know and yeah this is a really really cool project it's something very different but you know what let's go ahead and let's see if Zetro is going to come over and help us so yeah I think you should be here any minute Zetro oh, how are you doing oh you're going way too quick okay, okay so this right here is one of my new projects this is the mining project so if you look down there through the glass you may be able to see it's around diamond level so that right there is pretty much diamond level and what it is is just a huge mine to get valuables so you're welcome to come join me for a little uh, mining session i guess so yeah. um how about we go down there have you got your pickaxe on you by the way i do I don't okay that's what that's what we like to see all right so i guess just jump down onto the slime blocks to break your fall and then when you're down there just mine we, and we like split what we get or anything or yeah just... so i mean you can keep iron and gold or whatever but like i guess the reason we want to do this is is for diamonds you know we want the good diamonds so um, any diamonds we get, we'll split because, you know, I feel like that's a nice thing to do. So, um, yeah, I guess let's just go mining. <gasps> Oh, no. okay, let's go. Okay, so Zetro, I don't know about you, but for me, that was a very, very successful mining trip. So um, I'm not going to tell you how many diamonds I've got just yet. So pass me over the diamonds and I'll, I'll split them. So how many have you got? Oh, oh, oh. All right. So that is a that is a lot of diamonds. All right. So, okay, we've got quite a lot of diamonds. All right. So let me split them. Okay, so we got this. And then we got this. That is perfect. All right, there you go, Zetro. That is your half of uh, the diamonds, 61 oh. each, which that is actually really, really good. That is literally more than I actually got. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, honestly, I'll take it. So, yeah, 61 diamonds each. Let's go. Not bad, not bad. Oh, wait, I was about to go, but before I go, can you uh, meet me for a little cheeky meeting in the Miner's Diner? Meeting at the Miner's Diner? Hold on a second. Is this, is this what I think it's about? I don't know. You'll have to see. 
All right, I'll, I'll meet you there in a second. So, you know what? I will happily take 61 diamonds from that. So, what we are going to do now is go ahead and enchant a bow. Because, well, if you guys don't know, I've wanted to get a bow for quite a while. And I haven't actually got around to doing it. So, I'm going to head over to the archives, enchant a bow. And then Zetro said he wants to meet me at the miner's diner. And if it's what I think it is for, then we are in for a very, very, very good reward. All right, so we have the bow and we have some lapis right now. So, let's hope... We can get a good enchantment, so let's just go for it. Okay, let's put the bow in like that, and let's put the lapis in. Come on, we've got 52 levels. There is no way this can go badly. There, there is just no way. All right, here we go. So, okay. We're starting off with power three. Okay, I see how it is. Oh, okay. I, I really didn't think that we would be starting with bad luck like this, but it seems... Seems like we are. All right. How? How am I only getting one enchantment? Okay, let's just disenchant this. Just keep going. Come on, please give us a good enchantment. Okay, power three. I'm breaking three. It's just not really what we want. Our levels are getting lower and lower. Okay, here we go. Power four. Come on, here we go, please. Okay, I don't know whether I should take that. You know what? I might go and grab another bow and then combine it with this bow. In fact, just to play it safe, I'm going to go and grab another bow just because we can add two bows together to make one bow. So let's just go ahead and grab another bow. The other bow has been made. Okay, here we are. We're back at the archives. Come on. Okay, maybe infinity would be good for this. All right, here we go. All right, flame again. All right, so we just got flame right there. I'm breaking three. <gasps> yes! Okay, I'm breaking three flame and power four, so let's just go ahead and grab that and then take off this enchantment. Okay, so all we need, I guess, is infinity. If we can get infinity from this... Okay, that's not the best. We have one more attempt. All right, but so far, though, we have the best bow that we've gotten today, so let's just keep on going. All right, here we go. Let's put the bow in there. Let's put the lapis in. Oh! On our last enchant as well. Oh my goodness. So we have an unbreaking three, flame, power four, and infinity bow. That is literally perfect. Okay, let's head over to the powerhouse. Let's add these together. And then we are good to go and meet Zetro. So we're meeting him at the Miner's Diner. So let's just go ahead and add these bows together. And then we finally have a good bow. And then I know we can get power five on the bow as well. So that is something we are going to have to do. So let's just go ahead and make this. But also, guys, if you have any good names for a bow, make sure to comment them down below. And I will be picking one to actually go ahead and name this bow. And also, I've been reading your guys' comments about what mission we should set Zetro next. And don't worry, guys. I've read some of those comments. And I know exactly what mission we will be setting Zetro on next. Now, I don't know if I want to do it in this episode or set it him in the next episode. Let's just go ahead and meet him, though. All right, so here we are out the front of the Miner's Diner opposite the Hyper Mall, of course. As you guys can see, I'm inside of my suit. So let's just go and see if Zetro's in here. So, uh, Zetro, are you... Oh, oh, hello. So, uh, Zetro, you wanted Yo. to... You wanted to speak to me? I did. Right. Okay. So, so mm -hmm. you you gave me a little a little mission. Oh, yes. You put, you, yes. You put the shulker on top of my tree. All mm -hmm. right. And uh, I completed the quest. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, let's let's see. It was the it was the netherite armor, right? And the sword. Oh okay. yeah, and and the sword. Okay. So uh, you right. got the goodies. You... So here is the sword. It's a pretty Ooh. mighty sword. I'm not gonna let, lie. Let, let me take. Let me take a look. Take a look at that. <laughs> Zetro, you have you have gone above and beyond. The I debris know. hunters love to see this. Okay, sharpness IV, sweeping edge two, knockback two, mending, looting. You did not have to go. That far, okay. What what about the armor then? And then I'm excited to I'm excited to take a look uh, at that. We've okay. Got some armor oh. There. oh my! Um, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Now we're talking. All right. Protection four mending, blast protection four, depth strider three, and breaking three. Protection four, acro affinity, and mending. On breaking three, fire protection four, and mending. You put mending on all of these. I did. Are you... Oh. Oh, wow. Now, of course, this armor will be going inside of the uh, the Ancient Hunter's HQ or the, the Netherite Castle. But, oh, my, I did not expect you to get, like, god armor like this and the sword as well. Look at the amount of enchants on that. Now, Zetra, I do appreciate it. So, um, now, I do have, like, another mission for you, right, Zetro? I, I, I'm going to be honest, but I feel oh. like you've gone above and beyond here today. So, I might have to delay that mission for, for a different time. But I do have a bit of a side mission we can do in the meantime while yeah. we wait for that. So, um, I was thinking... Um, we have something that we have planned for the castle, right? We, I mean, you know what I'm talking about, Zetro. I don't really want to say anything else, but we are going to be doing a pretty big extension to the castle, and yeah. it's it's going to be good, all right? So we obviously need a lot more ancient debris to do that. So what I think we should do is, for a little side quest for you, before we, you know, give you another big quest, is go ahead and maybe get a little bit more ancient debris to work towards um what we're going to be doing very soon to add on to the Ancient Hunters HQ. Okay, yeah. So I'm pretty sure we both have quite a bit of TNT, so how about you say we go like halves with the TNT, head into the nether, get a little bit more ancient debris, and then um that'll be like a little side a little side mission for you. 
<laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, so we have taken the suit off and we are about to go into the nether because we are going to be going and basically doing a little bit of a side mission with Zetro. Now, you guys saw the crazy amount of armor Zetro has just given us all pretty much like insane enchants and everything like that. So, we're going to go a little bit easy on him, not give him another massive mission, but of course, we will be giving him another mission in the next episode. But right now, me and Zetro are going to be doing something in the castle. We're going to be doing, or we're at least planning on doing a room, which we don't want to say anything yet. We're going to wait until the next episode, but we are going to be doing something crazy and when i say crazy i really mean crazy at the ancient hunters hq or at the netherite castle so we are going to be working on the castle later on but we're going to go and get this side quest out the way but guys when i tell you this extension we're doing to the hq is going to be crazy it's going to be insane so let's go meet up with zetro let's go to the nether and let's get all of this ancient debris all right here we are in the nether let's go through here okay so we both have a lot of tnt so i don't know where we should go i feel like we should just fly off in that direction i mean we definitely have been to the nether with more tnt so okay yeah this is perfect all right let's just dig down and start placing the tnt i don't even have a guess of how much ancient debris we're gonna get I, I would say maybe i don't even know i, I don't actually have a guess like, i don't know it's... all right so zetro has around about five stacks of tnt i have around about five stacks of tnt and we have a massive pretty much infinite just space down here to place tnt so what we are going to do is we are just going to place all of this tnt in a complete line and explode all of it and just go through and pick up all of the ancient debris so zetro are you ready to get placed in this TNT? I am. Okay, so I'll place all of mine, and then you place all of yours afterwards. All right, let's go. All right, let's just keep going, and hopefully this gives us a lot of ancient debris. That that would be nice. Okay, so I'm on to my last 10 pieces, and there we go. Okay, so that is all of my TNT done, all in a straight line down there. Now, Zetro, it's your turn. All right, so go for it. Place all oh, of your TNT right. down. Okay, Zetro, I'll count right. you down. Stand Three, back. two, one, fire! All right, oh, here we no. go. Oh my, I I don't even want to guess how much ancient debris we're about to get. Oh my, oh, oh my god. Oh, that hit me like for so many hearts. Yeah, I oh saw that. My. Oh my, look at that. Zetro, try and be careful of the lava. There is there is a lot of lava. Like, just look around. What is going oh. on? You know, there's probably so much that we just can't see because of the lava. Yeah. I always think that the amount of ancient debris we miss out on because of the lava. Every piece of ancient debris is going to be basically shared to the project that we are going to be making the next episode. But I want to keep it a secret because it is very, it's got to be one of the best things we've ever done. Like, it's going to be pretty crazy. Here we go. All right. I've got my first piece from doing this. Okay. So I, in, to in total, I have six. Okay. That's not even too bad. Oh my, Zetro. Finally. No more lava. Oh my. All right. You take that piece and I'll go grab that piece over there. Okay. So after that three vein, yeah, we're definitely past half a stack. Okay. That is really good. Is there any more? Okay. No, wait. We're at the end. We definitely did get quite a bit. I got 17. How much did you get? Okay. I got 17 as well. So we got 34. Okay. That, I will take that to be honest with only, I mean, we pretty much, oh wait, you left a piece over here. Oh wait. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, you've got to remember Zetro, like the last time we came to the nether, we brought about three, sh no, four shulker boxes of TNT. So, I mean, I think for a little bit of, uh, I think for about 10 stacks, we've done, we've done pretty good. Okay. So Zetro, what I think we should do now is head back to the netherite HQ or the, uh, the nether ending castle. Put yeah. all of our ancient debris there and then maybe finish off all of the walls. Can do. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're out of the nether. So Zetro, as I said, we can't really say what this project we're working on is going to be because it's secret, but I guess we can kind of spoil it and say after we do this project in the next episode, we are going to be extremely overpowered, like insanely yeah. overpowered. So in total with mine and yours combined, we have 45 pieces. So that's not even actually too bad. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put all of this ancient debris into the nether ending castle and also finish off the walls. So Zetro, do you want to go ahead and do that right now? All right, let's go. you just take a look at that the amount of progression we have just made on the never ending castle is just crazy just just take a look at that so what we have done is we have done if we go around we have done all of the walls now so they are all complete as you guys can see that wall's done if we go around here this wall's done as well at the back and then finally if we go over to here this wall is done as well so there we go all of the walls have been done and even on the inside check it out we have done all of the walls inside and we've left these little gaps as well because what we're going to be doing is if you guys obviously know pretty much in a castle there's these kind of little walkway bits you get around like the walls so we're going to be doing that and we're going to be doing a little bit of detail on top of all these 
walls as well. So that is where we are up to on the nether ending castle. It's looking really, really nice and I'm really, really proud of it. So guys, as I said, we said it quite a few times in this episode. There is something huge that we are going to be doing in the next episode when it comes to this castle and when it comes to what we're going to be putting inside of this castle and obviously what we're going to be building in this castle. So it's going to be really, really crazy. And yeah, let us know what you guys think. This is honestly, I really, really like it. I think it looks really, really nice. So there we go. We've got pretty much all the walls done. I'm really, really happy with that. And this is what it's looking like. So guys, I think that is where we're going to go ahead and end this episode. So actually, we were able to get so much done in today's episode. We got the brand new mining project on the go. We've also got all the castle walls pretty much done. We've got so much more ancient debris ready for the massive thing that we're going to be doing in the next episode And also we now have a good bow. We finally have done it We finally have a good bow and also guys make sure if you have any good names for the bow and also the mining project Make sure you leave those down below in the comments and also join the discord And if you do get some merchandise make sure to let us know in the discord as well The merch is finally here. It's really really awesome So make sure you go check it out with the link in the top comment and apart from that I really hope all of you guys have a great rest of your day Hope to see you guys in the next episode and apart from that Peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now, this episode is going to be a very, very exciting one because we are so close to being completely finished with the Nether Ending Castle. The Ancient Hunters HQ is so close to being finished, and I'm hoping in this episode we can get really, really close to actually finishing it. And if you are wondering what part we need to finish, we need to actually build a massive thing in the middle, which is going to be where we store the Netherite beacon yeah so that is what i want to do with the nether ending castle and i'm hoping later on in this episode as well we can get all of the guys on to do something really really exciting which is something that i'm looking forward to but to start this episode off we need to go ahead and we need to start building this massive thing inside of the ancient hunters hq also known as the nether ending castle and also inside of this kind of part that i'm going to be building i'm also going to be getting loads of netherite armor which is all going to be max upgraded max enchanted and everything like that and it's just going to be really really awesome and the whole place is going to look crazy. Alright, but first off, before we go ahead and do that, if you guys watched the last episode, you will know that there was a cat inside of the SMB HQ. I don't know how it got in there or anything like that, but one thing I want to do right now is just go and check if it's still there, because something... Something interesting has been happening recently, so let's just go ahead and head down there, and yeah, I need to tell you guys something. Okay, so let's just head on into here, let's just go into the Orb of Dominance really quickly. Okay, so the reason something interesting has been happening is because I've heard non-stop cat noises coming from my furnace room over there. So I'm kind of having a feeling that the cat has somehow managed to escape, and... Why is there a spider there? Alright, so recently I've been using my auto smelter quite a lot and I've just been hearing cat noises randomly, like, just, I, I don't even know where they've been coming from and recently they have stopped, so I don't know if it's a different cat or if the cat from inside of here, inside of the Spike and Blue headquarters, has managed to somehow escape, which I don't think has happened, because there's no way it could escape. We've got, like, walls right here, so there's no way it can escape unless it can jump over. So, Spike, hold on a second, we'll come back and talk to you in a second, but I'm pretty sure the last time I saw the cat was inside of here. So, is it here? I'm so confused. How? How has the cat managed to escape? There's no way the cat could have escaped. There's, there's no ways it can get out, unless... It somehow jumped over this wall right here, and I I don't think that's possible. Wait, let me let me give it a little go. Yeah, there's there's no way the cat could have escaped there. So I mean, I guess I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled because I know for a fact that there is a cat roaming around the orb of dominance, and I just have no idea where it is. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled, and hopefully it will um it will it will show itself up sometime soon. So yeah, we definitely will be naming it when we can find it. So yeah, I'm hoping it will pop up somewhere. So anyway, Spike, how's your day going today, man? You doing good? Alright, interesting as always, and let's just go ahead over here to Blue, let's see how Blue's doing, alright Blue, so how are you doing today Blue, Blue, are you doing good? Whoa, wait just a second Blue, are you actually being serious? If that actually happened, that is pretty crazy, but Blue, Spike, I've got to leave you guys to it because I've got some stuff to go ahead and start building over at the Nether Ending Castle, and I also want to go ahead and say guys, if you haven't checked out the merch, make sure you do so in the top comment down below, but apart from that, I think it's about time that we head over to the Nether Ending Castle, and we get this build done. Let's go. Oh, and I almost forgot, before I actually went ahead and built this thing, I realized I kind of needed to do a little bit of terraforming, so I gathered a bunch of stone and a bunch of dirt, and I got to work terraforming. It ended up looking pretty nice, but you know what? I think it's about time that we go ahead and get into this build, so let's get this build done. <laughs>
we have it. We have now got something right in the middle of the castle, and it is actually looking really, really nice. It suits the theme of the castle and everything like that, so if we go around here, you guys can sort of check out the walls and stuff. They're very similar, or pretty much exactly the same as these walls, so it all fits the theme. Now, inside, it is completely empty, because right in the middle right here is where the beacon's going to be going, the netherite beacon, and then around, we're going to have so much overpowered armor and just stuff like that. It's going to be really, really good, so what I think I'm going to do now is go ahead and grab Zetro so we can see what he thinks of this. So yeah, let's just go and get Zetro really quickly and let's see what he thinks of this thing. All right, Zetro, how are you doing? All right, so I have built something new to the castle. So um, uh, do you want to come check it out? Yeah. All right, so this right here is where we are going to store the netherite beacon, Zetro. What we have been working towards all of this time will be going right in the center and then the light will go all the way through all of those, those red glass blocks up there and yeah. The beacon will be going in here. What I'm going to do later on is get like a bunch of like armor stands with like really, really OP armor and stuff like that, you know, sort of like what we talked about last episode. So what are you thinking of it? Do you think it looks good? I think it looks good. I think we're going to have to assassinate this intruder. But apart from that, looks uh looks all right. One thing we could do is like we could have like uh, like one, like like an armor stand like right here in the middle on this. I think that'd be cool. What I'm going to go ahead and do right now is get a bunch of overpowered armor. And you know the netherite we got in the last episode? I'm going to put yeah. that to good use. And, um, yeah, and also, um, later on, after I've done all this stuff, Cetro, we, we need, uh, another meeting, alright? We're coming up to, like, the last few meetings and the last few missions, like, we've nearly completed okay. our task of, uh, getting the actual beacon, so, I appreciate you, um, checking it out, and I'll catch you later. Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is get all of the netherite that we got in the last episode, turn it all into netherite armor, and also netherite swords, enchant them all to the max, and then we're also going to need a beacon as well. So that is all the stuff that we're going to get ready for the nether ending castle, but before we go ahead and do that, we have to go ahead and put a sign down and name this mining project. So we got a bunch of awesome suggestions from you guys in the last episode, but I have found a name which I think suits it the best, so let's just go ahead and let's name this mining project. Okay, so the name I have gone with is the Infinity Mine. Now, I'll put the comment on screen and everything like that. Thank you guys all so much for the suggestions, but this is the name we have gone with. So, the reason I like this name so much is because technically this mine is huge, right? So, it's pretty much an infinity mine. Like, we could go on and mine for however long we actually wanted to. So, it's looking pretty big right now, but honestly, thank all of you guys for all of the suggestions you guys left in the last episode. It was really, really good reading through all of those. So, yeah, what I think... Wait, what, why is there pillagers here? But what I think we're about to go ahead and do now is go ahead and enchant a bunch of netherite armor, and also we need to go buy some mending books as well from the villagers, which I think I have a shulker box here with a bunch of stuff from the raid farm with some emeralds in, so I think we're going to go ahead and use that, and then we need to go ahead and get a beacon, so let's get all of that stuff done and take it back to the nether ending castle, so yeah, I guess let's just go and get that stuff done. So let's just head down to the secret room really quickly, and as you can see, yeah. This is how I've been storing all of the netherite blocks until we can move them over to the nether ending castle. But anyway, let's just go grab all of the netherite we got in the last episode. Let's turn it into armor and enchant it. So yeah, let's just go and do that. I've just came up with a pretty genius idea. So I got all of my diamonds out to make them into diamond armor because I'm thinking of making about eight sets of diamond armor and four netherite swords, which is going to take us quite a lot of diamonds. But... Up here in these shulker boxes, I have a bunch of loot that I have got from end City. So as you can see, there is just a bunch of diamond armor that you get from these end cities, right? So what happens if I just go ahead, unenchant all of this stuff in the disenchanter, and then just use this diamond armor and turn this diamond armor into netherite armor? So instead of using these diamonds, I can just use the armor that's already been made for me. Okay, so let's just grab all of this stuff out. And actually, there could be some pretty good enchants already on them. So let's just go ahead and check. So, so this armor already has protection for unbreaking three and acro affinity. So stuff like this, I don't think I'm going to unenchant. So let's just go ahead and grab these diamonds out of here. And I don't think there's any other stuff. My inventory is a little bit of a mess. And as you can see, I've spent quite a lot of diamonds, but we actually have about eight sets of full diamond armor, which means we're going to go ahead and unenchant all the ones of this armor that isn't really like good enchant. So all I need to do now is just unenchant all the pieces of armor which didn't really have good enchants, and then we can turn it all into netherite, and then we need to head over to the end farm so I can get about level 100 maybe? Like, I'm going to need a lot of XP levels to enchant all of this armor. Here we are, let's hop into the end portal really quickly, and let's go over to the enderman farm, and let's get around about 100 levels, I guess. That's quite a lot of levels. Right now, we are level 71, so not even that far to go. Alright, so I'm now level 
level 87, which is pretty crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to our base. I'm going to see how much armor I can enchant with 87 levels. And then we're going to be putting all of that armor into the nether ending castle. And if there's any armor left over that isn't enchanted, we will make sure to come back here and enchant it. So we're going to go ahead, enchant all of the armor. Then we also need to go get a beacon as well. And then we will have everything ready to show Zetro. And not only show Zetro, but also have everything prepared for when we get the netherite beacon fully completed, which will hopefully be in the next episode. I would really like to have the netherite beacon already for next episode. So, I mean, honestly, I think I could probably do it. So let's just go ahead, though, and turn all of this diamond armor into netherite armor. So let's go. Let's put the netherite in there. Let's put all the diamond stuff in. And let's just go through with all of this this and turn into netherite perfect so we have turned everything into netherite look at the amount of netherite armor that we've got oh my goodness there there is no need to ever have this amount this is this is honestly a crazy amount of netherite but you know what it is very needed for the ancient hunters hq if i do say so myself so what i'm going to do is try and enchant a lot of this and then hopefully we will be able to put it all into the nether ending castle. Let's head into the archives and enchant all of this stuff. And I also think I've came a little bit over prepared with lapis, but you can never have too much lapis. So let's just go ahead and put all of this in here. All right, take a look at this. Okay, so this is all of the stuff I was able to enchant. So let's take a look. Oh my goodness. So some of the enchants are actually really good. So if I go through right here, you can actually kind of tell that some of them were really, really good. And I, for some reason, enchanted so much more leggings than anything else. So these are all the leggings we got right here. And then over here is all of the boots and then we also have the four swords so this sword's pretty decent this sword's not the best this sword's okay and this sword is not the best either so i mean we don't really have any like really really good swords or anything like that but i mean they're not too bad so what we need to do now is we need to head back to the end farm enchant all of this and then set them up inside of the nether ending castle so i have now enchanted every single piece of netherite armor and not only the armor also the swords as well so what i've done is i've come over here to the villager trading area because i'm going to basically see if i can buy as many mending books as i can so i've got all my emeralds let's go inside and let's see if we can buy some mending books okay here we are i'm pretty sure this is the mending villager right here that we're looking for okay perfect let's see how many we can buy from this one okay so one oh wait what Okay, all right, let's get the last two really quickly as well, and let's put the emeralds back in our inventory. Oh, no, they're going everywhere. Okay, for now, we're just going to put all the mending books inside of this shulker box, and then take the emeralds back out. All right, here we are. Let's head into the powerhouse really quickly, and let's put the mending on the swords first, and then we'll see if we have levels for anything else. So let's just quickly put this down right here, and then let's get the sword out, which is inside of here. Okay, so to put mending on this, it costs two enchantment levels, which isn't that bad. So let's just go through all of these really quickly. Put mending on every single one, just like that. Okay, so my inventory is a little bit of a mess, but what I've got is I've got pretty much the best armor that we've had so far. So I've got this really good helmet, this really good chest plate, these really good leggings and boots. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and just add mending to all of these like that. So I have all of the right levels to do it. So let's just, oh, oh yeah, um... That just happened, so uh, let's just quickly use this anvil instead. Let's put these boots in here like that. Okay, so here we are. So what I think I'm going to do is because I have eight armor stands, I'm going to put two of them on each sort of beam. So two there like that, and then we'll put the other two here, and then we'll go over to this side and do the exact same thing. So I'll put one of them here, one of them here, and then the final two I'll put here and here. That kind of fits perfectly. So where is all the armor? Okay, so in this shulker box is where all of the armor is. So I'm just going to go around and put the armor on each of these armor stands. Starting off with some of the best armor, of course. Look at how insane this looks. Oh my goodness. We got all four swords in position. We got all of the armor stands. Just look at that. Look how insane this is. We've literally got eight sets of enchanted level 30 netherite armor and four max level swords. This place is going to look so nice when the netherite beacon is in here. It's just going to look insane. Just imagine having the netherite beacon right here in the middle with a red sort of beacon light going all the way up there. That is, oh, I just, I am so excited to get the beacon. Like, this just makes it even more exciting. I actually can't believe how good this looks. We have to show Zetro this. But before we show Zetro, we've got to go ahead and get a beacon. So I'm just going to really quickly go to the nether, get all of the wither heads, quickly fight the wither, and then we can put a temporary beacon in here we'll probably just make like an emerald beacon for now and then in the next episode i'm hoping we will be able to get enough netherite to get this beacon in here this is gonna look so good when it's fully complete i am so excited but also make sure you guys comment down below what should we call the netherite beacon when it is fully completed guys give us some name suggestions down below in the comments what should we actually go ahead and call this beacon honestly i really want a really good name for it so if any of you guys can come up with any genius names for a netherite beacon that would really really mean a lot so guys make sure you get commenting down below and we'll obviously put 
put a sign right in the middle of the beacon with your name and also the name that you have came up with. So that is pretty much what this is looking like so far. So yeah, let's just go and get beacon in here and then we're all good to go ahead and show Zetro. Here we are at the fortress. Let's just go ahead and see if we can try and get some Wither Skulls. There we have it. I'll update you guys when we've got the last two and then we can fight this thing. So I got all of the Wither Skulls and as you can see, we are down at the place where we always end up fighting Withers. So I've got to go ahead and take this one on solo. So wish me luck and let's see if we can do this. Okay, three, two, one. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. I've got a bow this time. So hopefully it won't be as like difficult. I mean, usually the wither fights aren't too difficult, but let's let's see how we can handle this seeing as I'm by myself. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Where's it going? All right, here we go. Look at the amount of damage my bow does. Okay, we could just kind of sit here and just do this. Oh my. Somehow the wither's stuck up there. I don't know what it's doing, but we are literally getting so lucky because it can't even hit us right now. Oh no. <gasps> I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Let's get it with the sword. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, it's actually, it's going down. It's going down. <gasps> We're so close. Here we go. Any minute now. Three, two, one. Yes. Okay. There we go. All right, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be doing it by myself, but let's just get rid of this skeleton. Oh my, all right, there we have it. We had the nether star. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the beacon up over at the nether ending castle, and then we can show Zetro. And then once we've done that, guys, we are going to be getting every single person on. And what I'm going to be building for them is pretty much a maze. Yeah, it may seem a little bit weird, as I already said, but yeah, it's going to be a maze. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put secretly in the maze somewhere a massive reward with like a stack of diamonds, a stack of emeralds, a pair of elytras. We are literally going to be giving them so much for completing this maze. But I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun and they're just gonna really enjoy it So that is what we're going to do But first of all, let's go ahead and let's make this sort of temporary beacon over at the nether ending castle and let's show Zetro So Zetro, I know we usually do our meetings in the miners diner, right? And obviously I'm in my suit and we're at the castle This is a little bit unusual, but this is basically going to be one of our final missions It's not gonna be the final mission, but it's gonna be one of the final missions We are going to be doing and it's also gonna be the biggest mission that we've ever done So Zetro, if you just want to follow me into the nether ending castle really quickly and let me show you what we've got going on. So inside we've got this massive beacon, which is going to be where the netherite beacon goes. And take a look at all of the armor around. Just, just have a little walk around. Look at the amount of armor we've got. That is oh eight my. full sets. That is mad. That is actually sick. I'm not even joking. That is actually so sick. You do not understand the amount of netherite that that took. That, 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 was, that was a lot of netherite, right? But Zetro, you see how this beacon, like, look at it. Just, just take a look at that. Emerald and iron. No, no, that is, that is not okay. Because Zetro, hopefully very soon for the last mission, all we have to do now is obtain the netherite beacon. That is right, Zetro. That is one of our final missions to obtain what we've been working for this whole time. So Zetro, my mission to you and the mission that I'll be working on as well is to just try and get as many netherite blocks as you can. So yeah, that is one of the last missions. Just get as much netherite blocks as you can and we will basically just keep on building towards this beacon. But I don't want to say that's the final mission because obviously the ancient hunters, like we're, we're going to be forever. You know what I'm saying? This castle is going to be here forever. So I mean, as a final mission though, or as one of the final missions, getting the netherite beacon is priority. So Zetro, are you, are you, are you, are you okay with that? Yeah. I'm actually excited. I'm actually excited to get a full netherite beacon. Just picture it. Like how, how nice is it going to look? Just, just stand here. Oh my God. I actually did. That'd be sick. But yeah, so that, this is what it's looking like. It actually looks really, really nice. I just cannot wait to have the netherite beacon. It's going to look so nice. And it's also going to be like, it's going to be a huge flex. Let's be honest. It's like one of the hardest things to get and, and we're going to have it. Oh man, I'm excited. But Zetro, um, I don't know if I've told anyone else this, but I mean, I guess I'll tell you. Yeah. So Zetro, what I want to do now is I want to get you and all the others to come play like a little like mini game I've kind of built. I'll give you a little bit more details in a minute. Okay. So this right here is the maze that I have built for them. And as you can see by just the look of this thing, it's not going to be the easiest thing to complete. Honestly, I've gave this thing a little test run. And when I say it is a really, really difficult maze, it is honestly really, really hard. So this is the kind of design I've gone with. I've got the glass on top so I can kind of have a little look down and see what they're doing. But guys, the room that they are going to want to get to is this room right here. Now in this room, as you can see in my inventory right now, I have a chest. Now what I'm going to do is place a chest with a sign in there that says something like congratulations or something like that. And the stuff that is going to be inside of the chest that you get for winning is going to be insane. And I'm going to make this very clear to them. So if we put the chest down right now, all right, so I'm going to put a sign here that says you done it. So what they will get for winning is, is gonna be insane. All right, are you guys ready to see what they're going to get? So what they will win is not only a stack of diamonds, not only a stack of emeralds, not only a totem of undying, they will also win a spare pair of elytras, okay? Now, I know for a fact, all of them are going to go absolutely crazy when they find out this is what's in the final chest. So I'm going to put this here right now. This 
is what they're going to be playing for in this maze and I cannot wait to see their reaction for when they actually see what's inside. So this right here is the maze and as you can see at the front of it, the front of the maze is over here. So if we go over to it right now, so yeah, right here is the three entrances. They can kind of choose whichever one they want to go in and this is basically the whole entire maze from a far away distance. This is what it looks like. So right now what I'm going to go ahead and do is get all of them to come over here and let's just get them into this maze and let's see who can complete it first. Honestly, I don't even have a guess of who is the best at this type of stuff. Like, I, I think they all have, like, an equal chance because, I mean, the maze is pretty crazy. I think it's just purely luck for whoever finishes it. So what we're going to do is get them all over here and let's see who can complete this first. Let's go. All right, so we are joined with MD. We are joined with Prod Zetro. How are you guys all doing today? You doing, uh, you doing good? Awesome! You're probably really confused why I brought you out here into the middle of the desert, which is really far away from my houses, but it's for a very good reason. You'll all be playing for a very, very insane reward. Like, the reward that you guys will get for completing whatever is behind you, which I'll explain in a minute, it's gonna be 100% worth it. So, when I say try your best, I really do advise it. But anyway, just looking behind you guys without even, like, looking any more than just what is literally behind you. Have you got any, uh, any sort of guesses of what... Of what you might be playing. It's a maze. Yep, it's a maze. Alright, so basically, whoever can complete the maze first, or at least find the chest. So in the maze, there is a chest that you are looking for, and it's very clear when you find the chest, so it's not like underground or anything like that. So, in the maze is a chest, so if you all want to go ahead and pick a door really quickly, don't um, stand on the pressure plate yet, just stand like a block behind it, so. I guess right. you could say this is quite, uh, amazing. <laughs> so, starting off with MD, MD, how are you feeling about this maze right now? Are you good with mazes? Is this your first uh, time ever doing a maze? Like, like, what's the deal with the, the whole maze situation? Um, I'm just gonna stick to the left. Okay, stick to the left, I like it. Alright, uh, Prod? I'm going forwards the whole time. I'm you gonna win. Okay, win. so, that, so you're going in a bit confident, I, I hear, right there. Okay, okay, and, uh, Zetro? Yeah. How are you feeling, man? Are you feeling, you feeling confident right now? This is a maze! Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, like, go forward, I'm gonna stick to the left. You can begin. In three, two, one, begin! Alright, so I don't know who to like spectate. I kinda wanna like I kinda wanna look at Zetro, you know, because he's he's kinda oh. going for it. He's kind he's kinda going for it right now. Alright, MD, how are you doing over there, man? Is is the sticking to the left thing kinda working out right now? Is, no. it, is it going good? No. <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely not going too good. Oh wait a second. Alright, who we got over here? Ooh, Zetro making his way pretty good, pretty good. But how are you feeling? Are you feeling confident right now? I'm so confident you don't even know. <laughs> yeah, okay, keep looking, keep going. going. Wait, MD, what are you guys doing over there? Oh Team What? Me. I call I call cheats right there. How have you just done that? Oh my wait, wait. goodness! <laughs> to be honest, it was meant to last a little bit longer than this, but um, I I didn't expect you to find it this quickly. All right, prod. The rabbit in the maze is distracting. That me. that is that is pretty good loot right there. You gotta that admit. That's amazing. Thank you so much. So you know when I was like counting down to like let you guys go in the maze, I was meant to I was meant to shoot my fancy firework crossbow. I mean, I guess I'll do it now. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Holy shot. It's, it's not as exciting as it was meant to be. Like, I was meant to surprise you guys. I was gonna do a countdown. You guys are gonna get the little like firework to begin. All right. So prod, how are you feeling after that really, really good victory right there? You went straight to the chest. You got the goodies. How are you feeling? You got a spare pair of elytras now. Stack of diamonds. Stack of emeralds. How are you feeling well, about that? I was going in quite confident, so I kind of knew that I was going to win. So oh. All I can oh, say knew. that it was expected. All right, so guys, I appreciate you for all playing in the maze game that I've just made right there. I, I really do appreciate it. So, um, yeah, thank you guys a lot. You're welcome. Doing that maze with everyone was actually so much fun, but guys, I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. Honestly, we have got so much done in this episode. It's crazy. You've got all of this done. We've got the temporary beacon set up, ready for when the netherite beacon is ready. Hopefully in the next episode, we've got all the armor in here. We've got all the swords. Honestly, it's been a really, really good episode. So guys, that is where we're going to end it. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Hopefully you did enjoy this episode. And apart from that, have a great rest of your day, guys. And peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Today is the day. Today is the day that we fully finish the never-ending castle, and I'm super excited as well, because if you guys watched in the last episode, you will know that we completely finished this whole middle part of the castle, and we even made space for the netherite beacon. That is right, in this episode, I'm hoping to finish the netherite beacon, but if we look around here, you guys can see we have all of this overpowered netherite armor, but the thing is that I'm excited for more than completing the never-ending castle is that in this episode, we are going to be starting a completely brand new building project. And when I say this is probably the best building project we have, I truly mean it. It's gonna be pretty crazy. So, I mean, as you can see, the castle is looking really, really nice, but I mean, it just is missing having a matching beacon. I mean, having the emerald and iron, I mean, it's kind of good, but it's not quite the netherite beacon that we have been working towards. So, guys, in this episode, as you can probably tell, I may have come a little bit prepared. Um, let's just take a look here. Yeah. 
we've got a bunch of TNT that we're going to be taking to the nether, and you guys know... We need this beacon. So that is what we are going to be doing to start this episode off. And then later on in the episode, as I said, we're going to be planning out the new building project, which I don't know if I've already mentioned, but it is going to be absolutely insane. And then I think me and Prod are going to be building a brand new iron farm because, I mean, as you guys know, we built an iron farm ages ago, but it's really not that great. And I need something that's a little bit more powerful. So that is what we're going to do in this episode. But to start things off, we need to head to the nether and get a bunch of... Netherite. But before we get on to doing anything, I want to show you guys the desert that I actually get sand for all of this TNT because as you guys know, when you make TNT, you obviously need sand, right? And take a look at the desert that I get the sand from. All of that over there is sandstone, which means I've completely taken away all of the sand over there and also over there as well. Look at the amount of sand I have gathered in this desert. It's actually crazy the amount of sand I've needed to make all of this TNT and yeah, as you can see, it's not the best looking desert because there's there's literally no sand. Alright, one last thing that we have to do before we head into the nether is obviously go to the SMB HQ and check up on Spike and Blue. See how they're doing, see if they're okay, and see if the cat has maybe made its way back in here. We'll have to go ahead and see, but let's just go ahead and you can literally see we've still got the wall up from when this cat was actually in here. But Spike, how are you doing today, man? Are you doing are you doing good? Alright, interesting as always, and let's go ahead and check on Blue over here, let's see how he's doing as well. Okay, so Blue, how are you doing today, man? Are you doing good? Whoa, wait just a second, Blue, if you're actually being serious, that's pretty crazy, but Blue Spike, I've got to leave you guys to it because I'm heading to the nether to get a bunch of ancient debris, so wish me luck, guys. I also just realized we don't even need to bring a flint and steel anymore because we now have a bow with flame on it. Oh my goodness, the amount of time it took us to get a bow with flame on it was literally crazy, so let's head into the nether and let's see how much netherite we can get. Hopefully, we can come out with enough to actually make this netherite beacon. In fact, I'll show you guys how much ancient debris or how much netherite blocks we already have. Okay, let's just head down to the the secret room so as you guys can already see we have a bunch of netherite blocks already i think we have about 12 right here but unfortunately this just isn't enough so we're going to head to the nether right now and let's see if we can come out with even more netherite blocks so let's go ahead and let's get all of this ancient debris i'm pretty sure we've got everything that i'm going to need i've got all my food i've got a bunch of tnt and everything like that i've got my bow all right so let's head into the nether i'm hoping to get like i, I don't even want to make a guess of how much ancient debris i think i'm going to get but i know for a fact it's it's going to be a lot so first things first though we need to head a lot of blocks away from the actual portal itself. So I'm thinking of just heading thousands of blocks in that direction and then just digging down and going for the netherite over there. All right, so here we are. I'm in a completely random location. No, stay away. Why is there so many of you guys? Okay, there we go. So, oh no, there we go. So as I was saying, we are in a completely random location in the nether. So this is perfect to go ahead and start going for that ancient debris. So what I'm just going to do is start digging down, go to about the perfect level for ancient debris, and then we are just going to go for it, get all of the TNT out and get as much ancient debris as we can. So you know what? Let's get this ancient debris. So I think while doing this is the perfect time to go ahead and tell you guys exactly what the building project I have planned is for when we complete the nether ending castle because to say the very least, it's going to be a pretty crazy and a pretty huge building project. It's definitely going to be the best building project we have and not only the best, but by far the biggest. Would you just take a look at that while mining to put all this TNT down? We have already found a two vein of ancient debris. All right. So as I said, now is a perfect time for me to go ahead and tell you guys my new building project that I'm going to be working on in the upcoming episode. Episode. So, it is going to be my own personal island. That is right, I'm going to be building myself an island which consists of having every single farm in the game, a massive HQ skyscraper, a massive villager area, an aquarium slash wildlife area, a docks with a huge boat, a place for others to build, and even some cool customized caves. Later on in this video, I'll actually go ahead and show you guys the location of where I'm going to be building this and everything like that. But for now, let's just go ahead and get the rest of this netherite. Oh, and I almost forgot, leave some name suggestions down below in the comment section of what you guys think I should call my brand new building project. What do you guys think I should call my new island. Alright, so as you can see, if we go into this shulker box right now, we have just under a full shulker box of TNT left, and so far with these three shulker boxes, we've managed to get about four and a half stacks of ancient debris, which to be honest, isn't that bad at all. So what we're going to do is just going to go through here and clear out our inventory of the stuff that we don't need. So let's just get rid of all of this stuff really quickly, get rid of all the netherrack, and then what we can do is we can take all of this into here, and then what we need to do is we need to get a little bit of space for the shulker box. So right now, we just have to go ahead and mine all the way in this direction and place all of this TNT again. So I'm hoping we can come out of this with around about maybe six stacks. I honestly think with this TNT that we've got in this shulker box, that will bring us up to about six stacks of ancient debris. So I'm just going to keep on going and I'll update you guys when I've used up all of this TNT. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. 
Let's do this. Okay, I'm hoping this will give us so much ancient debris. Please give us a lucky amount. If, if we could just get, like, a bunch of three veins, that would be great. Okay, we nearly just dived into a bunch of TNT. All right, another piece right here. Not too bad. I'm only finding one veins, and if you just take a look... Yeah, we literally have to get past this wall of lava right now, so I don't know how we're going to deal with this. Let's have a little look. We have done it. Well, kind of. We got five and a half stacks, which isn't the six stacks we're aiming for, but yeah, you can blame the lava for that. Look at the amount of lava there is. There's no way I can get in there and see if there's any more spare ancient debris, but you know what? Five and a half stacks. I'll take it. Not too bad. So what I'm going to do, head back to the base. I'm going to smelt all of this up, turn it into netherite, and then we are going to go ahead and build a iron farm with prod. And also, guys, I almost forgot. We have to remember that Zetro is also getting a bunch of ancient debris as well, so hopefully the amount that he's got, combined with the amount that I've got, is going to be enough to finish off this beacon. So let's head back and let's smelt all of this up. Okay, so I've made it back to the overworld, and as you can see, I've already started to smelt up all of this netherite scrap. So while this smelts, though, what we're going to do is prepare some materials to build Build an iron farm and then we go to get prods help to build an iron farm So let's go ahead get all the materials and then meet up with prod and then hopefully by the time we've done that This should all be cooked. All right, perfect So I've got every single thing that I'm going to need to make an iron farm So we've got all the mine carts We've got the lava buckets We've got the water buckets and then in here we have a bunch of rails because well when you actually make an iron farm Not only do you need a few villagers you also need a zombie So we need all of these rails to actually transport the zombie So let's meet up with prod and let's see what he thinks about making in this iron farm. Alright, so we are joined with Prod. Now, Prod, you tried building an iron farm and, I mean, what, what happened with it? Did it just not end up working or? It just wasn't spawning the iron golem, so I I gave up on it. Alright, so yeah, Prod did try and make an iron farm and for some reason it literally doesn't work. So, as you can see by these two shulker boxes, I have come equipped with everything we need to build one. So, we're going to take this one down and completely rebuild another one that will hopefully work. So, let's just get to work. <laughs> So this over here is where we've decided to build the iron farm. That way it's kind of out the way, but we are also going to like try and make it look quite nice as a farm as well because without any decoration, the iron farm's going to look pretty terrible. So at some point, we will definitely have to add some decoration to it. Get on the track. This one is just, this one isn't getting on. Go, get on. There we go. Okay, they're all on the track. They're heading over to the iron farm. Go on. This is moving pretty good. I should have probably used the powered rails, but you know what? We, we don't even need the powered rails. We're, we're doing this fine. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Are the villagers going to go inside their brand new home? Perfect. Okay, they're in their brand new home. Let's get the rest of them in. Oh no, phantoms. Okay, that is probably the hardest part of this whole entire farm is actually getting the villagers in here. Now what we need to do is build the rest of it and then hunt for a zombie to put in here as well. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So me and Prod have been working on getting the villagers from all the way over there and moving them here. And we have done that pretty successfully, but the only thing that is going to be difficult now is getting a zombie in this little gap over here. So basically what will happen is, is the zombie will pretty much go inside of here and stand in that little thing down there. And then when the villagers get scared of him, hopefully an iron golem will spawn here and then go down into a trap that we're going to build there. So hopefully that kind of clears up how this is going to work. Massive credit goes to Shulkercraft for the design. But Prod, let's go ahead and get this zombie. This is, this is going to be hard, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, please. Yes, we got it. Okay, watch out behind you. Oh, okay, there we go. There we have it. We have finally done it. We got the zombie where it needs to go. Now we can get rid of these ones. Okay, this one in gold armor would have been cool to get, but, you know, unfortunately, he didn't get to go in there. But there it is. We finally got it. We've done the hardest part of this. All right, all we need to do now is just dig down and make a kind of little trap for the iron golems to go, and then... We'll have this complete. Oh, yes, an iron golem spawned. Okay, we don't have the trap set up for it, but we know it works. Okay, yes, it works. All right, we have needed to build a brand new iron farm for the longest time, and Prod, we have done it. We have finally built it. So we've got the storage system working down there if we have a little peek. So if we look down there, we have the storage system all set up with the piece of lava. So, Prod, you can do the honors. Get rid of the dirt block. Let's see the first iron golem go down there, Prod. Three, two, one. Destroy the dirt block. There he goes. Goodbye, Iron Golem. You're our first ever person to do this. So basically, the way it works is once the iron drops from the Iron Golem, then it will go into the hopper, which is in the corner, which the water is actually pushing it into. So any minute now, there we go. Okay, so as you guys would have saw, the iron went into that hopper, and then down there, we have a few chests, which actually picks up the iron. So there we have it. We obviously have to make this look a little bit nicer in future episodes, but for now, though, it works. It's a farm, and it works. That is the most important thing. So, Prod, what are your, um, what are your thoughts on this? We've finally done it. An iron farm that works. Good. Yay. Iron. Prod, I appreciate you helping me out. We now have a working iron farm, which is really, really good. So I appreciate the help, Prod. 
Yeah, no problem. So there it is. We have needed an iron farm for absolutely ages, and it was about time that we actually made it. So thanks to Prob, we actually got it done. But guys, let's head over to the auto smelter because by now, all of the netherite should be done. Oh... My goodness. All right, we need to go ahead and get all the gold from the gold farm, which I actually think I went to the gold farm recently. So let me check and see if I've got any gold. So, yep, it turns out we had quite a lot of gold. All right, let's go in here and let's turn it all into netherite. So let's just go ahead and do all of this really quickly. All right, let's just keep on going. Okay, so this will get us a stack of it right here. Let's just do this and perfect. All right, now let's put in the gold just like this and boom. Okay, so we have a stack and 24 netherite ingots. So let's go down to the secret room. Let's get all of our netherite and let's go ahead and and see how much of the beacon we can transform. I don't think that's going to be enough to do the whole thing, but hopefully it's enough to just do the first half. Because what we also have to remember is, is that Zetro is also going to be getting us a bunch of netherite blocks as well. So let's just go ahead and grab these really quickly. Now they take so long to mine. I mean, it's probably to do with the fact that they're literally the strongest item in the game, technically. So now all we have to do is turn all of this into blocks as well, just like that. Boom. Okay, so now we have... We have 21 blocks of netherite. Just think of the amount we are going to have when Zetro finishes his mission of getting them as well. We are probably going to have well over a stack or something crazy like that. All right, so seeing as we don't have enough for the entire beacon, I'm thinking of just kind of doing the outer kind of shell of the beacon so it at least looks like a netherite beacon for now. So let's just go ahead and take off the front kind of bit just like this and just like that. Oh my, this is coming together. This is looking really, really good. There is literally nine pieces of netherite ingots in each individual one of these and that is a bunch of ancient debris and a bunch of netherite scraps the work that has gone into just doing this amount is literally insane so once zetro gets around to doing his mission and getting a bunch of the blocks as well we should then be able to do the entire top two layers and then all we're going to have to do is work on these but we'll do that over time because obviously we do have another project that we are going to be starting later on in the video but you know what i think this is worth showing zetro right now so let's get him over here so zetro obviously i'm wearing the suit which can only really mean one thing and i mean we're coming to the end of the never ending castle you know it's it's nearly fully built and stuff but there's just one more thing i wanted to show you obviously we are sort of in the middle of a mission to get this beacon complete and i know that you still have some netherite to get and i mean basically let me let me just show you something so zetro follow me in here and let me show you what i've been up to today so as okay. you can probably see through here i've done as much as i can i've used as much blocks and tell me this just doesn't look insane like i okay i did that I, I did not expect that i'm not gonna lie so just imagine this thing when it's fully coated in netherite like it's, it's going to be insane but i mean the, the colors match perfectly and i just yeah. thought i'd show you this because i you know i thought it would get you a little bit excited a little bit hyped up yeah mate this is okay yeah i didn't expect this how many blocks is that jesus that is 21 blocks i think so do the maths there's nine blocks there's there's nine netherite ingots inside each That's so 180 190 something like that Netherite. It's, it's it's a crazy amount of netherite. That's all we need to know. So there it is. There is basically the start of the beacon. But you know what, Zetro? Working on this project, it's... I mean, I know we have a, quite a while to go with the beacon. But, you know, it's yeah. basically coming to the end of the castle. And it's just... You know, it's, it's, it's been a journey, man. It's, it's been a journey. The ancient hunters, they will live on forever. But it's just... It as is. of right now, we just... It's just it's just a great journey, man. It, re it really is. All right, but that's, that's pretty much all I want to show you. All jokes aside, though, it actually does look really nice, though. One more thing I am going to do to light this place up is get the, like, you know, like, the blue torches that you can get where you put, like, the sand... Oh, the, the soul sand kind of... Whatever yeah, the are. soul soil kind of, like, torches. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and light the place up with those, but this is this is all I really want to show you, so I um, appreciate you coming to check it out. Okay, well, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely looking good. I did not expect that. It, li it literally looks like... From over here, like when you enter in the castle, it just looks like a full netherite beacon because you can't even see. That, like, yeah, just... exactly. That's why I did the front bits first because you, you can't even tell that the other bits aren't done. So when I was getting a bunch of netherite for the beacon, I actually ended up getting a bunch of soul soil to make these soul torches. So what I think I want to do is light up the castle with these torches because I feel like it would look really, really nice. And I've also made sure it's nighttime when I do this so we can see how it looks. So there we go. The soul torches are actually looking pretty nice. And I also just realized I'm still in this suit. Yeah, I need to I need to get out of this thing. Okay. There we go. I almost forgot. So in the last episode, I asked you guys for name suggestions of what we should actually call the Netherite Beacon. And one of the names that I actually picked is a really, really good name. So again, I really appreciate all you guys' name suggestions as always. The support means a lot to me, but it also means a lot to the other guys as well. So all the suggestions and everything you guys leave on the videos, we really, really do appreciate it. So let's go ahead and let's name the Netherite Beacon. So this is the name we have gone with, the Ancient Power. Now I'll put the comment on screen and everything like that. But this name, I really, really like it because obviously the Netherite Beacon 
Beacon is powerful, but me and Zetro as a team are of course called the Ancient Hunters. So the Ancient Power is a really, really good name. So we're just going to go ahead and put that sign right there. Looking really, really nice on the beacon on the netherite block, of course. But guys, what we are going to do now is I'm going to basically start planning out the next building project that I'm going to be working on. So you guys may have heard me earlier on in the video basically say how the build that I'm going to be working on is going to be my own island. That is right. I'm going to be building my own island so make sure you guys leave some name suggestions for what you would call an island and i'll definitely be picking a name in the next episode but honestly i'm really excited to get to work on this but for this episode i want to show you guys the location that i'm going to be building this in and i also want to start collecting some fish so we can get a little start on the aquarium my plan for the next episode is to basically build the whole entire island kind of floor and basically sort of terraform an island and then also start working on a hq skyscraper here we are on top of this ocean is where i'm going to be building my island now as you guys may have heard me say earlier this island is going going to have every single farm inside of the game. It's going to have a massive HQ skyscraper. It's going to have a villager area where villagers will just be walking around with all the cheapest prices. We're going to have an aquarium. We're going to have a docks. We're going to have a place for other people to build. We're going to have like a bunch of cool caves underneath the island. So it's going to be like a really cool sort of like bright pirate sort of just a really nice bright island and I just want it to just look and suit the kind of ocean theme that we have here I mean this this ocean is just so nice and I don't think I mentioned but this island is going to be huge it's probably going to go from around here all the way probably to over here so it's going to be a massive island and in the docks it's going to have like a massive boat it's just going to be a really really awesome build and guys I'm so excited for it in the next episode we're going to be getting so much work done on it we're hopefully going to be getting the HQ area done on it and maybe even starting works on some other stuff as well so guys the next episode is going to be absolutely crazy so what i think i'm going to do now though is just go ahead and start collecting a bunch of really awesome fish just to get ready for the aquarium so let's just go ahead and get a bunch of buckets let's actually drop something because let's drop these apples right here so what we have is we have a bunch of buckets so let's just kind of search around for some fish so oh no that's a puff of fish oh no the island is going to be so bright like all of oh we got an achievement. Everything on this island is just going to be so bright and it's just going to match the ocean so well and it's just going to look really, really good. So let's just keep on getting some fish here because, you know what, I actually enjoy collecting fish. So we need to go ahead and find some more. Okay, so we've already got a bunch of those ones. Let's try over here. Okay, perfect. Let's grab a few of those and then I think I saw some over here as well. Oh, yes. Let's get some of these. These look really, really cool. So let's just go ahead and grab that one. I know I've said it so many times, but this build is going to be so nice. And also, I'm really, really excited to actually build it. So I don't know where all of the fish are hiding. Like, there, there was loads of fish as soon as we had down here a minute ago but i think they've all just gone away okay have we got some of those yet yeah we've literally got a few of those take a look at these ones let's grab one of those let's grab one of those let's also get the other buckets out yeah these fish look really really nice i think there was like a bunch over here yeah there's so many over here let's grab two of these as well all right so there we go we've got our bucket with the puffer fish in but take a look at all of these different types of fish we've got right here there is actually a bunch that we've got and they actually look really really nice so now we've got all of these fish ready for when we actually make the island it's it's gonna be crazy so what i think we're going to do now though is to go ahead and end off this episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. We actually ended up getting so much done. We took a bunch of TNT into the nether. We got an iron farm now and more importantly we are starting on the brand new island building project and the next episode is going to be absolutely crazy. We're going to be doing a bunch of building and just a bunch of really exciting stuff so make sure you guys don't miss out but apart from that make sure you check out the merch in the top link of the comments and apart from that have a great rest of your day guys and peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. So today, we are going to be starting to build our brand new island project. That is right, if you guys missed out on the last episode, we are basically going to be starting our brand new project, which is going to be a massive island, which actually has a bunch of stuff on it. Now, I'll actually tell you guys what I am planning to have on this island over time. So here are some things that I am planning to have on this island. So I want to have a bunch of automated farms. I want to have a sort of HQ building. I want to have a village area. I want to have an aquarium, a docks with some boats. I want to have a place where all the others can build. And I also want to have a cool sort of underground area with a bunch of caves, which I actually build myself. I mean, as you might be able to tell, I'm just a little bit excited to build this thing. But to start things off, I need to show you guys something. So to start this episode, off I think we need to do a little bit of a trip over to the end because if I show you guys something we are going to need to transport all of this stuff over to where I want to build this island and as you can see by the complete mess in my house 
We have a bunch of chests here. Let me just show you guys what are in these chests. So in this one, we have a bunch of sand. We have a bunch of sand all in these ones. And then we go over here. We have a bunch of dirt. We've got a bunch more sand, dirt, dirt, stone. We've just got a bunch of sand, dirt, and stone. And the reason we have all of this is because obviously when I'm going to build the island, we are building this thing completely from scratch. So I've got a bunch of resources to go ahead and build this island. And then once we've built the island, of course, we can build all of the stuff on it. So what I think we need to do is go and get a bunch of shulker boxes. Because if we check my inventory, yeah, we only have four. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to keep having to take trips all the way from where I'm building this island. And then having to come back here and get all the resources again. And just basically having to do a bunch of trips back and forth. So we're going to start this episode off by going ahead and getting a bunch of shulker boxes. So we can carry all this stuff over to where I want to build the island. But... Before we do that, we have to head to the SMB HQ to check on Spike and Blue. Okay, let's just head into the Orb of Dominance really quickly. All right, let's just head into the SMB HQ and check on Spike. So, Spike Man, how are you feeling today? You feeling good? <coughs> All right, interesting. As always, let's go ahead and check on Blue. Let's see how he's doing. Here we are, Blue. How are you doing, man? You doing good? Whoa, hold on just a second, Blue. Are you actually being serious, Blue? If you're actually being serious, that is pretty crazy. But Spike, Blue, I have to leave you guys to it because I'm heading to the end to get a bunch more shulker boxes so I can start building this island. So Spike, Blue, have yourselves a good day and I will see you guys later. So I just realized something. If I'm heading to the end, obviously I need to bring my bow and arrow so we can get rid of the shulkers a little bit easier. But I've just realized my bow doesn't actually have mending on it. So before we head into the end, I just need to go ahead and grab my emeralds and I can't actually remember where I left them. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of a guess and say that I may have left my emeralds in the trading area. So let me just go and take a look. And yes, okay, I, le I left them all in here. Okay, so let me grab some emeralds out and try and find the mending villager. Is it this one? Okay, no. What about this one? Okay, perfect. So we only need to buy one mending book, so we'll do that for now and then put our emeralds back in here. Okay, here we are at the powerhouse. Let's just go ahead and put mending on our bow and wait a second. Our bow literally has infinity on. You can't have infinity and mending on the same bow. No, why did I just spend those emeralds for nothing? I'm pretty sure you can't have it on the same thing. Wait, let's just check. Yeah. You literally can't have mending and infinity on the same thing. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I'm going to need another mending book at some point. But how did I forget that? Like, why would I go ahead and get the mending book when I just it, when I just knew it wouldn't work? Okay, let's put the mending book in there for now. And let's just head to the end and get these shulkers. So I want to aim for around about 20 shulkers to get about 10 shulker boxes. So, okay, so here we are at the end. So what I think I'm going to do is go through this end portal over here because it's the newest one that was opened, which means we have more of a chance of getting more kind of like new end cities, which means we can get more shulkers and stuff like that. So, I mean, let's just go inside and see how much luck we can get with end cities. Now, I know for a fact there is a ton of end cities that way that I've already been to. I think I want to go to some more unexplored ones. So, I think I'm just going to head in this direction right here and just see if we can get any and then just get all of the shulker boxes and I'll update you guys when we find an end city. Here we go. So, this one already has been looted, but the thing is, it has a bunch of shulkers already on it. So, we're just going to get these and see how many shulker shells we can get. And there we go. Okay. So, just from this one, end city alone we were able to get seven shulker shells which actually isn't even that bad so we're going to keep on going and i'll update you guys when we have the 20 that we need so we have got the 20 shulker shells but there is two chests in here i haven't looked in so let's just go and check them out okay so in this one we've got an iron shovel and five gold ingots i mean that's not the best and then what about this one okay so a diamond chest okay that isn't too bad we'll take that and then two iron horse armor an iron pickaxe with efficiency three and a saddle. There's also quite a few shulkers down here as well, so we might as well get rid of these ones and then head back, and then we can start building the island. So that one dropped a shulker shell. What about this one? Okay, so we've got two shulker shells. Okay, if this one drops a shulker shell as well, that is three out of three shulkers. Come on. So I think right there, we've just got three shulker shells from three shulkers. That's actually pretty lucky. Okay, so we can head back now that we've got over 20 shulker shells, and we can start building this island, but I don't know where there is a portal. So we need to go ahead and find one of those. Here we go. We found the portal. Can we get in? <gasps> Boom. Okay, there we go. All right. So all we have to do now is just go ahead and turn all of these shulker shells that we've got into shulker boxes. And then we can start transporting all of the blocks and wait, where am I? First, before we do anything, though, I just need to put all of my stuff in my secret room. So let's put the elytras in, the diamond horse armor, and the chest plate. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and make these shulker boxes. Okay, put the chest there, the shulkers here. Boom. Okay, so there we go. So this should be enough shulker boxes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be enough. So let's just go ahead and start putting all of the stuff in these. So, I mean, let's just start filling up all these shulker boxes, I guess. So this right here is the ocean that I'm going to be going ahead and building this thing. So, I mean, let's just get to work. <laughs>
All right, so here it is. This is my brand new island. Now, I mean, yes, it is technically a floating island right now, but over time, obviously, we'll connect this. Probably in the next episode, we'll end up connecting this all the way down to the ground and making it actually look like an island. But right now, this is what we have done. Oh, my goodness. It looks so nice. Like, all the little kind of plants we have under the blue water in the ocean just... Everything is looking exactly how I wanted it to and it is only just the beginning. You also may notice I also built a small boat over there and I mean I don't know if I've mentioned it to you guys but I'm going to be building a huge boat over at that side of the island because I want to make a kind of like docks area where there's going to be like a bunch of like villages and stuff on like the kind of docks selling all their trades and stuff so I'm going to be building a huge boat over there over time but right now I thought I'd make this kind of little boat just as a little bit of decoration to go along with the island but this is what we've built so far. Now the timing of this village spawning here is actually really really good so the reason there isn't like a bunch of trees laying around and a bunch of decoration is because you guys know I have a lot of plans to build stuff on this island so the buildings are the things that I'm going to be focusing on first and then once we've done all the building on the island we will then go around and add decoration like trees and stuff like that but I mean right now this is what we've got up to and this is looking really really nice so in the next episode as I said I definitely want to connect the island to the ground and make it look really really natural and another thing I want to do is start working on the underground of this as well so yes this is going to be an island with a bunch of stuff on top of it I also want to have like a bunch of caves that I make myself with a bunch of like diamonds and really really cool decoration down there so it will kind of look like a little kind of treasure cave if you guys get what I'm saying but that is some stuff that I'm going to be doing in the next episode but for now though I think we should go ahead and get prod to take a look at this so yeah let's just go ahead and get prod and let's show him around the island. All right, Prod, so welcome to my boat, and this right here is my brand new island. What, what do you think of it? Yeah, honestly, it looks really, really cool. I, I made I it really in, like. the, uh, in the bright blue ocean. There's still a little bit of work to be done, so I just thought I'd give you a little tour around. So let's just hop off the boat here a second. It's, a, it's, it's only a small boat, but you know what? It, it gets the job done, you know? Like, just take a look at that. It's looking pretty fresh. All right, so let's head over here. So this is my brand new island, and this island is going to be, like, it's going to have so much on it. So you can see, like, right now, it's really plain. Give it some time, and this is going to be, like, filled up with stuff. So over here, on this kind of big island, this is where I'm planning to do, like, a massive HQ. Like, this is where, like, my HQ building's going to be and all that type of stuff. And then on this island, we're also going to have... I'm also going to put things like farms over there. We're going to have, like, a little village area. We're going to have, like, a docks. And you see that boat over there? That is tiny compared to the boat I want to build. I want, on this side of the island over here, I want to build the biggest boat ever. I literally want to build a huge boat over there. I'm also going to like, probably do like another extension on the island for pretty much a place where everyone can build. So say for example, you want to have like a home on the island or something like that. There'll be like an island which is just basically fresh for all of you guys to build. And then the thing which I'm excited for, is the underground. The underground of this place is going to be insane. There's going to be like massive caves that I'm going to build myself that are going to have diamond door and I'm going to make it look really, really nice. But this is honestly what it's looking like so far. And it, I mean, I don't know about you, but that, that blue, that blue water, it just looks so nice. Yeah, I agree. Over here, I built this little tree, but just take a look. Take a look at what happened to spawn right next to the tree. Like, I don't know why this thing spawned here. It's so good, though, because it actually matches the theme so well. I did want to build, like, more trees like this and stuff, but I just thought, like, I'm going to be doing, like, a lot of building. Like, all the farms and stuff are going to take up a lot of space. Afterwards, once I've built all the stuff, I'll kind of go around and add, like, decoration, like, trees and stuff like that. I'll try and get, like, a better angle. Like, this is what it's looking like. It actually does look really, really nice. Yeah, I, I like how natural it looks. It looks really cool. Yeah, like the grass on top of the sand and then like the slabs. I, I, I really like it. And then over here, we got like the lanterns and stuff. So there is a lot of like decoration to add, but that's like the decorations what I'm going to focus on once I build all the stuff. So guys, as I said, we are going to be naming the island. But guys, if you do have any name suggestions of what we could name a HQ, make sure you guys comment down below some name suggestions because I really want to build like a really cool like HQ building over there. So if you guys have any good ideas, we will definitely be building the HQ or starting to build the HQ in the next episode. So make sure you guys comment some names down below. And for now, though, I think I need to actually go ahead and name the island. So, uh, Prod, I appreciate you for coming and taking a look. You know, yeah. what, what, what are you thinking of it, though? I, I think when you start building things, it's going to look even cooler than it already does. Okay, so let's just go ahead and actually name this island. Now, I do want to make, like, a really cool place where we will actually put the sign with the name and stuff like that. But just for now, I think we're going to make, like, a little bit of, like, a temporary little place where we're actually going to be putting the sign. So I think we should kind of make, like, a little thing like this. All right, let's put a campfire there. Maybe a few fences around with some leaves on it just for some decoration just like this. So this is only going to be, like, I guess temporary until we can get some other place to put a sign. So I think for now we should just kind of put it here. So 
So yeah, let's name the island. All right, so the name I have chosen is the Island of Wonders. Now, the reason I chose this name is because technically this island is going to have so much on it. This name suits really, really well. So I'll put the comment on screen and everything like that. But guys, we also need a name for the HQ that we are going to be starting to build in the next episode. So if you guys have any good name suggestions for what we can call the HQ, then make sure to put them down below in the comment section. As you guys know, all of the support really, really does mean a lot to me and all of the other guys. But this is the brand new Island of Wonders. Now, this whole kind of like area here is very temporary. I do want to get somewhere where we can put a sign and make it look a little bit better. But for now, that is where the Island of Wonders sign is going to be. As I said, in the next episode, not only do I want to go ahead and connect the island to the ground and actually make it look like an island, but we are also going to be getting a lot of work done on the island and actually start to build some stuff. Now we actually have the island here. Now it is nighttime and I have not lit up the island at all. Like it's literally a mob spawner at this point. Like look at the amount of zombies and skeletons and creepers and everything that is literally spawning on this island. It's pretty crazy. So I mean, I definitely need to sleep to get rid of all of this. Okay, so what I want to go ahead and do right now is actually go and check up on the iron farm because if you guys remember in the last episode, me and Prod actually built an iron farm and I want to go ahead and see if there is any iron actually being made there. So I want to go check on that. I mean, I guess I just want the storage room for all of the iron to look a little bit better. So that is what we have to go ahead and do right now. So let's just fly back over to the iron farm and check on that. But this is now the Island of Wonders, and it looks pretty good. Here we are, we are at the Iron Farm, and the zombie is still chilling there, so that's pretty good. Alright, let's go and check on the iron and see if it's made any. Yeah, this place definitely needs, um, it, it needs some work to be done on it, but let's just go ahead and check the chest. Okay, three, two, one, let's open. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So we've got quite a few stacks of iron there and of course the poppies as well But that is actually not even too bad So I mean this is a really really good iron farm and it definitely it definitely gets us a lot of iron So yeah, what I think i'm going to do though is make this area look a little bit better I don't want to go over the top or anything like that I just want to make it look better than it already does which shouldn't be too hard because it's literally a hole in the ground So yeah, let's just go ahead and make this place look a little better So I think I have made this look just a little bit better So over here we kind of have like the organized storage where you can keep the iron and the poppies all organized and then over here here, I've actually added it so you can kind of peek through and see the iron golems as they drop down And once you get all of the iron and poppies from this chest You can obviously move them over to the storage that we have over here So I've also made a little crafting bench here So say for example, you want to turn some iron into iron blocks You just go to this crafting bench and you can do it here So we've also got an anvil as well So it definitely looks better than what it did I mean, it's got the storage and everything over here It's nothing too crazy, but you know what? It's got everything we need So I'd say it looks way better than it did before Okay, so now I've made the iron farm look just a little bit better What I want to go and do is get some wither heads and now the only way we can get some wither heads is with the Wither's Revenge Sword. Now, the reason I'm actually going to get these Wither Heads is because I want to set up a temporary beacon over at the island, which has speed on it, because I feel like when we're on the island, I feel like we should go a little bit fast. So, let's just go ahead and get the Wither's Revenge. Here it is. Okay, so the difference between the Wither Revenge and my normal sword is that the normal sword only has looting 2. Now, the Wither's Revenge, on the other hand, this thing has sharpness 3, unbreaking 3, knockback 2, and most importantly, it has looting 3. So, what I'm going to do, get 3 Wither Scars, and then we're also going to get Zetro's help to actually get rid of the wither So let's just go ahead and let's head to the nether All right, here we are at the nether fortress and let's see if our luck with wither skulls is going to be good today and no it, it, it doesn't seem like that, but I mean that was only two withers. Okay, let's oh why is it so many blazes? No, luckily I decided to bring my bow, but why is there so many blazes out there? Is that like a blaze spawner over there? I'm pretty sure there's not. Let's see if the withers revenge is going to give us some luck Luckily, this also has knockback So I mean they can't really hit us if we just keep hitting them. So let's just kind of get rid of them Okay, no wither skull from you. Come on, please Okay, no, we're not getting very lucky, but let's just keep going around and hopefully we'll get some. Please? Yes! Yes, we actually got one! Okay, so we got the first with a skull right there. Okay, so we just need two more and then we're good to go. All right, I think it's time we can get out of the nether. We got the three wither skeleton skulls. So let's just go ahead and get Zetro and let's fight this wither and then take the beacon over to the island. So Zetro, I kind of need a little bit of help. You can probably tell why we are down here. I need help fighting... I need- I need help fighting another wither, okay? I know it's a common thing that I need, but I just need a lot of beacons, so... I was just wondering, do you want to, um, maybe help me out? You know what? No. I'm joking. I would love to. Okay, so, um, I guess I'll just set it up like this. Alright, so, I mean, to be honest, Etro, when it comes down to battling withers, me and you are just- I'd say we're probably the best to ever do it. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Three, two... One, to spawn this thing in. Okay. I, I always hate spawning it down here because we know that above this place is literally Prod's house. So we just don't yeah. want to end up trashing it. Okay, okay bow's on the ready. Bow's on the ready. And... 
Go! Go, 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 go! Oh, wait. Go. Oh, <laughs> we both... No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, he's going up. We both missed our shots as well. We both got bows this time. Usually when we fight it, you're the only one with the bow, and I'm always the one with the sword. It doesn't even know I'm here. It, it's only chasing you for some reason. All right, that's it. I'm going up close with the sword. I'm going up close with the sword. All right, it's so close. It's so close to being finished. All right, you need to run. To, if, if you're low, just run. It's, it's, it's only after you. Run. It's only after you. It doesn't even care <laughs> about me. Run. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, oh my God. there we go. So here we here we have it. I have the Nether Star. So Zetra, I mean, every time we fight the Wither, it, it just seems like it's getting harder and harder every time. So yeah, I appreciate the help, Zetra. I'm just gonna go and uh, set this beacon up on my island. And um, yeah, thanks for helping me out. Okay, we've got the glass and we've got the obsidian. Let's just go ahead and make another beacon and then we'll go ahead and put it on the island. So this beacon I'm going to make have speed. Eventually when the HQ is finished on the island, I'll obviously put the beacon in there. But for now, I just think we need speed there. All right, so I think for now I'm going to put the beacon under this island because this little island seems to be the one where we're kind of putting all of the shulker boxes and everything. So I think I'm going to put the beacon under here, but just look at how nice this island looks. I just need to get another fly up for you guys because this just, it just looks so nice with the ocean and everything like like that this this is going to look really really good when there's stuff on it there we have it a max level speed two beacon so now we can actually run super super quick over the island all right so now that we have the beacon set up i think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode so hopefully you guys did enjoy we actually got so much done today we upgraded the iron farm we of course built this massive island and we even got another beacon so that is where we are going to leave it for today's episode hopefully you guys all did enjoy and hopefully you guys have an amazing rest of your day make sure you check out the merch and the top comment and apart from that guys Peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. So, in today's episode, we are going to be going ahead and working on some very exciting stuff, because as you guys know, we now have the Island of Wonders. That is right, the brand new island is now here, which means we have a little bit of work to do. So, as of right now, the island is floating. Yeah, so what we need to go ahead and do to start this episode off is actually connect the island down to the ground and pretty much make it look as natural as we possibly can because, well, I mean, it's floating. But before we begin with anything in today's episode, let's just go ahead and check on Blue and Spike at the SMB HQ. All right, here we go. Let's just head into the Orb of Dominance really, really quickly and then the SMB HQ is over there. So yeah, let's just go and see how Spike and Blue are doing. Okay, into the SMB HQ. So Spike, man, how are you doing today, Spike? You doing? Are you doing good? Alright, interesting as always, and let's just go ahead and check on Blue as well. Here we go, Blue, how are you doing today, man? Are you doing good as well? Whoa, wait just a second, Blue. If you actually did that and you're being serious, that's actually crazy. But Blue, Spike, I have to leave you guys to it because I'm heading over to the Island of Wonders to actually sort a little bit of stuff out over there. And then I'm hoping to get Zetro in on a little bit of a challenge. We'll have to wait and see. But Blue, Spike, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. But guys, really quickly, let me just talk to you guys about what my plan is for connecting the island to the ground. All right, so the plan is to fully connect the island to the ground because as you guys know right now, the island is literally a floating island. And I want it to be fully connected to the ground and make it look sort of as natural as it possibly we can so let's just head over to the island of wonders and let's go ahead and connect the island to the ground <laughs> Alright, so there it is. The island is no longer floating. So if we actually head down the side here, you'll be able to see that it is actually all connected to the ground. So if we just go down here, as you can see, all with the sandstone blocks, it is finally connected all the way to the ground, all the way around the island. So it is definitely looking much, much better than it did. But I think right now what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of a surprise for Zetro and also ask him if he wants to take part in a challenge. Okay, so the thing I want to surprise Zetro with is this. Yeah, so I kind of feel like I needed an outfit a bit more suited for the warm weather of the island, so whenever I work on this island, I feel like this is the outfit I should wear. So I want to go ahead and show Zetro our brand new outfit with the sunglasses, but I also want to get him in on a little bit of a challenge. So what I want to do is I want to ask him if he wants to do a mining competition where we basically go head to head to find out who can get the most diamonds. And obviously there will be like a prize on the line and stuff like that. So it's going to be really, really fun. We just have to hope that he's also down to do it, but more importantly, 
all of the diamonds that I do get from this will be used in the next build for the island, which we're going to be doing in this episode, and it's going to be the mine. So I want to make a little bit of like a diamond mine where we can put my nether portal for the island on, and we can also expand this cave into any other stuff that we want in the future as well. So this is going to be the first thing that we're going to be building on the island, and it is going to be a diamond mine. Now, by the way, if any of you guys have a really good name for this diamond cave, make sure to leave some name suggestions down below in the comments, and of course, in this episode, we will be naming and also starting on the HQ of the island. So let's just go ahead, meet up with Zetro, and let's surprise him with the skin, but also see if he's down to take part in this diamond mining challenge. All right, so I'm pretty sure Zetro should be inside of the miner's diner right now. Let's have a little look. Oh, Zetro, how are we doing, man? Take a take hey. a seat really quickly. But wait, hold on. Yes, sir. Hold on a second, Zetro. Before I um before I sit down, will you just excuse me for one moment? Just fine. All right, all right, just wait. I won't be a second. I won't be a second. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, give me one second. Okay, that's a little bit better, right, Zetro? I, I do apologize for that short break I had to take right there. Okay. All right, how you doing? Oh, um, what's this? This is um, this is the island outfit, man. You know, we got the uh, we got the t-shirt on, we got the shades. Well, it's definitely something comfortable to wear when I'm on the island. So, Zetro, let me take a seat here. I have a little bit of a something that I want to a little offer for you, all right, Zetro. So, I need at my island right now. I need some diamond ore, okay? So that means I need to go on a pretty lengthy mining trip to get the amount of diamond ore that I want. So I thought, why not? turn this into a little bit of a competition. What kind of competition? Alright, so we set an hour on the clock, okay? And whoever can find the most amount of diamond ore in one hour will be crowned the winner. And we'll both put some prizes on the line. Uh, yeah, sounds cool, I guess. I mean, yeah. I mean, right now I'm just going to go and grab my tools and stuff like that, so um, I guess meet at the infinity mine very soon. Yeah, okay. Alright, I will, uh, I'll catch you there. Alright, so here we are at the infinity mine, and Zetro, are you ready for what is about to go down right now? We are doing... A mining challenge. Okay, so me and Zetro both have a shulker box on us, and inside of these shulker boxes contain a bunch of insane items. We're talking, I think, two stacks of emeralds, a protection four book, a mending book, a lightras, a dragon head, 64 golden carrots, a totem of undying, and I think I already mentioned the 64 block of gold that we have, and then Zetro also has the exact same thing inside of his shulker here. So Zetro, this is, this is gonna get pretty intense, you know? Like this, this, it we is. don't want to lose this stuff. It is, I'm excited. I really want to win the golden carrots. That's like the, the part I want to, you know, <laughs> I mean, win. to be honest, for me, it's probably going to be the elytra. Like, that, that's what I really want. So, I guess we're going to go down into the infinity mine. We're just going to do two separate strip mines. And whoever can find the most diamonds out of me and you will be crowned the winner. But there is one rule. So, every single diamond that we find has to be a diamond ore. So, we have to use our silk touch pickaxes to basically get every single diamond. So, we're only counting silk touched diamonds. So, Zetro... Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. Zetra, I see you over there. Alright, so we're going to put an hour on the clock. Remember, only your Silk Touch pickaxe. So, hour on the clock. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll let you do the countdown. Alright, so you go for it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, so... Oh, no, I've just accidentally gone to a lava pit. Okay, I, I think I'm winning this challenge, Zetro. Like, I'm just gonna... I'm just... I'm just going to go and say it. I think I'm winning this. Oh, as we said, diamonds, I just found some. Please be more than just one. <gasps> okay, this could be... Oh, this is good. This is very good. Off to a six diamond ore start, Zetro. Zetro, let's make actual guesses of how many diamonds we think we're going to find. I'm going to go ahead and say 47 diamonds. I'll probably say 48 diamonds. Okay, so I'm going 47, you're going 48. Whoever's closest. Zetro, I've yeah. just found... I just found some more diamonds. I'm not going to tell you exactly how many, but I've just found some more. Okay, well I have... I'm joking. You will not know, but let's just say I might have to... Uh... Open up some inventory space for a second stack. Oh my, okay, my luck is seriously getting insane right now. Please be another 8 vein. Okay, wait. I don't think it is 8 vein, but... Okay. What? Okay, Zetro. In the space of like, I don't even know how long. In the space of probably like... Oh my. I found so many more. I, I don't want to tell you the exact amount, but I have found... <gasps> At this point, I don't even know what to say. I've managed to get probably the best luck I have ever seen. Okay, so there really isn't that long left in the mining challenge right now, and I'm really hoping that 64 and 21 diamonds is going to be enough to hopefully win Zetro Shulker Box filled with really, really good stuff. Now, I really want to win this because a spare pair of elytras 
would be really, really nice. Yes, there's only one minute remaining and we were able to find some more diamonds. Hopefully these are the ones that win us the competition. There we go. Okay, I think time's about to end soon. There is literally about 30 seconds left, Zetra, and I've just managed to find some more diamonds. Okay, I think, uh, oh, no. I think time's running out really, really soon. All right, three, two, one. Okay, I'm pretty sure time's up. Okay, up. time is up. That was one hour of mining. Okay, I'm not going to tell you how much I've got, but I'm hoping this can get me the win. I'm really, I'm really hoping. Are you feeling confident, okay. Zetro? No, not really. Okay, so me and Zetro are back on the surface. We're back here at the Infinity Mine, and Zetro, we're about to find out who is going to be winning the other person's shulker box. So this is Zetro's over here, and it's the exact same as mine. So here's mine, and then here is Zetro's. Inside of this middle shulker box, what we are going to be doing is putting our diamond ore. So I'll put mine over at the left side, and then you put yours over at the right side, okay? And then whoever has the most will be the winner, okay? Okay, I'm really hoping I can win this. Okay, so let's just open up the shulker box. Okay, right, so... I'll place mine at top right corner, you do top left. Okay, let's go for it. All right, I will do it. Three, two, one, go. You're joking. Wait, you only got 44? Yeah, because I spent half the time mining to get away from lava. Wait, you actually got... I got 64 and a half nearly. Oh, my... You know what that means, Zetro? Oh, no. Take back the 44 diamond ore, man. You can keep that. But this right here, this shulker box filled... Oh, no. ...with emeralds, gold blocks, and most importantly, the extra elytra. Zetro, I'll be taking this. I appreciate oh, you for taking part in the competition, but I mean, maybe next time we'll do a challenge where we go mining for 12 hours and see if maybe we can get a rematch going, you know? I actually think we should. 12 hours. Yeah, at least a 12-hour mining trip for next time. Right, so Zetro, I'll be taking back both of these shulker boxes. All right, Zetro, man. Thank you for um, thank you for doing the challenge. It was actually a lot of fun. Oh, my. I, I just can't believe we won that right there. Not only do we get to keep our shulker box, but we also get Zetros. Look at this. That is 64 golden carrots. That's two stacks of emeralds, a stack of gold blocks, a dragon head, another pair of elytras, protection four book, a mending book, and also a totem of undying. I cannot believe we have just won all of this. And I mean, we also get a free shulker box as well, but there we go. So that was the mining challenge, I guess. And we did absolutely amazing. We literally got over a stack and a half of diamonds, which is actually crazy. I cannot believe the diamond luck was on my side, but there we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my 64 and 30 diamonds over to the Island of Wonders, and we are going to go ahead and start work on this mine. So you know what? Let's get over to the island and let's do this. <laughs> Here it is. This right here is the diamond cave. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like from a distance. This is what this part of the island is looking like. And can I just say, it actually looks so nice. So this is one of the parts of the island finish. And it looks so good. It literally looks just how I wanted it to. So I think we're going to build the HQ over there, which I'm hoping to start in the next episode or maybe even later on in this episode. But really quickly, let me go ahead and show you guys what this place looks like. So out the front here, we've got these really cool lanterns all set up to make it look a little bit more like a mine, but this is where it gets good. So let's go and let's head on into the inside. Okay, so what you do is you head down this sort of abandoned looking mine. I guess it's a staircase, but it looks really, really good. And then you go all the way through here and then any minute it now boom this is oh no a creeper okay there we go so this is the diamond mine this is looking insane so we got all of the lanterns scattered around we've got this huge piece of like stone over here we've even got some hidden lighting we've got these bits of like rocks and stone kind of here we got all of the diamonds now all of the diamonds that i got the stack and a half of diamonds all got used up in this project so you guys can see we got diamonds on the ceiling we've literally got diamonds everywhere so this is this is definitely a diamond cave so if any of you guys do have any good names of course i'll put a sign with your name on it and also the name you guys come up with but this 
this is looking really, really good. So one thing I did want to do actually thinking about it is kind of put some minecarts and some minecart rails around. So I want to go ahead and do a nether portal, but I think I'm going to do it maybe over here somewhere. Let's just see if there's a good place for this. Okay, so this actually looks like a perfect place to put a nether portal behind this thing. So if we dig behind, yeah, we can definitely, we can definitely put a nether portal behind there. So one thing I'm going to do though is just kind of put these diamond blocks sort of like scattered around the cave just to make it like a little bit more colorful. I mean, I know it's already got like a bunch of diamonds already in it, but I think the diamond blocks I have here just might add to the, the diamond cave theme that we're going for. I mean, you guys can definitely tell that is the theme we're going for, but as I said, minecarts is definitely something that I will add in here, but apart from that, it's pretty much finished. Now, all we have to do is just put these here, and then this should work. Okay, boom. I almost forgot. We've got to cover this up. Okay, now this is looking much better. Let's just cover it up from behind like this. Let's just put a bunch of stone. Okay, so I've added some slabs and stuff, and it's actually looking really, really nice. So, what I'm going to do now, though, is head through this portal, because I literally have no idea where this portal is going to lead me out at. So let's just, let's just walk in and hope for the best. Okay, here we go. Please put us somewhere I know. Okay, here we go. All right, we're through. <gasps> yes, it brings us to my broken nether base. Yeah, so when I was going through the portal not too long ago, a creeper was on the other side. So that is why this is half destroyed. So we definitely need to fix it. But I mean, the rest of it is still looking pretty nice. But let's just head back through here. So this should bring us back to our house, if I am correct, which means this works perfectly. <gasps> yes. This can bring me from my island all the way back here. This is, this is perfect. That's it. I need to show Prod. While I'm here, though, I might as well grab some rails. Okay, so we're joined with Prod, and I'm about to go and show him the diamond mine. But before we do, Prod, what are you thinking of the, what are you thinking of the sunglasses, man? I like it. It looks very summery. I, yeah, like this is, I mean, it's it's for the island, so, um, alright, so this is, this is the diamond cave, so it's not, I mean, I don't have an official name for it just yet, so, um, guys, if you do have a good name, make sure to comment down below, but let's just, uh, let me show you what it's, let me show you what it's looking like, so, we go down these kind of, like, abandoned stairs, what are you thinking so far? It's cool, it's like a dungeon. I mean, yeah, it's, it's meant to look like a sort of, like, abandoned dungeon cave, I guess, alright, so this, this Whoa. is it, about a stack and a half of diamonds we used to, to make this, so you just walk around and I'll follow you, so you can... Kind of like look around the place, see what it's looking like. Diamond blocks. That was inexpensive. Yeah, I um, I really oh. have to break into the the diamond collection for this. I, d I don't know why there's skeletons spawning, but hopefully the lighting should stop that now. So yeah, this is we've got like the Nether portal as well, so I can get back home easier instead of having to like fly out here every time. And then yeah, this is pretty much what it is. It's it's it can be extended in any way whenever I want. But this is basically it. Cool, I like it. Well done, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it, but probably have um we have a little bit of a visitor look. Perfect timing. Oh, no. Oh my, alright, let me get rid of this. Alright, so Prod, I mean, instead of you having to fly back all the way to get to your house, you can just you can just go through the nether portal, man. So appreciate you for looking around the place. Before you go, what is your final final thoughts on this? I think it looks really cool to be honest. I, I like how natural it looks and how unnatural it is at the same time. I like the stuff going down from the ceiling. It's really cool. So uh, yeah, you can you can jump on into that nether portal and I'll I'll see you soon. And see it. All right, so Prod has gone through the nether portal, which leaves me with one thing I want to do on the island before we end this episode. Now, let me get rid of this zombie. Oh, no. So, as you may have noticed in my inventory, I have a bunch of glass and concrete. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very, very small start on the HQ, which I'm hoping that we can work more on in the next episode. But another thing I want to do in the next episode as well is actually transport a bunch of really, really good villages over to the island and pretty much make this part of the island over here, like this kind of little section of the island, into a massive villager trading area where basically there'll be a bunch of different shops where the villagers will be inside of them and they will also have all of their really, really good trades. So it's going to take me some time to get like a mending villager and like basically get all of the top villagers. I'm talking mending, I'm breaking, I'm pretty much talking all the best enchantments in the game with all of them on villages and bringing them to this island that I'm stood on right here So this part of the island in the next episode I'm hoping that we can get all of the villages over to but for now Let's start on this HQ now the HQ is going to take up pretty much most of this part of the island I'd say because it's probably going to be one of the biggest buildings I've ever made Maybe just a bit bigger than the hyper mall in terms of height and stuff like that So I've decided to build the HQ on this part of the island because I feel like it's going to look a little bit better Seeing as there's a little bit more space the HQ can not only be quite wide but really Really, really tall as well. So this part of the island is where the actual HQ is going to go. So yeah, actually thinking about it, this part would be perfect for the farms because it's kind of like the biggest part of land. And then we can make the docks over that area there. But for now though, let's just get a start on this HQ. All right, so I don't know if I'm going to go with this design exactly. I'm thinking of using the same blocks, but maybe making it into a round circle. So I definitely want to make sure there's a little bit of red in there. Maybe I might turn it into a perfect circle and then add some red concrete in there as well. But one thing I'm definitely 
really going to do is go ahead and put a temporary sign down to go ahead and name the HQ and then hopefully in the next episode we can move the sign into a much better position but also guys if you do have any good names for the diamond cave over there make sure you get commenting down below the support means a lot to me but not only me it really means a lot to all of us that play so guys thank you all so much for the support but let's just go ahead and put a temporary sign down here okay so the name I've chosen is the coral quarters now the reason I chose this name is because obviously this is the headquarters and it's kind of an island so it definitely definitely matches the theme so guys I'll put the comment on screen everything like that but this is is the name we have gone with. It is a really, really good name. So as I said, we will be moving this sign in the next episode to a much better place. So um, yeah, this is going to be a temporary sign for the time being until we can build the headquarters up into this massive skyscraper that I'm hoping to do. So guys, in the next episode, as I said, we will definitely be working on moving some villages over here, maybe even starting on some farms and the docks, but more importantly, getting the headquarters hopefully to a good state. So what I think I'm going to do right now is go ahead and end this episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. We got so much done in this episode. We did the little mining competition with Zetro. We built the brand new diamond cave over at the island. So if you guys have any good names for that, make sure you comment them down below in the comment section. And apart from that, guys, that is where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Make sure you guys watch the next one where we go ahead and hopefully move all the villages over to the island and also start work on the HQ. So guys, have a great rest of your day. I really do hope you enjoyed this one and peace. Hey guys, it's Fru and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. Now in today's episode, we are going to be doing quite a lot of exciting stuff and one of those exciting things are is moving over some of the best villages to the island of wonders that is right we are going to be adventuring out quite a long way away from where the island actually is in hopes to try and find a village where we can basically bring over all of the villages and then start breeding them to get some of the best trades ever so i'm pretty sure i have quite a lot of rails to actually get the villages over to the island but before we go and do anything let's just go to the smb hq and see how spike and blue are doing all right here we are at the spike and blue headquarters let's just go and see how spike and blue are doing really quickly so spike how are you doing today man you doing good Alright, interesting as always, and let's just go ahead and check on Blue as always. Here we go, Blue, are you doing good as well? Whoa, hold on just a second, Blue, if you're being serious, that is pretty crazy, but Blue, Spike, I have to leave you guys to it because I have to head over to the Island of Wonders and see if we can find a village anywhere close. I also have some pretty crazy stuff planned for once we get these villages onto the island for later on in the episode, but you know what, Spike, Blue, you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm heading over to the Island of Wonders, so guys, let's just head over there, let's go. Oh, and I almost forgot, if we are heading over to the island, let me just go ahead and there we go, let's head over to the island. <laughs> Alright, so after searching around for just a little bit, I was able to find this island right here and now after a lot of breaking and replacing of rails and I mean a lot of breaking and replacing of rails let me show you what I've done. I was pretty much able to bring all of the villages on minecarts all the way over these rails, over the ocean, and you could probably tell this took a lot of time. So after breaking a ton of rails, I finally was able to get all of the villages on the island and if you take a look, they're all asleep right now. So this is what we've got. I was actually able to breed quite a lot of these villages and also give some of them some really good trades. I was actually able to breed a lot of these villages and some of them got some really good trades by using these lecterns. So I brought a bunch of emeralds and I was able to start trading with a few of them. So we've ended up getting a mending villager, a silk touch villager, an unbreaking three villager, and also a fortune three villager. So after quite a little bit of time trading with these guys and stuff like that, making sure they couldn't lose their job, I've actually got some really, really good trades here. So we've got mending and unbreaking for a decent price as well seeing as we basically have unlimited emeralds here so what I have got to do now is that I have to get rid of all of these rails and stuff like that and I also have to get rid of this temporary area which I'm trying to keep all these villages in and we are going to turn this part of the island right here into the villagers island so if you guys have any good names of what we can call a villager shopping area make sure you guys comment them down below in the comment section apart from that I think it's time that we do a little bit more job switching with the villagers and making sure they can get good trades and pretty much after we've got all of the trades we want I'm going to start building their shops which I'm hoping are going to look really really awesome and I also want to make a little bit of a storage room on the island for where we can keep emeralds but not only emeralds all of the books that we're going to buy from these. Okay, so I was able to get a Feather Falling 4 Villager, which is actually really, really good. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and buy this book so it doesn't actually lose its job. And there we go. We now have a Feather Falling 4 Villager. I do want to keep doing this until we can maybe get Sharpness and a few other really good enchantments. So I'm just going to keep going. All right, so I think I'm going to do this until we basically have every single enchantment that we need. So what does this have? Mending. So I mean, we already have a Mending Villager, so there's no point in having two. So let's just keep on going. All right, and again, a Curse of Binding Villager. Okay, that's, that's definitely not what we want. Yes! Sharpness 5! That is exactly what we needed. Okay, there it is. We now have 
A Sharpness 5 Villager. Okay, so so far we have Mending Villager, Silk Touch Villager, Unbreaking 3 Villager, Fortune 3 Villager, Sharpness 5 Villager, and a Feather Falling 4 Villager. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is we definitely have a lot more enchants that I want to get. We can definitely get as many villagers as we want, and over time we can have pretty much every enchantment in the game. But you know what? That is looking really, really good. So I think we are going to continue doing this. But for now, though, I feel like the villagers need a little bit of a better home. So what I'm going to do now is start on building all of their shops and also a storage room where we can keep not only villagers, but also a bunch of emeralds and a bunch of the enchanted books that we are going to be buying from these. So let's set this up and let's get to work. <laughs> Here we go, we are bringing the last villager into his brand new home, okay, here he goes, and he is in, okay, perfect, so now all I have to do is take one of the trap doors, which is, actually, I don't have any on me, okay, we need to, uh, we need to get a crafting table, alright, so we need a bunch of these, let's just go ahead and make some, so, okay, so I think this will be enough, so let's just go like this, okay, perfect, so this is exactly what I want, so let's just go like that, alright, there we go, alright, but you know what we need to do, though, we need to get this guy in his shop, alright, so let's just remove this, push him in a little bit, there we go, alright, and put this here, Perfect. Okay, so this is his brand new home. Get rid of the minecart. And there we go. The villager seems to be enjoying himself. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is what the villager shop area is looking like right now. And may I say, it's looking pretty good. So, I mean, what I want to do is I want to actually get a bunch of emeralds. And I'm going to basically come back here with all of the emeralds I've got from the raid farm. And not only the raid farm, also the emeralds I get from selling sticks to villagers. Because as you guys know, back at our house, we basically have a villager which gives about one emerald per 32 sticks. So, going to get a bunch of emeralds and come back here and basically buy as many books as I can can and then put them in this chest right here so whenever i need a book i just go up to the villager i want to buy off of if i need the book i'll just go in the chest and check if i have any so we can have an unlimited supply of books and another thing i need to do when we go back home is clear out my inventory look at this mess oh my all right so that is one thing we have to do but also i mean you guys can definitely tell that this is looking a little bit empty around this kind of area where i'm stood so my plan is to hopefully when the villagers start breeding obviously i can let them out and i mean there's no way they can leave the island or anything so i'm thinking of kind of letting them all out to breed and then hopefully my plan is to have a bunch of villagers roaming around and then we also keep the good villagers inside of their shops so i mean when the iron golem starts spawning and the breeding starts happening this should be looking really really good so another thing i'm just going to do though is head back get all the emeralds and then what i'm going to also do is put some signs right here of what the villager is actually trading and also if you guys have any good names of what we could actually call this little island or this little part of the island make sure you guys comment down below and another thing i need to do when i come back to the island is also name our little mining area over here or our diamond cave so we're going to be naming this but let me go and grab the emeralds all right so i'm pretty sure i left all of my emeralds down in the dome in my secret room so let me just go double check so let's just head down here really quickly and head to the secret room so if i'm not wrong i think i should have quite a lot because I spent a lot of time at the raid farm and I also spent a little bit of time chopping down some trees for some sticks so let's just go check so I'm pretty sure I left them in here um what about my end chest oh okay so that's a little bit more than I thought I had all right this is perfect though so if we turn all of this into normal emeralds we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically eight stacks of emeralds. Okay, this is perfect. Let's head back to the Island of Wonders. So I have arrived back with all of the emeralds, but what I'm going to quickly do is put a sign on each of their shops, basically saying what trade they do. Hold on just a second. There's a cat on the island. Okay, so I don't want to scare this away, so I'm just going to keep my distance from it. But guys, we've gone through and put all the signs down. So we've got sharpness, mending, we've got fortune, and then over here we've also got unbreaking, and then feather falling. So as I said, once we get all of these villagers breeding, then we can go ahead and basically get all of the best enchantments. So I mean, I'm going to leave these three and then start breeding with these three first. And then once I've done that, we can go for things like protection four and basically all the other enchantments wait just a second there's another cat wait there's two of them wait where did the other one go <gasps> wait they're over there so we have two cats uh, uh okay so i've got the books let's just go ahead and see how many we can actually buy okay so from the sharpness villager we can probably end up buying maybe i don't know maybe three of these or okay so you know what just so i don't run out of emeralds entirely we'll go with two sharpness five books for now so let's just go ahead and put these in here like i said i would and then for the mending let's maybe buy three of these so one two three mending books oh wait no um i wasn't meant to buy that many okay you know what though it's it's fine 
Maybe two of these as well? Maybe two? Okay, we're, we're running quite low on emeralds right now. We're definitely going to have to get these villagers to get their prices a little bit cheaper. Okay, over here, what have we got? So, the Unbreaking Villager. You know what? 30 emeralds for Unbreaking really isn't too bad. So, I think maybe buy two of those as well. Boom. All right, so that is a pretty good start. So, now we've got a bunch of Feather Fallings, a bunch of Mendings, Unbreakings, and stuff like that. We have so many Enchanted Books. It's crazy. So, as I said, I'm going to keep these villagers for breeding. But what I want to do now is I actually want to go ahead and make a little bit of a mini game for the others. So what it's going to be is I want to do some sort of target practice or some sort of target mini game with the others. So we are going to name the diamond cave and then once we've done that we are going to go ahead and get a mini game with all the others. And then I think what we are going to do after that is actually go ahead and get some more netherite to go towards the netherite beacon. So let's just go ahead and name the diamond cave and then let's meet with the others and do this mini game. All right, so I think this is a pretty good place for a sign. So let's just put this here and let's name this place. Okay, so the name I have chosen is the crystal caves. Now the reason I really like this name is because obviously it's a diamond mine and I just think the crystal caves fits perfectly so I'll put the comment on screen and everything like that but let's just go ahead and check out what the crystal caves looks like again because I don't know why but I really like going down here it just looks so nice with all the lanterns and everything it just looks really really nice so this is now the crystal caves and it's looking really really good all right but now I think it's time to leave the island for a little bit so we can get the others and we can do this target practice mini game that I want to do so let's just go set that up and then let's get the others involved and yeah let's go do this thing okay so this is the challenge or mini game that I have made for them so basically there'll be three moving targets and what they have to do is with 15 tries or 15 arrows they have to stand behind this fence and try to hit every single target and once they have hit all three they will get the grand prize of all of this so not only do you get a bunch of emeralds and a totem of undying there is also a mental book and this a netherite sword with some pretty good enchantments on it so whoever can go ahead and get the most targets will win so say for example none of them hit all three because it's really really hard to hit all three trust me I've I've gave it an attempt and yeah it's it's pretty hard so what we're going to do is whoever can hit the most targets will win the prize so we're going to get Zetro prod and also MD to go ahead and try this but let me just show you guys exactly what's going to be happening all right so I've turned it on and as you can see all of the targets are moving up and down so what they have to do is stand behind here and try and hit every single bullseye on each of the targets in fact let me let me try and give it a go right now Okay, after a few attempts, I finally got it. So what will happen is the light will go on and also the bow will ring. So they'll basically know whenever they hit a target. So we're going to get them all and then we're going to explain the rules. And then after they've had all their attempts, we'll show them what they could have won. And whoever the winner is, will get to keep all of this. So let's go ahead, get MD, get Zetra and Prod, show them the rules. And then they will have their own turn to have a go at this mini game right here. So let's get all of them. I'm really, really excited. So let's go. All right, so Prod, thank you for joining me for this challenge right now. All right, MD, I appreciate you for coming out here and trying out the mini game. So basically okay. the rules are, all right, Zetro, thank you for coming out here and getting involved. So um, basically the rules are, I'm going to give you a bow and 15 arrows, okay? Oh. You have 15 attempts to work your way from, I mean, you can do it in any order you want, actually. So basically you have to hit a bullseye. They'll, I'll turn it on in a minute and they'll start going up and down, right? If you can successfully hit every single target within 15 attempts, you will win whatever is in this shulker box right here. And I don't want you to look yet. I want you to hopefully try and see if you can win this first and then look afterwards. So, so I mean, I know exactly what you're going to be winning. So let's just say I'm, I'm wishing you the best of luck. How are you feeling about this, by the way? I'm a bit nervous. I don't I don't really know what I'm shooting at, but... Trust me, when, the, when I turn this contraption on, you, you'll start seeing what it is. All right, so let yeah. me just come around here. All right, so you're not allowed, obviously, past this fence or anything like that. So mm -hmm. top tip, just aim a little bit higher, I guess. That, that's the only tip I can really give you. And uh, let me just... Let me just turn this thing on. Okay, so it's on. All right, so frauds, take your time. Start with this one at the left and then work your way over to the right. And all I'm going to say is just take your time. Ooh, that was close. That was close. That was really close. You've Come got on. this. All the time in the world. Ooh, what? That, I mean, to me, that looked like a bullseye, but apparently not. You'll Come know on. when it's a bullseye because the light will um, the light will turn on. Yeah. Oh, that, that was, was so too close. High, too high. Okay. Okay, I've got 10 shots. Okay. Stop 10 being shots. Stupid. Come on. Oh my, what am I doing now? Uh, it's okay. stressful. They move fast. <laughs> they do. They... Oh, oh no, that was just off. That was just off. That was actually just off. All right, really take your time. You've got this. At least get one of the bullseyes. Oh, that was just under. That was just under. All right, maybe try a little bit higher. I have to hit every single shot now. You literally, you literally do. Oh, that was way too high. That was way too high. Oh, oh no, my. this isn't going too good for you, is it? Please say this right one is. <gasps> that was. That was Roy Donny to what? Oh, no, it, it works. Oh, I just wow, did a test shot. Nice wow. it, it works. It, it definitely works. Well, I'm out of arrows. I don't know what to say. I kind of feel bad. And I want to give you like a second chance. I give you three more arrows, okay? And if you can hit it, that that's that's the second chance, okay? Well, I have to hit every one of them again. Okay, Prod, the machine has been reset. So 
I'm going to give you one chance, all right? Every single arrow has to hit the bullseye every single time, okay? So, okay, let's hope you can do this. No! Oh, yes. there we go. Okay, you got one. You've got one. You've got one. Hit this last one. Oh, oh that was way off. Oh, okay, you know man. what? Prime, I'm sorry to say, man. You can you can see what you've you've lost out on here oh, in the no, shulker this box. Is the worst part. I mean, to, to be honest, this is what you could have won. This is what you could have won. Oh, Look at that sword. My. Prod, you took part. That's all that matters. You know, it, it means a lot to me that you tried out this this little mini game here. So I, I appreciate it. Just know that next time, I'm gonna be practicing this. I'm I'm gonna get all of them in a row. Okay. Okay. All right, so so and, you're gonna do a little practice. See. All right, I'm okay. in, I'm I'm down to see what you um what you get up to in practicing this. I'm going to get MD and Zetro see if they can do it. I'll, I'll let you know if they do better than you. But I mean, oh. there we go. So yeah, so these are gonna keep moving up and down. Okay, and your job ahead, is to stand behind this fence here. Okay, oh. and you have to hit every single bullseye. And trust me, Prod Prod had a go at this, and he he got one. Okay, it, it's very very difficult. So if you can somehow get all three, you win the big prize. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So take your time, start whenever you want, and uh, best of luck. All right, let's go. Oh, okay, yeah, the timing is everything when it comes to this. Like, the timing. Oh, again. <laughs> you literally. Oh, that was so close, just Wait, above. Oh, it, oh we need to be right on the. Right in the middle, like right in the middle. Oh, just a bit under. Well, I mean, I if I was you, like try and aim a little bit more above than what you'd expect. Yeah, I see. Oh no, this isn't going too good, MD. No, it's not. Okay, that was slightly to the left. So just like look at where your last shot went. Then oh, yep. Oh, yeah, okay, you go, got one. Go, yeah. You got one. Okay, this is very good. This is very good. All right, how many arrows you got left? Eight. Eight arrows. Okay, come on. Oh, that was so close. Please, I really hope you can do this because this is very difficult. <gasps> okay, remember where that arrow was and just see if you can see if you can perfect this. <gasps> okay, maybe a little bit tiny bit more to the left. Like that. Oh, that was just oh, a bit under. All right, a little bit more up. Yeah, that was so close. <laughs> oh, that was too high. Okay, oh. you know what? You know what? It's only fair because I, I gave Prod an extra three arrows for another chance. So here you go. All right, here's a, another three arrows. You have three more attempts and then that's it. Okay, that come was... on. You got this. You've got this. Two more. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, MD, do not mess this up. Do not mess this up. <gasps> oh, <sorry. laughs> I'm really tempted to give you one more arrow, MD, because of how far you've got. Oh, no. All right, this, is, this is me being extra generous right now, MD. Okay. One more arrow. Right. Okay. Really aim it up. Take your time, MD. Come on. Okay. I need to align this. Okay, align up. Like, I, this is this is this must be very. This must be a lot of pressure for you, MD, right now. It is. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I'm really hoping you got this. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the middle as well. I just shot it at no. the wrong time. MD, you know what though? You've you've done really well. All right. So if if I'll let you know if Zetro does better than you. If he doesn't, the shulker box is all yours. Okay. Okay. Oh, and by by the way, uh, okay. Zetro. We have we have a little spectator for you, MD. MD, come out here, come out here, MD. So basically, MD, <laughs> MD is the winner so far with two. Okay, so MD is going to be uh looking to see if you get less than two, and if you get less than two, yeah, you, you get the grand prize, MD. Okay, it's it's definitely harder than you think. Okay, and take all the time you need. Okay, you've got this. All right, so. Okay, can I go any time? Yep, any time from now. Go for it. All right, you've got this. Like, do not move after you've shot the bow, so then you can see where it went and how you can kind of work on that. So that went a little bit to the right. So maybe aim a little bit more to the left. Go on, you've got this. Oh, okay, a little oh, bit too low. A, a, literally a, a tiny bit, bit more up, and I think you're good. Any minute now. Oh, a little bit more down. It needs to be like right in the middle. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's not going too good, Zetro. If you can hit a 360, you win the prize instantly, okay? okay. But you have one attempt. Okay, yeah. we're ready. 360, Zetro, whenever you're ready. Out the water. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, okay, that didn't go. Oh, that didn't close. I have to hit both of these to draw. Yeah, you literally... You... Oh, no. Come on. No. All right, you know what, Zetro? Because I, I did it to everyone else, and I only feel as if it's fair to do it with you as well. Three more tries, okay? One more attempt at each of the bullseyes, okay? Okay. O okay, it's... <laughs> okay, okay. You know what? MD, you are the winner. Go. You Wait hit up. the most out of everybody. All right, so, Zetro, it didn't it didn't go too good, but, you know, maybe maybe in the next mini game or the next challenge, maybe you'll be able to come out on top, you know? Thank you, MD. Enjoy the prize. Thank you. That was actually quite a lot of fun, so what I'm going to do before we end this episode is actually see if I can get any luck with Ancient Debris for the Netherite Beacon with this stack of TNT. So let's just head to the Nether and see if we can get any luck with Ancient Debris. Honestly, with a stack of TNT, I mean, who knows how much we'll get because you guys know we usually go into the Nether with maybe like, I don't know, like two shulker boxes filled with TNT, so this is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to find a random location, dig down and see if we can get any luck. All right, let's just dig out a place for the TNT. Okay, so we only have 10 pieces left and there we go. Okay, so that was perfect. 
Perfect. All right, so I guess let's just go ahead and do this, please. Let's hope we can get a bunch of ancient debris from this. Three, two, one, let's go. So all of the ancient debris I get from this will obviously go towards the netherite beacon that we have back at the nether ending castle. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh. oh my goodness. That was so close. That was way too close. I mean, at least we found some ancient debris. All right, let's just go grab this piece. Come on. Perfect. As I said, I've only used a stack of TNT, so I'm not really expecting too much, but I mean, every little bit of Ancient Debris does help, and I'm pretty sure Zetro is going to be going crazy when it comes down to TNT. I'm pretty sure he's been making TNT for quite a while now, and he is going to be going pretty crazy in the Nether at some point. So, I mean, when he does that, hopefully that will be enough to complete the beacon, but let's just keep going through here and see how much we can get. So, you know what? I think I might stick to only bringing five Shulker Boxes of TNT into the Nether, because with only a stack of TNT, we got three Ancient Debris. So, uh, remind me to only ever do this with five or more shulker boxes of TNT. Three pieces of ancient debris. How... How does that even happen? Take a look, we found some more ancient debris here, but you know what, guys? I think after we get this, we are go Oh, it's a three vein. I mean, a three vein isn't too bad, but guys, I think that's where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy. We were able to build a brand new part of the island and also bring all the villagers over and give them some really good trades. And we also did that really fun mini game, which is also good as well. So, guys, that is where we are going to end it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Have a great rest of your day. And apart from that, Peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now, in today's episode, we are going to be doing a build I have been so excited to start, and today is the day we get to go ahead and start on it. The build that I am talking about is, of course, the headquarters over at the Island of Wonders, also known as the Coral Quarters. Now, the thing is, with this build, is that I'm going to need to gather so much sand and gravel because... The whole thing's going to be pretty much made out of concrete, and as you know, concrete, it really isn't the easiest block to gather, so we need to go ahead and do a bunch of that, but before we get on with anything in this episode, let's head to the SMB HQ, because I'm pretty sure Spike has a little bit of an announcement, so I mean, let's just go over there. Alright, so here we are at the Spike and Blue headquarters, so I think me and Spike need to go ahead and tell this announcement. You know what, Spike? Let's just do it. Okay, so the announcement is, is that I finally have a Twitter, so guys, if you want to keep up with anything behind the scenes and everything like that, make sure you go ahead to the the top comment and click the link to my Twitter. Make sure you guys give it a follow. And also, me and Spike also have a little bit of a challenge. That challenge is that if we can get to 10,000 followers on Twitter, I will go ahead and gather 25,000 thousand blocks of TNT and bring it all to the nether to see how much ancient debris we can get. That is right. If we can somehow get 10,000 followers, I will make sure to go to the nether with 25,000 TNT. So, guys, make sure you go ahead to the link in the top comment. It would really be appreciated. So, make sure you guys follow the Twitter. It really, really means a lot to me. And honestly, guys, just thank you all so much for the support recently. Not just me, but everyone really, really appreciates it. So, guys, thank you so much for all the comments and everything like that. It really, really does mean a lot. But really quickly, though, Spiker, uh, are you are you doing good today, by the way? All right, interesting as always. And let's just go ahead over here to Blue and see how he's doing. I hope he's doing good. All right, so Blue, how are you doing? Whoa, hold on just a second, Blue. If you're actually being serious, that is crazy. But Blue Spike, I have to leave you guys to it because I need to go and gather so much gravel and so much sand and we need to start on this headquarters. But guys, as I said, if we can somehow get 10,000 followers on Twitter, yes, I will go ahead and I will take 25,000 pieces of TNT into the nether and go crazy. So if you guys want to go check the Twitter out, that would mean a lot. But apart from that, let's go ahead. Let's collect as much gravel as we can. And then once we've done that, start building the headquarters. So let's just head over to the Island of Wonders and let's do this. I think our desert might be running out of sand. Um, all jokes aside, though, this is what our desert is actually looking like. We 
We use way too much sand. Not only are we constantly taking loads of TNT into the nether, which does take a lot of sand to make the amount of TNT that we use, we are also making a lot of concrete. So this is, this is kind of what the desert's looking like right now. The thing which is crazy is that all of this is sandstone, which means we have had to get rid of all of these layers of sand to get to this level. We definitely do use a lot of sand, but guys, let me go ahead over to the Island of Wonders and show you what the headquarters is looking like. Here it is. This is the coral quarters and it's pretty much finished. Now there is some details I'm planning on adding in the future but for now this is looking really really nice and just look how huge it is so here is the sign I actually ended up moving the sign from obviously it was on the ground before so I made sure to put the sign actually on the building itself so the coral quarter sign is now here and as you can see there's no actual door or any way to get in it now that is because to get in to the coral quarters you must be equipped with some elytras unless you kind of go up the side with a ladder or maybe build up or something like that apart from that the way you can get in is using elytras. So as you can see, if we go up here just like this, here is what the roof is looking like. So if we are using elytras, all we have to do to get inside is go ahead and land in it just like this. So all we got to do is just kind of get a good landing inside just like this and perfect. So this is actually what it looks like from the inside and it has a whole view of the island. So over there, we got the new village area, which I actually just remember we do need to actually name this in this episode. We have a really nice view of the island and we have a view of the mountains over there. We can see just the ocean, the beacon area over there. And also also over here I do have two shulker boxes now in this shulker box I have a few spare building materials but more importantly as you can see we have a bunch of blocks of iron some blocks of diamonds and a load of blocks of gold and what I'm actually going to do with that is hopefully make a beacon going all the way through the middle with jump boost now the reason I want jump boost in here is because of course we have the speed beacon over there giving us speed too I thought it would be a pretty good idea to actually put a jump boost one in here so if we go into the shulker box I'm pretty sure I have the three with a skull so yeah, these were the skulls I've had for absolutely ages and that means we need to get a nether star from this to build the beacon right in the middle. Now the beacon will be placed perfectly in the center through here so it will end up looking really really good and I also think I have a bunch of fish in here so we have a bunch of different fish because not only will we have an aquarium and some island storage, I also really want to get something done in this episode for the headquarters and that is to get every single color of shulker box that you can possibly get. So before we go ahead and do that though, not only do we need to go ahead and get rid of the wither, I also want to go ahead and name the village area. So let's go over there and do that. And I'm also pretty sure there's been a cat walking around there. So who knows, maybe if we find the cat over there, we'll have to maybe get a name for that and it can be the kind of villager cat, I guess. So let's just go ahead and name the village area. Okay, so the name I have chosen is the Village of Wonders. Now the reason I have chose this name is because obviously we are on the Island of Wonders, right? So I guess it would just make sense to call this the village of wonders so yeah this is now the village of wonders and if we take a look we have all of the books now i do really want to do something exciting with those in the next episode but i guess we'll just have to wait all right what i think i'm going to do now though is go ahead back to our base and actually fight this with us so let's take these skulls and let's head back to the base and fight this thing okay so we are under prod's base and this is always where we fight withers as you can tell um it doesn't look the best down here so what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in the wither and i usually always have help when getting rid of withers. I always have someone there to help me out and I am doing this completely by myself. So I really hope this doesn't mess up and we don't just completely end up destroying Prod's house. That that would really be bad. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, let's keep our distance and let's do this. Okay, I mean, our arrows do really, really good damage, but the sword is really, really good as well. Now I need to keep my distance. <gasps> my heart, so I didn't realize. Oh wait, okay, we need to eat food. All right, I think I might go in with the sword. Okay, here we go. Come on, with the sword. Okay, we got it about halfway. Look at the sword. The sword does so much damage. Okay, I want to try and get as many hits with the sword and then switch over to the bow. Okay, you know what? Okay, let's stand back and switch to the bow. Here we go. We need to finish this off. It's so below halfway. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Any minute. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Battling a wither by yourself can be hard sometimes. We got down to about three and a half hearts. What I'm going to do now, though, is head back up to the top and actually turn this nether star into a beacon and then put it back at the headquarters. There we go. I've got the beacon, so let's head back to the headquarters. So I have arrived back at the Island of Wonders, and I'm pretty sure I just heard a cat. I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. So, guys, I think we need to get fish. I don't know if it's hiding in the grass, but I definitely heard one. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, we really need to get fish. All right, let's just go quickly get some fish. We are back with the fish. Now, I'm hoping 12 fish is enough. I really hope it is. Okay, I think we just need to kind of sneak up a little bit closer, and then we're good to go. Okay, this, this could take a while. The cat doesn't seem to be coming any closer to us. Come on, yes. Yes, we got it. Oh, there we go. Okay, luckily, the water slowed it down, but there we go. We have a cat. 
on the Island of Wonders. So guys, you know what to do. Comment down below any names that we should name this cat and also what color we should actually make its color. So guys, it would really mean a lot if you guys were to comment down a name for the cat, but not only a name, also a color that we should put on the collar right there. So not only a name, but also the collar. But there we go. We have a cat. It's, it's on the island. Okay, so I think we just might leave it there for now or, or maybe try and bring it over to the, um, the Island of Wonders. What happens if we unsit it? Does it follow us? Okay, perfect. All right, so we have a cat inside of the Village of Wonders. So guys, as I said, make sure you guys comment down below a name for the cat and also the color of its collar. But there we go. We've got a cat on the Island of Wonders. All right, now we've got the cat. Let's just go ahead and set this beacon up really quickly. And there we go. Put the diamond in. Let's go for jump boost. There it is. And perfect. There we go. We now have the jump boost beacon all set up under the HQ. Let's also put a piece of glass right there. Perfect. Okay, now this is really, really looking good. So once we have an aquarium in here and also some island storage, this place is going to look really, really good. But now though, guys, what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of a challenge with the others. Now, I have this really good idea where I basically want to do a bit of a challenge with the others. So what I'm going to do is actually meet up with them all at the dome and let's just go ahead and do this challenge. I'll explain everything when we're there. So let's head over to the dome. Okay, so this is what I like to call the Shulk Box mini game. So as you can see in front of me right now, there is three different shulker boxes now in each of the different shulker box there is different tiers of loot so in this one we have really really bad loot we have a bunch of iron a stack of lapis and yeah we have a curse of vanishing pair of diamond leggings and a curse of vanishing pair of iron boots so this is the low tier shulker box in here and then moving on we have the medium tier we have a really really good netherite axe with some really good enchantments on and then we have an enchanted golden apple and a bunch of gold blocks and even some totems of undying and then in this one this is the insane loot. This is the highest loot shulker box that they could win. So inside of this one, they have 10 netherite ingots. They have a spare pair of elytras, 64 diamonds. And not only that, take a look at the armor they could get. Look at that. Protection for Acrofinity mending. This has mending on it. They just basically have really good enchantments. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to say to them without letting them look inside of any of the boxes, I'm going to give them the option to pick what one they want. So they have no idea what's inside of it. They will just have to basically go and guess which one they think has the good loot in it. And if they select a shulker box and want to switch with someone else, they have one opportunity to do so. So let's say Prod is stood on this shulker box and Zetro is stood on this shulker box. Say, for example, Zetro has changed his mind of what shulker box he wants. He can go ahead and swap with Prod, but they can only do that once. So let's go ahead. Let's get all the guys over to the dome and let's go ahead and let's start this mini game. Hey, guys. It's through. And welcome back to another epic mini game. Prod MD Zetro, welcome back to the dome. I don't think it's been a while since you've all been here together. This is this is actually a pretty good moment. I think you all know the rules, right? So there's three different shulker boxes. Basically, you all get to pick one, but then each of you can do one swap. Okay. So say for example, Zetro, you want a shulker box that maybe MD stood on. You can swap with him, but you can only do that once. Okay. So you have one switch each. And there's nothing the other person can do about it, okay? So, do you guys understand the rules? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? I guess I guess that's it really. Oh, Zetro. All right, guys. So, I mean, go ahead. Pick what shulker box you want. Okay. Go for it. Go. I'm going to let those two pick first. All right, okay. Zetro, what are you having? This one. Okay, Zetro wants the one on the far right. Prods? I'm, I'm going for this one. Do you want to swap with anyone? You know what? I want this one. Okay, so Prod swapping with yeah. Zetro. All right, so Prod's used up his swap. Prod's used up his swap. Okay. MD, do you want to swap at all with anyone? Do you want to swap at all with anyone? Ooh. Uh, I think I, you should. You two should swap. I mean, it's it's up to you guys. You 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 choose. I want that one back. Oh, oh. I actually Ooh. didn't feel confident about my choice, so I'm glad you did that, Andy. Okay, so Zetro, are you feeling confident with your choice? Ah, uh, it's extra super duper confident. Okay, Ooh. MD, what about you? What about you? Feeling confident? I have with no that? idea. Well, there's a green line here, so I think it could be good. Ooh, Ooh. that's actually true. That is that I, is. I like the thought process, but what mm -hmm. about you, Prod? You, you've gone far right, Prod. Any oh, sort of yeah. decision behind this? I just or? know this is the best loot. All right, so just a reminder, there's one shulker box with really bad loot, one with kind of okay loot, and then one with, like, insane loot, okay? So we're going to go one at a time. Wait, actually, just to remind MD, you actually won the last... I you did. actually won the last mini game. So if you win this, if you, if you get on the streak of two, that, that would be pretty good. That sword is what you won in the last, in the last mini game. So three... Two, one, take a look. Don't say anything, but that's that's what you've got. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous. Okay, prod, go for it. Break your glass. See what you've see what you've got inside there. A piece of oh. gold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, all right. And um, finally, Zetro, go for it. See what you can get inside of yours. The silence from Zetro doesn't sound promising. Okay, so yeah, that, he's got really good that was a really sad. All right, silence. let's all let's all take a second to look at what Prod got. So this this is what okay. Prod got, guys. This is this is what he got. So not too Whoa. bad, not too Whoa. bad. Oh, thank you. I'm joking. He, he, he got <laughs> he, he got some good stuff. Okay, now let's let's it check is. out MD. Well, let's see what he got. Oh, 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 I fell through. Help! Oh, okay, vanishing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so MD, you know what? I mean, that that's what you got. But guys, Zetro. Oh. Zetro's oh, crowned the winner. Oh you God. were on this one and you switched it with me. That's actually I, really cool. Um, Zetro. Anyway, um, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm kind of busy. I'm gonna do something. MD took all of it. What? Wait, <laughs> MD, you look. <laughs> it's, it's been like. Where's my shulker box gone? <laughs> it's been ten seconds, MD. How have you got all that enchanted netherite? Oh, um, this was in my um ender chest. <laughs> yeah, no, there was one just um not there. I just found it. I thought I'd. I, I thought I'd show, I thought I'd look wait. nice for the um thing. I've never worn this before. Actually, it's brand new. It, I mean, it, it does look... it Oh, wait, Zetro, <laughs> since um, I got you something, though, here you go. Oh, oh that is so kind. That... Yeah, as I said, um, Zetro's looking at me funny now. I'm going to go. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know why. He, I mean, he gave you the, the chest plate. Oh, no. The Shulker Box challenge was actually quite a lot of fun, and Zetro ended up with all of his armor and everything like that. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be happy with everything that he got, and I'm pretty sure Prod's going to be happy with everything he got as well. And MD, I mean, he did get some iron and some lapis, but, I mean... The armor pieces aren't really the best, so what we are going to do now, though, is go ahead and do what I said earlier in the episode and get every single different color of Shulker Box. So, in this chest, we have every single die in the whole entire game. As you can see, we've got all of them right here, but all we need now is the Shulker Boxes. Now, what I need to do to actually get them is head to the end and get a bunch of Shulker Shells, so I'm pretty sure, in total, I'm going to need about... 32 if I'm correct and then we can get every single different colored shulker box to put inside of the HQ Let's just go and head to the end and let's get all these shulker boxes. Here we go Let's go into the end portal really quickly All right So I think as I always do is I'm going to go into this end city portal right here I think this end city may be unlooted wait, let me go ahead and check I think it actually might be all right here we go and okay I don't know if there's any light just in that way. Let me check. Oh, <gasps> yes there is, wait, okay, so we've actually got so lucky right now, okay, so let's just get rid of these, alright, let's get the elytras, okay, this is perfect, alright, mending and protection 4, they're not even that bad, I mean, they do have curse of vanishing on them, but that's still not even that bad, out of all of those shulkers, only one of them dropped a shulker shell, how, how have I gotten that unlucky with shulkers, we're actually getting really lucky with shulkers, basically every shulker has dropped a shulker shell, so we have 9 right now, okay, 2 of them have dropped shulkers, 3 of them have dropped shulker shells, okay, can it be four out of four right now? Come on. Come on. Okay, perfect. All right, we are levitating for quite some time. And wait, I don't even think that one dropped one. So out of four shulkers, we were able to get three shulker shells, which is really good. I have climbed this entire thing just for this shulker. Please drop a shulker shell. And it did. Okay, 14 out of 32. So we're basically halfway there. All right, so I've returned back to my base and made all of the shulker boxes. There is 16 shulker boxes here in total. And in this one right here is all of the stuff we got from that end city, including our brand new elytras. So I only need one of each die. So I don't actually need to go and grab more than one. So let's just put one here. Okay, let's just go through all of the shulker boxes. Let's do the orange one. One. Let's do the pink one and now we need to go and grab all of the others and the last one we have the red one Okay, so now let's go take all these to the headquarters and let's see what all of them look like together Oh my take a look at how nice this looks This is every single different color that you can get a shulker box and it just looks insane So I mean this definitely makes the coral quarters a little bit more colorful and yeah It definitely makes it look better But guys, I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode So hopefully you guys really really enjoyed we actually got so much done we've built this brand new headquarters and we even did a really really cool little challenge with the others and we also now have every single different colored shulker box you can get which really does look nice so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and i also hope you have a great rest of your day make sure you guys go ahead and follow the twitter that i will link at the top comment so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out and apart from that have a great rest of your day and peace hey guys it's fru and welcome back to another episode of the minecraft multiplayer survival now today in this episode we are going to be doing some Something seriously crazy by the end of this episode I want to have a crazy amount of netherite tools to the point where it's just it's just crazy I also want to do some more stuff like get some more ancient debris do some more work at the coral quarters and also refight the ender dragon not once but twice but I mean before we do anything let's just go check on blue and spike all right let's just head into the SMB HQ and really quickly check on spikes so the spike man how are you doing today are you doing good all right, interesting as always, and let's just go over and check on Blue as well. Let's hope he's doing good as well. Okay, Blue, how are you doing today? Are you doing good as well? 
Whoa, hold on just a second, Blue. If you actually did that, that is pretty crazy. But Spike Blue, I've got to leave you guys to it because I'm actually going to be heading over right now to the Coral Quarters to work on some of the interior work that we've got to get done in there. But apart from that, Spike Blue, I'll leave you guys to it. And also, guys, if you haven't already checked out the top link in the comments, I'll put the Discord, the merch, and also the Twitter. So make sure you guys check those out. And apart from that, let's head over to the Island of Wonders and let's get some of this work done. <laughs> Okay, so I have added two things into the coral quarters. Now, the first thing is over here to my right, and this is where I'm going to be storing some of the island storage, and this is pretty much a place where I can put my shulker boxes. So if we go over here, we can kind of get access to all the shulker boxes, and if at any time I want to take one, I can simply break it, and there we go. I have a shulker box where I can do whatever I want with it. So this is a place I'm going to store most of my shulker boxes. I mean, I do have a lot of shulker boxes, so maybe not all of them, but most of them. So I do need to go back to my base at some point and get some more shulker boxes, and then over here, behind me we have the fish tank so for you guys that know this i have wanted to build a fish tank inside of this place for absolutely ages and we've finally done it so for now though i've only put two fish in here as you can see and the thing is they don't have any names we need to get some names for these guys so make sure you comment down below any good fish names that you guys have so we definitely do need to end up naming these at some point so yeah leave a comment down below with some good fish names and i'll be definitely picking two of the best to name these fish and also at any time we can add fish because what i have done is that if we go up this ladder we can just go ahead open this trap door and put as many fish as we want in here so yeah these are the two fish we are going to add for now though and they they look like they're having a pretty good time in there kind of swimming around and stuff so yeah if we can get some good fish names that would be awesome so apart from building these two things in the coral quarters while we are here on the island of wonders we have to go ahead and name the cat now i don't think you can see it from over here but if you guys watched the last episode we got ourselves a cat for the island of wonders or to be more specific we have got ourselves a cat for the village of wonders now if we turn around right here here is the cat now we didn't have a name for this in the last episode but thanks to you guys in the comment section we have finally got a name and also what we can put the color of its collar right there so let me go ahead put the comment on screen everything like that of what we're going to call the cat now if we take a look in my inventory we have the color of its collar and the name is going to be lucky now i really like this name i'll put the comment on screen and everything like that so let's just go ahead let's change the color of its collar let's just go ahead and quickly do that boom there we go and let's name the cat lucky is now your brand new name. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think Lucky is a really good name. And by the way, if you're wondering what's inside of here and why there's some villagers trapped in, let me show you guys what I actually managed to get. Now, I don't know if we can get in here without them escaping. There we go. So what we've got on this villager is actually Efficiency 5. Now, I always knew you could get Efficiency 5 on a villager, but I thought it was going to be much harder than how I got it. So I managed to actually put the villager in this little thing here. And what I actually have to end up doing is putting some sort of rail cart system to get it into one of its own little kind of shops. But yeah, we do actually have a Efficiency 5 Villager. Now, this leads us perfectly into the next part of the episode because we need some TNT. And now, back at my base, I do have a shulker box of TNT, but I really need two shulker boxes of TNT to do what I want to do. I want to get a whole shulker box of pickaxes that are netherite, that are fully enchanted to the max, and also some shovels and axes and stuff like that. But to get this second shulker box of TNT... I kind of need Zetro's help, so I think what I'm going to try and do is get Zetro to meet me at the Miner's Diner, and I'm hoping that I may be able to try and buy a Shulker Box of TNT from him, and then what I'm going to do with all this Ancient Debris is obviously turn it into Netherite, and then get a whole Shulker Box filled with some of the best pickaxes you can get. Wait a second, I've kind of just realized something. Whenever I'm on the Island of Wonders, I always need to make sure to wear my sunglasses, but let's go ahead and see if we can meet with Zetro and hopefully get a shulker box of TNT. Yeah, so we are back in the suit, but I have come with a few of my diamonds here. So if we look in the shulker box, I've brought just a few stacks of diamonds here, and what we are going to do, I'm pretty sure Zetro is actually in the miner's diner right now. Okay, yeah, he he's sat in there right now. So what we are going to do is we're going to take the shulker box inside and see if we can buy any of his TNT, because I know he's been collecting TNT for quite a while now, so let's hope he can give us a shulker. So let's go inside. Okay, so uh, Zetro, it's it's really nice to see you here, actually. Now, you're probably a little bit confused of why I want to meet you in the Miner's Diner. You know, it has it has definitely been a while, so uh, let's just take a seat. I, I kind of need a massive help, I guess. Um, so, you know, Zetro, I've seen you walking around and 
you, you got a lot of TNT, don't you? You be, you've been collecting quite a lot of gunpowder, right? Uh, I got a little bit. I got a little bit. Okay, okay. Um, so I don't know if this is going to interest you, but I really need another shulker box of, of TNT. I, I don't know if that would be uh, that would be yeah. possible. I know you may not want to give your your gunpowder and your TNT away this easily, but does does some of this interest you? Oh, yeah. Does uh does this interest you? It yeah. That is <laughs> that is. That is exactly what I'm looking for. So I don't know if you want to come up with some sort of some sort of deal or something. Uh, I mean, what's what what's, what's your offer? Uh, I'd say stack and a half. Stack and a stack and a half of diamonds. Okay, so you know what? I really need this TNT, and I have quite a few diamonds. So you know what? If a stack and a half is what it takes, all right, here you go. Stack and a half of diamonds. I appreciate it, Zetro. Now I might as well, seeing as we're here. Uh, in the miners' diner, you know where the meetings go down. I actually, I actually want to tell you something. So, oh, thank you. Um, so take a little seat. So, Zetro, I am planning. Okay, I am planning on very soon taking about twenty-five thousand blocks of TNT into the Nether. So, um, I was wondering uh, uh, if in in the future you'd want to help me with that. Uh, y yeah. All right. Well, you know what, Zetro, I appreciate you for doing the deal, and um, I will make sure to come back and update you whenever I am going to be taking this TNT into the Nether. So I'll, I'll let you know. But Zetro. I appreciate the business. Okay, so instead of going to the nether with only one shulker box of TNT, thanks to Zetro, we now have not only one box, but two boxes. So all of the ancient debris that I get from this TNT is going straight into getting a whole shulker box filled with pickaxes with maximum enchantments. Because, I mean, I know I do have these two pickaxes and they are really, really good. When I'm digging out huge things with my pickaxe, I always find myself having to go all the way to the enderman farm to basically get the mending on both of the pickaxes all the way to full. So so instead of doing that all the time, why not just get a whole shulker box filled with pickaxes? Yeah, this is this is pretty crazy now I'm thinking about it, but it's going to be a great idea. Alright, so I mean, all there is to do now is to go ahead to the nether and start planting this TNT. Alright, let's 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 just go. Alright, so here we are in the nether, and I always feel like every time we go to get ancient debris, we head in that direction over there. So I think what I'm going to do is actually switch it up a little bit and go towards the fortress in this direction and see if we can get any more luck with ancient debris over here. So I have found this little area in the nether right now, and it's actually looking pretty good because I don't think we've actually been here before. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig down to a good level, and then I think we'll be good to get all of this TNT out and start placing it. All right, we are at a pretty good position to start putting the TNT down, and oh no, there's so much lava. That is the thing about getting ancient debris. Because we have got so much of it, it's just kind of become normal to just kind of deal with with lava because when you are taking shulker boxes and shulker boxes of TNT into the nether, the only thing you can expect to get when going for ancient debris is lava. Trust me. Oh, and as we say it, there's literally some right there. All right, five more pieces, and that is the first stack down. Let's get the second stack out right here. So yeah, we have two shulker boxes to do, so this may take a while, but honestly, it's going to be so worth it. This right here is around about one and a half stacks of TNT, so let's just go for it and see how much ancient debris we can get from this. All right, here we go, and oh, there's so much lava, but there's ancient debris there. Oh, wait, we're actually getting... We've actually got really good luck. So we've got one piece there, three pieces there, a piece there. Um, I think that may be it. We really don't want to fall into lava, but I think, I, I mean, there's just so much lava up there. But we have found two pieces. Yeah, this is really good, actually. Okay, let's just go ahead and start mining this. Please be a three vein, two... Any more around? Okay, no, just just the two vein. From only around a stack and a half of TNT, we've ended up getting 14 ancient debris, which actually isn't even too bad considering we only use a stack and a half. But now we have to go through this whole shulker box and this whole shulker box. So let's get this done. <laughs> Okay, so we are now on to our final stack of TNT, and so far we have been able to get, oh my goodness, we've been able to get four stacks of ancient debris and an extra four right here. Oh, and I didn't even realize we actually have more than a stack of TNT to go through, so we have a stack and 22 of TNT to go. Let's hope we can maybe get up to four stacks and 20, or maybe four stacks and 30. That would be really, really crazy if we can do that, so let's just go ahead and dig in a straight direction all the way down here, plant all this TNT, and let's see how much ancient debris we can come out of the nether with, because honestly, out of two shulker boxes, I didn't even expect for one moment that we would get four stacks 
Apex of Ancient Debris. So that's actually really impressive. Okay, so let's just keep going down here and let's finish off this TNT. And there we go. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Okay, hopefully we can get lucky and get a bunch of ancient debris through this stack. Okay, here we go. I mean, we found one piece right now, which isn't too bad, and I think I just saw some over there as well. Okay, so we have an extra two pieces over there. So, the thing is, when using TNT to get ancient debris, you've always got to kind of, like, look around in case you miss any. So, I don't think there's any back there. Yeah, I think we're good to keep on going. So, I always like to look behind me and make sure that I've not left any. Let's also grab these two pieces here. One, and let's get this piece. Okay, so I don't actually think we have any more. It's not looking too good. This may have not been the best stack. Um, I mean, we've got a piece there, but is that it? And also, thinking about it, I'm also going to have a bunch of netherite left over because I only need 27 pickaxes, which is actually only 27 pieces of netherite, which means we can go ahead and have a bunch spare for something else. I'm definitely going to go ahead and take four stacks of ancient debris. That is really, really good. So I guess let's just get rid of all this stuff that we don't need and then let's head back to the base and make all of this into netherite. And I also just realized we need to make 27 diamond pickaxes as well. Okay, that, that's gonna be a lot of diamonds. Here we go, let's put all of the ancient debris inside of this chest and let's turn on the auto smelter and let's turn it all in to netherite scraps. Let's go. All right, so all of this is going to smelt and I'll be back with you guys when it's all finished. I also just remembered, I also am going to need some gold as well. So let me take this back up here and let's turn it into netherite. All of the furnaces have turned off, which can only mean that the ancient debris has smelted. Here we go, look at that, four stacks and a of netherite scraps. Let's just go ahead and grab this really quickly and then let's go turn it into netherite. Okay, so let's craft all of this into what we need to. So put four pieces of gold in, four pieces of netherite scrap. Boom. Okay, there is a full stack of netherite ingots. And then all we need to do now is just put these final pieces in here like this. And then boom. Okay, so now we have 64 and two pieces of netherite ingots, which means I now have to make around about 27 diamond pickaxes and a bunch of diamond shovels and diamond axes. Ah, oh, this is going to be a lot of diamonds. All right, I have two empty shulker boxes right here and I've got a bunch of my diamonds and of course I have the netherite and I have some wood as well. So let's just turn all of this wood into a bunch of sticks really quickly. I doubt we'll need this many, but let's just go ahead and start making these pickaxes. So I need 27 pickaxes. Okay, so here we go. So all I guess I'm going to do is just craft all of these. Okay, let's just keep throwing them on the ground and then we can put them all in the shulker box. This is so many pickaxes. Let's go ahead and put them all into the shulker box. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to enchant all of these with some of the best enchants you can get like mending unbreaking basically what I have on this pickaxe so efficiency 5 fortune 3 unbreaking 3 and mending now luckily for me I have used the raid farm a bunch recently which means I have so many emeralds which hopefully means I don't have to worry about getting emeralds to buy all the books for so all I need to do now is to get every single one of these pickaxes to have a really good enchant which is going to take a lot of trading but I also just realized not only are we doing this shulker box I also need to start making some diamond stuff for this shulker box as well so I think I'm going to do axes and shovels. Okay, so now we need to turn all of this into really good enchants and also turn them into netherite. This, this is going to look absolutely crazy. I cannot wait to show the others. All right, let's go ahead and get all my emeralds and let's start trading with the villagers. All right, I have everything I need. I've got all the shulker boxes. I brought two anvils to combine all of the books. Now all we have to do is start trading with these villagers and when I say we are going to need to trade with them a lot, I seriously mean a lot. All right, so the villager that sells us efficiency five is asking for 48 emeralds at the moment. And as you can see, I don't really have that many emeralds left. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and buy all of the books that I can. And I mean, it's out of stock anyway, but we only have enough. I mean, we don't even have enough for one more. So this technically is all of the books that I can buy from him. And if we take a look, I have one whole double chest filled with efficiency five, mending, unbreaking, and fortune. The same with this one. And I've also combined some of these together. But the only problem is, is that I don't think we are going to have enough emeralds to do all of this. So a good idea that I've just had is to actually put all of the enchants that I can on the pickaxes and any other pickaxes that are left over just to go ahead and enchant them normally. So technically that way we'll have a bunch of pickaxes which have all of the best enchants in the game and I mean some of them could also have things like silk touch and all the other enchantments and same thing for all of the diamond axes and the shovels which will soon be netherite so what I'm going to do is probably go over to the end farm right now get a bunch of levels combined all of this up and also enchant all the leftover pickaxes so let's go ahead and do this okay so after bringing all of these anvils over and even setting up a temporary enchantment table after all of this time I have finally done it I've enchanted every single diamond pickaxe with all of the books and and because I didn't have enough books, some of them are actually only level 30 enchanted. So all of these are either complete god pickaxes 
all level 30 pickaxe and exact same with the shovels most of them are level 30 and same with the axes but some of them do have the god enchants that i did bring over in these books now i do have some books left over here which i'm probably just going to save but now i think it's time to turn all of these pickaxes into netherite so let's head back to my base turn everything to netherite and then we're going to hopefully surprise one of the others i'm really really excited to get their reaction so yeah, let's go and do this. All right, here we go. Let's just keep on turning all of this into netherite. Let's just turn all of this like this. This is going to take quite a while to turn all of this into netherite, but it's going to be so worth it. Okay, we have done it, and I have 12 pieces of netherite ingots left over, but take a look at this. Oh my goodness. So what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and get MD's reaction to this. So let's go over to him and let's see what he thinks about this. All right, MD. So I've asked you to come out the front of your house for a very good reason because I want uh -huh. you to look at something, okay? Okay. Um, I've spent a little bit of time on this and just take a look. Which one first? I would say the blue one first. Oh. So, all right, now that that's pretty cool, but... <laughs> Take a look at this one. Wait, some of these have got so many enchantments on them. Yeah, the, the ones at like the top, they're all god enchanted, and then the other ones are just level 30. Oh, yeah. How have so, you like, got so many pickaxes? So the top layer ones are like all like, yeah, the best, and then the others are just like level 30, so things like I'm breaking three fortune and stuff like that, but yeah, this is, <laughs> this is pretty crazy, isn't it? Why do you need so many shovels? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got one for you. I mean, I'm excited. I always like a gift, you know? Let's, let's see what it is. Yeah, here you go. Ooh, I mean, this is what this is what I was missing. I mean, these shocker boxes, that, that's nothing. This is, oh, in efficiency three and breaking three oh, fortune. You don't want this? I can... I'm actually not sure. I might need it back. <laughs> okay, you can you can keep it. Yeah, so, there's uh, a lot of pickaxes. I, I didn't think I'd ever see something like this. It's actually really cool to look at when they're all moving at the same time. But you know what, MD, I'm sorry. I need to take these back to my base. But, um, yeah, uh, I mean, if you, if you, oh, if you, I mean, you um, know what, MD, if you I, want one of the... Oh, oh, one one step ahead of you. Oh. I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna give you one anyway, but I mean, yeah, you, you can keep that if you like. I was, I was literally gonna be like, you know, Andy, you can take one, but and if you want to take like a shovel or an axe or anything, you, you go for sure. it. Sure. Okay. Um. Yeah, I love that one. Okay. I think I might make a shot for these. Oh, hang on. Look what I made. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Oh, I see you made a little elevator to the to the front door. This I had is to nice. improvise. Yeah. Um. Like I said, yeah, there isn't much of an entrance anymore. Look. Oh, <gasps> it's you. It's it's you. I'm, wait, which one are you? I. I it's hard to tell. Oh, hang on. I'm this one. I'm this one. I'm oh, okay. I, I almost, I almost lost you there. All oh, right, hang, um, on. hang on. Um, which one am I? Yeah. So that's that's what I wanted to show you. Yeah. Just the uh, the pickaxes and stuff. That is I a mean, lot of pickaxes. <laughs> expect a shop. So you've got a free discount right there. You know, you got, the, you got free discount. You got the free tools right there. I'm definitely making a shop for this. So, uh, all right, MD, thank you for um, checking out the pickaxes, and I'll, I'll see you around. Good. Okay, so now that we have showed MD our pickaxe and tools collection, I'm actually going to head to the end with Zetro because I'm pretty sure he's got a bunch of end crystals so we can actually refight the ender dragon, and then I'm hoping to come out of the end with a bunch of good loot. So let's go ahead and meet up with Zetro. So let's go. All right, so we're with Zetro right now, and we're basically going to go ahead and fight the end dragon one or two more times. Wait, so Zetro, you've been preparing all these end crystals. How many How many do you actually have? If you uh, t take, a look, take a little look. Oh, okay, so this is actually enough to fight it twice. So Zetro, I don't know if, um, I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this because it's just the two of us doing this, but are you up for the challenge to fight two ender dragons? I'm a little bit nervous to fight two just by ourselves, but... I'm, I'm up for the challenge. Okay, here we are in the end, Zetra. You can have your end crystals back. So, I mean, yeah. So, we are here in the end, and we are going to fight the ender dragon not once, but twice. Because we want to get two more portals just like that one over there. So, let's hope this goes good. It is just me and Zetro, so it might be a little bit challenging. But seeing as we do have elytras, it, it should be a little bit easier. Three, two, one. Oh, no. This is... Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Yeah, this actually looks so good. Any moment. Okay, there we go. Try and go for the ones in the cages. You know, okay, I'm going to try and go for the ones in the cages. Okay, I've opened up the cage. If I can hit this right now. Come on. Are we done? Oh. Okay, I think I think that's it, right? Yeah, we, we're, we're good. All right, let's go for it. All right, so with our, with our gear, this should be so easy. When it goes to the middle, we just drop down with our swords. All right, we have it nearly halfway. Okay, really be careful. It, it, yeah, be, be careful, be careful. All right, Zetra, one more hit. There we go. There it is. There is our other portal. It's over here. This is a bit more higher than the other ones, but there we go. One ender dragon down. One more to go. Go for it. Let's do this. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, all right. All right, come on. That's got to hit. That's got to hit. Yes, okay. Come on, a little bit higher. Let's get this one. All right, perfect. And I think there's only one more. Wait, okay, you got it. Nice. All right, I think that's all of them. Okay, let's go. All right, let's just go for it. Keep on going with the bow shots. Oh, wait, I think... Wait. Oh, I got him. Wait, before he even went down to the middle? Okay, that was actually really fast. All right, I don't think you get as much XP for fighting it the second time as yeah. or the third time as you do the first time. But, I mean, I'll still take it. Okay, so that one over there that I'm looking at right now is the one that entered there. So, you know what, Zetro? I think... 
should I go in the one over there and then you go in the one over there and we can see see what loot we get maybe? Yeah. So I have found the first end city and my goal is to try and get a whole entire stack of shulker shells. Now is this unlooted? <gasps> yes, it is. Okay, so my goal is to get a whole stack of shulker shells to make 32 shulker boxes and then we'll pretty much have as many shulker boxes as we'll need. I mean, nothing too good in the chest, but we'll always take an elytra. So let's just go ahead and let's just start getting all of these shulker shells. All right, so I finished in the end and this is the amount of loot that we've got. Obviously, I only went in for the 64 shulkers, but on the way, I found a lot of unlooted end cities and chests. Check this out. We have four more elytras and check out the shulker shells. So I actually have thought to myself, should I craft the shulker shells into actual shulker boxes? But I think what I'm going to do is hold on to the shulker shells for now and basically just make one whenever I need one. So if ever I need a shulker box, I always have the shells available. So, I mean, I don't think we're going to run out of these anytime soon, but you know, I, I do go through a lot of shulker boxes. So, I mean, I won't even surprise myself if I need to get more soon, but for now, 64 is definitely a bunch I could, but what I need to do now is that I actually need to go to the gold farm because I have a full shulker box of carrots upstairs in my base and I want to turn them all into golden carrots so let me go ahead and do that and I'm also going to make a shulker box filled with fireworks so let's just go over to the gold farm and let's see how much gold we can get. Okay, so here's the shulker box filled with carrots. Let's start turning them into gold carrots. Now, this is probably going to take a while seeing as there's a whole stack or a whole shulker box to go through. So, I guess let's just start crafting. There we have it. So, I couldn't make a whole shulker box of golden carrots, but that is definitely enough for now. So, let's go ahead and take this and let me get all my gunpowder and paper and let's try and make a whole shulker box of fireworks. Now, I don't know if I have enough gunpowder to do this, but let me go and check. There we go. Not only do I have basically a whole shulker box of golden carrots, but now we have a bunch of fireworks as well. But guys, I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Not only did we get a bunch of netherite tools, we have also got the brand new fish tank behind me. We've also got the brand new place to store our shulker boxes and we even were able to get a bunch of shulker shells and a bunch of end city loot. And also, if you guys have any good names of what we can call the two fish in the background behind me there, make sure you guys comment them down below in the comment section. But apart from that, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and have a great rest of your day. And apart from that, Peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now, in today's episode, we are going to be doing a lot of things. Things like doing some work on the Orb of Dominance, and even putting some enchants onto our elytras, which we have gathered from all of the end cities that we have looted. But, we are also going to be doing something huge. In fact, I think we need a little bit more of a dramatic part for this episode, so cue the dramatic... Cinematic? In this episode of Minecraft Multiplayer Survival, Fru will be taking down a lot of the nether in search for ancient debris to bring him a step closer to the netherite beacon. So yeah, that's right. I have prepared quite a lot of TNT and I mean, just, just take a look at this. <laughs> So if we go up to the top of my house, as you can see, it is, it is a massive mess. But if we go into these shulker boxes, this is where I am storing the TNT. Now, we have brought a lot of TNT into the nether, and we have gotten quite a lot of ancient debris. But in this episode, we are taking it to another level. So take a look at this. One shulker box of TNT, two shulker boxes of TNT, three shulker boxes of TNT, four shulker boxes of TNT... Five shulker boxes of TNT, and in case that wasn't enough, if we turn around, we also have six, seven, and five stacks, or four stacks and 39. So we are taking seven shulker boxes and about five stacks of TNT into the nether. We are going to be coming out of the nether with at least... I don't even, I don't even want to guess, okay? This is going to be an incredible amount of ancient debris, and all of this ancient debris that we do get will be going towards netherite blocks to go towards the netherite beacon. So we are going to go ahead and do that, but first off, as I said at the start, we also have all of my elytras that I have gathered from end cities, and what I think I'm going to do is put a good bunch of enchants on them, including mending and unbreaking, of course. So what we are going to have to do is we are going to have to head over to the raid farm to get a bunch of emeralds, and then we can go ahead and spend them over at the village of wonders. So let's go ahead and get a bunch of emeralds and buy all of the books and then after we've done that I think I want to do a little bit of work at the orb of dominance and then once we have done all of that we can go ahead 
and we can use this TNT. So you know what? Let's head to the raid farm and let's get everything prepared. But of course, before we do anything, let's go and check on Spike and Blue in the SMB HQ. So Spike, how are you doing today, man? Are you doing good? <laughs> Alright, interesting as always, and let's go ahead and check on Blue as well. Okay, so Blue, are you doing good as well today? Whoa, hold on just a second, Blue. If you actually did that, that is pretty crazy, but Spike Blue, I've got to go ahead and head over to the raid farm. So, you know what? Let's just go to the raid farm. Oh, and one more thing before we head to the raid farm. If you guys check the description, I will leave my Twitter and also the link to my merch and Discord. So, make sure you guys go check those out. But apart from that... Let's go to the raid farm. Alright, here we are at the raid farm, so let's just go ahead and see how many emeralds we can get. I think we'll only need around about two stacks of emeralds or so, so let's go ahead and let's do the raid farm. Okay, and press the button any minute now. There they are. So now all I pretty much have to do is just sit here and wait until we get a bunch of emeralds. Okay, we've landed back in the water. Let's reset this. Okay, so basically this is how the raid farm works if you didn't know. You basically just keep on going round and round and round, getting a bunch of raid loot. And obviously all of these pillages and stuff, they drop emeralds. And yeah, that's basically how I get a lot of emeralds. And I also use the villagers, of course, but we don't need too many emeralds right now. So let's just keep doing this. All right, all we need is five more mending books. So let's see if we have enough emeralds for that. So let's put the emeralds here. We need literally three more. And we literally need a few more emeralds. Okay, um, I, I need to go back to my base and see if I have any emeralds. Or I might have some on the island. Okay, luckily for us, we did have some laying around. Okay, we should be able to buy this last one right here. Okay, so now in total, we have seven Unbreaking 3 books and seven Mending books, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is seven. So all we need to do now is go and combine the Elytras with all of these books. Now, I don't know if we're going to have enough levels for this, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, let me... Let me get back to my base. Let's head into the powerhouse and see if we have enough XP levels. I don't think we are going to have enough just because we have like seven elytras. So let's go ahead and start grabbing some of these out. Okay, now where's the anvil? Okay, so let's put this in. So to put on breaking three is three levels, but then for the mending... That is an extra three levels as well. So, yeah, we're definitely not going to have enough for all seven. But you know what? We could definitely get a few of them done right now. So let's just keep on adding the mending and unbreaking. Oh, no. The anvil broke. Oh. And... Of course, the item frame would break. Okay, let me sort this out. Uh, let's just put it there for now. And there we go. Okay, so we have to move on to this anvil. We can do one more elytra. I'm breaking three. Mending. Perfect. So now all we need to do is get some more levels to do the remaining three. Here we go. So let's go ahead and quickly put the shulker box down. Let's grab three elytras out. Now, this should be enough levels to do every single one. So let's put mending on. Put unbreaking on. And then let's do the same for this one and also the last one. Okay, so the reason I actually wanted to do this is because now if ever I lose this pair of elytras right here, we have a bunch of spares that all have the best enchant. So they all have unbreaking three and mending, which is perfect. So now what I think I'm going to do is head over down to the orb of dominance and do a little bit of work there. And then once we've done that, I need to name the two fish over at the coral quarters and then... We can go ahead and take all seven plus shulker boxes filled with TNT into the nether. So for now though, let me show you guys what I want to do in the Orb of Dominance. Alright, so if we head into the Orb of Dominance right now, as you guys know, inside of here there is a massive hole right in the center. Now my original idea of what I was going to do down here is I was going to make a really cool kind of sculpture right here with a beacon light coming through. And it would have been really, really cool, but I mean... I think I have a bit of a better idea. Now, obviously, we have the organized chest storage over there, which I'm going to be extending. I mean, as you can see, I'm already kind of in the middle of extending it at the moment. And then we have the auto smelter and then we have the SMB HQ. Now, what I want to do is that I want to do something really, really cool in the center here. So we're just going to go ahead and get to work and then I will show you guys exactly what my idea is. So let's go ahead, get all of the stuff ready and let's build what I want to build right in the center of the Orb of Dominance. Let's go. There we go. So we have made the middle of the Orb of Dominance look just a little bit better. But now we've gone ahead and done this. That can only mean one thing. Wow. Technically, it means two things because I have to go ahead and name the fish over at the Coral Quarters, but 
Once we have done that, we are going to be taking all seven, well, it, it's actually eight, all eight shulker boxes in to the nether. I really don't know how much ancient debris this is going to give us. It's hopefully going to give us a crazy amount. So guys, right now, comment down below how much ancient debris you think we are going to get from all seven slash eight of the shulker boxes. Guys, comment down below, and if you get close, then that will be absolutely crazy, I guess. So, let's grab all of our food and all of our fireworks. Let's head over to name the two fish, and then let's head into the nether. I cannot wait to see how much ancient debris we can get, and more importantly, I cannot wait to see the reaction of the others when they find out the amount of ancient debris I'm going to be getting out of the nether with. It's, it's gonna be pretty crazy. All right, let's head down into the coral quarters really quickly, and let's go ahead and name the fish. So if you guys remember in the last episode, we obviously made this fish tank where we've got two fish right here, and as you can see in my inventory, we have the two name tags of what I have decided to call these. Now, the names I think are really, really cool, so let's go ahead and let me show you guys the name tags. So we're going to be calling this one right Right here coral because obviously we are in the coral quarters so i think this name does suit very very well and then this one right here we are going to be calling bubbles so we're going to have coral and bubbles in the fish tank so you know what let's head up here and let's put the name tags on them so coral let's go ahead and close this really quickly okay so coral is this one and then bubbles is this one so there we go we've got coral right here and we also have bubbles so these are the brand new fish i will also put the comment on the screen right now so guys thank you all so much for the support and thank you all so much for your suggestions it really really does mean a lot but let's get out the fish tank really quickly Okay, so now we have coral and bubbles. Let's go ahead and close that and climb down here. And they are just kind of chilling in the fish tank. But also, guys, really quickly, seeing as the part of the island over here is going to be the farming area, as you can see, there is nothing being built on this part of the island right now because we are going to be turning this into the farming part of the island. So on this part of the island, we're going to be having so many automated farms. I'm thinking we can do maybe a few mob farms. We can do things like a wheat farm, a sugarcane farm. Just a bunch of automated farms is what I want to do with this part of the island behind me. But guys, we are going to need a name for this part of the island so guys if you have any good names of what we can call the farming part of the island make sure you guys comment them down below because this is a really big chunk of the island and it's definitely going to be able to fit quite a few farms we could probably do quite a few farms on here and then we could do some farms in the air as well and make this part of the island look really really cool and maybe even futuristic i actually do have some cool ideas of what i want to do on this island but guys of course we're going to need a name for this part of the island so if you guys have any good names of what you would call a farming part of this island make sure you guys comment them down below and of course i will be choosing one to name this part of the island now all we have to do is go ahead and get all of the tnt because we are heading to the nether with all eight shulker boxes so you know what let's go over there and let's start this all right here we go let's take all of the shulker boxes of tnt and it is now time so we've got one two three four five six seven Eight. I don't know how long all of this is going to take to place. We're going to run into a lot of lava, but I'm very excited. I'm hoping we can come out of here with an insane amount of ancient debris. I really can't even put a guess on it of how much we're going to get. So guys, as I said, comment down below the amount you think we are going to get. But apart from that, I think we are going to fly very far away so we get to a complete random area. And then we can start and do this. So I think we're just going to fly in maybe this direction over there. And just kind of find a brand new location we haven't been to. So yeah, let's let's head over there and let's try and find a new location. Okay, so I'm really, really far out in the nether right now. I literally have zero idea where I am. But we need to keep on going because we really need to find a complete random location. And as you can see, there's just lava falling in front of us. Okay, this is... This is going to be really scary, but it's going to be so worth it for the amount of ancient debris we're going to get. All right, so I think I have found the perfect spot. So this is absolutely in the most random spot I have could possibly find in the nether. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig down, and then I guess we can start. So let's go down to around about like, oh... Oh no. So now that we are down here, what I think I'm going to do is just dig in a straight line. But usually I would probably dig in a straight line for around about, I don't know, maybe like two to three stacks worth of TNT. But I think I'm going to go way longer than that. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to block out all of the lava. As you can see, there's some lava that is trying to get through. Now, usually when I see lava, I just go a different way. And oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, so usually I would just go in a complete different direction. But what I'm going to do is just go in a straight line for maybe like half a shulker box worth of TNT. And. And I'm going to do that multiple times, obviously, because we have around about seven shulker boxes filled with TNT. So I think that is the way I'm going to do it this time, to, just to make it a little bit more, like, efficient. And also, we might also get a little bit more ancient debris doing it that way. So I'm just going to dig this direction, and I'll catch you guys up when we are about to explode all of the TNT. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't even mean to set it off. 
What? Some lava must have got to it. Oh, no. Um, so that right there was about four stacks of TNT. And I didn't even let it off. There must have been some lava that must have made it do that. But, I mean, at least we found some ancient debris. No way. I was literally so excited to have, like, ten stacks of TNT all together. And then, of course... Lava would just come along. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you put TNT next to lava, it's going to explode. And I mean, I thought there was no lava around, but apparently there was. So now I'm just going to go through and get all of the ancient debris, I guess. I really did not expect this for one second that it would just all explode by itself. But I guess that is just what's happened. So, I mean, we have a lot of TNT to go through, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things like this that happen. I'm starting to think the TNT going off was a good thing. We have a two vein right here. A three vein right there, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know if there's any more down there, but I'm pretty sure I did also see a bunch down there. So maybe it was a good thing all the TNT letting off that early. How did you even get here? Why Why are these even here? All right, so we actually have a one vein right there, another two vein, and then over here, another one vein. There is, I don't think I've seen so much ancient debris in such a small amount of space. And so far, how much have we got? So we've got 16 ancient debris so far. Right now, we are on 25 pieces of ancient debris. So I'm going to try and see how many shulker boxes we can get through. And I'll update you guys. So wish me luck. <laughs> So I am about halfway through placing all of the TNT and take a look at what I found. A very, very lucky three vein right next to another piece. So that is four pretty much next to each other. So, I mean, I would say that's probably the luckiest I've got with seeing ancient debris kind of spawn next to each other. But yeah, as I said, we are about halfway through. To get to the halfway point, it has taken me absolutely ages. To go through about four shulker boxes of TNT in the nether is not very easy because you have so much lava to go through. I mean, with lava, it's definitely a very difficult thing to do to go and get a bunch of ancient debris. But when you find a bit like this, which we've just gone past where there's not too much lava, it actually makes it so much easier. But now, as you can see, there's a lot of lava ahead, so to find ancient debris in there is going to be so hard, but we've got to go ahead and get it done. Now, when it comes to going through lava, like the amount that's in front of me right now, I usually just kind of go past it because there's just so much lava, it will take me absolutely ages to go through all of it and try and find ancient debris. So I kind of go around it, and sometimes I'll try and like mine in it like this to see if there's any hiding inside, but for the most part, I kind of go past it, but guys, we are halfway through. Let's see if we can get the other half done. All right, we are down to the final... Two stacks of TNT, and now I've already kind of had a look at the amount of ancient debris that I have gotten, and I've been storing it all in a shulker box, and it, it's pretty crazy. We are definitely going to have to show Zetro as soon as we're done getting this, so I can show him the amount of ancient debris that we have. It, it's really crazy, so let's keep on going. We're down to around about half a stack. We are going to let all of this explode, and then we are going to show Zetro, and then we can go and smelt it. But here we go. The final two stacks. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Oh... My goodness, this is definitely the most ancient debris I have ever seen, just ever. Okay, so there actually isn't too much lava. I mean, we have a few bits of ancient debris laying around, and honestly, if we take a look, there's a bit of lava down there. Okay, so luckily, we actually haven't had too much lava. As you can see, there is a little bit of lava here, but down there, that doesn't seem to be too much lava that's going to be blocking our way. So I'm going to get the final last pieces of ancient debris, and then we should be good to go back to our base. So if we hover over all of the shulker boxes, you can see that all of the TNT has been used. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the shulker box, and this is insane, okay? The amount of ancient debris that we have got from around about seven to eight shulker boxes of TNT is crazy, so let me show you. All right, let's put the shulker box down, and here we go. Three, two, one. Oh... My goodness. So here along the top, we obviously have nine stacks of ancient debris, then ten, then eleven, then nearly twelve stacks of ancient debris. That is, that is actually so crazy to think about. That is nearly, I believe, three stacks of netherite. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the base. We're going to go to the miner's diner, meet Zetro there so I can show him the amount of ancient debris that we have got. And then I'm also going to smelt it all down and turn it into netherite blocks. So let's go ahead and let's get back to base. Welcome, Zetro. Take a seat. All right, I have something very exciting to show you, actually, Zetro. Any guesses of what it might, what it might be? Well, seeing as we are the uh, debris hunters, I mm -hmm. can only assume 
it will be netherite. But I could be wrong. We'll have to yeah. we'll, have, we'll have to see. You are you are correct, Zetro. It is something to do with netherite. And it's it's pretty crazy. So there is a few things I want to talk about seeing as we have the chance to get this meeting, but I just want you to check something out. So recently I took eight shulker boxes of TNT into the nether, okay? And yeah. um I'm sure I'm sure you know what that means, right? It means we got a lot of ancient debris. We've got a lot of netherite for the netherite beacon. In fact, Zetro, take a little look in there. Nine what? That's ne is that nearly twelve stacks? Oh my. That is nearly twelve stacks of ancient debris there, Zetro. That is going to be so much towards the netherite beacon right there. Yeah, that's right. Let it let it sink in. Let it sink in, Zetro. <laughs> Alright, so um yeah, that is that's right. I got twelve stacks of ancient debris, but Zetro, take take a seat, take a seat. That isn't it. Obviously, you know, when I when I have the suit on, you know things are going down, okay? Okay, you know you know things are going down when I've got the suit on, so Zetro. The next thing I want to talk about is a little sort of a little sort of thing we can do together, okay? So obviously seeing as I have all of these netherite tools, I did recently show you that I have a whole shulker box filled with not only netherite pickaxes, but also netherite shovels and netherite axes. Now, Zetro, seeing as we have all of this netherite stuff, I think it would only be fair to make a shop in the Hypermall, which is just over there, right? That yeah. we could do together, okay? And we could split every single diamond that we that we make 50-50. So any sort of diamonds we make, it will, it will be half-half, okay? So we get to... Get to keep half of everything we make. Does that sound like something you're um you may be interested in? Uh yeah, I mean we'll have to we'll have to think of a name, but yeah yeah yeah. We can sort of think on that, you know. I mean it's definitely something to think about. Maybe we'll get it done within maybe the next few episodes or something like that. But it's just an idea for now. It was just something I was thinking of seeing as we have all of this netherite. But Zetro, as always, it's been a pleasure to um talk with you at the Miner's Diner as always. And I'm gonna go and smack up this ancient debris and put it at the uh, beacon. So thank you for your time, and I will get back to you with the uh. With the netherite shop idea, okay? Okay, let's head into the auto smelter room, take all of the ancient debris out. That is, that is just so much ancient debris. Okay, let's bring it up here, put it in the chest. I mean, I guess this is going to take a while because there is so many stacks of ancient debris, but you know what? Let's get all of this cooking and then I will be back when it is all cooked. All right, so the furnaces are all off, which can only mean that all of the netherite is done and take a look at that. So I've got all of the gold ready and we've got all the netherite scraps. So let me go ahead and grab as many of these as I can. Let's put them in the shulker box. We have, we have way too much netherite scrap. Okay, let's take all of this out. I might need to get some more gold thinking about it. I don't know if this is enough. You know what? Let me go and grab a little bit more gold. Here we go. So I've got some extra gold and stuff like that. So let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as well. And then this should be able to make us all of these netherite ingots. Okay, so there's one stack. Here's two stacks. Oh my goodness. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's take all of these. Okay. So in total, we now have... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Three stacks nearly of of netherite. We, we literally have three stacks of it. I cannot believe what I'm looking at right now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is turn all of this into netherite blocks and then put them at the beacon. 20 blocks of netherite. Okay, let's put those in there and let's head over to the nether ending castle. We have arrived at the nether ending castle. Okay, let's head inside. Here is the netherite beacon, the ancient power. Here we are. Okay, let's place some of these blocks. I'm also trying to make it look good at the same time, but from this angle, it looks like a full netherite beacon. But you know what? We need to place the last four. So let's do maybe one here. We'll just put them here as well. So here we have it. We are making some serious progress. I mean, just take a look. Look at that. It, it looks, from this angle, it literally looks like a full netherite beacon. But there we go. We have done some insane progress on the beacon. Another 20 blocks. So what I'm going to do now is something that I actually kind of realized pretty recently. Now, if you take a look at my boots, we don't have feather falling. Okay, here we are at the Village of Wonders, on the Island of Wonders, of course. And guys, take a look at who it is. It's lucky. Uh, if you guys didn't watch the last episode, we have a cat for the village. All right, so I've got the anvil and I've got the book. Now, where is... Okay, the feather falling's over there, so let me get my emeralds out of my shulker box. So let's put the anvil down like that. Let me see how much one book is. Okay, so the feather falling is only 31 emeralds, so let's go ahead and buy that really quickly. And we have some emeralds left over now. Let's get our boots, and hopefully this works. There we go. So we now have protection four, mending, soul speed three, feather falling four boots. Now, for some reason, I always thought I had feather falling on my boots, but it turns out I didn't. So there we go. All right, let's 
go ahead and put those back on. So now, we should be able to survive some serious falls with these Feather Falling boots. And also, I am forgetting that I've got an anvil here. It's pretty good knowing that I now have Feather Falling on my boots. But guys, that is where I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode. So we were able to bring so much TNT into the nether. We had about eight shulker boxes of TNT, which is really crazy. We also did a little bit of work at the Orb of Dominance. And even got all of our alight just to have really good enchants. Speaking of really good enchantments, our boots now have Feather Falling 4. And the fish behind us, they have names now, which is really, really cool. And also, guys, if you do have any good names of what we should call the farm island back there, then make sure you guys comment them down below but apart from that hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode and hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day so apart from that peace hey guys it's through and welcome back to another episode of the minecraft multiplayer survival now if you guys remember a few episodes ago we we, we got a lot of netherite pickaxes. In fact, let me go ahead and show you guys. So if you weren't already aware of the amount of netherite pickaxes we now have just 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 take a look at this um yeah, we have a whole shulker box filled with enchanted netherite pickaxes. Now, I thought of a genius way we can actually go ahead and use some of those pickaxes. So, the idea that I have come up with is a diamond mining trip. I kind of want to get a crazy amount of diamonds to start off this episode, so that is exactly what we are going to do. But also, later on in the episode, we have also some plans to maybe start up the netherite shop we talked about in the last episode. And even, I want to give Prod a little bit of a surprise. So, Prod's base, it has all of the necessary things. It has a storage room, a furnace room, it has everything that a base should have. But... Later on in this episode, I want to give Prod's base a, a little bit of surprise. Now, I don't want to spoil too much, so let's go ahead and let's start with this diamond trip. Let's go ahead and see how many diamonds we can get. But before we do anything, we of course have to check on Spike and Blue in the SMB HQ. So let's just go ahead and see how Spike is doing. So Spike, how are you doing today? Are you doing good? Alright, interesting as always. And let's go through here to see how Blue is doing as well. Okay, Blue, how are you doing today? Are you doing good as well? Whoa, hold on just a second, Blue. You're actually being serious. That is pretty crazy. But Blue Spike, I'll have to leave you guys to it because I'm going to go on a pretty crazy diamond trip right now. And I'm hoping to come back with thousands of diamonds. So Blue Spike, it's definitely good to know that you guys are doing good. But guys, let's go ahead and let's start this mining trip. But before we quickly do as well, guys, if you want to check the description and check out the merch and also follow me on Twitter or maybe even join the Discord, make sure to check out the links in the description. But apart from that, let's go ahead and do this diamond mining trip. All right, so we are going to be doing all of the mining over here at the Infinity Mine. So I guess let's just go straight down there and let's see how many diamonds we can get let's go okay so when i mine all of the diamonds i'm going to make sure to use my silk touch pickaxe and then i'm going to put all of the diamond ore into this shulker box right here so when we're done with the mining session we can see exactly how much diamond ore we have gathered by looking in the shulker box and of course we have our shulker box filled with netherite pickaxes but guys let's go ahead and mine i don't know how long i'm going to go for but i'm planning to come out of this mining trip with stacks upon stacks of diamonds so let's hope everything goes to plan and let's begin this mining session <laughs> Alright, so I've actually been mining for quite a while now, and I've just stumbled on some more diamonds right here. And what I'm actually going to show you guys is how many diamonds I've got in total so far. So let's just chuck some stuff out. Let's get rid of some cobblestone. Let's just take this shulker box I've been storing all my diamonds in. Let's place it down. So if we head into my inventory, you can see that I have 64 diamonds here, 10 diamonds here, and then some of the diamonds I actually didn't mine with my silk touch pickaxe. I actually ended up mining them with my normal pickaxe by accident. So that is why there are 17 diamonds. But inside of this shulker box, we have... We have quite a lot of diamonds, so take a look. Boom. All right, so right here, we now have four stacks and a half of diamond ore, which is just pretty insane. And the fact that we've also been able to get around two stacks of emeralds from just straight up mining is crazy. So as you guys can tell, I've been mining for a very, very long time. And I'm hoping that when I mine all of this diamond ore, that my pickaxe and the fortune on that pickaxe will hopefully be as lucky as we can get it. Because I mean, as you guys know, with the fortune pickaxe, you can either get between like a low amount of diamonds or a good amount of diamonds. So I'm hoping my fortune pickaxe gives us some really good luck. But what I think I'm going to do now is mine for a little bit longer, not too much, seeing as we've literally mined for absolutely ages, as you can tell by the insane amount of diamonds. I think I'm going to do a little bit more mining, maybe 
maybe get a fifth stack and then we're going to mine all of these with our fortune pickaxe and i'm so excited to see how many diamonds we can get because having a lot of diamonds is a pretty good thing to have so let's just keep on mining and once we are done mining and fortuning all of these diamonds what i'm actually going to do is build prod a very big surprise in his base now i don't want to reveal too much because it's going to be a pretty crazy surprise so once we have done this we'll head over to prod's house and surprise him with what i want to surprise him with and then after i'm going to have a meeting with zetro to talk about our brand new shop that we're going to be doing so let's keep on mining and i'll update you guys if we find any more diamonds i'm in this cave right now and i don't know if there's going to be any diamonds in it i know for a fact i might have walked past some so i mean i hope i haven't but let's just keep on looking and there we go all right so we found some diamonds the problem is they are literally above lava okay now i did forget to bring a water bucket when doing this but thanks to this water right here we are saved. Okay, and let's mine these diamonds. Yeah, I think this is only going to be two, but let's go for it. All right, one and two now. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's mine around. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any more there. Okay, two diamonds, I'll take it, but we still have more of this cave to explore. So let's see if there's anything down here, maybe? I mean, caves are usually where I get the most luck with my diamonds, but I don't think we're going to find any more down there. We found two pieces of diamond door, which isn't too bad. I mean, I guess I'll take it, but let's get back to where we were mining and keep on going for some more. Oh, yes, here we go. We found some more diamonds. All right, let's go down here. Okay, yeah, there's one more right here. I knew that. Oh, two more. Okay, let's go. All right, so we found four more right there. None others around. Okay, also really quickly, if you are wondering what the pickaxe shulker box is looking like, this is what it is looking like. I mean, obviously, all of these pickaxes have mending on and everything like that. But, seeing as we are only going for diamonds, I don't really get to use the mending up on a lot of the pickaxes, but, I mean, when we go over things like redstone, the XP usually goes straight to the pickaxe, which means I can do a lot of mining with only one pickaxe, but it does get to a point where it gets the kind of, like, red durability, where I just kind of swap them out last minute. There it is. Okay, finally, some more diamonds. How many this time? Okay, I think it's going to be four or five. Okay, and it's four. Okay, I mean, at least we're not finding any one veins. Every time we found diamonds so far, it's either been four or more. Okay, this is looking like a good amount of diamonds. Okay, we have two right here and then three right here. Okay, let's grab these. All right, there's another five diamonds. Is there any more around? You've always got to mine around, check if there's any extras. This is looking like an eight vein. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, maybe... Maybe not. Okay, only five. I'll take it, though. There's some more diamonds right there in the exact same cave. Let's keep on looking. All right, so seeing as we have around about five stacks of diamonds, I think the safest option would be to get out of these caves and go and mine all of these diamonds. Hopefully... Our fortune pickaxe is going to give us some luck, but let's go ahead back up to our base and let's mine all five stacks of these diamonds. Okay, so although I was mining only for diamonds, I also came across a bunch of iron and gold and stuff like that. So what I'm actually going to do is dump all of this stuff, like the iron and gold, inside of my auto smelter. So let's get all of the iron and all of the gold out and let's really quickly put it inside of this chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let all of this smell and I mean, I guess it's a little bit of extra stuff that I got while mining. So I guess we'll leave it all in there to cook and I think what we're going to do now though is let's really quickly turn this on I think it should be good to go now okay so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to meet up with Zetro and I'm going to get him to try and guess the amount of diamonds that I'm going to get from five stacks of diamond ore or just about five stacks so that is what we're going to do I'm really excited I don't think even I could probably guess how many diamonds I'm going to get from this but I'd probably say I, I actually don't even know so we'll go ahead meet up with him and see how many diamonds he thinks that we will get from all of this and also guys make sure you comment down below how many diamonds do you think I will get from five stacks or just about five stacks of diamond ore so let's go ahead take all of this out of the shulker box and let's meet up with zetro and let's see if he can guess how much i'm going to get with fortune 3 so yeah let's go over to him all right so zetro thank you for joining me over at the never ending castle right next to the uh the almost complete ancient power but really quickly um what i want to do is a little challenge for you zetro okay so i have five stacks or four stacks and 55 diamond ore okay so what i want you to do is to guess how many diamonds you think I will get from all of this diamond ore. Okay. So don't guess yet. Wait until I've mined all of it and then take a guess, okay? So I need to start by placing all of the diamonds. And then once we've done that, you can guess. And also, guys, make sure you comment down below how many diamonds you think we will get from all of this diamond ore. I don't even want to make a guess, but... I, I know it's going to be a lot. Alright, so this is surprisingly just about five stacks of diamonds. So what I'm going to quickly do is I already have 17 diamonds on me from when I was mining. So let me go ahead and put them back in the shulker box. Alright, so Zetro, I'm going to mine all of these. And by the way, if you can guess within 10 diamonds or within a range of 10 diamonds, I will give you a full stack of the diamonds, okay? So, so I mean, try and be as accurate as you can with the guess. I know it's going to be hard, but you know what, Zetro? I guess just like maybe stand down there a second and I will, uh, I'll get to work on mining these. Alright, let's go. Alright, we are about to finish off. We have four more four three two 
One. Okay, let me make sure that's all of the diamonds. Okay, let me take a look and see how many stacks I've got. Okay, so... Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, um... This, this is crazy, right, Zetro? This is the moment. This could be a whole stack of diamonds going over to you. If you can just guess how many diamonds I got from that to the, to the closest 10, I guess. So yeah, if you're 10 above or 10 under, then I'll give it to you, okay? Now, I know that is still extremely hard, and I wouldn't even be able to guess either. But you know what? That's the rules. So, Zetro, whenever you want to guess, go for it. So, remember, there's about five stacks of diamond ore there. Before you before you say your answer, was there anything that kind of led you to this answer? You actually get an average of about three to two diamonds per ore. So, I think I'm going to go with 720 diamonds. That is 11 stacks and... 16 i believe that's some serious working out you've done all right let's uh let's let me actually count up because i haven't counted yet so here is how many we've got we've got one 10 stacks and 46 you oh, were so oh, close i actually was you actually were really close but you know what zetro just 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 for taking part i'll, I'll oh. give you i'll give you 46 i'll give you 46 <gasps> diamonds all right zetro seeing as why not you, you did you put a lot of effort into work that out so that there's 46 diamonds so i guess i'm gonna put the rest of my shulker box i don't think i'm going to uh Need to go mining anytime soon. What I'm going to do now, though, Zetra, I don't know if I've told you this, but I'm actually going to be surprising Prod with something in his base. But I, I don't want to tell you just yet. I'll, um, I'll show you later, okay? Okay. All right, so now that we are done mining all of the diamonds and everything like that, what I want to do is I actually want to surprise Prod with a base extension. Now, in Prod's base, he's got everything he basically needs. I mean, he's got his bed set up. He's got his end chest. And then down here, he has a bunch of crafting stuff like furnaces. He's got some blast furnaces, a little bit of storage. You know, he's basically got everything he needs, like the anvil. And then if we go down again, he's got his storage room. But the thing is... He has all the essentials, but I want to I want to build a crazy extension onto his base So, you know what guys instead of sitting here and explaining it, let's get to work So, Prod, you are probably wondering, I've got you to come outside of your own house, but there is a very good reason for it. Is there any sort of guesses you could you could maybe take of why I don't want you to go in there just yet? Literally no idea, but the anticipation is killing me. All right, okay. Do you notice anything different down here? Hmm, there's a doorway. Okay, okay, wait, hold on. I want to actually get you walking in, so wait, just, just look down a second, just so you, you yeah. don't look up. All right, wait there, wait there, wait there, don't look, don't look. Okay, um, so this is the surprise I have for you, Prod. Walk in whenever oh, you want. Oh, no, okay. All right, so oh. this is your brand new extension. So we've got a little kitchen here where over here we have, like, all your furnaces. Got yourself an upgrade bench right there. Got some storage in here for some food. Over here you've got the uh, a stone cutter. You've got, some, you've got a table and chairs. And then through here is the main room. Check it out. This is amazing. I know, I know usually I say, oh, I like it, but this is literally amazing. This is so cool. You've got a little fireplace over here. You've even got a clock on the table, so if ever you want to check the time, it's right there. Oh, We've got um, nice. yeah, a little fireplace here. We've got some seats, some nice paintings, a little sort of some shelves here over here with some uh, lanterns and stuff on there. So, you know, take a look around. It's, it's, what, do you, what do you think? I like the chandelier. That is so cool. It's amazing. This, this is so cool. And then up here, okay, this, you know, I, I looked through your base, I saw you had beds up top, but I thought you needed maybe a little, something, something a little bit better, maybe like a, a full bedroom with a little bit of some stuff on display. You got an end chest, an anvil, a beacon, you got a jukebox up here in case you want to play some music, you know, you got everything in here. And of course you have the beds, blue as well, to, to match everything else. They, this is amazing. This is really, really cool. I'm glad you like it. I, I like it all. This is, this is, this is really, really cool. I don't even know what to say. All right, so I guess I'll leave you to it. You can just, you know, explore it around. Maybe even take a take a seat on the on the seat right there. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Okay, so now that we are done surprising Prod, let's meet up with Zetro and let's talk about the Netherite Shop. Okay, really quickly though, before we meet up with Zetro and talk about the Netherite Shop, I'm actually over here at the Island of Wonders because in the last episode, I asked you guys of what we should actually call the farming part of the island. Now, the name that I have chosen, I'm going to put on this sign right here, and I actually think the name suits really, really well. Now, the thing is with this sign, I think it's going to be temporary, and I might move it somewhere else, but the name will stay the same. So let me go ahead and let me choose a name for the farming 
charming island. Okay, so the name I have chosen is the Seaside Acres. Now, the reason I think this is really good is because obviously we are on an island and everything like that, but I think the name suits this farming part of the island really, really well. So that is what we are going to go ahead and call it. I'll put the comment on screen and everything like that. But you know what? While we're here, we might as well go into the coral quarters to really quickly check on our fish. Okay, here we are. So we have coral and we have bubbles. They look like they're just having fun in there, you know, swimming around and stuff. But guys, now I think is the perfect time to go ahead and meet up with Zetro and talk about the brand new netherite shop that we're going to plan out. So let's go ahead and meet up with him. Zetro, come on in, man. How are you doing? How are we doing today, Zetro? Hello. Take a seat. Take a seat. So um, I actually wanted another meeting at the Miner's Diner because last episode we actually mentioned that we were going to be doing a netherite shop. Now, I actually had a few ideas, that's why I'm in the that's why I'm in the suit, of course, of what I actually want to do with the shop. So, really quickly, guys, if you do want to help us with a name for this netherite shop, make sure you guys comment down below some name suggestions because me and Zetro, we need your help to think of a name for this netherite shop. So let me actually talk about Zetro, what we should sell in there, okay? So not only do we need a name, we also need we also need some stuff to actually sell in there. So what I was thinking is, yes, we can go ahead and sell all of my netherite tools that I've got, right? I've got a bunch of shovels, I've got a bunch of axes and stuff like that, and I've even got a bunch of pickaxes. But I thought, that is good and everything, but what happens if, what happens if people want more from the shop? What happens if they actually want netherite itself? So what I was thinking is we could get a bunch of gold together, go on another sort of netherite trip where we get a bunch of ancient debris and we can actually sell gold and ancient debris so we can kind of sell Ooh, basically netherite that's actually a good idea so you see that that's what i'm talking about this it's a genius idea not only will we i mean we're not directly selling netherite we're just selling the stuff to make it what i'm thinking is is we sell the tools we sell the ancient debris and we also sell some gold and maybe some like other nether stuff like, I don't know, maybe some soul sand and just other random stuff from the nether and maybe some glowstone. So it is going to be a netherite shop, but we just we just some extras, you know? So what do you think about that idea? So we're going to go to the gold farm and then we're going to get the gold and then yep. we're going to get the netherite mm -hmm. and then we're going to put them together and we're going to have some supplies. Is that, is that, is that, that yeah, we're that's, saying? that's basically what I'm thinking. But before we do any of that, etc., we need a name. So guys, as I said, comment down below any good names you guys would name a netherite shop. So make sure you guys comment them down below. And obviously in the next episode, when we do build the shop, we will be putting a sign right out the front of the shop with not only your name, but also the name you've come up with. So Zetra, that's really all I wanted to talk about. We just need a name for this. And um, that's basically what I want to sell. So Zetro, as always, it's been a pleasure meeting up with you in the Miner's Diner. And I will, um, I'll see you very soon for when we actually start building the shop. Okay. See you later, man. All right, so that is right. Me and Zetro are going to be building the netherite shop in the next episode, which means we obviously need some of your guys' name suggestions for what we should go ahead and call this shop. So, guys, make sure you guys comment them down below. But apart from that, I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. So, hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Not only do we have a bunch of diamonds now, we also surprised Prod with a brand new extension on his base, which I hope he really did like. And we also are going to be building this netherite shop with Zetro, which is going to be super exciting. So, as I said, guys... If you do have any good names of what we could call it, make sure you comment them down below. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this episode, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. But apart from that, guys, peace. Hey, guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Today is the day. Today is the day we can finally start on the netherite shop, which basically means we are going to be selling a bunch of netherite tools, a bunch of ancient debris, a bunch of gold, and basically a bunch of stuff related to the nether in a shop. Now, to do this, we... We're going to need some TNT, and we're going to need some ancient debris, because of course, that is one of the things that we're going to be selling in this shop. And also, if you're wondering where I am right now, we are in the brand new extension we made for Prod's base in the last episode. But guys, before we go ahead and do anything in this episode, let's go ahead and check on Spike and Blue in the SMB HQ. Alright, here we are at the SMB HQ, and there is Spike. So Spike, how are you doing today, man? Are you doing good? <laughs> All right, interesting as always, and let's just go and check on Blue as well. Okay, so Blue, how are you doing today? Are you doing good as well? Whoa, hold on just a second, Blue. If you are being serious, that is pretty crazy. But Spike, Blue, I'm going to leave you guys to it because I am about to go ahead and head into the nether with all of this TNT which I have prepared. As you guys can see, we have a whole shulker box filled with TNT and every single piece of ancient debris that we get from all of this TNT, we are going to be selling in our shop, which also reminds me, we actually have to build the shop. Yeah, that, that's right, guys. We have to head over to the Hyper Mall after we get all of this ancient debris, and we are going to go ahead and build this shop. And some other stuff I want to get done in this episode is not only build the shop and not only get all of this ancient debris, I would really like to get a start 
on the farming islands that we have over at the Island of Wonders. So let's go ahead, head to the nether, and let's get all of this ancient debris. Oh, and seeing as it is, of course, October, there is currently a sale going on with the merch. So if you use code SPOOKY, you will get 10% off. So guys, make sure you check out the link in the description to the merch. And yeah, let's go. All right, so here we are at the nether portal, and we have all of this TNT right now. So let's go ahead and let's enter the nether and go in a complete random direction, and let's get as much ancient debris as we can. Okay, so I think I'm going to go this way in this direction and just go straight forward. So something I want to say about the shop or the nether shop that we are going to be opening is I have a pretty good idea of how we are going to tell all of the others that we have a shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shulker box outside of everyone's house basically saying that there is now a new shop in the hyper mall and that they should pretty much come and check it out. So I think I'm just going to actually mine all the way through this kind of big mountain of netherrack and see if we come out the other side and there might be somewhere we can start placing this TNT. Here we are. So I think think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down. Actually, we can drop down here. Okay, let's go down here and then we can start digging down and oh, oh no. Let's quickly get rid of this. Come on. Um, why is there so many zombie pigment? Anyway, so what I think I'm going to do is just dig down straight over here and then once we are at the right level, we're just going to use all this TNT, I guess. Here we go. All right, let's get all of this TNT out. Let's put some in there so we can actually pick back up the shulker box. Okay, Perfect. Now, let's just go ahead and see how much we can place all the way down here. And there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to explode all of this in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, let's see how much ancient debris we can get from all of this. I believe this was around about, about three and a half stacks. Okay. Oh. Okay, wait. I think we're in luck. There's not too much lava and I can already see some ancient debris and some up there as well. The TNT is still going. Oh, wow. That is... That was kind of satisfying with the gravel. Okay, we got some more ancient debris down there. The TNT is still going. This is so weird to look at. All right, so I think we are good to go in and see how much ancient debris we can actually get. So looking around here, there's not too much. I mean, hold on just a second. I actually nearly walked past some. Okay, is this just going to be one? Um, wait. Yeah, that's literally just one piece right there. Okay, let's pick that up. Okay, I almost walked straight past that. All right, so we got some more here. Is this just going to be one as well? Okay, oh, okay, there was two. All right, maybe a third piece right here. And no, okay, just two pieces right there. Then we've got some more over there. And I think I did see some over in this direction, maybe. Okay, so this was the final piece out of all of this that we exploded. At least I think so. Anyway, I hope I'm not missing any, but we were able to get 14 pieces of ancient debris, which is actually not too bad. But what I'm going to do now is go all through this TNT and most of this TNT in my shulker box. And then I will catch you guys up with how much we were able to get. So let's go ahead and let's see how much TNT we can use. <laughs> Okay, so I am down to my last stack of TNT, which means after this, we can then go ahead and actually make the shop and start selling all of our stuff in the shop. So we are down to around about 20 TNT here. Let's just keep on going. And there we go. Okay, so three, two, one. There it goes. Okay, so, so far though, we have actually got two stacks and 22 ancient debris, which actually isn't that bad. So two stacks and pretty much two stacks and a half. If we can, oh no. There's lava. There we go. We are straight past the lava. So as I said, if we can get lucky in here with ancient debris, we will hopefully have over two and a half stacks. But the only thing is there is so much lava here, it's going to be really hard to find ancient debris. But I'm going to keep on looking, but hopefully we can find just at least maybe like 10 pieces in here. That would be perfect. But by the looks of things, I don't think we are. I'm just going to keep looking though, because I don't want to walk past any. Wait, are we not even going to find any? Okay, wait, we found two pieces up here. Okay, so let's just grab these one and two. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing any. I think that's all the ancient debris. Only two pieces. Well, I mean, that isn't too bad, I guess. I mean, there was so much lava here. But there we go. We now have two stacks of ancient debris and 24. So what I think I'm going to do is head back, maybe go to the gold farm and get some more gold if I don't already have some. And then... We'll meet up with Zetro, discuss a name for this shop, which you guys left in the comments of the last episode. And apart from that, I think we're good to go ahead and build this shop. But let's just get back to our base. All right, so I was going to use the gold farm, but I found out down here in this chest, I actually have a little bit of gold left. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to turn this into netherite. So, I mean, I guess now I'm going to have to use the gold farm, maybe later on, seeing... 
as we don't have too much gold left, but I mean, this is going to be good for now. Okay, so now we've got the ancient debris and we've got the gold and everything like that. I think we should go ahead and have a little meeting with Zetro because we need to obviously get a name for the shop and basically get down everything that we want to sell in there as well. So let's go over to the miner's diner and let's meet up with Zetro. Zetro, Hello. welcome, welcome. Oh, is that? Hold on a second. Is that some, is that a fresh new suit you've got there? It is. I received it from MD recently. Um, oh. Yeah. It's looking, oh, looking wow. fresh. So, I mean, yeah, that was actually very nice of him to get you that suit. But just take a seat here, Zetro, because I want to make it quick. You know, usually when we have a meeting, it's sort of a big deal. But this this is definitely a big deal. But, um, yeah, as I said, I want to make it quite quick. So, as we spoke about in the last episode, we need this netherite shop, okay? And we need it now more than ever because everyone... Everyone needs netherite. We're, we're talking MD and prod. They need the netherite tools. They need ancient debris. They need everything netherite. And that is exactly where we come in, Zetro. We need to be the people that set this shop up for the people like them that need this netherite. Okay, so Zetro, that is why I've brought you here. Okay, obviously yep. I'm going to be building the shop, but we now officially have a name for the netherite shop. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Okay. The name is... Drumroll, please. The Ancient Essentials. Don't tell me this isn't a genius name because it is a genius name, Zetra. What do you think of that actually, name? That is actually a sick name. Ancient Essentials. That is actually sick. We are selling the essentials for Netherite. We are talking the best pickaxes you can get, the best tools, and more importantly, Netherite itself. <gasps> so, I mean, I'm glad you like the name, Zetra, and that's really all I wanted to talk about. In fact, the mall is literally right behind us, and I think... I think now's a great time that I should probably get to work on this, so I appreciate you for um, joining me on this meeting, and I'm really excited for you to see the final result of the shop. All right. Okay, so as you guys would have saw earlier in the video when I put the comment on screen and everything like that, the name of the shop is now The Ancient Essentials, and as you can see, it is all complete. But before we do head inside of the shop, guys, I actually kind of need a little bit of your guys' help for two things. One thing is that I've realized after all of this time, I still do not have a name on my main pickaxe that I use. As you guys can see, these are all of my other tools and stuff, but we do not have a name for... My pickaxe. So guys, if you have any good name suggestions of what I should call my main pickaxe that I always use, make sure to comment down below some names. And another thing I need your guys' help with, obviously it is coming up to Halloween. We really want to build some really cool stuff Halloween themed around our world. So, if you guys can comment down below some really good type of Halloween stuff that we should do, maybe we should decorate the Hyper Mall, for example, make sure you guys comment them down below, and obviously in the next video, or whenever we do end up making some kind of Halloween decorations, we'll make sure to put your comment on screen and everything like that, but here we are, out the front of the Ancient Essentials. So, let's head inside, seeing as it is all complete. Now, here we are inside of the Ancient Essentials. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I tried to make the outside look a little bit like a nether portal, so we kind of have, like, the obsidian here, and then I didn't want to make the whole thing obsidian, because that probably wouldn't look too good. So, what I did is put the bottom layer all obsidian, and then I kind of put purple glass here to make it look a little bit like the actual portal of the nether portal. So, here we are. Let's head inside, and this is what it is looking like. So, we have quite a few things laying around, so let's go over everything. So, over here, is I guess kind of the less exciting stuff because we have axes and we have shovels. Now the prices inside of the Ancient Essentials are a little bit lower than you guys might expect. For example, a netherite axe goes for five diamonds inside of my shop. Now the reason is, is because if you just take a look, I have quite a lot of leftover stuff here, so if anyone buys an axe, I can always increase the price if we get low on axes and shovels. So here we have 10 diamonds for a shovel, and then 5 diamonds for an axe, and then over here we have pickaxes. Now, I would say 15 diamonds for a netherite pickaxe is insane, because if you take a look at what's on these pickaxes, they are fully leveled up with max enchants. We have efficiency 5, fortune 3, mending, and unbreaking on all of the pickaxes here which technically makes 15 diamonds a really good deal because you could probably end up getting so many more diamonds with these pickaxes themselves than you actually paid for the pickaxe in the first place. So then over here we have the bundles area. Now the bundles area is a place of the shop where you can basically pick up some really good bundles. So over here is the 
the ancient bundle now the ancient bundle is eight diamonds and again I think this is a really really good price for this because when you open it up one ancient bundle is four ancient debris and four gold because what you can do with four ancient debris and four gold is turn the ancient debris into netherite scraps combine it with the four gold and that is one netherite so basically it's eight diamonds for one netherite which I think is not too bad and plus seeing as you can kind of do the whole thing yourself we have a bunch of these bundles here as you can see and then over here we have 16 debris for 10 diamonds. Now, again, I don't think this is too bad. If no one wants to buy them, I'll lower the price. And if everyone wants to buy them, I'll obviously up the price. And then in here, here it is. So we have 16 ancient debris and we have four of these. And then in here, we have obviously what we have here and here. We have the pickaxes for 15 diamonds. And then we have the shovels and the axes for the same price. But the only reason I put them in the chest is just so we could fit more in. So as you guys can see, the exact same stuff over here. And then the same stuff with the shovels and the axes. So this is pretty much everything we wanted to sell in the shop. But over here is something that I'm going to do quite a lot now This is called the deal of the day now This one is going right now for about 40 diamonds and again if people aren't buying the deals of the day What I can do is I can change the price and I can put better stuff in them But for the first deal of the day we have this check it out So we have eight pieces of netherite 16 pieces of gold 16 pieces of ancient debris and then a really really good pickaxe so to be honest this is actually a pretty good deal i mean i don't know if 40 diamonds is too much or too less honestly we have to wait and see when people start buying from our shop we'll have to wait and see like kind of what they want and what they don't want but now the ancient essentials is now open for business we have to do one last thing we have to make sure everyone knows that the ancient essentials is now open for business so that is exactly why i'm going to put a shulker box out the front of everybody's house with a little note basically saying that it's now open and to go and check it out at the hyper mall so let's go ahead and get a bunch of shulker boxes a bunch of pieces of paper and yeah let's go and let everyone know that this is now open all right so these are the three shulker boxes and the notes say on them ancient essential shop now open which means if they see that it's a shop now open obviously they're going to think about the hyper mall and they're going to go there and hopefully check it out so here we go let's put this in here let's put this in here and then this in here now the thing is i do have a shulker box for zetro but the only thing is he already knows about the shop and everything like that, but we'll give him one anyway just so he knows. But let's head over to everyone's houses and let's put these in them. Okay, so first place is to go over here to Zetro's treehouse. Let's just put it on the top. There it is right there. Ancient Essentials now open. And then we have to head over to MD's house and then Prod's house. Here we are at MD's house. Let's just quickly put the shulker box right here. There it is. Ancient Essentials shop now open. And then last but not least, we have to head over to Prod's house and give him his. Let's put the one for Prod right next to his mailbox so he'll definitely check it. So there we go. Ancient Essentials shop now open out the front of everyone's houses so hopefully I mean, hopefully they come over and check the shop out. All right, so here we are on the Island of Wonders with Lucky right here. And what I want to do is I actually want to build my first farm over at the Seaside Acres. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get all of the stuff together and let's go ahead and build a farm. Yo, Prod, welcome to the Island of Wonders. How are you doing? Not too bad. All right. So this is obviously, as you know, the Island of Wonders, but this part of the island is the Seaside Acres, and this is the first edition. It's basically going to be a whole farm area. So you see all this land behind and everything like that is all going to be converted into a nice area where we can build contraptions, very similar to this, but I want to make sure every single piece of farming gets covered on this part of the island. So this right here is the potato carrot and seed slash wheat farm so this is all automatic so basically as you can see if you head all the way to the back just just go around the back a second behind every level there is a bunch of dispensers filled with buckets of water and all i have to do is flip this switch and all of this will go all the way down when it's fully grown of course into both of these hoppers which then goes into the chest so every single thing that grows here will fall all the way down into the hoppers and then if we go up to the second and third floor it's pretty much just the same thing like if we go up to the second floor this is like automated i believe this is the potato section and then above this one i think it's the wheat section okay so yes yeah, so this is where all like the seeds are placed and the wheat grows and then if we can try and like not like step on the okay there we go all right so basically as you can see it all falls down into the hoppers into the chests which makes this a pretty much fully automatic farm and seeing as i don't really need too much wheat or like carrots or anything anymore i i guess it's the perfect amount so what do you think i think it's just just the right amount to be honest like you you won't really need much more so yeah pretty good yeah, amount. And seeing as it's like automatic as well like, i won't really have to 
I won't, I won't be using it too much, but it's automatic to the point where I won't need to, like, keep on using it over and over again. Like, I'll say this is a fair amount of wheat and carrots and potatoes, of course. Thank you for, um, thank you for checking out the farm. I just kind of wanted to show you this because I think it looks good. It matches the, um, the coral quarters pretty well. And have I actually showed you the coral quarters before? This is the yeah, first yeah, time you have. Yeah, I thought for a second I didn't actually show you through there, but yeah, that is that. I don't actually have a name for this. So guys, if you do have a good name of what I could actually call this, then make sure you guys comment down below and give some name suggestions of what we should call this place. And yeah, this is the first thing that we have built on the Seaside Acres, and it's looking pretty good. So Prod, thanks for checking it out, and I will see you very soon, man. Alright, so there we go. I really wanted to show it to Prod just because it's pretty much a fully automated kind of farm and as me and prod talked about we won't really need to be using like potatoes and everything too often so i'd say this is the perfect farm because it gives the perfect amount of stuff and i can always expand it whenever i want towards this way but guys we have so much more space down here for what we could do with some other farms so comment down below not only a name for this but also what could we do with some more farms around this kind of area of the island but guys apart from that i think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode so hopefully you guys did enjoy not only did we finally get around to making the netherite shop we also did a brand new farm back there and of course behind us is coral and bubbles the fish back there but guys that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and hopefully you did enjoy this episode but apart from that have a great rest of your day and peace hey guys it's through and welcome back to another episode of the minecraft multiplayer survival now can you tell that we may be doing something to do with pumpkins in this episode um yeah, we, we've got a lot of pumpkins here. All right, no, but seriously, we will get on to what we're doing with the pumpkins a little bit later. Now, where did where did this guy come from? But anyway, guys, what we're going to do to start this episode off is we have a lot of exciting plans for this episode. But one thing that we haven't done yet, which I'm actually surprised we haven't done, is go and explore the woodland mansion. Now, the thing is, I'll actually go ahead and show you guys what I have done. I actually don't know where the cartographer has gone, but I was able to get a bunch of trades done with the cartographer to find one to give me this woodland explorer map. Now, what this map does, it actually shows me exactly where I can go ahead and find a woodland mansion. So to start this episode off, we are going to be going on a little bit of an adventure to try and find this woodland mansion. Now, as you can see by my little kind of player icon at the top right, we are going to be flying for absolutely ages to try and find this woodland mansion. But before we go ahead and even do any of this, let's go ahead and check on Blue and Spike at the SMB HQ. All right, here we are at the SMB HQ. So let's go in here and check on Spike. So Spike, how are you doing today? Are you doing good? All right, interesting as always. And let's go ahead and check on Blue. Okay, so Blue, how are you doing? Are you doing good as well? Whoa, hold on just a second, Blue. If you're being serious, that is pretty crazy. But Blue, Spike, I have to leave you guys to it because what I'm about to do is I'm about to go and find out where this Woodland Mansion is and I am going to go ahead and try and, I guess, beat it by myself. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm, I'm doing this with no help. So this, this may be quite difficult, but also guys, later on in this episode, we're going to be doing stuff with those pumpkins, like I said earlier, but even more exciting than that, we will be holding the first ever Minecraft multiplayer survival event with something really, really cool, which we haven't actually showed off to you guys yet. So make sure you stay tuned for that because it's, it's going to be pretty intense. Spike Blue, it's always good to know you guys are doing good, but I'm going to head off to this woodland mansion with all of my fireworks inside of my firework shulker box, and we are hopefully going to defeat the Woodland Mansion. Let's head over there. Alright, so if we take a look at the map, apparently I am very close to where we have to be. At least this is what the map's telling me. We are on the map and that is all that matters. This has taken me absolutely ages to get here, so I didn't realize this is how rare Woodland Mansions actually are, but apparently, apparently they're this red. This has to be tens of thousands of blocks away from our house, so I'm thinking the Woodland Mansion has to be over there somewhere. This is literally the most random place I have ever been to, but yeah, so I think it might be over there where we have to go. Here it is! Oh, I can see them through the window! Oh my, okay, I'm so happy. But here we are, here is the Woodland Mansion. I'm so scared to go in this. Alright, we can get rid of the map. Let's set our bow up and everything like that. We've got arrows, we've got everything we need. Oh no, this is it. All by myself, I have to take on the Woodland Mansion. There's some skeletons in there. All right, where's the front of this thing? Okay, we found the front. Oh no, I'm actually so scared to go in this way. I don't think I have any torches. I know it gets really dark in here. Okay, this is it. It is time to take on the Woodland Mansion all by myself. Let's do this. Oh no, okay, we got our first enemy right here. Okay, stay back. Wow, they do some serious- Whoa! Whoa! Look at the amount of damage! Okay, I've just realized this is a lot harder than I expected. They do so many hearts. Okay, we are really going to have to take our time, and I didn't even bring a totem of undying. Okay, first chest, and we get a music disc. 
a golden apple. We got some gunpowder, some redstone. You know, we'll keep everything here apart from the seeds. We'll take that. The last thing I'm worrying about in here is creepers. It's these guys I have to worry about. They do so much damage. Oh, wait. No, no. Come on. Okay, another chest. And it is... Okay, we're actually a name tag. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll take the seeds as well. We'll always have to take the seeds. Whoa, this room looks really cool. Okay, what have we got in here? We got a spider and a zombie, but luckily we've got nothing else in here. And I mean, we have this guy. Okay, I think if you go inside of his head, there might be something in here. Maybe some blocks. I'm pretty sure there is meant to be. Okay, yes, there's one block of lapis. Is, is that it? Okay, that, that that's it. All right, so if you go inside of here, you'll always get a lapis block. Actually, I need to pick that up. Okay, um... Let's get rid of all this. All right, there. Perfect. I might have to give this room a little bit of a double check on the way out, but I'm pretty sure that is the whole first floor done. All right, the first floor wasn't too difficult. Let's move on. All right, I can hear a lot more stuff going on up here, though. So I don't know if there's any chests in these rooms. I'm pretty sure those rooms have, like, nothing in them. Okay, we've got some more enemies. Nothing too crazy, though. Okay, another one. Okay, another one. Okay, this, the second floor's a lot more difficult. As long as we stay back and keep our distance, we should be good. These things are actually kind of scary. Okay, let's just get rid of... Come on. Okay, perfect. All right, we have a totem of undying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this and put the totem of undying right here. Okay. Okay. Moving up to the third floor. Oh no, this one's angry. We're literally on like four hearts. No. Okay. The totem of undying. The totem of undying. No. Okay. We're, we're dropping down. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. Other totem of undying. This is bad. This is very bad. This, this is really bad. No, this is actually harder than I thought. Okay. We need to be careful. We are down to our last. Wait, what? There's so many. All right, we're literally down to three and a half hearts again. This really is, this is way harder than I thought. All right, that's it. There's only one thing we have to do. We just have to go in and we have to get it. Okay, another totem of undying. We can't let it spawn in anymore. Are we finished with the woodland mansion is the question I want to know. Are we finished? Is there any more enemies in these rooms? We have beaten the woodland mansion. I think that's it. Yeah, there's no more enemies that I can find. Guys, there we go. We have done it by ourselves. Well, we just about did it by ourselves because we had to use a totem of undying. But apart from that, we have done it. And we have beaten the Woodland Mansion. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run over and make sure that I haven't missed anything or anything like that. But apart from that, I think we should go ahead and head home. And I think it's time that we make some things around our world just a little bit more spooky. And speaking of spooky, if you use code SPOOKY on the merch anytime throughout October, you will receive a 10% discount. So if you want to go and check out some of the merch, now is a good time. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is our garden now. Looking a little bit more scary than it did before. We got the pumpkins, we've got the wheat. It definitely does look a little bit more kind of Halloween themed than it did before, but seeing as we are here right out the front of the powerhouse, if you guys watched the last episode, I asked for you guys to give me some name suggestions of what we could call my main pickaxe. So you know what? Let's go ahead and let's pick a name. Okay, so the name I have gone with is the Ancient Breaker. Now the reason I really like this name is because obviously we do do a lot of mining netherite and we do a lot of mining ancient debris and I do most of it with this pickaxe. So I'll put the comment on screen and everything like that, but I think this name is really, really good. So there we go. We now have the Ancient Breaker. I really, really like this name, but guys, one thing that I want to do, although we have made all of this look like Halloween themed, I do want to do something over at the Hyper Mall, but I need some help. Okay, so what I need help with is just basically how could we make the Hyper Mall and just everything in the city look a little bit more spooky. I mean, we could do like a massive pumpkin or something, but guys, give me some suggestions down below in the comments. What should we go ahead and do to make the Hyper Mall look just a little bit more scary? And of course, whoever comes up with the best suggestions, we will obviously put the comment on screen and everything like that. But you know what? Seeing as we are literally out the front of our brand new shop, aka the Ancient Essentials, let's see if we've made any sales in here. Okay, so it looks like all the stuff is in the item frames. To be honest, it's not looking too good. Um, wait. Wait just a second. Someone seems to have bought... One of our pickaxes. Okay, so that's 15 diamonds. What about the shovels? Okay, nope. No one seems interested in those. Anything else? Wait, <gasps> wait, someone bought all of the debris. <gasps> oh my goodness. I knew this shot was a genius idea. Okay, everything seems to be there. Okay, now we did have the deal of the day. I'm going to say that no one bought the deal of the day, but let's just check it out anyway. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. We have so many diamonds. We have just gotten... 64 and 30. We basically got a stack and a half of diamonds. Wait, I, I I mean, I don't know who bought all of this, but whoever did it, they've bought the deal of the day and the ancient debris and the pickaxes, or maybe it could have been a few people, but I am very happy I set this shop up. 64 and a half diamonds. I am going to take that. Guys, I knew this shop was a genius idea. It seems people prefer the ancient essentials over the mythic scrolls. I think, yeah, the shop's right there. So 
I, I'm very happy with that, but guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and quickly name our brand new farm that we built in the last episode, and then we are going to be hosting the first ever Minecraft multiplayer survival event, and I'm not going to spoil too much until we quickly name this farm, so let's go name this farm, and then let's get into the Minecraft multiplayer survival event. Okay, let, let's head over there. Okay, so here we are at the Isle of Wonders, and we are at the farming part of the island called the Seaside Acres, of course, but this is the brand new farm that we built in the last episode, so let's go ahead and let's put a sign. I think we should put the sign maybe here, and let's name this place. Okay, so the name I have gone with is the Food Factory. I'll put the comment on screen and everything like that again, but this is the name I have gone with, and I think it's a really good idea. Obviously, it is, of course, a farm for food, and I thought the Food Factory was just a really good name, so that is the name I've gone with, but guys, now it is time to go ahead and host the first ever Minecraft multiplayer survival event with all of the members. So let's go ahead and let's get this started. Okay, so thank you everyone for turning up today and taking a seat on the awesome seats I've, I've made you there. So welcome to the first ever Minecraft multiplayer survival event. Okay, now you might be confused of what this means. Okay, now I, I've brought you to the kind of middle of where everything is and I've asked you to take a seat, but trust me, everything is going to make sense. So basically, what we are going to be doing today is a two versus two capture the flag, okay? Ooh. And I know, I know, but it, it gets better. It gets better. There's a lot more surprises, okay? And we'll get into that in just a second, but let's go over some rules for this capture the flag event. So, as you can see here, there is Team Blue, and there is Team Red, okay? Oh, yeah, I've, I've, I've came prepared. So this is going to be a 2v2, okay? And we will give out the teams in just a second. All right, so let's go over the rules. So it's a 2v2 capture the flag event, as I already said. The flag must be visible for the other teams, okay? That means no building around the flag. And the area that we have is just all the way from the creeper farm over there all the way to, I guess, like, the back of my house, the, the powerhouse, if you, if you know what oh, that right, is. So, okay. it's all the way from there to there, and basically, only places that we know, so no putting it behind, like, I don't know, just a random area, like, a thousand blocks away. Sure. It has to be within where we live, and then, also, you're fully allowed to battle and fight the other team, and apart from that, Let's get down to the teams, let's get down to the prizes, and more importantly, down to what we're going to be fighting in. So if I could just ask you all before we go any further to place all of your belongings inside of the shulker box with your name on. So everyone take a seat, and let me tell you what we'll be playing for in this 2v2 capture the flag event. So everyone take a seat once you're done putting all your stuff in the shulker boxes. Okay, I actually need these. All right, there we go. Okay, so, okay, so in this shulker box... I have the prizes, and in this shulker box, I have the gear that I'm providing you with for this battle. So, if everyone would like to take one set of diamond armor, a diamond sword, and 32 carats. So, everyone just take everything like that. Let me just put the armor on. So, yeah, we'll be fighting in full diamond stuff. Before we get onto the teams, let me show you what we'll be playing for. We will be playing for the first ever Minecraft Multiplayer Survival Championship badges, along with some extra oh. stuff as well. Okay, so, in my hand right now, I have not one championship badge but two championship badges, oh. and both of these oh. winners will be getting a championship badge, okay? Now, the thing is, if you do win and you get a championship badge, please, please look after these things. They're, they are the only ones that exist, and so, yeah, when you do win, or if you do win, make sure to take the item frame and the championship badge with you. So, whenever we do any more events like this in the future, you will be defending for your championship badge, if that makes any sense. So, please look after these. They are one of a kind. Okay, moving on. We have what you'll be playing for, so please don't take anything out of the shocker box yet. But this is what you're going to be splitting with your teammate here today. Check it out. <gasps> so we have Holy. one, one oh. elytra each, one beacon each, two totems of undyings each, 64 diamonds each, and a stack of iron blocks each, and a dragon head, which you can decide who, who wins that. I just thought it, 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 most it, I've ever seen. it looked cool. Let's get the teams ready. So in this chest right here, um, you can take a look if you want. There is a number, one to four, and each number has a player under it. Now, what I'm going to do is, if you could just not look in the chest a second, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to model every single person's name up in this, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask randomly one of you to pick a number between one and four, and then that person will be a team captain, and then we'll do it again until we have two team captains. And then the team captains will be able to choose any member that they want. So so if that doesn't make sense, let's just get right into it. So I'm just gonna muddle these up so don't look in the chest. I've muddled up at random everyone's name in here. So MD, I'm going to pick you first, pick a number between one and four. Three. Okay, number three. Oh. The first team captain, if I could get you to stand on the red side, just under here, it is. Okay, okay, the first team captain is... 
It's Zetro. Zetro, go over there, man. Go over there. Congratulations. You hey. are the first team captain. All right, so let's take number three out. So who should we choose next? All right, all right Prod. One, two, two and or four. four. Okay. One, two, or four. Uh, two. Okay. The second team captain is... It's Prod. Prod, you picked yourself, man. Congratulations oh. if you just stand over there. All right, so that means Prod... And Zetro, I'm going to give you guys a countdown, okay? And whoever can win this rock, paper, scissors will get to choose their teammate first. So, okay, Zetro, is your answer ready? Oh, I just changed my mind last minute. I swear, I'm, okay, okay, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm Okay, ready. click enter in three, two, one, go. No! Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay, all right, I'm so. I'm going to go scissors as well. Oh, let's go. All right, Zetro, you get to choose who you want. Do you want me fighting with you or do you want MD on your team? Uh, it's a bit of a tough decision, Afro. All right, that means I will put the shulker box with all the prizes right here. No one gets to touch that until the end. That means Prod, MD, if you could pick up your flag. You guys go ahead and start hiding your flag. And Zetro, let's go. Five minutes on the clock, hide your flag. And then once the timer is over, we have to fight and find each other's flags. All right, let's go. Okay, I've got it in my offhand. So just for quick access towards... Okay, the okay. We need, to, we need to find a place to hide this. There's five minutes on the clock. Where are we going to go? I, I say we go like... I don't Wait, know. What, what if they're spying on us though? Oh, I see them. Okay, they're going up the mountain. Should we just oh, walk? Okay. Can we just, like, watch them a second? Okay, let's just see where they... No, MD saw them <laughs> looking at him. Okay, no. let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we, we need to go, we need to go. Just just make sure where they don't spy on us. All right, I don't know where to go. Or we have to do it somewhere that they'll be able to know. Maybe the back of the archives now, that's way too obvious. We need okay. to go somewhere that... Would... Where, where, where will it blend in? Where is their... Red? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe in your... Oh, your medieval village, maybe? Oh, no, no, I, that's out of bounds. That's out of bounds, I think. Where, where is inbounds? Okay, inbounds is right here, the powerhouse. The powerhouse to the creeper farm over there, that's inbounds. Oh, if we could have used your medieval village that would have been perfect i don't know okay. i don't know we literally okay, have like oh, I see, okay i see them still on the oh <laughs> i think md saw me oh no oh, md's like... staring at us all right oh, no, uh, wait no, no, no. wait, wait zetro we could go like we could go in my dome like in the dome i think 100 percent when we place it we should still keep running around like we're looking yeah. for a place to wait, oh, do i don't know it? i don't know wait oh. Wait, I, I think I have a good idea. I think I have a good idea. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Okay, they might not check the Orb of Dominance, okay? And in the Orb of Dominance, there's a furnace room. And in the... F oh, wait, wait, follow me, Zetro. Follow me, I've got a really good spot. I've got a really good spot. I think this is better. Wait, why is there... Rant okay, this Enderman keeps putting dirt blocks. But Zetro, in here. I, I think maybe in here. Like, they surely wouldn't check up here and put it here. Surely they wouldn't check here. Oh, right there. That's genius. That is genius. All right, let's go. Let's keep running. Wait, do you want? Do you, do we agree on that spot? Yeah, but we, okay. we, we, we've been here for too long. We need to go. We need to go. Right, we need to go. There's literally a minute left on the timer. Okay, let's let's go back outside and pretend like we're still looking for a place. We need to try and we need to try and be crouched, like just trying to sneak yeah. our way out of here. We can't we can't let them know that we've you know been in here. Right, there's no chance they're checking there. There's no chance. Quick, run, 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 run. We can't let them see us go out your house because that's all they're gonna check, and then eventually they'll find it. Okay, let's quick, all right, run, run, run. let's just hide. All right, let's hide for the rest of the countdown. There's only a matter of seconds left. Let's just wait here for the last bit until the timer runs out. Okay, I told them. All right. Okay, let's go, let's go. We need to get out of here. Okay, yeah, let's let's escape. Let's go away. Oh, no, we should have just gone in a complete random area. We should have put it in the checking... F okay, no, there's so many good spots, but I think we came to a good one. All right, let's just see if we can spot them. Run okay, away from the house as far as possible. Let's go. We can't stay around this area. I know. Imagine. Okay, I think we go for the stealth approach. I don't want to fight them. If they get rid of us and all of our stuff drops on the floor, we're allowed to run back and get it, but that puts us at a disadvantage because we could have yeah. spent that time like trying to find the flag. Okay, I'm looking up there. They definitely went over in that direction, right? I saw I, I, I saw MD and Prod literally running completely different ways. Come, follow me, follow me. Wait, so wait, wait, make sure... Okay, if they start running towards up my house, though, we we need to go there instantly. We can't even but let that, them but in. But that will make them suspicious, though. Oh, that is true. But at the end... Uh, I don't know. Wait, over here, maybe? They're in here, they're in here! Prod's here, Prod's here, let's go, let's go, let's go! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. There's phantoms! I know, I know. This is a terrible time of day to do it. He's just going to come out of nowhere. He's probably leading us away from it, though. So oh, wait, Prod's on the run. Prod's on the swim. Okay. We need to get rid of Prod. We need... Yeah, it's definitely over here. It's definitely over this side of the map. There's no way they... Okay, we need to get rid of Prod, though. I think he's running us back to MD. Wait, maybe MD's gone looking oh, for no. our flag. Oh, MD's no. down there. No one can see his name tag. MD's down there. Okay, I'm Where going for MD. You go for you, for you go for Prod. Go... Oh, no, he didn't even close my door. He's he on came me. in. Prod to me, Prod to me, Prod to me. Okay, you oh, got it. God, you got no, it, no, Zetro. No, no. You got it. No, no, go on, Zetro. You got it. I'm trying to get away. I'm literally just trying to get away. I'm not even trying to fight. Wait, okay. MD's been all through my house. No. No, okay, it's good. You can go back and get your stuff. But the thing is, I'm looking for MD, and I... Oh, no, I don't know where he is. No. Oh, he actually did. He's gone in the furnace room. They, they've they just destroyed us. 
I really wanted to win that. MD, show us the flag. You beat us yeah. fair and square. He found it. I thought the hiding spot was good, but Zetro, may maybe in the next event we can come back and we can we can take back the champions' badges, which actually reminds me, MD, you and Prod are the winners. Let's head back over there and let's give out the prizes. All right, I'll take from here, guys. I'll take from here. Oh, oh nice one. Yeah. <laughs> you guys beat us. I, I mean, can you guys tell us where the flag was, though, seeing as the, the game's over? Is it on top of the Iron Golem? Yeah. Oh, you wait. Put it on, oh, that's... Wait, really? The thing yeah. is, right, me and... Zetro was so... We thought you were going to find it so easily that we didn't even go and try and find yours. We were just trying to defend ours the whole time. But as soon as yeah. I saw MD say in the chat that he found it, I was like, okay. Not only do you guys get to split this shulker box between you guys, if you just want to... Um, one of you guys hold that for now and you can split the loot afterwards, so... Um, okay, MD, you know what? Because you put the suit on, I didn't even notice you put a suit on. You can do a speech. Give us a quick speech. Go on. Okay. Go on. Uh... Um... Um... Red team forever, uh, baby. Let's go. Okay, MD, come over here. I like to present you the first annual Minecraft multiplayer survival oh. champions badge with an item oh frame. Goodness. Please don't lose MD. And oh here's God. your champions badge as well. Wait, thank you so much. It's, 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 it's an honor. Like, thank you. Thank you for taking part, Prod, and, and congratulations on the win. All right, so... Wait, can I see it? By the way, I just want to say, Prod, MD, although you have the champions badge now, in the next event we do, it will be back up for grabs for one of us, okay? So cherish it while you have it, because Wait, unless you can win another event... It's 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 not going to be yours, but if you can keep winning these events, you'll get to keep it, right? So, thank you guys for taking part in the first ever Minecraft multiplayer survival event, and the next one is going to be even tougher. So, make sure you get some practice in. The first ever Minecraft multiplayer survival event was so much fun. Unfortunately, we couldn't win, but there will be more in the future, and there will be more opportunities to try and get that championship badge, because I kind of really badly want it. But apart from that, I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. Not only did we defeat the Woodland Mansion and also host the first ever event, we even started on some Halloween decorations around our house. But guys, that is where I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy, and hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. But apart from that, peace. Hey guys, it's Fru, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Multiplayer Survival. Now, the preparation that has gone into this episode has been absolutely crazy. Now, I am talking, I have been collecting sand for an extremely long time, and I have been using the gunpowder farm for an insane amount of time. Now, you can probably tell where this is going, in fact... Let me show you. Okay, so if we quickly grab all of my shulker boxes here and just plant them all like this. And let's put the final one here. Okay, so as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shulker boxes of TNT. And guys, every single piece of TNT here is going to be used in the nether to get us a step closer to hopefully finishing the netherite beacon. I'm hoping today is going to be the day where we fully finish the beacon. Now, I know this this is quite a lot of TNT and the amount of sand that I've had to use is insane. So our desert is, is looking so messy because of the amount of sand I've had to get, but it's going to be worth it. All of this TNT is going to take absolutely ages to use in the nether, but I am so ready to do it. So guys, comment down below how much ancient debris do you think we're going to be able to get with seven shulker boxes of TNT. I don't even want to make a guess because I know for a fact it is going to be an insane amount. But you know what? Before we go into the nether and before we go ahead and get all of the netherite with this TNT, we have to go ahead and see how Spike and Blue are doing. So let's go ahead and check on Spike and Blue at the SMB HQ. Let's grab all the shulker boxes and let's go. All right, so let's just quickly head into the Spike and Blue headquarters. So Spike, how are you doing today, man? Are you doing good? Alright, interesting as always, and let's just go check on Blue really quickly. Okay, and Blue, are you doing good as well? Whoa, hold on just a second, Blue. If you're being serious, that is pretty crazy, but Spike Blue, that is it. I am going into the nether with seven shulker boxes of TNT, so I'm really hoping we can come out of this with an insane amount of ancient debris, hopefully enough to get the netherite beacon complete. All right, so let's head to the nether and let's use all of these shulker boxes. So here we are. We are about to go in the nether, but really quickly before we do, guys, make sure if you haven't already checked out the merch, there is currently a sale going on. So if you use code SPOOKY at checkout, you will receive a discount. So make sure you guys do that if you do want any merch. Now is the chance, but let's go into the nether. All right, so whenever I go ahead and get ancient debris, I always go in one of these directions. I go down there or I go like down there or something like that. But today... 
Seeing as we have seven shulker boxes, we are going to switch up and go all the way down this way. So guys, we're going to find the most random spot ever, and we are going to go ahead and put all of these TNT pieces down, and we are going to get as much ancient debris as we possibly can. This is going to take me absolutely ages, but it's going to be worth it, and I'm really looking forward to it as well, because the amount of ancient debris we're going to get is going to be absolutely insane, and I want to see what Zetro's reaction is going to be when he finds out that I'm getting all of this ancient debris. So let's head over in this direction, and let's keep going for quite a while until we find a really really random spot okay so as i am flying out to a random spot i actually just had a really good thought so seeing as i'm going to be getting so much ancient debris for the netherite beacon why not use some of the ancient debris to restock my shop because if you guys saw the last episode our shop is doing insane everyone is buying everything in our shop which means we definitely need to restock sooner or later so anything that we do get that we don't use on the beacon i guess we could use for our shop all right so i think i'm actually going to go ahead and do it down here so i think i'm going to go ahead and dig down because i am super far away from where the portal is and i am I'm actually completely lost. I have not even been this direction in the nether before, so this is completely unexplored area. Wait. What? Wait, what was that noise? Uh, um, okay, that was actually really weird, but let's go ahead, let's go down here, and let's dig down, and let's start placing all of this TNT. Now, this is going to take me absolutely ages, and I'll make sure to update you guys every so often. Maybe after a few stacks of TNT, I'll update you guys with how much ancient debris I have got, but this is going to be... Definitely a very time-consuming thing. The amount of TNT we've got here is absolutely crazy. So let's just keep on going down here and let's place all this TNT. Okay, so we're at the perfect level. So let's keep going down here. And I'm actually interested to see how long we have to go until we meet some lava. So let's keep on going. If we can go at least maybe 100 to 200 blocks without lava, that will be... That would be insane. I, I highly doubt that's going to happen, but you know what? Let's just keep on going, and it, it may be possible. Um, So it seems we found some more lava here. And the thing is with this, I... I don't think we, we're going to be able to cover this up. This looks like an insane amount of lava. We'll, we'll give it a go, but I don't think it's going to be possible. It's not looking too good. There is so much lava right there. So you know what? We're just going to go back here and start placing the TNT down. I've placed all of the TNT down. It is time. Okay, three, two, one. All right, let's see how much ancient debris we get from this. So this was around about, yeah, this is around about two stacks of TNT. So let's see how much we can get. Okay, let's just fly through here. All right, so, okay, we got two pieces right here. Two pieces of ancient debris right now. There's definitely more of that to come, but let's keep on going down. All right, so we've got two more pieces over there. This isn't looking too bad. From two stacks of TNT, this is actually looking pretty good. So, apart from there being a bunch of lava, we were still able to get 11 pieces of ancient debris, which really isn't too bad, but we're going to keep on going, and let's hope we can end up getting stacks upon stacks. <laughs> Alright, so after absolutely ages, I'm finally down to only a little bit of TNT left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place all of this and then mine all the ancient debris that this gives us. And then we are going to be completely finished. And guys, when I tell you placing seven shulker boxes of TNT isn't the easiest thing to do, this has taken absolutely ages like i can't even tell you guys the amount of lava i've run into just the amount of time it has taken i've had to reposition a few times as well because i've literally destroyed so much of the nether that i'm literally running back into tunnels which i've already exploded before so this definitely hasn't been the easiest thing in the world but it's definitely going to be worth it so let's keep on placing this tnt and then once we explode it all we are going to have so much ancient debris and hopefully we can finish as much of this netherite beacon as possible and i'm really excited to show zetro as well the amount of ancient ancient debris that we have because we have a lot i mean i'll show you guys after i explode all of this tnt but we have we have a ridiculous amount of ancient debris three two one let's go okay so i hope we can get lucky with ancient debris in here because every single bit of ancient debris counts i want to make sure that i get every last piece of ancient debris i possibly can i do not want to skip out any of it so i have to keep on looking around and making sure that i'm not walking past any so it seems we have a few pieces there it's looking pretty good honestly so far but you've always got to look behind and make sure you haven't walked past any let's quickly go up here and grab this piece we have one piece here is it going to be a three vein i think it's own oh it is it is a three vein okay that's pretty good all right so i have found 
found a ton of three veins while doing this. You'd be surprised the amount of three veins that you actually get. It's usually either one piece or three pieces. Two pieces is actually probably the most uncommon amount of ancient debris that I have found so far. Okay, we need to hit this TNT. We found a two vein. We have found a two vein. As I was saying, they're very uncommon to find. I've literally found one. I mean, there could be more around the area. I don't think so, though. So, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm mining ancient debris, I just think getting either one piece or three pieces is way more common than getting two. I don't know why. I think we may be coming to the end of this tunnel. I think that's the end right there. There's no more TNT that hasn't exploded, I don't think. And I'm just making sure I have every piece of ancient debris. I really don't want to miss any. All right, let's just quickly grab this piece as well. This could be the last piece of ancient debris. That piece that I've just mined could have been the last piece of ancient debris that we're going to be getting in this episode. Okay, is it? I'm pretty sure it is. All right, in my hand right now is the shulker box containing all of the ancient debris that I have mined from this ancient debris mining trip. So here it is. This is all of the ancient debris. This is the most amount of ancient debris I've seen in one shulker box ever. Let's do this. All right, let's put these pieces in and there we have it. Oh my goodness. Now that is just crazy to look at. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen stacks of ancient debris and seven. Zetro is not even going to believe his eyes when I show him this. Even I am speechless, and I was the one that literally mined all of this. I mean, it may be to do with the fact that my pickaxe is called the Ancient Breaker now. Maybe it gave me some better luck. All jokes aside, though, we need to get this back to my base because I do not want to lose this. If this falls in lava, we are done for. We are not getting this back. So I need to get straight back to my base, and I need to get this shulker box safe. But, of course, before we do that, we have to show Zetro. So let's get out of here, and let's get out of the nether because there is too much lava, and... I'm not risking it. Okay, we have made it back to our base with all of the ancient debris in this shulker box. I'm so glad that we have not lost this shulker box. Okay, so let's take all of the ancient debris out of the shulker box really quickly. And let's throw it in this chest right here and let's smelt all of it up. Oh my goodness, just seeing all of that ancient debris is absolutely crazy. We have hundreds and hundreds of ancient debris right there. But let's go ahead, put the shulker box back in our inventory. And let's turn on the auto smelter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smelt all of this ancient debris. And then I'm going to go ahead and show Zetro all of the netherite. When, of course, when I meet him over at the Miner's Diner, so when all of this smelts up, I'll go over, turn it into netherite, and then we can meet up with him, and I can't wait to see his reaction, and I think what I might do as well is just to show him the amount of netherite we've got, I might take all of the netherite from the furnaces right here, but I might also break all of the blocks back at the nether ending castle and get a collection of all of the netherite we have got in that beacon just to show him the amount of netherite we actually have. Okay, we can turn this off. Let's take all of the netherite out of here. All right, here is the first stack. Let's put that in the shulker box. Here's the second stack. Here's the third stack. Let's do this as well. Okay, it turns out we need more gold. Let me go grab some more. We have the extra gold. Let's quickly do this and boom, there we have it. We now have... Three and a half stacks of netherite. I don't even know what to say. That is insane. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the beacon at the nether ending castle, get all of the blocks and turn that into netherite and show Zetro truly how much netherite we are going to be using on this beacon. And then once we've showed him all of the netherite, we will turn it all into blocks and place it back at the beacon and see how much progress we have made. Welcome Zetro. Come on in, take a seat. As you can see, I'm in the suit, so this this clearly means some business. Thank you for joining me. It's actually good to see that you're wearing the suit as well. I, I thought you may have forgot to uh, wear that to the meeting. But, Zetro, another meeting. Another big thing for me to tell you. So, Zetro, as you may have realized, I've been in the nether for a very long time, okay? And yeah. you may know why. You could probably guess. I've obviously been trying to get some ancient debris for the beacon, right? Well, Zetro, mm. what I have done, I've taken every single block of netherite that we have ever made for that beacon over at the nether ending castle and i've put yeah. it into this shulker box this is this is everything that we've accomplished to get this beacon this is this is all of the netherite that we've got just take just take a look at that oh my god that is insane don't think i didn't see that zetro don't think oh, i didn't okay. see don't think i didn't see that what i would like to ask you zetro is if you would come with me over to the nether ending castle to place all of these netherite blocks in position because i actually have no idea how much progress i've made with the amount of netherite that i've been collecting so how about we head over there and Take a look. Zetro, here we are. The nether ending castle. Let's go. Okay, so I have all of the blocks on me. And um, yes, I did leave one block here with the sign on because, I mean, you can't break the block with the sign on. But here we go. Okay, so this is the first level. And then we have the second level up here, which goes across like this, I believe. And then we also have... Oh, I've misplaced one. And then we have the next level, which goes like this. And then we have the top level 
which goes like this. Okay, so this is like the front of the beacon, I guess. This is like the, the very front. If you stand where I'm standing, it actually does look like a full beacon. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. And then as soon as you walk around here, you just see that it's there's nothing behind it. Okay, I have 41 blocks left, which is really good. We might be able to do the whole... We might actually be able to complete the whole outer shell. Let's do some of this. Okay, that's uh, four blocks right there. So one, two, three, four. Let's do this. Okay, this is... Okay, th I have way more than I expected. Okay, here we go. Could we complete the outer shell? Is the question. I, don't, I actually don't know. We can complete the second layer right there. Okay, I have three left. All right, one here and then the final two. I don't know. We should probably do like... And then we could do eight. And then do the eight right there. So, Zetro, we have pretty much nearly completed the outer shell. Obviously, we are going to go for the whole thing, right? But yeah. we have basically completed the whole outer shell. Just come over here and look at it all from the front angles. It looks like we have... A, this is just a glimpse of what we are going to be getting. That is... Okay, yeah, that is that is mad. Zetro, I appreciate you for um following me over here and, and doing this with wait, me. This wait, is... before you go, before you go, I've got one last block that you can place it to <gasps> make the beacon start working again if you want to. Thank I you. Bought that, I bought that from my own chest. Okay, um, wow. Not stolen, not stolen from here, it was from my own chest. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, that totally wasn't stolen. Yeah, that was just, there okay. There, there we go, okay. I was wondering why the light wasn't happening. I was like, what? So we technically do have... If we were to get rid of the bottom layer, we could technically get a whole, like, three-layer beacon and make it look yeah. like a full beacon. But, I mean, this is crazy, Zetro. Just the amount of work that this has taken us is just crazy. All right, anyway, Zetro, I appreciate you for um, doing this with me. And I, I just can't believe it. Here it is. The full outer shell is nearly complete. So, Zetro, I, I appreciate you for coming out here. It's always a pleasure. And I will see you yeah. soon. All right, so now I've showed Zetro all of the netherite and everything like that. If you guys can remember in the last episode, I asked you guys four suggestions of things we can do to make the world look a little bit more like it's Halloween. So I have a bunch of good ideas that we're going to be doing over the next few episodes and a bunch of stuff that we can also build that will make the world look a little bit more like it's Halloween. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be going ahead and doing what this comment says right now and turning all of these streetlights into jack-o'-lanterns which is going to be pretty easy but another thing that i really want to do is i want to build a pumpkin on top of the hyper mall that is right i, I want to build a giant pumpkin because i i feel like that would be a good idea so in the last episode i turned my garden into a bit of a halloween themed garden now we're going to do some work on the hyper mall but guys make sure you comment down below some stuff that we can do to make the world look a little bit more like halloween so guys comment down below any suggestion you have because over the next few episodes i want to do a bunch of stuff to do with halloween so guys make sure you comment down below some good suggestions but let's get to work let's turn all the street lights into jack-o-lanterns and let's build a massive pumpkin on top of the hyper mall let's go <laughs> There it is. We now have a massive pumpkin on top of the Hyper Mall, and also all of the lights are now turned into jack-o'-lanterns, which look really, really cool. So all of this is looking a little bit more spooky than before, but that pumpkin, that pumpkin's actually really, really good. And here it is just a little bit more closer, but as you can see, this thing is huge, and I also really need to sleep because there's so many mobs. But honestly, this pumpkin is looking really, really awesome. But guys, as I said, we are not done. We still need to get some more stuff that we can build that is Halloween-themed. So guys, keep on commenting down some ideas. But really quickly, though, seeing as in the last episode, our shop was really really popular everyone kept buying from our shop so let's just quickly go into the ancient essentials really quickly and let's see if anyone's bought anything else okay we've sold another pickaxe that's 15 diamonds oh we sold one of our shovels for 10 diamonds oh my goodness these ancient bundles who is buying all of these no one's buying anything there the deal of the day we need to sort out in just a second because that hasn't actually that sold in the last episode but a stack and 25 diamonds we really need to restock the shop i mean we've got We've got no ancient debris left. We've got a few pickaxes. I mean, we've still got all these pickaxes as well and a few more back at my base. 
But what I want to do right now is I want to sort out getting another deal of the day. So my idea is, is to put a beacon right in the middle, two really good pickaxes on either side, and then eight pieces of netherite around the outside. I feel like that's a pretty good deal of the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put two really good pickaxes in either side of these, get a bunch of netherite, but I actually do not have a beacon. So let's head over to the nether. Let's get some wither heads. Let's fight a wither. And let's go ahead and get a beacon for the deal of the day. But I seriously... I did not expect to get any more sales from the last episode to this one, but people seem to be absolutely loving our shop. So let's put all of my stuff in the shulker box really quickly, and let's head to the nether, and let's sort out another deal of the day. Alright, so me and Prod are in the nether right now, and we're going to see if we can get some witherheads. So, uh, Prod, see if you can get one from that one. Come on. <gasps> <laughs> that is the luckiest thing I've ever seen, which means we only need two more. Prod, I don't know what your luck is, but that... I don't even know what to say, but, I mean... That's, that's pretty lucky. Okay, so me and Prod got all of the Wither Skeleton Skulls, but it is now my job to eliminate the Wither all by myself. So you know what? Let's do this. Alright, so we always fight the Withers in the same place, of course, but here we go. Three, two, one... Let's do this. Okay, come on. Let's let's get rid of this wither. Let's get the beacon and let's set up the deal of the day. Okay, any minute now and there we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try and get this over as fast as we can. You know what? I might actually put my chest plate on because this could get risky, but you know what? I just like to be able to glide around like this. So, okay, where is it going? All right, let's just keep on bowing it from here. Here we go. We can just keep hitting it with bow shots. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, let's keep hitting it with the sword. Oh, oh no. Okay, this is bad. This is very bad. Okay, we need to use our sword. Let's keep using our sword. Let's keep going. You know what? Let's just keep on doing this. Let's not Let's keep going, let's keep going, it's nearly there! Any minute now, come on! And, come on! Come on, please! Yes! Oh my goodness, okay. There we have it, we got the nether star. Let's get out of here, and we got one of these as well. Okay, there it is. And of course there would be a bunch of zombies, but there we go, we got rid of the wither. Let's go ahead, let's make this beacon, let's set up the deal of the day. Let's go and do that. Alright, let's head into the ancient essentials, let's put our crafting table down, quickly make this beacon. Let's go like that. Okay, boom. So, I'm also going to go ahead and grab two pickaxes to put in there as well. So let me go grab those. Here we go. So we have the deal of the day for 40 diamonds. Let's go ahead and put the beacon in the middle. Surround that with a bunch of netherite. A pickaxe there and a pickaxe there. There we have it. The deal of the day, the second ever deal of the day, is now complete. Now, from seeing the amount of people buying from the Ancient Essentials, I'm hoping that someone is going to buy the deal of the day, and I mean, we still have quite a few Ancient Bundles left. I'm definitely going to have to get some more Ancient Debris, but that is the deal of the day. As you can see, two really good pickaxes, eight netherite ingots, and a beacon. I would say that's a pretty good deal of the day, so let's see if anyone comes and buys this, but guys, I think that is where we are going to go ahead and end this episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy, but really quickly though, before we do end this episode, I actually got this comment on the last video, and it says to build a scary mansion. So guys, I'm hoping in the next episode, this is what I'm going to go ahead and try and do. So I want to build a scary mansion, but of course, I need some name suggestions. So if you guys have any good name suggestions of what we could call this scary mansion in the next episode make sure you guys comment them down below so whoever can come up with the best scary name or the best scary mansion name we will put a sign with your name and the name you come up with on this scary mansion but guys of course that is where i'm going to end this episode hopefully you guys did enjoy we were able to get basically the whole outer shell of the netherite beacon done we also got a beacon for the deal of the day and we even made a little bit of halloween progress or halloween decoration progress over at the hyper mall so guys as well make sure you comment down below some good halloween ideas that we can build around the world but apart from that hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day as well but apart from that peace hey guys it's fru and welcome back to another episode of the minecraft multiplayer survival now can you notice anything different i'll i'll give you a second but can you notice it? Have you guessed it yet? All right, that is right. I am wearing a Halloween skin. As you guys can see, it looks pretty good. I mean, we got the pumpkin hoodie on right there. But guys, in this episode, we have a lot of exciting things to do. But what I really, really want to do to start it off is go check on our shop just to see if we got any more sales. Because if you guys remembered in the last episode, we basically sold most of our things. And we even sold the deal of the day, which is basically the big bundle of stuff that we sell in the netherite shop, which is around about 40 diamonds. Now, I did in the last episode restock the deal of the day let's go and see if someone's actually bought it but before we do let's go to the smb hq to check on spike and blue okay so here we are at the spike and blue headquarters of course so spike how are you doing man are you doing good <coughs> all right interesting as always and let's just go quickly check on blue okay so blue how are you doing today are you doing good as well whoa hold on just a second blue if you're being serious that is pretty crazy but blue 
I have got a little bit of a gift for you. So as you can see in my inventory, I actually have a jukebox. Now, where can I actually go ahead and place this? You know what, Blue? I'll put it right next to you so you can hear it really loudly. Okay, here we go. There it is, Blue. You've now got your new jukebox. So I'll leave you to enjoy that for a little bit. As you can see, he's actually... It seems like he's enjoying himself, so I guess we'll leave him to it. But, um, Blue, I'll see you soon. And Spike, I'll see you soon as well because I'm heading over to my shop over to the Ancient Essentials to see if anyone's actually bought anything. So let's head over there. Also, really quickly, before we continue on with this episode, did you know you can join my server's new spooky Halloween update? Oh, um, you didn't? Well, you can dive in and explore the vast lands of survival and all of the unique features the server has to offer. Group up with your friends to build towns, or if you're brave enough, dive into the depths of the nether to explore and even get your hands on some netherite. See what the wicked witch has to offer you by giving her a golden key and opening up one of the spooky chests. Venture around the server to see if you can get your hands on any of the hidden pumpkins. Getting these will give you some awesome rewards. So what are you waiting for? I mean, look how much fun my friends are having. Join now to start your crazy survival adventure, and who knows, maybe you'll even and see us on there. Alright, so here we are at the Hyper Mall, or should I say the spooky Hyper Mall with the pumpkin up there and the new pumpkin jack o' lantern streetlights? But I am so excited to see if anyone has actually bought anything from the ancient essentials. Okay. Here we go. I'm really hoping they have. I'm really hoping someone has bought at least the deal of the day. Because, of course, we actually recently did restock that. But here we go. Okay, wait. Hold on a second. Someone... Okay, so someone's definitely bought them. I don't know where they put the rest of the diamonds. But, I mean, if someone has actually bought every single one of the tools, they go for about 15 diamonds each. And I had about six of them here. That is a lot of diamonds. Okay, you know what? We'll check the deal of the day last. But let's go through the ancient bundles. So, I'm pretty sure this one fully... So Oh, there is no way. Okay, someone bought all of the ancient bundles from this chest. Okay, what about this one? Oh, there is no way. We have so many diamonds. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that is the one that sold out in the last episode. Okay, now this is where it's going to get pretty crazy because someone did buy all of the pickaxes, shovels, and axes. Okay, so let's now check out the 16 debris. Okay, yeah, these did sell out as well, I think. What about the pickaxes? Okay, They've bought one pickaxe, and what about the shovels and the axes? Okay, <gasps> someone must have bought all of these as well. Okay, so we literally have one pickaxe right there, and I mean everything else has completely sold out. Okay, now onto the deal of the day. Let's see if anyone bought it. Three, two, one. <gasps> yes! Yes, someone actually bought the deal of the day. Okay, so they must have put the diamonds that they spent on all of the axes and the shovels and pickaxes as well. So there's 64 diamonds right there. We have just made about four stacks of diamonds. Okay, that is it. In this episode at some point, we need to go ahead and restock this shop. But let me go ahead and put all of these diamonds in my diamond shulker box. As you can see, we are building up a pretty big collection of diamonds thanks to the, um, the ancient essential shop. But there we have it. I feel like later on in this episode, we need to go ahead and do something with all of these diamonds because there is a lot of diamonds here. Yeah, and I feel like there is something that we can do to have fun with all of these diamonds But you know what I'm going to take this and let's move on to what else I want to do in this episode Okay, so I want to do quite a few things in this episode But something I really want to do now and if you guys watched the last episode You will know that we are going to be building a scary house or a haunted mansion So you know what let's go ahead and get everything for that and let's begin building this spooky mansion <laughs> Yes, this spider is following us. Come on. Yes. Yes, this spider's inside. Come on, please. Just get in here. Come on. Oh my goodness. Come on. Okay, wait. The spider is in. Let's close this off. Okay, let's... Come on. Please. Please. Yes. We've got a spider in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, that took quite a while. Okay, now let's go ahead and show Prod and Zetro what we've been working on. Okay, so as you guys know, it is coming up to Halloween and I thought I might as well build a little bit of a Halloween house. So if you guys look behind you, this is what I've built. And it is a scary haunted mansion, so we got this kind of scary little walkway, sort of front garden, it's a little bit scary, and there's also the name over here, it is called the Creepy Quarters. Um, we've got a scarecrow over here, and then, are you guys ready to meet your new friend, or our new friend, must I say? I think I can hear them. Can you guys hear it in there? Wait. Oh, <laughs> did you hear that? Okay. I heard it. Let's, let's go meet him. 
Oh my god, a mine Oh car. my gosh! Oh, hello. <laughs> oh! Hello. What's its name? Uh, we don't actually have a name yet, so guys, comment down below any good spider names, because we need a name for this spider, he has literally no name right now. I mean, he does have a temporary name tag on him, so he doesn't despawn, but we need an actual name for him. So guys, comment down below any good spider names, and uh, yeah, what do you guys think of, uh, not only the spider, but this kind of little scary area? And I mean, I did have a spare with a skull left over, so I thought that would be good decoration right there, so what do you guys think? I like it's the creepy, but I, th I think you could do with a few like uh, like spider webs start to make <gasps> it, you know, that oh, just a yeah. little weird. Whenever I'm at a mine shaft next, I'm going to need to pick up some spider webs and I'll I'll definitely bring those over here, but um, yeah, this is yeah, basically it right idea. now. Zetro's enjoying himself there, so yeah, thank you guys for checking it out. Alright, so now that I've shown Prod and Zetro the creepy quarters, I kind of need your guys' help. Now, not only do I need help with naming the cat that we do have inside of the creepy quarters, I also want to know what huge building project do you guys want to see us build next because I really want to start on a brand new building project So guys comment down below any genius building project ideas that we can do and we will hopefully start it in the next episode And also give you guys credit and put your name on screen and everything like that So guys, I really want to build a massive building project So comment down below if you guys have any good ideas for building projects now I'm really happy with the creepy quarters, but of course we do need a name for that spider But now what I want to do is a little bit of redstone now. We haven't actually done too much redstone on the world, but I want to build a diamond machine. Yes, that that's right. We have way too many diamonds, so I feel like it would only be right if we were to make what I like to call the infinite diamond machine. So you know what? Let's get some redstone together and let me show you guys exactly what I want to do. We've built giant castles. We've built massive cities. We've built some huge bases, but... Have we ever built an automatic infinite diamond machine? I didn't think so. Let me introduce you all to the brand new infinite diamond machine. And you're probably wondering what this room is. Now I thought this would be the perfect place for this. And let me show you exactly what it does. Let me go turn it on. So we put all of our diamonds in it just like that. And now let's turn this machine on. I present to you the infinite diamond machine. Yeah, this, this isn't, this isn't going to stop. Spraying out diamonds. This is gonna go forever until I turn it off, but this is what I wanted to do I wanted something to do with all of the diamonds and I mean why not this is now how I can use my diamonds Yeah, so if I ever want diamonds, I can just go like this the infinite diamond machine what a masterpiece. Alright, so now what I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and meet up with Zetro because not only do we need to restock the shop, I also need to give him half of all the diamonds that we've actually made and gotten since we've had the Ancient Essentials open. So let's go meet up with Zetro and let's give him all of the diamonds we need to give him, seeing as we both own the shop. Alright, so I don't actually know where Zetro is. He may just be running late, so I might Hello? just... Oh, Hello? Wait, wait, where are... Zetro? Um... Oh, what? Whoa. How did you... How did uh, you get up there? Don't, don't worry about it. Right, so, uh, this is of course another important meeting, Zetro, so thank you for, um, turning up. I, I really don't know how you managed to get up there, but you know what, I I'm not even gonna question it. So, Zetro, pretty much, you know the ancient essential shop, right? It's been, it's been doing amazing. People are loving the ancient debris, they're loving the pickaxes, and we have no more stock, right? But what we do have is a lot of diamonds, and Zetro, obviously the promise was any diamonds we get, we will split them half and half, so, Zetro. I yeah. have your half of the diamonds right here, all in my inventory. Mm. Check this out. All right, here's here's all of your diamonds. So there you go, four oh, four that tags. That's what we like to see. You know the deal of the day. They've just been flying off the shelves, Zetro. You know it's hard to keep up with yeah, the amount okay. of stock. So uh, all right. So one more thing before I uh, head off uh, back into the painting. You said we have no more stock. Yes, we don't. So, We're completely uh, out. Me, give me, give me, give me one second. Let me just. Oh, uh, okay. I've got uh, I've got some stock. Been doing a bit of a Ooh. bit of mining, you know, been okay. doing a bit of mining, and yep. Uh, yep. so we've got uh, we've got some of those. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. We've got some of uh, got some of these. Zetro, you know, what, what? Why have you? Why give me gold? We don't need that, but we do because what goes with gold? Ancient debris. Oh baby. my. Oh, wow. There should be a stack there. And there is a whole stack of ancient debris. So, all right, so Zetra, I appreciate you helping out with the stock. And there is something else I actually have to go ahead and get. I'm going to go and actually get another beacon for the shop and also get some of my own alight just to put in the deal of the day. So not only will I be putting some stuff in the deal of the day, all of this ancient debris will, of course, be going back in the um in the chests and going towards the uh, bundles. So um, I appreciate it, Zetro. 
And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so thanks to Zetro, we don't really have to worry about ancient debris, netherite, or anything like that. All we need to go ahead and get now is stuff for the deal of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get three wither heads to build a beacon, and then we'll sell that in the deal of the day. And also, I'm going to be using one of my elytras to actually stock the deal of the day. So let's head over to the nether fortress and get some wither heads. All right, so we got some wither skeletons right here. Let's see if we can get a wither skull. Come on, okay, one down. We didn't get anything from that one. What about this one? And... Yep, that's definitely not what we're looking for. But you know what? Let's keep going. Oh my goodness, there's literally four with us. Come on, please. One of these. Yes, one of them dropped one. <gasps> yes, we got one. Okay, there was four and we got one. Okay, perfect. Now all we need to do is get two more and then we're good to fight another wither and stock up the deal of the day. All right, so this has to be the luckiest I have ever gotten with wither skeleton skulls ever. Literally, directly after getting the first one, I think it took two more to get the second one and then it took quite a few more to get the third one. But it was probably the fastest I've ever obtained three wither skeleton skulls. So I'm going to take it, head back to the base, and we're going to go down under Prod's base to defeat these withers. So let's go. Here we are, back where we always battle withers. And at this point, you can you can definitely tell this is where we battle withers. I mean, it's, it's not in the best. Oh, wait. So yeah, this is literally so destroyed at this point. But you know what? We have another wither right here. So let's get ready and let's get rid of this wither. Okay, here we go. All right, let's put all of these skulls on top. Three, two, one... Here we go. All right, let's do this. Okay, any minute now, and there we go. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so let's start off with the bow, and then we'll go with the sword. But as I say every single time, we cannot let the wither go any higher than it already is, because Prod's base is literally above this. Like, if, if this wither goes any higher, it will literally be destroying Prod's base. Okay, so we've got it down to about halfway. Let's just keep going. Okay, here we go. This is where we just go crazy with our sword. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, I, I might want to stay back. Look at the tiny amount of health it's got. Wait, hold on. I'm on, like, two hearts. Okay, we need to stay back. Oh, no. Okay, this could be bad. Wait, how many hearts am I on? I actually can't tell. Okay, I think I'm on like five. Okay. All right, the wither's over there. Let's go back and finish this off. The only thing is the wither's right next to lava. It's it's literally in lava. I can't... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, we're good. We're good. I don't want to let the nether star get lost in lava. Okay. Oh, no. We are really low. Okay, this is actually pretty difficult right now. And we are down to three hearts. No, we cannot let this go any higher. Here we go. We've regenerated some hearts. Let's keep going. We can finish it right here. Stay away from the lava. And there we go. Okay. For a second there, I was a bit scared it was going to go over the lava, but there we go! Another nether star. Okay, let's go craft this into a beacon, and we are going to be making the best deal of the day ever. We are talking elytras, we are talking a beacon, we are talking netherite. In fact, I think we're actually going to have to up the price of the deal of the day, just because an elytra fully enchanted, and a beacon, and a pickaxe, and netherite, that is a lot of stuff in a deal of the day. So I think I want to put it up to maybe like, maybe even 90 diamonds or something crazy like that. But let's go ahead, make this beacon. Let's go get all my good pickaxes, axes, and shovels out of my shulker boxes. And let's just go ahead and restock the shop. Let's quickly get the shulker boxes to restock the shop. Let's also grab one of my really good elytras. And finally, let's craft this beacon. So let's put that there, the nether star in the middle, and perfect. Okay, there we have a beacon. Let's go restock the shop. So I think we should start with the ancient bundles. So let's just go ahead and put, uh, let's, let's do maybe four ancient bundles and then I think we should save some for over here where we have the 16 ancient debris. So I think what we should do is we should do maybe like two of these or something. So let's quickly get 16. Then let's put these in here. And then I think what we should do is save this and put this all in here. So let's just quickly do this because as I remember, the ancient bundles were way more popular. So I think it's actually best to fill these back up. So let's quickly do that. Let's get all the ancient bundles. So there we go. So we've got a whole chest of ancient bundles. Let's just quickly fill that in. So we've got a whole double chest of ancient bundles and a few here. Then over here, we've got two stacks of 16 ancient debris and then let's quickly Quickly get our pickaxe shulker box so we can fill all the tools up and then we will do the deal of the day. So let's quickly get our pickaxes out. Alright, so these are actually the only pickaxes, shovels and axes that I have left. And obviously some of these shovels are completely broken so we obviously can't put them in the shop. So next episode... We're definitely going to have to maybe add a new part of the shop for armor, and we need to sort out some more tools. So let's just quickly stock up. Here it is, the ancient essentials fully stocked up. So we've got all these ancient bundles here. We've got the 16 ancient debris. We've got the pickaxes. We've got all of these pickaxes here. We've got some shovels, some axes. And now all we have to do is restock the deal of the day. Now this is going to be the best deal of the day we have ever done. So for starters... We've got to up the price because this is this is going to be a crazy deal of the day. So let's quickly put all the stuff in the chest and then we will put the price on it. Oh my goodness. We have a fully enchanted elytra, a pickaxe, a beacon and eight pieces of netherite ingots. This is insane. Now, I would say for the pickaxe and just the beacons and the elytra and pretty much all of this deal of the day, it needs to be more than 40 diamonds. But I also don't want to set it too high. So I think we may go for maybe 80 diamonds, honestly, because the beacon and the elytras are worth so much. So 
I'm really tempted to do 80 diamonds for this. I, I, I think I might. So there it is, 80 diamonds. And I mean, if no one gets it for 80 diamonds, I can always put it down to maybe like 70 or something like that. But I mean, for now, I would say 80 diamonds is pretty fair because I mean, yes, I know you're getting netherite and you're getting a beacon and a pickaxe, but you're also getting an elytra, which is pretty rare. So this is what we're going to do for now. We've got the deal of the day set up. We've got all of the stuff in the shop. We've got the ancient bundles, everything like that. But guys, that is now where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. So not only did we make a haunted house, we also now have a diamond machine and we have even fully restocked the ancient essentials. So guys, that is where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. But apart from that, peace.